Yeah, restrand like that. Oh, gorgeous. Right, this has never, ever, 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 ever been under £10, needless to say. And because of where the drill hole is, Deb, I bet yeah. you could, like we said earlier on, you could ignore the drill hole and prong set these definitely. as wings. Yeah, definitely. You wouldn't, you wouldn't notice the drill hole at all. So to, to prong set or um, to gallery set the uh, gallery wire would work brilliantly. Yeah. They're lovely. They, they are, are such good quality again. They're massive. Okay. 35 carats of emerald. Can I just work out? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 15 of these, Ross. And I know that they're graduated in size, but on average, what sort of carat weight are we looking at? 15 of them. We've got 35 carats. On average, you're looking at about 2.3 carats. I mean, some of those in the centre, That's that's got to be over three carats then. I mean, they are absolutely amazing. We're at 66 pence a stone it's never been near 10 pounds never been anywhere near this price brand new lowest ever 66 pence an emerald that's bonkers i mean we've all those of you that have been part of jewelry maker for years i mean you don't need to be a gem expert or a gemologist or a jewelry maker avid watcher to recognize that that is a silly price that is incredibly low this is what's brilliant, isn't it, about the clearance, is that I know so many people that probably would never think that they'd be able to own emerald. Yeah, yeah. With a budget of £10. £10. Pounds. It's great, isn't it? Isn't it is incredible. And, and it's just a real joy to be able to work with, you know, your high-end yeah. gemeralds. Absolutely. Uh, gemeralds. That's a new one. <laughs> em emeralds. It is, it is. I mean, it is such a, a privilege to be able to present them, let alone like uh, giving them away at 9.99, your gemeralds. Yeah. <laughs> Gemstones and emeralds. There you go. I Just 9.99. That, on that, one. that one's That's amazing. my favourite. Well, you could pinpoint, you could uh, get them home, see which is your favourite, and you could make a beautiful ring with with, yes. with the one that, yeah. that suits you, and then make earrings. You could do a necklace like we have, like just restrand it here, like um, it is here, with the spacer beads. I do like it with the gold, actually. It works really well with the gold, yeah. Make really lovely earrings, just dead simple drops. Well done, everybody. That is about to sell out. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Fire opal under 10. Look at how amazing this quality is again. I sound like a broken record today, but <laughs> wow. What price has this been to in the past? Because I think that we are getting a bit blasé about this. Don't get complacent with these prices because as our, after tomorrow, we'd be looking at, um, what? 24 dollars 19 dollars Oh, someone's taking this low already. They are ombre perfectly. Yeah. That would take so long, wouldn't it? Um, oh, it Deb, does. If you, if, yeah. you, if you drop these and, uh, and yeah. lose that ombre, then you realise how long it's taken somebody to put them back don't, together. Don't do what I do sometimes when I get too excited and cut the strand in the middle and they all fall off and then you're <laughs> sitting there for hours putting yeah. it all back. <laughs> Madness. Uh, at $17.99, you are already looking at the lowest ever price. This is Mexican fire opal. That's 100% natural it? Mexican fire opal. Wow. Oh, my word. I mean, Deb, you know where I used to work. And Ross, we used yes. to work together. Yeah. We had Mexican fire opal. And it used to be yeah. hundreds, hundreds of pounds. Yeah. Always. Yeah. yeah. Mexican fire opal. I mean, Brazilian fire opal, we might have seen, you know, at um, 50 pounds, 60 pounds, 70 pounds. But Mexican was always the one that was set into 18 karat gold yeah. every time. Well, you can see on that strand. The quality is there, it's isn't incredible. it? incredible. And when you've got amazing quality like that, 18 karat gold, you know, that yeah. is what you, you tend to lean to. So Especially with this colour. Look, that's natural. Yeah, yeah. That is natural. Oh, it's gorgeous. We're loving that. Yorkshire's there. Kathleen's there. Kathy's there. Shirley's there. Christina, Jackie, Lynn, Jenny, Sharon, Heidi, Lauren, there is a queue. Margaret's there. Uh, well done. Betty's back in. Sarah's in. Kathleen, well done, Yorkshire. I'm, I don't think I've ever seen a strand like this. It's the first time I've seen Mexican fire opal. If you love this, stay exactly where you are. If you love this colour-wise, I think you're going to love this one as well. These would be beautiful for, um, I'm thinking, Tree of Life. Adding in some really gorgeous oranges as well. Look at that. Right, this is 
Carnelian. This is a bargain price. Just go for it. Are you ready? Those of you that have uh, just tuned in, this is what the Jewelry Maker Clearance is all about. If we could bring you this at 9 99 I think it would sell out anyway. But where we can offer you a bargain, we absolutely will. If we can go lower today, we're doing it. We're clearing the vaults. We're under strict instruction that everything must go. There's some cheeky auctions like this throughout the day. Don't miss that at 199. When can you buy genuine <laughs> gemstones for 199? And there's loads on that strand, loads and loads. 80 centimeters, a parcel of carnelian. Two pounds. Ross, I I've been um, doing the clearance shows, uh, well, four shows this week, and you're the only person that I've seen go to 199 on anything. I know we went to a pound earlier on on a piece. You have been the most brutal on, on these prices, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, Ross, remember. The majority of people are multiplying. Well, you might as well. If you're paying 395p and P, I'd definitely be taking advantage of the fact that you can multi-buy. Uh, it's a great place to start. Those of you that are, are brand new to jewellery making, I think lots of people purchase chips and nuggets to start with. They're such good value for money. Uh, right, we've got green fluorite. Don't forget about those Stark Aquamarines that are going to be starting the 2 o'clock show. And we've just broken the news that they're going under £10. These are nice as well. Look at that tone. Like seafoam green. Green Ooh. fluorite rounds. They're lovely. They're like bubbles. They are. 75 carats. Ah, look at that one. Very green indeed. £7.99 for 75 carats of green fluorite. I don't know if I've seen fluorite like this before. I think it's the first time that I've seen smooth rounds. Uh, especially in the greens. They're lovely. Just £7.99. Yeah. Really fresh colour. I like that colour. And it looks gorgeous if you put like a Rose de France. Oh, nice, um, yeah. With it, it looks lovely. That is a beautiful colour, really fresh. Uh, yeah. Maxine, well done, you got three. Wendy's there, Janet and Gary. Everybody keep holding the line. Um, sorry, which one are we doing? Got it. Literally a couple of minutes. Don't forget the Aquamarine's coming up straight after the break. Um, these are amazing. This is Abalone, fancy cut. Oh, I've not seen any like that for ages. No. We, how do we normally see the... Um, they're usually um, smooth, aren't they? And, and sort of a lot more regular than these. Right. They're really cool. Look at the colours. Yeah. They're iridescent, aren't they? Oh, they're called fancy cuboids. Ooh, hello. <laughs> 7 99 What's wrong, Ben? Oh, he doesn't understand the pricing. Honestly, you've worked with Ross long enough now to understand. There is no, there is no myth to the madness. <laughs> There's no ex explanation, is there? Absolutely, make the most of it whilst you can. It's only for today, tomorrow, that's it. Please don't think that these prices reflect a value or worth. Do not go by these prices when you're making to sell. So those of you that are using uh, this as your stock to sell, remember what it would actually cost you to replace them. Absolutely, yeah. It's a good point, isn't it? Because yeah. we're going yeah. by these prices now and it's crazy, but we can't even replace them at these prices. So if you are making to sell, absolutely have a look elsewhere and see what you can pay. Um, just $7.99. Right, we're going to squeeze in one more if that's okay, Ben. We're going to do... <gasps> no. Pinks. Pink, pink, pink. Morganites. Oh, no, they're not. They're rose quartz. They look like morganite. Look at this. <laughs> they look just like morganite. Oh, wow. That's good mm. rose quartz. That is gorgeous. <laughs> that's incredible, yeah. Look at as far as saying, I think this is my favourite strand of the hour. Yeah, I love that. Giving you a reason to stay with us for our barrel showcase. Look at this. 36 carats of rose quartz. This one then with your fluorites. You know, the green fluorites Ooh, that you said. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you thinking, Ross? 36 carats, brand new lowest ever. 
Needless to say, we will go that extra mile for everybody. It's been incredibly busy for this first hour. Stay with us through our two o'clock show. Don't forget, we've got barrel clearance coming up, starting with the Star Cut Aquamarine. 7 99 for 36 carats of rose quartz. Brilliant price. We've got aquamarines coming up. Uh, we've got multicolour, amazing faceted barrel as a star buyer as well, which I'll show you. In fact, they will look lovely with your rose quartz. Look at these, the colours together. Very nice indeed. Seven pounds ninety-nine for thirty-six carats. We've got huge smooth round barrels as well. Look at this one. This is going to be coming up in the next hour. All at clearance prices. All at clearance prices. Everybody, stay holding on the phone line if you've got anything in your basket from the last hour. Now is a chance to check out. In fact, I'd suggest over the break going back through on the website and seeing what is available from the last hour because I've got a feeling there's going to be lots of um, sellouts. This one is coming up straight after the break. It is amazing aquamarine star cut going to a star by price. See you in just a couple of minutes. Good morning! Guess what? It's the final day of clearance! Oh, it's been amazing. How many of you well and, well and truly stocked up your stashes? Seven days of epic clearance and we are going out with a bang because we have some really exciting gemstones included. I agree, Ross. Ross says, I think I've saved the best till last. Yeah, I agree because we've got Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Gone. It's all gone. So how are we clearing this out? I don't know. We've got black opal. We have grand digirite, the third ranked the third rarest, the most uh, valuable gemstone on the planet. We've got tanzanite. We have dinosaur bone. We have chrome diopside, lapis lazuli. I mean, it is really beautiful peridot. Labradorite. It's all going to be locked and loaded on the website because you know it is your viewer's choice. Everything is uh, priced at your clearance deals other than your star buys, but you can actually pre-order those as well. Um, we might squeeze them just a little bit more. Um, you know, it's a very interactive show as well. We love to hear from you. My name is Eleanor. We're meeting for the very first time and I'm joined by the absolutely fantastic and we've spoiled him this morning lovely Mark yeah. Smith we have to save the best for last I mean look at this I know five minutes ago I said to Ross what good is he gonna give me today and he's provided me with <laughs> it's like Christmas I just don't know where to start it's I just like do Christmas. not know where to start I mean look at this absolutely amazing black <clears throat> beautiful look um, at this look oh at my this. goodness me look at the play of color Mark you won't believe yeah. what that's going to I don't know where any of the prices is today. Well, uh, no, it's going to be amazing. Shall I, shall, I just, shall I just quickly drop it in? Shall I, Ross? Shall I? Yeah? Give us an under figure. <laughs> under £10. What? For black opal? I know. I've said it. There are 200 of those. I know, oh under ten pounds. Honestly, this is going to be a massive show. Um, the Sleeping wow. Beauty turquoise. Wow. Look at the quality of that Sleeping Beauty look at turquoise. This. It's huge. Yeah, they're it's going to a clearance deal as well. Look at the colour. Oh my goodness me, they're amazing. Um, we've got brand new peridots. Those peridots have never been on our screens previously before, and they go into clearance. Wow. Dinosaur bone. I absolutely. It's coming up within this hour, half past this hour. One of the coolest gemstones I think I've ever had the, the opportunity to talk about. So, um, yeah, dinosaur bone is just, uh, yeah, you can already get involved. I'll be talking about what that is. Um, and let me show you how easy it is. So if you've just joined us and you're wondering how do you shop with Jewelry Maker, it's ultra simple. Uh, <clears throat> so here we are on the web, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. If you scroll down, um, you can see uh, within this hour, and it is only this hour, they'll be locked and loaded. 
Um, some items will be going lower and everybody will pay that final low price regardless of when you actually uh, uh, make your uh, confirmation. The first item, the first five items are going lower. Um, so shop ahead because items do sell out and they have, they did yesterday and they will be today as well. Um, but yeah, a whole day of clearance. And like I said, we've got some of the world's rarest gemstones and some brand new strands as well, which is going to be absolutely amazing. So we've spoilt Mark. We're going to be seeing lots of his wonderful creations mm. um, throughout your clearance. Um, let me just quickly show you um, your beautiful early bird. Now, this isn't just one strand. You're actually getting three strands of chrome diopside. So from the Russian deposit, um, diopside falls, forms all around the world. Chrome diopside, for this very reason, was celebrated on its discovery in 1988 for the most intense and beautiful natural green so these are your early bird um, you can purchase yours right now it is going lower than what's on your screen on your uh, website or app the price per strand is crazy ross is saying in my ear um so i'm with you for the whole nine hours i hope you don't mind we're gonna have a lot of fun today um as is ryan by the way pulling in the dirty double come on right we can do this we can absolutely do this hello ryan hello ryan also pulling in the dirty double is our luscious lucy you right, Luce? yes um, then you've got the part-timers in, uh, <laughs> only joking, I'm only joking, our lovely Ross, he did do a double yesterday, and our gorgeous Adam, who's feeling very refreshed today, because he was home alone last night, no babies oh. to wake him up in the middle of the night, no, literally woke up and... He said, he said yesterday, he goes, I'm going to look so handsome tomorrow because <laughs> he's so perfectly rested. And we've got the wonderful, wonderful Mark. It's going to be amazing, Mark, isn't it? It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Yeah, right then, wait. without further ado, yes. I think we should get cracking, don't you? Um, one of the most popular gemstones of the entire clearance is, and by the way, you can request, you can get your requests in. Um, oh, my goodness me. Have you seen the quality? Surely this is blue sheen. Please tell me we've described this as blue sheen, which is like, uh, you know, that's the that's supremacy of quality of, uh, of labradorite. Um, because you have this absolute blaze, can you see it, of labradorescence. Do you see where I'm coming from? That beautiful blue sheen wow. uh, labradorescence that comes completely naturally. Um, amazing strand, incredible quality, totally natural labradorite. Uh, 50 carats that you're getting at. I mean, we're at twelve ninety nine, and it's never. It, previously, it's closed at nineteen ninety nine. I do think we've sort of missed those two um, really key words, really off the graphics, blue sheen. But if we did include those, if that's how we purchased it, then obviously we'd have been paying a much fi a higher price tag. Um, absolute clearance deal at twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. That beautiful phenomena effect, that internal magic that occurs within uh, natural labradorite, um, faceted into these gorgeous marquee. Shapes. Shapes. Loving those. Hello to you, Maureen. Morning all. Just bought Opa, um, Opalina. Wow. Oh. I wanted months to be able to afford this. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very, very welcome. Um, <clears throat> we've got some amazing gemstones, uh, Maureen, too, in the right place. Um, Opalina is available on the website. Um, what's that? This is 37 onwards. There we go. That's where the Opalina is, so if you want to join Maureen on that. Now, this is actually a bundle, and I know Mark is a firm fan of uh, your matte gemstones. Love matte gemstones. They are, they're like, they're like silk, yes. aren't they? I think, I think 2021 has been the year of the matte gemstone, without yeah. a doubt, hasn't it? Yeah. It's incredible. Look, look, at at, look at how beautiful they are. It's like a cashmere softness to the gemstone. <laughs> you still get that beautiful mm. labyrinth, of course. Nine ninety nine for all three. People shopping ahead on the dinosaur oh. bone, I don't blame you. Real rarity. They are going lower, by the way, but make your confirmations. Um, wow. Never, of course, this has never been at £10. That's three strands um, in the sizes wow. of what? Four, six, and eight. That's an amazing. That's that three pound thirty-three. You could do a strand. you could do a graduated kiss cross with those three Ooh, sizes. A graduated look amazing. kiss cross. Look amazing. Yeah. I've never heard of that amazing. before, Mark. That sounds epic. Watch this space. Watch this space. I love it when Mark's on because he always gives <laughs> us a little bit of a uh, sort of a sneaky peek of what's to come. A graduated kiss cross. That sounds unbelievable. Mm. So maybe mm. get hold of this now. Be amazing. Ahead of that show, which might be. On the horizon, um, late September. Late September, okay. Yes. Especially at ten pounds. Yeah. 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 All three strands that you're getting here. Um, did you say never been at nine ninety nine? Yeah, clearly. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. I think the reason that I love matte gemstones so much is the fact that every single gemstone that we've got now 
it masculinizes just, yes. from, just from frosting it. So yeah. every single gemstone, even rose quartz, it yeah. just takes that, that feminine edge off and yeah. just makes it completely unisex. That's why I really love them. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. And you can also incorporate it with your smooth rounds to Absolutely. create that lovely texture. Yes. Yeah. Um, always closed at $14.99 um, until clearance. So um, grab these whilst you can. Moving on, let's stick with the wonderful labradorite, shall we? Um, this is cool. I'm just going to turn you up, Ross. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. I can hear you. There we go. These are very cool. Those, oh my goodness me again, the labrador essence on these is insane. Um, like little <laughs> labradorite stone hinges, Ross says. Oh my goodness, look at that. Beautiful quality of labradorite essence. Look how literally it covers the entire surface. Um, of each of these gemstones and if you look at one and you think oh there's no labradorescence there you just go okay let me just uh, yeah. let, me, let, let me just lean it towards the light never been lower than 14 pounds and 99 pence until this morning uh, 9.99 today in your clearance deals um, and again if you don't want to use that drill hole you don't have to you could very easily see be bezel these gallery wire these uh, flat prong back set they flat yeah. back yeah, well, they, they, they've got that same facet. You oh, see, you've got the crown facets oh, yes. and the table facet. Yeah. So oh, they're right. basically interchangeable. Um, how many on strand did you say? Two, four, six. Yes, eight. I've oh, got a no. feeling I know what you're going to do, Ross. I've got a feeling. Is he good? You are going to take this to one pound, pound per <laughs> labradorite. Am I right? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Not saying you're predictable, Ross, or anything, but I kind of <laughs> had that vibe. <laughs> I had that feeling that that's what you were going to do. Everybody pays the final low price tag. How many do we have of these available then? They were 50. Um, okay, well, that's quite a big quantity, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Look at that beautiful quality of labradorescence. Um, I'm actually going to be showing you a little bit later on in the show during the deal of the day a grand digerite, a grand digerite pendant. And actually, from. Um, First impressions, it looks, it, it actually looks yeah. like a labradorite, the most amazing labradorite. Yes, that does have like, a grand yeah. digerite shade, something you could use maybe alongside your grand digerite deal of if the day. If you bought the, uh, the previous triple bundle of labradorite, the, the, because the way this is drilled through the centre, it's the perfect drill placing for yeah. cufflinks. <gasps> so have that on the outside of the cuff and then use one of the six mil or four mil rounds on the inside. How many men do you know have got labradorite cufflinks? You're links? looking at 40, 50 pound a pair at easily. Least. Yeah. At least, and you can yeah. make four pairs from this one yep. strand. That's Amazing. a genius idea. Yeah. Um, you've got 48 minutes to gr snap these up um, at your 7.99 price tag, your viewer's choice deals, because you know it is on a time restraint. So do check out those baskets. Um, <clears throat> amazing. Debbie, hello to London. Uh, another London multi-buying. Hello to Greater London. Hello to Gillian. Hello to Maxine. Um, lots of Londons this morning. Good morning to you all. Yorkshire, lovely to have your company. Carol and East Riding of Yorkshire. Middlesex is there. Veronica. Um, do text in. Come and say hello. We'd love to hear from you. And also any requests that you want me to bring to air, um, I can do that for you. The early bird is coming up. Three strands of beautiful chrome dioxide. Make sure you start your, check, uh, your text with JM Studio so it does come uh, direct to us. Let's, um, as we're in a little bit of a labradorite showcase, let's, let, oh, you was, oh. OM, OMG, the labradorescence is insane. OMG. These are beautiful. How on earth... You don't want a piece of my hair. There you go. How on earth are these in clearance? Can you see the labradorescence? 6 99 Where's the red? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One of the rarest colours to get in labradorite. Look, see it there? Beautiful flashes of natural labyrinths. I move my hand so you can see the labyrinths across every single one of these beautiful, uh, described as kites, yeah, or little pillows. They could be little cushions, couldn't they? How on earth are we at 6 99 Ross says, well, Al, it's never closed lower than 12 99 nor should it. Um, I'm hoping there's enough of these to go around. 
<coughs> excuse me, we've got a nice quantity of these. Look at that, like driving rain. You've got these absolutely stunning, magical patterns within the gemstone itself. Um, yeah, when you look at Labradorite, initially you think, oh, it's a really lovely sort of cashmere grey. And then it, I turn it towards the light and you see this absolute blaze of enigma within this natural gemstone. Look at that, full spectrum colours. $6.99 only. Again, use the drill hole if you wish, um, or if you prefer to actually sort of treat them like cabochons, you can definitely do that. Always closed at $12.99. That's an amazing deal. And don't be disheartened if that's what you purchase. Today, $6.99. Don't forget you can pre-order your chrome diopside, something that would look absolutely amazing. RMG, amazing alongside your uh, Labradorite. Again, I love the fasting of this. It's incorporating curves and straight lines at the same time. These are big pieces. In fact, I'm going to hold them within my hand so I can actually see where I'm coming from. See the curves? Look at that. That's totally natural. That's not coating within a gemstone. It's tiny platelets within your labradorite that capture the light and bring you this phenomenal effect. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And again, every single one has got that wonderful display, front and reverse. Um, do you see that curves, the curves of the actual uh, bead itself, um, it, you know, teamed with straight lines. I just think it's a genius cut. Again, look at this magical, magical labyrinths within these. Flashes of greens and coppers, beautiful flashes of blues, pinks, reds. The more colors that you actually see, $6.99 for this. Uh, again, do check out your baskets. Just one of those, I think, from a sort of a length of sterling silver chain. Let's move on to... Can I just quickly say, when we come to <laughs> the Wall of Fame yeah. at the end of the hour, yeah. I'm going to announce the winner of the competition that we ran on Tuesday. Uh -huh. um, producer Tom twisted my arm to give away a piece of jewellery <laughs> as, as he does classic Tom and so Tom's drawn for at random and I've got the winner so we'll announce that very in, exciting in, in the wall of oh, fame okay section. amazing yeah. so we'll do yeah. that at sort of yes. the top of this yeah. hour then yeah. everybody um, perfect oh I tell you what you're saying about gemstones that which can be very much sort of your uh, male and female um, creations I think definitely the Heshi beads or wheels hello to you uh, sorry saying morning everybody at JM it's my birthday today oh. Looking forward to today's show. Happy birthday. Oh, I hope you have a fantastic one planned. I hope you're going to be pampered and spoilt. We were just saying before the show, it's nine years today that Super Saturday... Do you remember the Olympics, the Super Saturday? Oh, yes. It was nine years ago today. It, was, it never was nine mm, years. you believe it? I mean, Mad, where does time it? go? We were <laughs> talking about that this morning. Yeah. I don't know where time goes. I no. mean, uh, uh, yeah. Nine years. Um, you celebrated your 10th anniversary. Mine's actually coming yes, up as well. Yeah. Um, gosh, it flies when yeah. you're having fun, doesn't it? Beautiful. Wow. I love this. The soft, beautiful blues. Three ninety nine. We have closed this much much higher than 399 obviously 699 well 699 is still crazy really is that what it's closed at before um love the graduation that you're getting i think i'd simply restrand that a lot yeah. of you multi-buying on that one um, i okay. see your tom wearing that yeah he would wear that for mm, sure yeah yeah he definitely yeah. would um i'm slowly slowly it is sort of Sparking his enthusiasm for gemstones. <laughs> uh, I took home some of my, uh, I bought some rubies from the Jake Showcase uh, last Thursday, and even he was like, oh my gosh, they're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? It's like, yes, I'm winning, I'm getting there. <laughs> um, look at this strand, it's absolutely stunning. If you got the bundle of your matte gemstones, oh, oh and like yes. I said, you want to Just create that them. contrast. Mm. Oh, it'd be beautiful. Yeah. 6.99 mark for your six mil natural labradorite love the main body color of this you can get labradorite which is beautifully dark you can get labradorite which is almost uh, you know uh, like a soft white color um i like that in between that really beautiful sort of cashmere like gray um look at that that internal magic that occurs within this gemstone super versatile 6.99 in your clearance deal um stock up your stashes of labradorite it is always one of your favorite gemstones we're like moths to a to a flame with labradorite aren't we just drawn by this magical power i've got one more labradorite deal to bring you and then we're going to be uh bringing your early bird three strands of amazing chrome diopside um this next one i very 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 much would like to buy um it's <laughs> definitely a oh really what's it going to i mean seriously look at the labradorescence oh and mark you know how um, you're going to say kiss cross with your amazing yeah, talents yeah, i'm going to say stretchy bracelets yeah. Perfect. For micro kiss cross, this is just perfect. Look at that labyrinth. 
And I think I'd go for something like sea foam, Ooh, seed beads, yeah. 15 O's or something like that, just that to keep that, that tone. It'd be lovely. Oh, and then you get this, uh, you yes. know, flash of labradorescence. Would you, so these would be the sort of the core, if you like, yeah, of so your Yeah, so these, these would be the bees that you would net around. Oh, yeah. look at that. Totally Beautiful. natural, full spectrum of colours. You do, I agree, Ross. Ross says you, it seems like you get even more labradorescence from the faceted mm, variety. Yes, yes. Um, look at that, that play of light. Um, it's, not, it's not coated. You might think this is like mystic coated topaz. It's not. This is naturally occurring. Hello, Julie. Um, I received my Amazonite necklace I won on your oh. anniversary show yesterday, Mark. Thank you. It's beautiful. Oh, congratulations. Well done. I'm glad oh. you got it. I'm glad you got it. Oh, and in the Isle of Wight as well. Love yes. the Isle of Wight. Yes. Oh, uh, it's gorgeous, the Isle of Wight. Yeah, so you, you're going to look a million dollars wearing that, Julie. Uh, six ninety nine for this strand. I would definitely be dialing through. Now, we had 30. Um, a lot of multi-buyers. Uh, beautiful, faceted, four millimetre rounds. Yes, yeah, simple stretchies, whether you choose to pop some of your decorative spacer beads in between, whether you choose to, um, you know, use Mark's amazing skills and talents like the Kiss Cross. You could do beady beads. You could use them as spacer beads in between other gemstones. Just, just simple memory wire, I think, would look amazing. Lovely. Just Lovely. a single because, bangle. Yeah, because the beauty's in the gemstone yeah. already, isn't it? Um, there were only 30, though. Goodness me. Check out those baskets, everybody. And again, I'm just going to give you a quick sneaky peek as some of the strands that are coming your way um, so we have this beautiful peridot coming up at the top of the hour look at that insane green yeah totally natural um, you can pre-order yours it goes amazing with the labradorite that's what I was thinking um, and likewise um, this labradorite will go beautifully with your early bird so not just one strand not even two strands three strands of the pinnacle location for sourcing chrome dioxide. Can I just read something to you? 70, 230 and 90. They're the carrot weights that you're getting on all three strands of chrome diopside. Now we discussed briefly this gemstone yesterday and the fact that it was discovered in the Russian deposit. Diopside's found in lots of locations around the world, but well, not lots, a few. Um, but the Russian dis deposit was discovered in 1988 and immediately overnight it sent sort of, sh uh, you know, shock waves, um, a hive of excitement uh, for, for, for this uh, location because they'd never seen quality quite like it before. Now, there is one downside. The extremities of where the mine is situated means that it can only ever be unearthed from the ground between two and three months of the year. Quite literally, it's so cold, the, the, gra the ground is so frozen that machinery can't penetrate, uh, penetrate the ground. And, and even when they, it is successful, very little um, of the diopside will be of this quality that is actually unearthed. You might well have seen a, a recording of our founder Steve Bennett at the chrome diopside mine. It was actually during the summer months uh, and still a um, very short window of opportunity. But here's the location um, most most months of the year. So as you can see, not many of us would jump at the chance of mining this gemstone. Have you heard now. the latest news about the Russian diopside mines? Go on that um, mining has stopped. It stopped. Uh, there due, was rumours. Due, due to the fact that the area that it's mined has been made an area of outstanding natural beauty. I'm not surprised by that yeah. because uh, Sharite is mm. not far away um, from there. And uh, what was the other gemstone that w which that actually... Um, Yes, uh, no, not Shungite. There's another location just not so far away, which the same applies. Yes. Russian Amazonite, mm. um, an area yes, of the Russian course. Federation. Yeah. Um, so I'm not surprised by that at all. Mm. But even, okay, so that window's gone then. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. a shame because, like I said, it's regarded as the best in the world. But even when we were able to unearth this gemstone, what you would actually find is a video of Steve at the mine and it literally crumbles between his fingers. So nothing, uh, or very little mm. rather, I should say, is actually of of size and um, that could justify any one of these strands now you are getting all three it is completely
completely and utterly natural. Um, what an amazing early bird. So I'm visualizing the most beautiful kind of twisted, Mark Smith twisted style necklace, um, maybe with some peridot dotted in between there as well. Uh, I, you know, on that new, on, uh, there was rumors, there's been rumors mm -hmm. coming from that location that potentially the mine, uh, the mining had ceased. There we go, you've just had the confirmation. Uh, and actually uh, retracing my steps, going back about four years, I had a conversation with Steve about chrome dioxide and he actually said this is probably going to be one of the last showcases that you do wow. um yeah when they're not often wrong to be truthful now to get all three strands that's natural color they reference your chrome dioxide as being the most alluring of all emeralds but being honest i've never seen an emerald look quite that insane um it has the most mesmerizing deep blue that is colored by chromium uh, again chromium is like a superpower to gemstones it brings you an intensity and a vivacity quite like a uh, uh, any other um, it's completely natural sometimes with di with diopside especially if we're talking about different locations it suffers with what we call extinction what that means is the light is so, the, the color is so intense the saturation is so deep that light can enter into the gemstone but maybe not find its way back out again you're getting none of that here you've got incredible refraction beautiful natural color we are already less than 15 pounds per strand for russian diopside chrome diopside there you go you've just heard where did, who told you that by the way no can't i'll remember. put you on the spot yeah it would have come yeah, from a reliable yeah, source yes, um yeah. yeah probably from one of our, uh, our sort of our gem hunters um we're bringing you that location that now uh, there we go is no longer unearthing this gemstone so there's 50 opportunity uh, that's it and it is only available at the next price drop for 37 minutes during your viewers choice to say this is a brand new low is an understatement quite literally price per strand is amazing i mean under 15 uh, 15 pounds was incredible wasn't it that's five pounds for chrome dioxide oh my goodness me um, I don't think we'd have ever bought one strand at £15, <laughs> let alone all three. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. No, not one of these strands would be £14.99, let alone all three of them. Goodness me, when we say clearance, you have 34 minutes or until stocks last. Hello to you, Yorkshire, London. Hello to you, Maxine. Hello to you, Pamela. Hello to you, Barbara, Jenny, Deborah, uh, Maeve, Jane. Hello to you, Kate in Dublin. Hello to you, Pamela in Surrey. I've got tons of you with it in your basket. Um, each strand should be 14 99 as a minimum as a minimum, but we're actually bringing you all three, loving the colors that you're actually getting here, that deep, sensational, sort of rich, vibrant saturation uh, that was discovered in 1988. Um, yeah, I mean, it was always gonna, It was always a potential to, you know, to, 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 to the mining mm. to actually stop. You just saw the extremities of that location. Every mm. year when uh, sort of mining was in full operation, in full swing, every year from around about 2010, less and less and less miners were returning because would you want to work in that i certainly <laughs> wouldn't freezing freezing cold and even then it's not a guarantee that you're going to come away with beautiful treasures like this um, it is going to be a sellout i can say that for sure wow um that there were what 50 did you say ross 50 to start yeah they, i mean way over half the stock has gone already keep on dialing through um i'm down to the final or less than 20 in actual fact if everybody checks out we're in, we're in single figures natural chrome dioxide, uh, dioxide times three worthwhile getting your uh, certificate of authenticity i think alongside this uh, morning to west midlands morning jm what time is the black opal on please um that is coming your way at 9:45. so it's uh, i've got an amazing opal showcase including and i'm going actually show you this beautiful round strand as well um so i'd be teaming that can you see the play of color look at that play wow. of color. it is just exceptional quality yeah this i'd be teaming alongside your black opal that's coming up 9 45 um okay now um the request for opalina okay uh, we are getting quite limited on your opalina, so I launched this beautiful gemstone. Um, it's completely and utterly natural. 
Dinosaur bone is coming up as well, and we were talking about real rarities here. Um, so this is not reconstituted. If you're a fan of turquoise, if you're a fan of chrysocolla, you'll love opalina as well. Um, a beautiful, beautiful gemstone, which, to my knowledge, I only know of one other uh, company um, that actually sells opalina, it, and they're in finished pieces of jewellery. So you'd be looking at one, maybe half one of these ovals that's, uh, you know, a cabochon um, framed in sterling silver or even your gold. Oh my goodness me, Ross, that's twelve ninety nine. <laughs> I launched Opalina. It was about seventy. It was about seventy pounds, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, so natural, completely natural, Peruvian. This beautiful uh, gemstone. Like I said, it's got a, a combination of gemstones. That's what achieves that beautiful visual pattern. Um, I launched it. I think it was a few, a few years ago now. Um, we don't have. We don't have. Yeah, twenty twenty. Over a year. Oh, okay. Uh, and I think I launched it in two thousand and nineteen, wasn't it? Um, might have even been before. Might have even before that. This one though um, has only been on our screens once. It's been under lock and key. I can't believe it's included in the actual uh, clearance deal. Goodness me, natural opalina. Um, for those of you that haven't seen this gemstone in person, I would strongly recommend getting it home. It's sensationally beautiful. Again, that's completely naturally occurring. Um, there's uh, there is only one other place that I could say, and I don't know if I should say. Am I allowed to say where I've seen opalina elsewhere? I think you should. I think I can. Yeah, I think I can. It's another shopping channel, basically, not our sister channel. Um, TJC, I think mm. they actually had a, a parcel of Opalina. Um, and, of course, their pieces were in complete uh, sort of finished pieces of jewellery. Um, but you were looking at probably one, one of those gemstones framed in precious metal. And, of course, it would have been more than $12.99. Um, real rarity, completely natural. Again, if you love this colourway, it will go beautifully with your... Sleeping Beauty Turquoise that's coming up a little bit later on, don't you think? Opalina and Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Yeah, they're coming up later on. Um, stay where you are. Again, lots of you getting involved on that one. Ross, where have you found the Opalina from? Wayne, said, Wayne gave you permission. Oh, really? Okay, I'm just going to research... Opalina, let's see if I can actually find it still um, elsewhere. Bear with. Opalina. And you have to put gemstone because I've just had a I've just had a clothing brand pop up. That's not the same thing. Um, okay, I can see it on Etsy there. Peruvian opal opalina. Um, oh, not really. There's not a huge amount on uh, you know of this gemstone. It is totally and utterly natural, though. I can't believe we're bringing it to you at twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. That's absolutely insane. Um, in your beautiful faceted rondelles, um, wonderful uh, sort of uh, uh, a combination of lovely colours. Um, opalina it is um, an incredible gemstone that actually has a combination of different minerals within completely natural it's not reconstituted like many of us would actually uh, assume um, rarity real rarity now if you want facets with your opalina this is the only opalina strand that we actually have in the entire business um, so yeah you know what to do yeah check out as fast as you possibly can um, on this opportunity again i'm still looking bear with me whilst you're whilst you're making your confirmations perhaps if i click on shopping there might something might come up um, i'm literally looking online very okay yeah it pops up on etsy so natural opalina you can actually see um, for a pair i'm looking at 36 pounds i'm looking at 55 pounds 56 66 42 Beautiful rondelles. There we go. Something exactly the same. Natural opalina gemstone. Thirty-six pounds and fifty-two pence. We're at twelve ninety-nine. That's literally a strand. Twelve ninety-nine. You've got twenty-nine minutes at this price tag, jewelry makers. So do make the most of that. Um, beautiful quality. And again, it would look so beautiful alongside your Sleeping Beauty turquoise. I, re I remember the launch of opalina, and like I said, it was. We had about four strands. I think it was once upon a time. Um, and they were all about 50, all about 50. Okay, it is time for, I adore this next opportunity. And it was with immense pride uh, and privilege that I actually launched this gemstone to our jewelry maker viewers. Um, because one of the things we love about gemstones is their beauty. I think another thing that we love about gemstones is the fascinating story that comes alongside. 
dinosaur bone, I don't think there is a better story. It's up next in clearance now. Now, I'm literally going to share the PowerPoint that I did uh, a couple of years ago when I launched uh, Dinosaur Bone to you all um, because I don't want you to think that this is literally you're going to get, I don't know, a, I don't know, a stegosaurus, a section of a, a stegosaurus thigh bone or anything like that. It's not, it's not that because let's be honest, that wouldn't be that beautiful to include in jewellery. But Mother Nature has a wonderful way of uh, uh, sort of uh, um, uh, replacing the beauty within dinosaur bone with gemstones. So what is dinosaur bone? Because it does cause quite a bit of confusion. Um, and somebody has actually, okay, somebody has actually asked that question, is it a type of jasper? Well, let's see if I can answer that for you. Okay, uh, we used uh, agatized dinosaur fossil for our dinosaur bone rings. Now, can I just say, that sentence makes it sound like it is man-made. It's not man-made, this is mother nature made. Agatized dinosaur bone is a rare form of fossilized dinosaur bone when the original fossilized bone has been remineralized or replaced um, with a silica-based silica compound such as agate, jasper, chalcedony or opal. It can be traced back to the dinosaurs that roamed the earth during the late Jurassic age around 150 million years ago. So if you can imagine this for a second, under the ground, <clears throat> you have your dinosaur bone that um, obviously the natural decaying process uh, and the bones themselves have actually become fossilized and replaced by a gemstone. So completely and utterly intact. So even down to the actual bone structure itself, remains completely intact. Um, so, uh, agatized dinosaur bone is a unique fossil where the original fossilized bone typ typically permineralized uh, with calcite has been remineralized or replaced with silica type compounds, as I said. This requires a particular type of environment referred to as an aqueous intrusion to replace the calcite on the original fossils with silicates. I know this sounds a little bit mind boggling, but basically just think that the bone itself has been replaced perfectly, identically with a gemstone. Uh, for an aqueous intrusion to occur, local uh, strata layers must be uplifted during, to, uh, 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 I can't even say that, uh, tertiary inclusion so that the silica-rich uh, superheated groundwater can flood these layers and force water and aqueous solutions into the microporous fossilized bones. So this is not something that happens everywhere. If you can imagine when dinosaurs did roam, you'd imagine that they probably roamed all around the planet, of course, um, but this occurred in only, uh, only a few locations. So it is a rare process that transpired on the Colorado Plateau 35 million years ago um, that, uh, that created the beautifully patterned agatized dinosaur bone. So solely in Colorado, this, this geological occurrence occurred so again, kind of defied the natural sort of decaying process um, and preserved perfectly your dinosaur bones, even down to the cellular-like structure within the gemstone. Only there did this actually occur. And they really are incredibly beautiful. So if you have a little look at this wonderful image that I'm about to show you next, I mean, we've got, here we go. Uh, so this is what dinosaur bone is all about. Now, if you imagine the bone structure itself, it's, it's, it's basically layers. I'm not a scientist, I'm not a biologist, but it has those cavities within the bone itself. So, so those beautiful reds and copper colors are now gemstones that have occurred within uh, those cavities of the gemstone and ultimately replaced uh, the actual sort of organic material itself. Again, I want to show you a few other pictures um, of, uh, of, I mean, that again, that is 
that is dinosaur bone. They also call it gem bone because it is exactly that. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> gemstones and bone sort of brought together as one. Super cool, isn't it? And absolutely beautiful to get that, uh, to achieve that patterning. Now, this is a gemstone. Um, I mean, what, what, what's the definition of a gemstone in accordance to the GIA? I think most of you actually know this. It has to be rare. Well, that occurred in one place on our planet. It had to have a dinosaur uh, actually sort of fall in that location. It has to, had to go through that very specific geological occurrence to, uh, to actually produce it. Um, so very rare. Beautiful, would we all agree? I mean, look at this. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. That looks like a work of art. I'm almost thinking about uh, oh, um, yes. the kiss, that painting. You've got those beautiful golds, isn't it? So incredibly beautiful. And is it durable? Absolutely. It's seven on the most scale. So this is something that you can absolutely uh, could incorporate into your jewellery wear. So, is it any surprise then that we're seeing lots of very high-end jewellery designers? I don't say lots, that's the wrong way to, a few very high-end jewellers, um, including dinosaur bone, into their collection. So here's a few pieces that I want to show you. Um, so this is, as you can see, dinosaur gem bone, um, American, obviously, because it actually formed only in that location, for just one single piece on a leather cord, love that design, though, at £425. Now, I mentioned, you, you mentioned in Tom, I actually spoke to him last night and said, Tom, we've got gem, we've got dinosaur bone on tomorrow. He's like, that's so cool. It is a <laughs> really, really cool gemstone and a conversation starter. Again, uh, this is from the same uh, jeweller, and just on a leather uh, sort of wrap around style bracelet, just one simple, uh, one super simple gemstone in that, £445. Uh, the next piece. Um, you said about cufflinks, yes, now that's on yeah. that, you might, uh, not on the high street. Um, beautiful, beautiful dinosaur bone, 90 pounds for those, really lovely, and I think actually with a little bit of know-how you could recreate them. Um, <clears throat> moving on to, uh, loving this piece, uh, 571 pounds and 63 pence. This is found in one lo location in the world, um, and what you're about to get is genuine and natural uh, dinosaur bone. So, okay, moving on to this last, I mean, I always reference oh. first dip. <laughs> First dibs, you can pretty much guarantee that they'll have a piece of um, a piece of that gemstone in their collection. Here it is, three thousand four hundred and thirty-six pounds and seventy-six pence. I do think they they choose random prices as well. I mean, you know, why not just round that up to three and a half grand? Let's be honest. Um, but so beautiful. Um, now we are bringing you. I can't believe we're bringing this to you in clearance. We have how many strands? Two, two, two strands. Um, I'm going to start with the rondelles. Remember those visual patterns. So, uh, so it is your dinosaur, the, the bones, uh, sort of cellular structure, if you like. Again, I'm not a biologist, but if you can imagine that cellular structure, perfectly preserved and replaced with genuine gemstones within. So it can be a jasper in answer to your question. It could also be agate. It could also be chalcedony, and it can also be uh, your opal. The auction is well and truly open. Now, you know, if you imagine, remember these patterns just here. Remember those earrings that you've just seen? Um, yeah, do you see the patterning? And do you see the patterning just here? That is, it's like for like quality that you're actually getting, but obviously significantly more in terms of carat weight. Now, we are different to first dibs. You make the jewellery at the end of the day. We are supplying you the, uh, with you the rarity, the absolute rarity. If you want a conversation starter, then Dinosaur Bone is absolutely it. Now, we only have 30 of these available. Collectors, connoisseurs are going to go nuts for this one. We're taking it to a brand new, I can't say clearance with Dinosaur Bone. It's so rare and it's so beautiful. It's almost got a, like a, a, an air of Mariam Jasper to it, don't you think? In the fact that you've got yeah. those lovely patterns it's, it's within. It's very intriguing. <laughs> I can't tell you exactly what dinosaur bone um, it was. But maybe it was T-Rex, maybe it was a Triceratops, <laughs> maybe it was a Brontosaurus, I don't know. Um, but you're, it's basically been preserved. It's that, 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 you know, that actual being has been preserved. A third of the stock has already gone. Not $79.99, although that's an amazing deal and already incredibly competitive with the pieces that I've shown you. Everybody pays that final low price tag. This is one locational. Dinosaur bone has not been found anywhere else. Remember, it was a very specific geological occurrence that created this gemstone. Twenty-four. Four pounds and ninety-nine pence. There were thirty, did you say, Ross? 
half the stock is gone. I mean, so beautiful. I, I, this is, certain gemstones I think have got the most fascinating story. Um, Moldavite, for sure. Single figures we are immediately. There is a queue on the phone lines. Please bear with us. If you can, I would direct you towards the app and the, and the website. There's no queues there. You know, Moldavite, super cool. Meteorite, super cool. Dinosaur bone? That's like the, that's like the ultimate, isn't it? Um, if you got involved with the amber clearance, then this is going to be the perfect combination. There are six left if you are unsuccessful on this opportunity and um, don't worry there's one more uh, one more strand there is one more strand and these are big by the way these are big beautiful beautiful pendants so okay let's go straight into the drops look at this a lot of you have shopped ahead on this one oh my goodness me look at the patterning you can't take these lower they're going lower than the previous strand Look at that marking. Isn't that cool? It's like bloodstone, isn't it? it? Yes, it is. That's extraordinary. A rare, beautiful, fascinating treasure that is the result of fossilised bone from diners, dinosaurs um, in which the cellular structure has been naturally replaced with a gemstone. Um, here's that image. There it is. This is natural. Ugh, earning itself the title Gem Bone. The most highly agatized, beautiful color and patterns is only found in one location on this planet, the Colorado Plateau. We have got a bigger quantity of this one, so if you missed that on the last, here is your uh, your second chance. Again, every single one. I don't want to. I don't want you to think there's just one which is beautiful. They all absolutely are. Um, in the state of Arizona. Do you know what? I found out, I, I'm off to Arizona at the beginning of uh, at the beginning of next year. How about that I actually look for more dinosaur bone for you? I mean, not physically. I don't think I'd have time to do that. But um, this could be a really cool gemstone that maybe we uh, sort of, we include on the back of the Tucson Gem Fair. It's found in that location. Um, now, we are price promising this lower than the previous dinosaur bone strand however you've only got 15 minutes to make your confirmation on this one completely and utterly natural this incredibly rare exciting gemstone that like i said the geological occurrence that occurred in that own sole location on our planet what on earth is that ross it's dinosaur bone it's dinosaur bone the last one sold out. This one, uh, yeah, this one is going to quickly, quickly fo uh, follow. Um, Ross said to me prior to today's show, he said, Elle, you like dinosaur bone, don't you? I went, do I? I think it's like one of the coolest gemstones to actually discuss um, and bring to our viewers. Yeah, I love to do it. Um, it's cool, isn't it, Ross? Is this the first time you've actually auctioned this gemstone? Oh. It, it's, it's amazing. Um, because of the unique and rare patterns and colours found in dinosaur bone or gem bone, whichever way you want to refer to it, add to that the fact that this is a dinosaur bone that has become fossilised and then add to the, the fossilisation the fact that it is gem quality material. Dinosaur bone has gained recognition as one of the world's greatest treasures and I can totally see why. You know, first dibs were actually uh, sort of asking, what is it, three and a half grand for those earrings. You could make those earrings or, or be inspired by those earrings multiple times over for under 20 pounds today you know that we are different to your sort of your average jewelers you know we don't we don't uh, we don't have the sort of marketing we don't have the celebrity endorsements or anything like that we bring you the savings direct from the source itself and that is a location that we travel to regularly certainly our gem buyers do um, so hopefully this will be uh, um, hopefully we'll see more uh, more dinosaur bone in the future imagine owning a piece of history that dates back to something that lived between 100 and 140 million years ago. That's basically what you are wearing. It, it, it is that perfectly preserved dinosaur structure um, replaced by the rarity of your gemstone. Fabulous. I mean, stay where you are on those phone lines. There's just a few of those remaining. I can't believe we're at 20 pounds. Um, 
less than 15 left. They are going to sell out, and you've also got a time restraint. Um, so they'll go back to the original. What was it? 60, 70 pounds or something like that. Um, they'll go back 79.99, um, and that's that's still an amazing deal, by the way. Okay, from one exciting gemstone immediately into another. Now these have never been on your screens before. Um, these are completely and utterly natural. Look at this beautiful necklace that Anne and Sue have created for us here. Um, faceted cubes. This gemstone formed within the Earth's mantle, so the really hot bit. You know, where you, you imagine all the lava and the heat and the pressure and the part you wouldn't want to dip your toe in. That bit, that bit, basically. That's where this gemstone actually uh, sort of uh, was created. And then, of course, with volcanic activity, it erupted and uh, appeared on the Earth's surface. So it's no surprise, it's no coincidence that peridot is found around volcanic activity. It's also diamond's best friend um, because they help one another. Oh, my goodness me, look at the length of that strand. They help one another another reach the uh, surface through kimberlite pipes i adore your faceted cubes mark don't they're, you they're just beautiful they're very elegant aren't the they? quality yeah. of this peridot this year actually has been amazing the, the the quality of the peridot has been outstanding look at that green really zesty and that's oh. just beautiful isn't it you want to eat it it is i agree yeah. with you the quality yeah. is getting better yeah. and better yes. and better yeah. So, you say in about, uh, yeah, it, it, 4.5 billion years ago, this gemstone actually was created. And you might be saying, hang on, that's older than our planet. Aha, uh -huh, yes. That's because it's actually remnants of our, um, our solar system's birth. So, technically, this is the oldest gemstone in the world. Uh, in our, not on our planet, that would be Zircon, but in our entire solar system. How cool is that? Oh, they found it on Mars, haven't they? They have, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, it was literally on the, the foot of, uh, sort of a space probe, a robotic right. space probe that yeah. travelled to Mars. Um, here we go. So this is an image, uh, and you can see there, uh, this is, a, uh, you might remember something like this when we're going back to your geography lessons here. So while our knowledge of the Earth's mantle is limited, there is evidence that some gemstones form in that mantle. This requires extremely high temperatures. So as you can actually see there, opal, uh, malachite are right at the top there. Um, then you've got what your sapphire, spinel and tanzanite quite deep right uh, right below uh, by the metamorphic rock there as well. Then you've got your sapphire and ruby. And right in the corner, underneath that sort of that uh, puddle of, uh, of magma, uh, you have your diamonds and your, uh, and your peridot. Those two gemstones are the only gemstones that form within that environment so extreme rarity um just to, yeah it takes into you know we, we look at we look at we look at tanzanite and think oh we're, we, we're traveling to thousands of meters below the earth's surface to unearth tanzanite this is way beyond that way way beyond that um peridot totally and utterly natural as well this beautiful um Vibrant green, perhaps the most notable example of gemstones forming in the Earth's mantle of peridot and diamonds. Geologists studied Arizonian peridot uh, deposits and believe that they were created on rocks that were uh, floating in the Earth's mantle up to 55 miles beneath the Earth's surface, wow. Earth surface. They were brought close to the surface by an explosive eruption with erosion and weathering, brushing them close enough to the surface to be discovered. So 55 Five miles. Um, there is your beautiful natural peridot, as you can see, this wonderful zesty chartreuse green. 55 uh, miles, that's my journey in from home to here. <laughs> that's how far this gemstone yeah. has actually travelled. That's <laughs> mental, isn't it, when you yeah, think of it like yeah. so. Um, if you are lucky enough to go to uh, sort of any uh, sort of peridot deposit, Hawaii, Arizona, China, another location, Pakistan, um, yeah, remember that this has literally been at the heart of our planet. Um, beautiful quality of colour that you're getting here. It's brand new in a premiere, and it is coming your way in a clearance deal. As you said, Mark, this is a long strand. That's beautiful. 38 centimetres. Yes. Cubes have been massive um, since the launch, and you said that, Mark. You, uh, think you, yeah. the, you can crisscross with cubes as well. Just, tr just, just treat it as a round. And because it has got these flat sides, you get much more of the gemstone showing through the netting. It looks beautiful. Ooh. Very, very beautiful. That sounds incredible. Yeah, yeah. With those facets as well. Yeah. Let's do it in one big price crash. 
not 29.99 look at that wonderful gorgeous chartreuse green color i remember when strands of peridot of this grade would be half that length half that length really in gems of distinction now we're bringing it to you double that and at half the price tag goodness me 14.99 um the drill holes let me just double check yeah they're generous you've got really sizable drill holes here so even some of your elastics will breeze through there um, a very, very slight graduation. So going back to what you were saying about the graduated mm. kiss cross. Yeah, it'd be perfect. Just I'm start just... from one end and just, just take them off the strand as they oh. go and you'll get that natural graduation. Beautiful, be beautiful. And actually, same, talking about kiss cross, Mark. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, that might work. Wow. I mean, we describe them as rondelles, but the most linear looking rondelles I've ever seen. Um, beautiful quality. And again, look at that stunning piece of jewellery that has been made by our in-house designers here. Full 360 degrees oh, of, uh, of, of, of faceted natural peridot. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yes. Really, really right. lovely, uh, lovely piece. Unfortunately, you can only get hold of this for seven minutes because, of course, it is the viewer's choice. Um, it's a premiere. It's never been on your screens before. After, uh, you know... Well, nine o'clock basically this will revert back to the 29 pounds and 99 price tag which is still amazing by the way for perido and um, it's this oh 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 i've just remembered something org 10. oh yes if you're buying this right now sorry sorry if you've already made your confirmations speak to our call center because you can actually get uh 10 off perido or spinel using the code org10 so that's an additional one pound fifty off this i mean seriously if you've made your confirmations already um yeah speak to our call center and i'm sure they can actually amend that amazing absolutely amazing this month's birthstone uh, a friend of mine it was her birthday yesterday was it yesterday or day before i don't know um anyway she was celebrating her 50th birthday and he, her husband came to me and said, Al, I want to get her a peridot ring. I spoke to Jake. He saw this most beautiful peridot solid uh, stone. And then he designed a piece of jewellery around her. He, she was blown away. It really is a gemstone that has a, a wow impact. Um, okay, let's do the rondelles. Um, let's do the rondelles now. Love this strand. Mark, this is so beautiful. 25 carats. Do you oh, see what I mean? Oh, right? yes. like, look how linear that is. They're very round, aren't they? Roundels, they should be called. Yes. Yeah, I agree. They're amazing. That's gorgeous. The quality of colour. Can I give you a... Just, should we just do a price promise? Because, you know, we've got about five minutes. Don't forget the wall of fame. Remember all 10. Remember to use that code. We're going to take this under £10 for you. <laughs> They should have been apparently twelve ninety nine. Look at that quality, beautiful brilliance. You can see, uh, you know, the the, the 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 similarity between your peridot and your diamonds. Beautiful brilliance, amazing clarity. Now, at the next price drop, remember you only have just over five minutes to make your confirmation. We should have been twelve ninety nine was really our, our on air guide price. Um, now Ross is just saying I might have pushed the boundaries a little bit and taken it maybe to 11 but it's clearance beautiful quality of colour here as well insane chartreuse green it's that perfect balance of yellow and green that you want within this gemstone don't forget to use your discount code as well oh my goodness $7.99 <laughs> that's unbelievable and you can still use that August 10 code. So August 10. If you're shopping with us online, um, oh my goodness, yeah. Make sure you include that. The phone lines have gone absolutely nuts on this one. I'm not surprised. Because in terms of... In terms of techniques, I mean, it's it, a rondelle is one of our most favoured here at Jewelry Makers. Uh, Jewelry Maker, the sort of versatility of it, of course. Um, you can only get hold of it at seven ninety nine for five minutes now, everybody. So please do make sure you check out. Likewise, coming up, and I know something that Mark's been working with is this gorgeous Ethiopian opal, black Ethiopian opal. Can you imagine those it's popped incredible. in between, just alternating? It's amazing. Oh, if you weren't uh, with us at the start of the show, shall I just quickly tell you again what this is going to? Come on, then, just keep it between us. Under ten pounds for that black opal strand. Under ten pounds. So that means you can get both of these for under twenty. 
That is crazy. I agree. For black opal and and and, and natural, uh, natural peridot, dinosaur bone. We did say that we saved the best till last, didn't we? For of your clearance, it's the final day, the final day of clearance. Um, Goodness me. Well done. Do check out your basket. Still so much to bring you. We'll leave the graphics in. Check, check them out for everything that's been included in today's show so far um, because viewers' choices on a time restraint. But up next, show off your wonderful creations. It's a water babe. Uh, starting us off this morning, number 155 is Kay Varley. Good morning to you, Kay. Oh, that's joyous. Uh, hi all at JM. Here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a sweet made from salmon-coloured shell pearl nuggets, white shell pearl beads, silver-plated moon charms, silver-twisted wire and, and uh, jump rings. All items are from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all. And that's from Kay. Number 156 is from Abby. Oh, pretty Abby. Uh, good morning, Jewelry Maker. This is my week's Wall of Fame. Please see my 28-inch uh, silk knotted necklace. It was made for a very appreciative lady good luck to all the waffers in wednesday's draw and thank you jewelry maker for not only the entertainment but the inspiration you really do keep us all sane lots of love abby but uh, likewise abby number 157 is from julia lees uh, hi all at jm this week's entry to the waff is a tree of life it's gorgeous too made from amethyst chips and seed bead borders thanks for the sale love julia in rubery uh 158 is aisha hello to you aisha oh that's beautiful very moana please find attached my entry to the wall of fame uh these were made using gemstones and essential findings from jewelry maker best wishes aisha um last but by no means least is from uh is jane um please find attached a double strand necklace made with neon appetite and teal uh, seed beads all from jewelry maker love to all and that's from jane loving those um julie has asked um if i can uh, if you could see the opalina yes no problem um we're squeezing it in because you've got a minute left which one you wanted to compare the two together oh, okay so they're, they're actually pretty much the same there you go Pretty much the same. Beautiful opalina. Um, loving that. Uh, and actually this, the length. There are very few remaining of your opalina strands now. And likewise with your dinosaur bones. So do check out those. Uh, still to come, we've got black opal. We've got beautiful sleeping beauty. We've got opal clearance coming up immediately after the break. We've got the announcement, of course, of Mark's uh, giveaway as well. We'll do that straight after the break as well. Um, beautiful strands in the lineup today, Mark, don't you think? <laughs> Amazing. I can't I've been believe very we're taking quiet today, I? Black I'm in opal gross. under ten pounds. <laughs> Join us after this. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win a hundred pounds credited to their account, and the runner-up receives fifty pounds. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU. And make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker.
Hi there, jewelry makers. I just wanted to invite you to come and join me every Monday between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. here at Jewelry Maker, where we're going to be bringing you some of the finest gemstones, some of the finest hand selected pieces just for you. But this will only happen every Monday between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. So come and join me only here at Jewelry Maker. continues and I tell you what if you are a lover like our William Shakespeare of this beautiful gemstone so fondly referred to as the queen of gems then this showcase is absolutely for you now ultimately uh, opal actually forms from silica that has become tra trapped between cracks and crevices uh, within the actual host rock that uh, uh, sort of uh, develops over millions upon millions of years. And when your silica spheres are perfectly aligned, um, and I think I showed you that image yesterday, that's when you see this beautiful, beautiful optical effect. It is a complete spectrum of colors. Some colors are, are rarer to see in, uh, than others, particularly from certain locations, not in the location that we're taking you to however that's one of the traits that Ethiopian opal actually does possess so this image here will actually show you um, what the most ideal uh, opal will look like in a microscopic form so um, see how they're almost perfectly aligned almost like you would imagine building a house that's basically silica and that is what is responsible for producing this basically can you see uh, there's an amazing quality uh, Ethiopian opal at the bottom of your screen under uh, magnification and I can't even say that number 0 0.0000001 inches wide um, are your little silica spheres but do you see how they're, they're almost they almost look like a computer game don't they they're that perfectly uniformed and um, when they are that you know that that uniform that's when you see this beautiful uh, display of spectrum of colors um, but particularly in the deposit that was discovered in Ethiopia. Ethiopia opal was found um, in the mid 1990s, 1996 to be exact. Um, and immediately uh, started challenging the, the deposits from Australia. Australia had always been the dominant force um, of location for this, uh, for this gemstone, but immediately Ethiopian opal started to challenge that because it possessed lots of characteristics that, uh, that Australian opal doesn't have. Australian opal tends to be quite opaque. Ethiopian opal has beautiful qualities like jelly, ice, um, crystal opal, meaning that hydrophane, meaning that you see play of color not just on the surface, you see it right the way through. It also displays some of the rarest colours, colours that many Australian opals would only aspire to actually see, and that's the flashes of reds. Uh, and by the way, that's the distance, basically. I think it's the furthest distance that red uh, sort of travels for us to see that wonderful colour. So we are talking extreme rarity. And in from 1996 to the current day, um, Ethiopian opal has absolutely uh, sort of maintained a popularity um, maybe even surpass the, 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 the popularity of Australian opal. One of our acquaintances in the opal market um, was asked the question, um, you know, could have answered Lightning Ridge, could have answered Cuba PD opal, um, could have answered Matrix, all of those varieties. Uh, we, when we asked the question, we said, okay, so what opal would you be purchasing right now? Have a guess what his answer was. Ethiopian opal. That was his answer. So it, not, not, the, not the opal that he had. He said you should be buying Ethiopian opal because it's limited and the quality is insane. Um, now, we have a little showcase to bring you in clearance, and I'm going to start with the most insane round strand. I mean, if you are an opal lover, this is completely and utterly natural. No enhancement whatsoever. The more play of color, the more uniform those silica spheres, which I know we can't visually see, but when you see the amount of colors that full firework display you know that's what they look like uh, under uh, under magnification now this strand is 
incredible, absolutely incredible. I don't even think I need to actually shelter it. Um, play of color, look at that. Even here in the studio, you can see those beautiful displays. Now, unfortunately, because of the quality that you're getting here, um, we have 20 of them available. Uh, 20 of these available. Mark, you've been working with this, haven't you? I've worked with the, the black. With the black. Would you team it with it? I've put some um, the Sleeping Beauty. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, the Sleeping Beauty yeah. with this will look amazing as yeah, well. Works, there yeah. are, oh, oh, that's right, there are only 20, so unfortunately right. we couldn't give this to you. Um, now, everybody, everybody, you've had that stock warning. I don't have 20 today and uh, 20 for another, uh, another date or another show. That's it. The full quantity that we actually have are this beautiful, uh, beautiful round graduation, natural Ethiopian opal. The, gra uh, the graphics are live. Go, go, go. Uh, again, you know, Ethiopian opal, it was a, a discovery uh, quite recently in 2014, just west of the main seam in Ethiopia. Um, that was unearthing quality like this, that hydrophane beauty, almost like a, almost like a snow globe of, of, of natural opal. These are already getting snapped up, everybody, even without actually bringing your clearance deal onto your screens. If you love opal, you're in exactly the right place. And as I said, I mean, it's this gemstone that William Shakespeare said is the ultimate queen of gems. At 59.99, I don't need to do that. Look, you can see the play it's of amazing. color, can't you? Even without me sheltering it from the multiple lights that we have here in the studio completely and utterly natural 59.99 for this grade i was saying only yesterday mark that a strand of this quality would have been about two three it years ago Absolutely. it would have been 130 mm. pounds it would have been wouldn't Absolutely. it Absolutely. Now, That's just beautiful. And the fact that we don't have to shelter it just shows you the quality Absolutely. that is getting better isn't it it's i mean incredible. imagine that Yes. Here in the studio, Opal hates our studio mm, because yeah. there's over, literally over a hundred different light sources. But when you have that quality, uh, that presence of play of colour, you know that it is truly exciting. Half the stock is already gone. And we are not staying here. It is clearance, even though there are only 20 of them available. Uh, 10 carats of beautiful graduation. I would literally just restrand that, I think, onto something like your Flex, right? If you want black opal, we're bringing you, don't forget, that massive mega auction of black opal um, from the same location as well. Beautiful displays of play of color. Um, we are over allocated, but we are still going to take it to that clearance deal for you. Under 50 pounds for this level of quality of opal. There were 20 of these, 39.99. <laughs> I mean, comparing with ourselves, you know, two, three years ago, this would have absolutely been 139 potentially. Yeah. And that would wow. be an incredible deal. Get this home, see the quality of play of color, which is the number one valuing factor of this gemstone. The more play of color, the more desirable the opal actually is. Uh, this is the only ice opal strand that we have available in the clearance. And you can see it's ice opal is, it's different to jelly opal or crystal opal. You've actually got a sort of a, a presence of white within the actual gemstone whilst maintaining that transparency and maintaining Maintaining also um, our ability to see play of colour deep down into the heart of the gemstone. I mean, literally, it's that just for kicks. Look at that. Look at the beautiful neon greens, vibrant reds, beautiful blues. Final four of these available. I don't want you to miss out on this. It's the only ice opal. We have got an amazing opal uh, showcase for you coming up. So if there's shapes, cuts, cabochons, whatever it is you're looking for, um, you can always text in and we'll try and bring those to air. Don't leave it to your baskets because there's three. 24 of you have that final three in your baskets. It's not guaranteed until you make that confirmation. Hello to you. Uh, Julia Nottinghamshire, do you have any ice opal cabochons, please? This is the only ice opal that we have, I'm sorry. I do have cabochons that I can actually bring you, I think, um, but not in ice opal, sorry. Um, it is incredibly, incredibly rare. Um, there's two of them left within the vault. Sorry about that, Julie, but we will bring, uh, we'll bring you those cabochons throughout the course of this hour. Michelle, Janice, Barbara, Claire, Alicia, Louise, Michelle, Maeve, Maria, London, Jenny. Um, I've got uh, SJ, hello to you. It's Helen, Helen in Suffolk, Helen in Swansea. I've got Jay. North Yorkshire, Rebecca, Gloria, hello to you and Merthyr Tidville. Uh, Janice, new customers, Gillian, Maxine, Wendy. Who's going to take that final one? Oh, you can't leave one of these beauties going back to the vault. 
you don't see rounds absolutely you definitely a gemologist will say anything over 80 percent play of color is regarded as exceptional i mean that is without doubt over 80 percent play of color amazing 31 of you have that final wow. one in your basket good luck i'll keep everything crossed i'll keep everything crossed or it might well have just sold um there's a delay between me uh, conf our, our, in our system and here in the studio. Um, good luck, good luck. Now, lots of you are sending in one message. Do I know what this is? No. What time is the black opal on, please? I'm not surprised. Okay, right. I have 181 black opal opportunities, but we have also given you a price pledge. Well, the £20 that you've just saved on that opal, you can get a couple of strands of this one. You can get a couple of strands <laughs> of black opal yeah, under £10. Yeah. Pounds. yeah. I mean, uh, just so exciting to be able to promise uh, a single finger price well. tag. Gosh. It's coming up in about 15 mm. minutes' time. Um, you're going to need to be quick on that one uh, because look at that. Beautiful firework displays. Um, okay, so for those of you that asked for your cabochons, now these technically speaking aren't cabochons, but they are free forms, which I love. The kind of thing that you would find um, in... Uh, in, in a museum. Now, we've brought these to air. They have actually closed at $59.99 previously. Um, they, I mean, you could, you could just pop some of your milliput, you could uh, use some of your sterling silver wire, etc. Look at that play of colour. So, this is how Mother Nature intended your opals to actually be. Um, these gorgeous organic shapes look flashes of reds, oranges, greens, and they'll all do that, by the way. Um, it just so happens that I actually picked this one up here. So described as pebbles, beautiful pebbles. Look at that. Uh, very, uh, it's quite almost wow. whimsical, isn't it? I think this uh, this parcel. So not a single facet um, influence to these. All about how Mother Nature intended. Uh, there's a big trend of your sort of raw or unfaceted gemstones. We are going to take this to the lowest ever price tag. Um, by some distance, in actual fact, previously closed at £59.99. Should we half it? 50% <laughs> back into your pocket. We, it's the final day of clearance here at Jewelry Maker, so let's bring you. Oh, look at that. There's the red. £29.99. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I love the irregularities of these wonderful shapes. Again, you've got like little landscapes, I suppose. Um, a beautiful Ethiopian opal. And again, you look, at the, you look at that and think, okay, yeah, that's a really lovely white opal. You won't believe the play of color that I'm actually seeing um, on these. Can you see the green? I'm really trying to. Um, here, in, uh, here in the studio, as I said, it doesn't do opals any favors at all. That's the same parcel that I actually have um, before me. Okay, stay where you are. Moving on to... Uh, this strand's gorgeous. And could we physically get any more on this strand if we tried? I don't know if we could. It is a beautiful parcel. I'm just going to twist these together so you can see as many of the opals as possible. It's a long strand. Um, you have that... I'm going to say this is actually bordering on ice opal, actually, because you have that sort of white colour. Well, that's fantastic, because that does mean that you're not going to pay... You know, it's not the ice opal price tag. Totally natural again. Look at those flashes. <laughs> Firework display. The aurora borealis trapped almost within the gemstone. We say that about labradorite, but we also say it about um, Ethiopian opal. What's that? Okay. There's the aurora borealis. There we go. We were thinking the same thing there, Ross. We're in tune with one another. Look at that. It's almost like that beautiful visual uh, phenomena is within the gemstone itself. They are jam-packed onto this strand as well. Your beautiful little drops. 18 carats that you're getting um, and every single one, fine quality. We showed yesterday some photographs of uh, Ethiopian opal jewellery, you know, commissioned and complete with uh, VSI diamonds and, uh, of course, your 18 carat gold. They were like 1,500 pounds upwards, just one individual cabochon. 29.99 for an entire parcel so i mean would we all agree this has actually got more play of color than that, that that's a lovely ring don't get me wrong it is lovely uh, but it just shows um opal is reserved for you know diamonds 14 mm. karat gold 18 karat gold quality um, and you're getting a full parcel of 29.99 only uh, 
Um, stay where you are on those phone lines. Now, if you love that, but you pr particularly enjoy the golden colours, oh, I have a pair of earrings that are the Ethiopian opal. It's my favourite location of opal, actually, um, that I bought many years ago from our, what was our US channel. And could have gone for the sort of white body colour, could have gone for the crystal colour, but I lent, lent towards the wonderful gold colours that you can achieve, um, you can acquire in its natural form. Um, if you love gold body colour, then this, ooh, is for you. So... Now, have a little look at this. Diamonds. Look at the colour of the opal. That wonderful sort of enigmatic yellow colour. Um, and of course, it's like a honey colour in the centre. Uh, surrounded with VSI diamonds and 18 karat yellow gold. £1,292. Now, we have never taken this beautiful parcel strand any lower than what's on your screens right now and absolutely it shouldn't look at the spectrums of color um this only launched this year so it's actually one of our new uh, opal uh, acquisitions um the quality that you're getting here and again I i've got no com i've got no qualms about comparing with with sort of high-end jewelry like the, the, like you've just seen i will mold i'll count them for you in a second but each and every single one could be you know, surrounded in your high-end precious metals, your, your golds, your platinums, etc. You are purchasing during, wow, a clearance deal, £20 back into your pocket. It's a huge cluster of gorgeous, golden, natural Ethiopian opal. If you love um, the warmth that you actually get from these honey tones, um, then start dialing through, because actually very few, let me just, yeah, this is the, probably the only strand I actually have with such a, a golden body colour that hasn't been dyed. These haven't been dyed or sugared or treated. It's all Mother Nature's incredible doing. I love it. I mean, Mark, um, have you got a sort of favourite colour of opal? I think I love all of them. Every, every, every colour has a different, has a different something to offer, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You just use the word sugared. What does yeah. that mean? It's a treatment for oh, opal. You right. can actually, uh, yeah, you can treat opal. Uh, it's, they put it in like a sugary solution uh, oh, over right. a period of time and it changes the colour of the opal. I've yeah. never heard of that. Yeah. Uh, sugary, you know, or you can do smoking as well. It's a treatment. Yes, yes, but, yes. Um, this oh. hasn't been sugared. This is no. totally natural. Hello, Helen, saying hi. I love the show. Can I ask Mark, what would you make with this opal or this or, or the opal? Well, I think, I think these are large enough to treat a standalone pendant. And looking at this, the, the drill hole looks large enough to take memory wire. Yeah. So I would just have one necklace memory wire and just have one sat in the nape of the neck. Oh, beautiful. Or failing that, you could, you could get the rounds that we had earlier. You could do a macrame dragonfly and use <gasps> these as the wings. That would be beautiful as well, wouldn't the iridescence it? of yeah, the wings, be that would be amazing. Yes. Look at how beautiful. Okay, wow. let's move on. Love that idea. Mm. Um, okay, now, the deal of the day is uh, Grand Digirite. We are talking very, very high-end gemstones today, aren't we? Like I said, we've saved the best. We went and saved the best. For last. You, okay. <laughs> I know, the voice of an angel. <laughs> um, look at that. This is beautiful. I adore this cut of your oval. What were you about to say then, Mark? Go on, you can say it. I won't be offended. No, no, no. I won't, no, it, no, it's all right. No, go on. Well, you just said you saved the best for last. I've just had to check with... with um, Lucy, because I've been given a gemstone here that I've no idea what it is. So I've just had to ask Lucy for confirmation. Mm -hmm. And it's a gemstone that I have never seen before. Didn't know we did. And um, it's just, I've just absolutely... Would you care to re reveal? Green tanzanite. Yes, yes, I know. Fancy tanzanite. I know, it's coming oh up in the tanzanite hour. Word. Yeah, that would look amazing with this strand. It would, yeah. Amazing. Yes, fancy tanzanite coming up. We've also got yellow wow. tanzanite in that hour as well. So very, very rare. Yes. Um, there's only two, one of each of them. Wow. Look at this beautiful, beautiful faceted wheel strands. Just literally, I, you know, this and the length of sterling silver chain across the front of the decolletage. This is absolutely beautiful. Play of colour in abundance. Um, yeah. 
that I mean that's not the best photograph of uh, of this strand look at that beautiful flashes of greens reds yellows loving that graduation as well um wow a gorgeous gemstone what you're thinking again I look across <laughs> and I can see what what you're thinking Mark? Well, I'm just thinking when um if you oh my lord wow that's amazing <laughs> 39 is silly. What about what on earth? Again, oh, this should be 99.99. Those of you that have purchased strands like this at around about 100 pounds, you've still got an amazing deal. I could walk you to a jeweler's in Stratford upon Avon that really specialises in Ethiopian opal, and and something like this, if they even do that carat weight in a necklace, I'm absolutely sure would be the high three figures. Wow. Absolutely sure. 24.99, and um, the deposit of Ethiopian opal that is actually coming from the ground is limited. Like I said, the main seam is is run. Out. They no longer actually abseil down the side uh, to uh, extract this gemstone. Um, it's a it's a small location that they found in 2008 and then again in 2014. Uh, but what they do say is that whilst the quality is absolutely incredible, mm. it's limited. It's no way near the supply that they first saw in 1996. 24.99. I'm sorry for shouting, but that's crazy, isn't it? That's amazing. Um, absolutely crazy uh, don't forget we have actually got we've actually got the black opal from this very location as well coming your way guaranteed price pledged at under 10 pounds <laughs> the rarity of ethiopian opal is truly truly exciting now i'm going to quickly show you a short video about uh, the location itself i've got five or six more ethiopian opals to bring you all going here we go i'm going to say it i'm going to say it for the first time ever under 20 pounds This photograph that you've seen on television in all the books for the last eight years. The actual opal is in the, in the central seam here. And uh, we're actually going to go and film now for the first time ever with a movie. And let's go and meet the people and see how they bring us this just sensational gemstone. This next strand cannot go under 20, seriously. It is absolutely incredibly beautiful. Yeah, it's faceted. Rainbow colors pour out of this strand. Literally pour. The last time this next opportunity was on air, it closed at an amazing 39.99. And it has gone even higher than that. I've just said this is going under 20, and I said that before I even saw the strand, for the first time ever, and probably the only time. I'm going to give you a 30-second countdown. There are 50 of these available in the world. Look, 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 just imagine, like so. This is high-end. This is exceptional quality Ethiopian opal. Do you see where I'm coming from? The colours literally pour out of your precious opal. Oh my goodness me, that's beautiful. 60 seconds, we're gonna make it fair for absolutely everybody. If you're shopping with us online or the phone, um, that's your call to action, basically. The graduation, the faceting, the play of color, I mean, it's all absolutely on point. 15 seconds, we are going to, I can't believe this is going under 10 pounds, Ross. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What did I say? 50? Oh, I didn't say under 10, did I? I didn't mean that. I meant I was thinking 50 in my head. I can't believe this is going under 20 pounds. Look at the quality. Look at... Oh, actually, Ross, alongside your black opals that are coming up, can you just alternate those two? You could get both of those under 50 pounds. 10% of the stock is immediately gone. Um, uh, Ross has just said the computer system is actually not physically letting me do it in one price crash, so he's actually overriding the system. Um, wow. This is the guide price, yes. He says, I wouldn't have closed there. We'd have taken it lower if we can. We know it's been to 39.99, but that's our guide. We have to bring that to, uh, we have to start with that. Okay, under 20 pounds for you. Look at those beautiful um, displays of color, completely natural. It does look isopal because you have that sort of purity, that almost uh, sort of aura about this natural color. 10 carats of exceptional faceting. Again, I'm just, look at that. 
I'm just rolling this back and forth so you can see that constant performance of play of color. 20 pounds only. There were 50 of these available. Uh, I, I, and as soon as I picked it up, I just thought, look at the colors. It's pouring out of these beautiful opals. And that's completely and utterly natural. Any jeweler that actually has Ethiopian opal in their collection would not be bringing you a 10 carat purchase uh, for, for, for 20 pounds. They wouldn't be, would they? Um, even if we said 100 pounds, that I don't think that would even be possible, especially for this quality and grade. Any gemologist that you speak to that references uh, opal, anything over 25%, uh, sorry, anything over 85% play of color is regarded as an exceptional quality opal. You have that in its droves. And we're at 20 pounds. Absolutely amazing. Do check out those baskets. It's getting quite limited. And we've got a lot of multi buyers. It's gone. It's gone. Sold out. Well done. Okay. No, again, this you've price promised this under 20 though. So sure, that can't go under 20. Ah, oh, there's 22 of these available. You saw how quickly that last round sold out. Oh, can you imagine just a cascade of Ethiopian opal? Take a little look at the description, Ross is saying, okay. We've closed this opal opportunity. And, you know, we say this opal like it's a single opal. It's, you're getting a parcel of opals here. We've closed this opal strand at $29.99 before. We're going lower than the closeout deal. Oh, look at this. Look, look at this color. Straight away, my body language tells you the quality of the opal. Oh, my goodness me. Do you have a favorite color? Well, in opal? Mm. I mean, mm, I don't know. I love them all. <laughs> I do love the reds because of the rarity, I suppose. Yeah. But I do love the blue. Mm. I like the blues. Yeah. And the green, oh, I don't know. Look at that flash of green. It's like ammonite, isn't it? The colors you get with ammonite. It is. Mm. Again, uh, I can tell you that there might be something on the horizon with Amalite. This would be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Under £20. Goodness me, the closeout deal was already amazing, wasn't it? And they are literally shoulder to shoulder. Look at that. I can't. And if I was to move along the strand, by the way, play of colour. I'm not, I'm not just singling uh, a sort of a, a selection out here. You've got that quality consistently from end to end. Beautiful golden light color in this as well. There are only five of these left. Check them out. A delicate graduation. That's amazing, isn't it? Uh, they've gone. I'm not surprised. Congratulations. Uh, okay, moving on to... Oh, now tell me we're going back up in price. Ross, look how long this strand is. <gasps> this is the perfect addition to your black opal. Because this is rondelles, but not faceted rondelles. Can I twist them together? Oh, my goodness me. Look how amazing it looks with your black opal. I think this one is going to be one of the fastest selling. Ah, oh, the first opals I've completely sold out. That one under £20. This one is going to do exactly the same. 10% instantaneously, 20% instantaneously gone. A third of the stock has gone. Look at that play of color, beautiful rondelles. It is that Aurora Borealis captured within this gemstone um, being produced in these wonderful, uh, 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 gone. Is it sold out already? That, that sold out in 27 seconds and we had quantity of that, by the way. The black opal is still to come. I mean, Oh, I love this. I think this is such a beautiful, beautiful strand. Because you're getting um, 19, did you say? Yeah. Um, no, you're actually getting a combination of body colours. Because opal, if you think about the difference between Australia, uh, Australian opal and Ethiopian opal, firstly, I think it's the, the opacity uh, which, we, which we witness. Um, but actually, if you just stay in the Ethiopian opal uh, sort of location, you get variations of crystal opal, jelly opal. You can have uh, variations of your play of colour as well. Uh, but the actual body colour variations um, are really uh, you know, quite something too. 
uh, this is a strand uh, that covers all angles. So you are getting your, you're getting your ice whites, you're getting your crystal opal, and you're getting your honey opal, which again has not been dyed, has not been treated. It's all Mother Nature's doing. Why have I removed that board? I don't know. Um, so I love this strand. It's going to be one of my. It's one of my favourites. I'm going to say probably of the day. I love it. I think it's beautiful. You've got really warm colours um, of natural Ethiopian opal. Look how stunning that is. It's a long strand. Again, we're taking this under £20? No. <laughs> of course it's never been under £20. Of course. You've seen how quick every single uh, Ethiopian opal under £20 deal has sold out. Oh, my goodness me. Uh, for all of you that know maybe October babies, imagine being able to gift the luxury of Ethiopian opal. Ah, oh, and, and you know, and, and you've just invested as little as twenty pounds. I have fifty of these available. Um, you're not sacrificing play of colour for those sort of main body colours. Quite the opposite. You've got the full blaze is almost uh, harlequin play of colour in some of these. Um, every single under twenty pound strand has flown out, and I don't think this is going to be any different. Perfectly mirror image. So restranding this, just popping it onto um, some of your beading thread. Amazing. Um, under 20 pounds are you really doing that Ross it's never been at that price tag I'm gonna sort of place it on the board and tilt it forward look at that so what's that statistic that we say Ross anything over 80% play of color is regarded as exceptional I can't find a single millimeter that hasn't got that beautiful display um, oh my goodness there were there were how many 50 I, I, do you know this? I've loved the clearance. I know Ross, you're a big fan of clearance as well. But we absolutely know and understand and appreciate that Ethiopian opal should not be under twenty pounds. It does make it more difficult for us actually moving forward because you know people don't want. I don't want your expectations to be here. We can't sustain Ethiopian opal at under £20. We literally can't. There are so many of you there. Look, sold out, sold out, sold out. That's on our website live as we speak. And this is looking like it will be this, uh, you know, finish uh, that way imminently. Sharon, Teresa, Judith, hello to you. I've got Sheila, Jenny, London's bought three. Maeve, Margaret, Lisa, Lynn, hello to you, Dahlia. Hello to you, Yorkshire. Hello to you, Christine. Uh, Yorkshire, West Midlands. Hello, Stephanie, Sharon, Cumbria, Judith. You're there as well. Amazing. Amazing multi buyers on this opportunity never has it closed at under 20 pounds nor should it close at under 20 pounds there's beautiful golden colors and the, and the reality is with Ethiopian opal I think in particular you know because you don't just get like that little dusting of play of color that you find in some locations you've got this wonderful sort of and an eruption uh, of, of, of spectrum colours. It complements every single gemstone. So, for example, Mark, the black opal that we've got coming up <laughs> within this hour, um, it will look amazing. Uh, your Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Incredible. It will but, look amazing. And, and something as, 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 as bright as something like Peridot, it holds its own. Yeah, it does. You know, it's just, it kind of amplifies yeah. the colour within the opal, doesn't it? They were amazing. 50 and we're straight down to 6. This is it. It's got chatoyancy as well, doesn't it? It's got oh. stripes and layers. It's oh, beautiful. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh. There are four left. And 43 of you have it in your basket. So I'm, I'm rubbish at maths, but even I can figure that's not going to work out. Wow. Um, okay. In, um, in the way of Ethiopian opal, we only have now in your clearance two further opportunities. Don't forget your black opal. Um... Again, like how on earth? Ross, this is not going. It's not there, is it? No. Again, our studio lighting does not do this gemstone any favours, and yet still, you get, you get this. This is the last faceted Ethiopian opal strand that I have for you. The play of colour, uh, it's going under £20. And we're not even stopping at 19 <laughs> like, What? I'm literally repeating what Ross is saying in my ear, Mark, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. As soon as I say it, it is, it is instant regret. Wow. So the 
In 2014, a location, a very small deposit of Ethiopian opal was revealed. Gosh, you've got purples in this opal strand. And they referred to it as uh, a sort of a location that produced hydrophane. This gemstone actually occurs from silica, you know, that has fallen between cracks and crevices of host rock. And over millions of years, millions of years, uh, this gemstone has, uh, has formed. With firework displayed, teemed with semi-transparency, Ethiopian opal has a dominant red colour, which other locations around the world can only hope and wish for. In 2014, that location, whilst exciting, we knew it was only going to give us small offerings. You're getting 11 carats of hydrophane quality with that dominant red colour in this strand. And I'm saying it's going under 20. And not just by a little bit. Australian opal has been the most dominant force in the opal market for over 100 years. And during that time, as much as 95% of worldwide opal production was from Australia itself. That changed quickly in the mid-1990s when the treasures of Ethiopian opal erupted onto the market. It is no longer in the wake of Australian opal. Ethiopian opal sits toe-to-toe -to -toe in popularity and price per carat. An Australian opal dealer, a friend of ours here at Jewelry Maker, actually said, where should we be sourcing our opal from? Right now. He actually said, not Lightning Ridge, not Cuba PD, Ethiopia. Every single penny, every single pound we are taking this lower. Oh, my goodness me. We could stop at 1999. Faceted, natural, I'm going to say again, you've got that ice white colour here, uh, whilst it doesn't say that on the graphics, look at the performance, and that is exactly the same strand that I have here in the studio, the difference is, um, and, and Jake said it the other day actually, Mark, look, these lights, they're fantastic to make you and I look good apparently, that's what it says, it, it makes work. Us, it, he said that's so you look good, I said, okay, yeah, sometimes can we turn them down a little bit, um, but not gemstones, they no, don't help certain no, gemstones, no. opal being probably the, you know, the, the prime one, seven $17.99. I love the pinks in this. Yeah. It's really unusual, isn't it? It's beautiful. My laptop oh, battery no. just died. Nearly <laughs> missed out. Thank goodness I plugged in in time. Amazing, Jenny. Don't you hate it when that happens? It's always <laughs> when you when you need it the most. Um, keep those messages coming through. Are you still going to do the turquoise clearance show at 10 a.m.? Absolutely. It's coming up after the deal of the day. Don't worry. We'll squeeze everything in. Don't you worry. Um, uh, single figures on this opportunity, actually talking about laptops and uh, sort of uh, you know, <laughs> modern technology not keeping up. That's how many we've got left of these available. $17.99 for Ethiopian Opal. Um, amazing. I mean, if you're on Grand Digirite, that's coming up as your dealer day in 20 minutes. You've got your Sleeping Beauty turquoise. You've got some beautiful, beautiful jewellery uh, made up for your deal of the day by R. Ann and Sue. And you do get both strands. This is sold out. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Um, so, yeah, if you love Granted, you're right. I mean, it's such a high-end uh, piece, high-end gemstone, the third rarest gemstone in the world. Um, coming up as your deal of the day. Imagine using Granted, you're right, with your Ethiopian opal. Be amazing, wouldn't it? I'll put it with the black, I think. Yes. I love this black. Love I think that. It's extraordinary. Hello to you, Sally, saying, uh, when are you doing the black opal, please? Uh, Sally, uh, uh, nice to see Mark on the final part of a great weekend. Oh, bless you, Sally. Thank it's going to be, uh, yeah. Thank you. Like I said, it's one of my favourite songs, that is. We went and stayed. Is it Carly Simon that sang that? I think it is. The best still loves that one. I think it's in the voice of an angel. <laughs> uh, OK, what, what do you want me to do now, Ross? Oh. Oh. Uh, you tell me. I mean, we, we could either do the star by. I tell you what. I'm going to bring you one blue opal opportunity and then the black opal is coming up immediately after. Now, one of the most successful collections uh, over on our sister channel, I, I can't believe this, John, it's amazing, um, was 
and Ross, you'll remember this as well. Uh, one of the most successful collections that our sister channel did was a rainbow opal. It was always Ethiopian opal, I believe, um, that would go through a treatment process. They used to color the opal. And like I said earlier on, there are lots of, uh, sort of techniques in actually doing that. Now, you can get naturally colored opal. However, it becomes almost a, a sort of opaque. It doesn't have um, quite the play of color performance. Um, this is a prime example of why we should never turn our nose up at gemstones that have actually undergone a treatment process because they are electrifying and um, like I said a huge collection that our sister channel actually put together um, was uh, the rainbow opal collection now we have a strand um, they always used to sell out we brought you colors of blues pinks reds oranges even and they always sold out they were particularly popular certainly on our USA channel this is paradise blue and again do you see how you get that play of color this is the only strand of paradise blue opal I launched this not that long ago yeah the pink sold out didn't it um, I launched it what was it a month or so ago it wasn't long was it two months ago two months ago month and a half there we are um, beautiful look at that tropical paradise blues and yet still we can see those gorgeous play of color displays within your Ethiopian opal 29.99 your black opal is coming up I think I'd actually sort of alternate between the paradise blue and the black I think that would be a gorgeous piece um, okay it's it's pretty much sold out uh, is it time then loads of you loads of you have been messaging in about this next star buy it's completely flawed our mark he does he can't believe we've price promised it it's going that way there's 101 exactly to be uh, available it's going under 10 pounds um once upon a time, we used to say that black opal only ever existed in Australia, uh, and then recent discovery, well, 1996, Ethiopian opal was actually found. Um, but, yes, of course, you can get black opal from this location too. And whilst there no, is no specific grading system um, for well, opals generally, black opals absolutely, there are a few things to actually consider. Now, it's got to be the perfect balance if you can have that perfect, rich, deep, midnight black color and still see the most explosive displays of spectrum colors in your opal, then it is very much desired. Now, you can purchase natural black opal. I'm not going to say this is natural. It's, I know it will have undergone a treatment process, and that's absolutely fine. But natural black opal is actually in the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world and very, very, very expensive. So if you wanted to, if, if you want to sort of fork out tens of thousands of pounds, then you can do that on natural black, black opal. But we have means and tech uh, developments and techniques have actually been influenced to gemstones so we can replicate that beauty. Now, I want to just talk to you just quickly about how black opal occurs. Now, because it, it is still the same, forms from silica spheres, um, and, but what is it that would turn a, an opal from that sort of maybe uh, crystal color, ice color, um, or white to this beautiful deep black naturally? Let's talk about that. So I wanted to show you this, uh, uh, the GIA, the GIA wrote about, did you get that? Um, the GIA wrote about Ethiopian opal, first uh, sort of revealing beautiful uh, black opal. There we go. So there's a title, New Deposits of Black Opal in Ethiopia. So that's the GIA. That's who I'm trained with, Gemological Institute of America. Um, d you know, in 2014, there we go. So again, it's that deposit that I was discussing uh, earlier on. Um, so talking about black color. Now, just quickly, I'm going to skirt over. I'm not going to read the whole paragraph, but I want to actually show you. So opal was first discovered in Ethi Ethiopia in the early uh, 1990s. Specimens from um, Mezezo uh, in the historic uh, Shiwa province consisted of uh, nodules of uh, reddish-brown volcanic rock and orange-reddish-brown and chocolate-brown precious opal inside. Now, I, 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 whether this is intentional, during, whilst I was reading this article last night, I was like, okay, volcanic rock. It's heat, basically, and smoking that has transformed the opal to that dark colour. 
that's happened naturally, as you can see in that GIA, GIA article. The volcanic ash, the smoking, yes. So volcanic rock, heat, smoke has transformed the actual opal itself. And it produced something really quite, quite beautiful. You know, black opal, like I said, it does occur completely naturally. Um, it is in the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world. Um, and here we go. I just want to show you again. Um, this is the location. So you can actually see uh, it actually pictured on the mine. There's a, there's a little sort of like a pickaxe, basically, that shows where you unearth your black opal. So the one location that is actually uh, unearthing black opal, natural black opal, I should emphasize here. Um, what we're actually, or what the GIA wrote about was something like this next picture. Um, look at that. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. The popularity of black opal went through the roof, not just on the back of the discovery in 2014 of black opal in Ethiopia, but also on the back of the Adam Sandler film Uncut Gems. Now, if you haven't watched it, um, it's all about an Ethiopian opal, black Ethiopian opal in its rough form. I have to say, it gave me anxiety. It made me really stressed out because it's just, you know, it's just constant, basically. But uh, it's this location, it's, it's black opal, and it's this location of opal. So, as you can see, naturally, completely beautiful, top 10 rarest gemstones in the world, most expensive. But, so to, 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 to transform an opal that has occurred for millions, uh, that has, has been... Um, created over millions of years. It's the significance of the volcanic activity, that heat again, and also the smoke that will be produced from uh, volcanic ash that has transformed an opal to that wonderful deep black. Um, so here we go. This is the movie that I'm referring to. It's, it's, actually, on, it's actually on Netflix if you want to watch that. It's all about uh, an Ethiopian uh, black opal. Yeah, that's a basketball player that falls in love with the opal as well. It gave me massive anxiety, that film. I just couldn't. It's like, oh, my God. She just needs to chill out. Um, but yeah, really, really good film in it anyway. So on the back of, you know, what often with treatments of gemstones, we will try and replicate what Mother Nature does. And that's exactly what Mother Nature has done. It's smoked the opal to give you that natural black color. So that is what we have done with this strand. We've almost replicated Mother Nature um, and it's transformed it to this beautiful, deep, enigmatic black. Now you would imagine if you let a firework off right now outside your house, um, you'd see the colors, but it wouldn't be quite as explosive as if you saw the colors at midnight. That's how I always perceive a black opal. Now, I can, we can bring you natural black opal, but it would be tens of thousands of pounds, I should imagine. But there are ways of actually appreciating that beauty, replicating Mother Nature's um, own techniques. I can't believe I'm about to say this. There are 181 opportunities of natural black, uh, sorry, of, of, of opal in your beautiful uh, plain rondelles for the first time ever mark under 10 <laughs> pounds it's ridiculous isn't it it is ridiculous. ridiculous that's a nice bottle of wine isn't it it is yeah, you know crazy. we heat beautiful. treat tanzanite we heat treat rubies we, we irradiate diamonds, and yet none of us seem to bat an eyelid. Yet opals, it's almost like, okay, hang on a second. Has that gone through a process of smoking? Yes, it has, but it's replicating what Mother what Nature would have done. Look at how sensationally beautiful the outcome is. Um, look at how amazing the play of colour actually sings and dance. Um, if it hadn't have undergone that treatment process, there's no way you would see such a visuality of firework display colours. And there's categorically no way we'd be able to bring it to you at under £10. £180 one opportunity so many of you have been messaging on the back of this strand let's bring the graphics live in three in two in one go 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 15 carats we've brought this to air incredibly at 19.99 but today and only today it's going under 10 pounds um, again, Ross is just saying, L, the computer system's not letting me do it in one price crash. That's because we're going against basically what our target price is. This is going to sell out in probably less than a couple of minutes. Yeah, I agree. I mean, we should be at 69.99. That's our guide price. That's what Ross has to take it to, uh, to bring the graphics on your system. But you know we're going to override that as well. Look at the flashes of colors, beautiful reds, greens, blues. There is a queue on the phone lines. I would absolutely recommend you uh, using the app or the website if you can. Take advantage. Black Opal, one of the few Black Opal strands that we actually have in the entire business. And Mark, you've 
you've been working with this right now, it's, it's lovely, isn't it? I just want to show you one stone. I mean, I've used the entire strand, and I've also used the entire strand of turquoise. But that's just one oh. stone. Look at that. Just one stone. So the whole, look at this, it's just... Oh, Mark, that is gorgeous. Just, I just love this stone so much. It's Sleeping Beauty and Black Opal you're working with yeah. right now. It's gone, sold out. Oh. Do you want to know wow. how long that, 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 that sold out? 76 seconds. That, look at this necklace that Mark's been creating. If you missed out on that black opal, don't worry. Now, we can't take it under 10 pounds. It's slightly bigger in carat weight. If you want to make that exact necklace, the Sleeping Beauty is coming up after the deal of the day. The same amazing quality, more limited, however, there are 60 of these available. We can't take it under, under at £10. But we will absolutely take it to a clearance deal. Again, look at that. The flashes of green, flashes of red. We've previously closed this black opal strand at £29.99. That's amazing. The popularity of black opal has gone through the roof. That happens with lots of films. It did with Amber on the back of Jurassic Park. It did with uh, um, Obsidian on the back of Game of Thrones. It did with Amalite on the back of the Kate Winslet film. Black Opal on the back of the Adam Sandler Uncut Gems. This is a write up on the GIA. The real gemology of Ethiopian opals in uncut gems. So they actually wrote about this very film as well. They wrote about the film. They discussed the fact that the price per carat always goes back, uh, goes up, sorry, on the, on the back of uh, the silver screen. It always does because all of a sudden that gemstone is highlighted to people that maybe wouldn't have heard of it before. Um, we're going to take it to the lowest ever price tag. $29.99, this is closed previously, 16 carats of enigmatic, deep, beautiful blacks. Um, they, don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't submerge the play of colour, they enhance the play of colour. Like I said, it's like letting let a firework off at night time. Oh, Ross, that's close, mind. $12.99. It's an amazing deal. You're getting one carat more. Again, this S in the, graphic, uh, in the graphics uh, actually stands for smoking. So we've replicated what Mother Nature would have done to transform a black opal um, naturally. That would have needed that volcanic activity to do that. Sold out. Well done. Okay. Oh, this is a whopper. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Still coming away, the clearance deal. Can I? Look at this play of colour. Oh, I hope it comes across on the camera. Look at that. Natural. <gasps> Natural. Uh, opal, I'm talking to about now, obviously. Gone through that treatment process. If this were natural, it would be tens of thousands of pounds. Previously closed at £64.99. These are big. These are big opals. £39.99. If you want to take... Has it sold out? I mean, just, if you want to do... I, I'm definitely feeling Mark's design, aren't you? So alongside the Sleeping Beauty turquoise, just because you've got that a similarity in sizes and cuts. Sold out. <gasps> oh, that was three. Yeah. Ooh, I think this is going to be a super speedy sellout. Tell me there's quantity of these, Ross. These are cool. 40. Yeah, it is limited. Uh, these are cool. I think they're going to fly. Um, everything. everything. Every black opal, white opal, are sold out. Um, this is the last black Ethiopian opal that I can bring you, and I think you're going to love it because it's quite edgy. It's quite contemporary. Um, should we make a price promise? Black Ethiopian opal. Look, how the, look, look, look at the section here. So just as the light hits, again, 
Black Opal's no different to White Opal in the fact that it doesn't like our studios. And yet still you're seeing uh, that play of colour. It's going under £20. There are 40 of these opportunities available. There we go. I've just said it. Uh, sort of whipped it off fast like a Band-Aid. Um, it's going under £20. Well, like I said, this clearance is literally going to be one of the most exciting morning shows. Lowest ever price tag by an absolute country mile. Does anyone know how long a country mile actually is? Or where that saying actually comes? But it's a long way. It's what? It just feels longer because we're in the country. Okay. 17.99. Look at that mark. The beautiful blues. I love the shape as well. They're just amazing, aren't they? Guess Gosh. what? <laughs> Sold out. Amazing. Okay, where do we go from there? We're carrying on with Opal. What, do, what have you forgot? Hang on. There's one more. Ooh! Uh, I think they're gorgeous. Uh, you know, if... I know we make jewellery, obviously. We, we, love, we buy uh, pieces to make fabulous pieces of jewellery as well. But also, something like a, a, like a, a, little, a little parcel that we could just display in our home. You know, this could literally sit on the mantelpiece or, um, I don't know, wherever, wherever it, it, could, it, it could prompt your uh, inspiration. This is going to be a star buy. Now, I didn't say that, did I? Did I say all the Ethiopian opal was going to be under 20? Oh, we did, yes, with the white. They're drilled as well, so all I need to do is pop them onto a, a beading thread or a wire, etc. a little pendants or pair of earrings. So I've got a big quantity of these, and we are... We're going to take it under 20 as well, in a star buy. As Mother Nature intended, not a single facet, not a single polish. Literally these beautiful, what we describe as uh, sort of rough or raw shapes um, of gemstones. They're massive at the moment. Lots of big celebrities are working with uh, sort of uncut gems. Um, and actually, on the back of that GIA write-up, on the back of your um, of the Adam Sandler film, the, the, the whole hype, the whole storyline was developed around an Ethiopian opal uh, piece that was rough. It wasn't faceted. It still had parts, parts of the, the host rock attached to it. Um, and read that. Do re take a little look at the, uh, so the, the, the you know the the write up by uh, by the GIA. So that's what you're getting right now. You're getting a parcel of uncut Ethiopian opals, um, and it just goes to show that when you have such amazing quality like this, it doesn't need to be faceted um, to actually show that sort of a, that miracle of nature. These are natural. They're not coated. They're not treated. Um, it's it's all about Mother Nature's beautiful performance of play of color so there's the article this is on the GIA website which is uh, it's very much public you can uh, absolutely uh, take a look on that it's quite a lengthy article but I'd encourage you to do that these are all drilled at the top so they could be beautiful pendants I can't believe we're taking this price promising this at under 20 pounds but we're gonna we are going to you know the popularity of your sort of organic non-faceted um, uncut unpolished even in some cases gemstones are huge absolutely huge um, and we're bringing you multiples of 12, can, uh, 12 carats rather of your Ethiopian opal drilled irregular shapes. I love that. And the curves almost seem to complement the play of colour displays. Look at that. We can't do it in one price crash. You are guaranteed a pack of six of these as well. What I can't guarantee is obviously the sort of uh, the, the, the uh, specifications of, of sizes because that's down to Mother Nature. I can guarantee um, you know the quality. You are getting amazing quality true to JM form. Now we have previously closed these at 28 pounds. That's amazing. Ross, that's a big parcel of gemstones that you're getting there. Uh, a big parcel of Ethiopian opal. If I was to show you the price per carat of Ethiopian opal alongside Australian opal, you will find that they are literally toe to toe. They, the, you know, they, the price per carat, it's, it's, it's almost identical. And yet this gemstone historically does not have anywhere near uh, sort of the write up behind it until now. Under 20 pounds. 
It's a brand new, lowest ever price by an absolute mile. Loads of you choosing to multi-buy. I have got quality, uh, quantity of these, sorry. We had 80, but half the stock has gone. 17.99. Never been anywhere near what's on your screens right now. Super simple as well, because I think Mark, the, you know, the, the, the a half of the actual design aspect is in the shape. Completely, literally. I mean, I would, I would pop little jump rings on these onto a, a really nice curved bracelet. Another most amazing charm bracelet. Imagine that movement, because oh. you want to look at them. You want to look at your opals, don't you? You don't want to have them hidden away on an earring or on a, or on a necklace, do you? You want to be able to see them. You want to be able to see them. Yeah. I mean, how beautiful. We can bring, you know, we've had loads of amazing faceted strands, etc. But what, using one mm. of these maybe as the actual pendant or... Yeah, amazing. I love that idea as a charm. We've had lovely sterling silver uh, and precious metal chains um, over the course of the clearance as well. Um, imagine just one of those mm. sort of briolette wrapped onto, uh, onto a chain. Likewise, you are moments away from your deal of the day, your grand digirite. Um, we're going to squeeze in a couple more opals um, because you're loving it. Yeah, you're loving it. And every single item is pretty much sold out so um we're going to bring you a little run of blue opal that has never no what did you say that's never been under 10 pounds obviously so what are we taking it under they're on the i've got five left well done well done well done well done um Um, seriously? Uh, natural blue? I, no, we can't take this under, to under, under 10. It's not, we can't. Oh, we've got a big quantity of these. They're one of Mark's favourite cuts as well. This, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess, and I'll be able to confirm in a few moments, that this is Peruvian because you've got the beautiful glow. There are many different varieties of opal out there. Sorry, where is it? Namibia. Okay, again, a lovely deposit. Um, now, there are lots of different varieties of opal out there. You can have your Lightning Ridge, Kuba PD, Black Opal, Matrix Opal, Dendritic Opal, naturally coloured opal. So this is not about the play of colour. This is about the patterning and that beautiful, almost soft, opaque quality of colour that you get within this gemstone. It's an anomaly of nature. Um, you know, what has transformed uh, this opal into this beautiful, uh, beautiful soft uh, azure blue. In 30 seconds, the graphics are going to appear. I mean, they are like beautiful little round brilliant cuts, aren't they? Almost. Um, you could prong set these if you wanted to. Um, in 15 seconds, the graphics will, will appear. And we are, oh, goodness me, taking it under £10. That's natural blue. If you if you rub shoulders with any gemologist anytime soon, ask the question, what is it that, cat, what, what, that transforms Forms opal to these natural colours. I've asked our founder, I've asked um, my next door neighbour who's a gemologist, I've asked a family friend who's been in the industry for, for you know, for, uh, it, well, the family has actually been in the industry for, uh, for generations. None of them could actually answer the question. It's an anomaly of nature and it occurs completely and utterly naturally. We're bringing it to you at under £10. I love the cut. Look at that. It's delicate. You almost can see the gentle cloud formations. Ryan, you know when we were stood outside uh, uh, just before we came into the studio and I looked up into the sky and literally I said this to Ryan it's just I know it was quite weird it was a bit I am a bit weird from time to time looked up in the sky and, and the clouds were really rushing past you know and it's the wind isn't crazy but you can see the clouds really moving and I went oh it's making me dizzy it, it's that formation of clouds that I could see actually in this beautiful strand just there under 10 pounds I was like yeah it's making me dizzy Ryan Nine ninety nine. Uh, natural, Namibian blue. They are big, absolutely. Just one suspended from some beautiful sterling silver. Flip it on its head. You don't have to use them sort of uh, as drops, if you like. They could almost be elevations. You could prong set them as well. I love your natural blues and pink opals that you can actually, and greens, all those sort of uh, opaque colours, pastel colours, really. It's got an angel-like look to it, doesn't Ooh, it? Oh, it has. Yeah, a bit of Botswana thrown in, and that's lovely. A cloud-like formations, mm. yeah, definitely. It's amazing that the, the same gemstone can look so different, isn't it? It's, it that's what fascinates me. 
It is the same gemstone, mm. absolutely. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah, not it's, created, it's yeah. not dyed. This is all Mother Nature's doing. Amazing. Incredible. The only few locations actually bring you your natural blues. Um, stay where you are on those phone lines. Uh, make sure you check out. Was there many of those then? There was quantity, however, there's a lot of you there. Stay where you are, don't abandon those calls. Right, I think this, this is going to be a fast seller because it, of course, has never been under £10. Um, I'm a super simple jewellery maker <laughs> and something like this, the design has just been done for me. So the graduation is there. Look how beautifully it sits against the, against the decolletage. Uh, natural Namibian blue. Beautiful top drilled faceted drops, the graduation. So I'll just feed that onto some gorgeous uh, beading thread. Uh, I'm thinking like your salon. Uh... Oh, have I got the wrong ones? It's coming up. Have I... No, do you know what? It was me. I think I've picked up the wrong one. 24. We'll do this in a few moments' time. Coming up next. I beg your pardon, that was totally me. Uh, same applies though. Look at those blues, they're natural. Amazing, aren't they? Under 10 pounds. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Like you said, you wouldn't do anything with it, would you? You'd no. just re-thread it as it is. Put some sterling silver in between. Love the fact that they're so, yeah. they're like little voluptuous drops, aren't they? <laughs> Beautiful, smooth drops. The color is just gorgeous, under 10 pounds. Apologies, that was my mistake. I picked up the wrong one, but this, uh, that is coming your way just after. You could possibly alternate the two. Yeah, you, it doesn't have to be complex. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, hugely involved when you've got such beautiful gemstones like this. You know, let them do the work for you. The kind of piece that, imagine yourself wearing that to, I don't know, a wedding or a, um, a meal out with friends or family. You know, that's the kind of piece of jewellery that will absolutely get noticed. And not everyone knows that opal occurs in sort of these natural shades. Most people think opal is, you know, your Australian opal. Um, uh, and play of colour and you can say no 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 this is this is genuine opal um it hasn't been dyed this is mother nature's incredible creations but very few uh, just a few deposits around the world will actually offer uh, you that beautiful blue now the one i just showed you accidentally sorry clearly i i think that's my destiny that's my that's my my logic for getting involved on this one i think because i gravitated towards it um these are big faceted pairs I mean, they could almost be cabochons, Mark, couldn't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. You could be pairs of each individual one, couldn't you? Make a really nice sort of Hannah Osborne bib style mm. necklace or seed bead bezel to look amazing. That one there's almost Larimar as well. Mm. Yes. You yes. know, sort of the white caps of the waves seen in, in a yes. gemstone. Nine wow. ninety nine. <laughs> Have I got a quantity of these? 70 of these available. If you love your angelites, if you love your Larimar, um, I do think this is almost like a heavenly strand. I've got this overwhelming sense of kind of like peace and calm, I think. Beautiful elegance. 9.99. There were how many? 70 of these available within the vault. They're not hanging around though. It's a brand new low price, of course. They're enormous. They go right the way up to 20, uh, uh, 20 by 13 millimeters. Incredible. I've got one more opal strand to bring you. Um, Really? Wowzers. Um, we're going to keep it at that single figure price tag. <gasps> Peruvian pink. Okay, this is amazing. Some time ago, um, and it was a good few months ago, I was joined by Dave Troth in the studio and he was talking about um, pink opal, basically. I, I, I apologise, I forget the designer. I must message him and find out. Um, there was a designer that was doing some very high-end pieces. You know, I think Versace, they were quite elaborate, you know, not sort of delicate pieces. They were definite statement mm. pieces. Um, and <clears throat> what that designer was using, lots of multicolored gemstones, uh, you know, sapphires, rubies, uh, all your expensive gemstones certainly within those pieces. But just to make the little nose on your tiger uh, was pink opal. And um, he said pink opal prices are so considered at the moment. And yet here we are bringing you... A strand of how long? 60 inches, wow. so one of our endless strands. That colour is not dyed. Wow. That colour is totally and utterly natural. 
I knew immediately this was Peruvian because of the glow that you get. It's like strawberries and apricots and cream all mixed in with one beautiful gemstone completely naturally. The price of pink opal is, natural pink opal I need to emphasize in particular, is considered. And like I said, Dave was like, you have pink opal here at Jewelry Maker. How on earth do you manage to get hold of it at a sort of an affordable price tag? 60 inches you're getting right now. It's a finale to that opal showcase. I've loved it. I've absolutely loved it. If you want beautiful rarity, then we are bringing you Grand Digirite Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. We've got Tanzanite, Fancy Tanzanite coming up as well. Sapphires. Uh, 49.99. Natural pink. But we've made that price promise. Look how beautiful these patterns and colors colors are um, of course it's no it pink opal blue opal it's all about that opacity and the color saturation um, that you're actually achieving i can't tell you exactly what it is you know i know with morganite it's manganese with um uh, with aquamarine it's iron that transforms it to those beautiful blues or peaches or or whichever with your uh, pink opal i couldn't tell you exactly what was there during that gemstones actually creation that transformed it to this candy floss like pink 60 inches of natural Natural Peruvian pink for $9.99. The finale of our opal showcase. We are going to go immediately straight into uh, into the Grand Digirite, and then we're going to go uh, into, of course, your Sleeping Beauty turquoise as well. Ah, I, we did say it was going to be. It's the final day of clearance. We have a big quantity of those. Keep on dialing through. We are aware uh, that we're a bit late of your deal of the day, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it because. Um, I can't say that sentence. That doesn't. I can't say a bundle of grand digerite. That just does not sit right with me, does it? You? I mean, imagine this in Sotheby's or First Dibs or any of the big brands. How much do you think natural grand digerite would be in a finished piece of jewellery? It is documented widely as in the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world. More often than not, it sits around three. And the prices per carat of high quality Grand Digerite, so having that beautiful color, if you can have a level of transparency, I'm not talking diamond like clarity, it can fetch up to 20,000 US dollars per carat. It's a deal of the day. I mean, it's a bundle. <laughs> Now, I was reading about Grand Digirite, as we often do. We'll try and prep ahead of, uh, of the shows, etc. cetera. Um, and it was actually only until about, well, Wayne, until Wayne, our, our gem buyer here at Jewelry Maker, actually introduced this gemstone that I ever actually saw it in person. Outside of that, it would have always been in a gemstone museum because there are gemstones which many of us can't even, you know, the tongue twisters never even heard of before, are actually the rarest in the world. My dad said to me, um, bless him, some years ago, and I was quite surprised because I thought my dad was quite clued up on gemstones. He used to buy mum some really beautiful pieces of jewellery, etc. And I remember discussing, it was Parade Batormley that I was discussing with him at the time. Um, and he said to me, yeah, OK, but it's not one of the most valuable gemstones or rare gemstones in the world. And I said, well, what makes you say that, dad? And he said, because um, it's not a member of the big five. And I thought, ah, interesting. That's marketing, purely marketing. Diamonds are not the rarest gemstones in the world. Neither are rubies, neither are sapphires. There are gemstones far, far, far rarer than those that almost are victims of their rarity in the fact that they are not so widely written about. However, from the discovery of Grand Digirite in 1902, uh, by uh, a French mineralogist, uh, Alfred Lacroix. Uh, he named this gemstone after an explorer, naturalist, Alfred Grandidier. Um, they saw that discovery, and it was pretty much exhausted uh, almost immediately. And then one other deposit popped up in Madagascar more recently. That all of a sudden highlighted Grandidierite and made Grandidierite actually uh, sort of uh, more widely known, if you like, in the gemstone world. And it is that deposit that has made it possible for you and I to purchase this gemstone. 
But if you do your research, and there's so much information about the world's rarest gemstones, the world's most expensive gemstones, you will find Grandidurite always firmly in the top 10. It might go up or down one or two, but always in the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world. And in fact, you know, uh, at Forbes recently, uh, here it is, I can show you, and I didn't put the whole article, it was a whole, you know, website page. Um, but there is Forbes slotting Grandidurite at number three, the third rarest gemstone in the world and as you can see twenty thousand dollars per carat up to can i also ask you to take a little snapshot of the grand of the grand digerite gemstone there do you notice it's not eye clean do you notice it's not diamond like clarity it is it's normal to actually have inclusions uh, within this gemstone um again i want to show you something this is a piece of grand digerite rough did you say ross there we go i mean that is I mean, I couldn't even begin to put a price on that gem, on that piece. Amazing. But do you notice again, there's, it's not clarity. Um, you have areas of inclusions. Um, and we don't cut those away. You know, many gemstones, we will cut away sort of black inclusions or clouding or anything like that. Certainly, in you know, your diamonds, we would. With Grand Digerite, it's one of the gemstones that we absolutely don't because we want to maintain the maximum carat weight of this gem. Um, okay, moving on, I want to show you. This is, uh, so again, this is the fourth rare, so a different article, um, but read the bottom there. It's very resistant to scratching, hence ideal for jewellery use. Due to its scarcity, faceted stones are very rare. We do not want to cut carat weight away of this gemstone. Like I said, it fluctuates in the, in the top 10, so three with Forbes, four of that article, I can't remember which one it was, but they physically don't want to cut carat weight away from this gemstone. Both strands that you're about to see in the deal of the day are faceted. Remember, faceted stones are very, very rare. There we go. Did you also take a sort of a, a, a memory snapshot of the, the picture of Grand Digerite uh, on, on Forbes? Also, that piece of rough. Here it is. There is translucency. There's a uh, by the tweezers, I can see a black inclusion, so you can see a little bit of color zoning. It's lovely. Don't, I mean, that is absolutely amazing. There's the rough. Um, that They will try and maintain maximum carat weight of your Grand Digerite from this piece of rough. Um, whatever way they possibly uh, possibly can to retain the max, you know, so the uh, as much carrots as they physically can. Now, this I thought was really interesting to show you as well. Um, again, all available on the website. This is not jewelry maker. This is not my words. This is actually off um, a website, which is really good for education, by the way. Uh, Grand Digerite colors. Gemstone quality Grand Digerite only comes in shades of blue and green, with soft neon blue colors being the most sought after. Although this is quite relative, uh, as any color of Grand Digerite is very valuable. The color itself is caused by, by, by minute traces of iron impurities, and the more iron that appears, the bluer the gemstone. It is color, 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 color that really drives the price per carat of your Grand Digerite. So you can see there, deeper shades. Where do you think this amazing necklace actually sits on those color ranges of Grand Digerite? I mean, just, you, you, I, I personally think, I mean, these here are just deep colors, maximum, maximum amounts of, uh, of, of, of iron within those. So, I mean, I know that you, you're you quite well educated on this gemstone. I know that uh, you, you've heard $20,000 per carat, but this is the one I referenced earlier on. I mean, firstly, who in their right mind would buy a necklace of 529000 US dollars off eBay? Who in their right mind would do that? Firstly, oh, okay, I mean, there's £70 as well for your postage. Who does that? Um, in UK pounds, that's 380,000. That's a house, a nice house. Goodness me. Um, who does that? Who buys Grand Digirite off eBay? But clearly there's a market for it because you just saw it there. And in actual fact, the next one is also, um, oh no, not this one. Um, it's from the same, look, from the same brand. So uh, this is Christic, huge, rare, 77 carat Grand Digirite uh, necklace. 43,000 uh, Great British Pounds. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, do you see the colour? Do you see the transparency? These are off eBay. 4,300 British Pounds for those Grand Digirite. And they're sterling silver, by the way. 
How can they justify £43 postage? It's just you just pop it in a little box in a, in a jiffy bag, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, you'd cover that, wouldn't you, I yeah. think? Yeah, exactly. But there clearly is a market for this on, on, on your auction houses. And you tell me that's a Mobius ring, basically, in sterling yeah. silver. It's not even your, it's not white gold or anything like that. It's sterling silver. You could make that. Four thousand three hundred pounds, and I didn't. I didn't deliberately look for the most expensive. In actual fact, I'm going to show you some gram digirite, which shows you almost the sort of opposite end of the sp uh, price spectrum. So here we go. This is again. It's off. Uh, it's it's off. Uh, I can say it. It's Rocks and Co. This is Rocks and Co. They specialise in in sort of high quality gemstones as well. Gorgeous wish style ring. Uh, One hundred and nineteen pounds. Really lovely. And again, look at that beautiful teal blue colour. There's. It's not clarity. It's got a translucency to the gemstone. Again, a few other pieces um, that I wanted to show you. Um, £299, uh, I think that was TJC, and that was in the sale. Uh, lovely round, brilliant cut. It's not com There isn't tran mm -hmm. complete no, clarity no. here. It's actually quite a hazy gemstone, and I think softer in its colour saturation than what you're getting in your deal of the day. Moving on again. There it is. Love this one. Marquise. Wow. Beautiful Marquise with a halo of diamonds. £249, which I didn't think was bad. That is in gold as well, but that's one individual grand digirite. And this will all come from, of course, the uh, the discovery uh, made more recently in Madagascar, um, making this gemstone sort of accessible to us. But that being said, it is getting very challenging to actually cut. Um, I, I think I've got a couple more pieces to show you, which I'm just going to raise through. There we go. 50 US dollars for one. I mean, uh, again... I, in, uh, that is, I have to say, it's no way near the grade that you're getting here. That's quite dark. It's almost grey, I actually think. It's still pretty, I guess. But it's no way near the quality that you're about to see in your deal of the day. But $50 for a Grand Digirite, that seems pretty amazing. And again, it's, 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 it's accessible then, uh, um, accessible to uh, the wider audience as well. Now, we are bringing you, what's that? You are essentially getting... Better quality than certainly the latter pieces that I've shown you across two strands. And because it is your deal of the day, you're getting two for the price of one. Please know that Grand Digirite, and the, the, when you have a gemstone which is so scarcely known as Grand Digirite, the reality is location of sale makes a big difference. People can and do command astonishingly high prices on things like your auction sites because it's Grand Digirite. They could do a little write-up from Forbes and say, look, this is the number, thir number three rarest gemstones in the world. There you go. I'll have how many thousands? Tens of thousands of pounds for those pieces of jewellery. Now, I'm not saying you're going to do that, but what I do want you to know is that this is the top ten rarest um, two strands in your faceted briolette drops and your rondelles it's clearance and here we are bringing you one of the rarest gemstones in the world we have less than 50 chances many collectors would only dream of owning grand digirite because it is almost impossible to find we maintain carat weight with this gemstone. It doesn't matter if it has sort of blemishes within the gemstone itself. I can't believe we've put clearance in the description of Grand Digirite. That I mean, that's bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. It's one of the rarest gems. No, it's the top three uh, rarest gemstones in the world. Um, as I said, we maintain carat weight with your Grand Digirite. That's why it's more frequently actually seen in, in, in sort of cabochons or rounds even, because we don't want to facet any of this gemstone actually away do you see the quality of color the deeper those blues as you saw in that slide earlier on the deeper the blues the more desirable the actual grand digirite is all down to sort of the the saturation intensity of your iron here we go uh, so this is not our this is not our slide i haven't put this together for you it's a, a reputable location and um, that says here we go whatever color uh, of grand digirite it is valuable whatever fa uh, color but when you actually have an, uh, sort of a, a level of clarity and an intensity of saturation like these which are not uh, enhanced grand digirite is always mother nature produced you have something truly exceptional you're not just getting the one strand though seriously mark look at the length of that strand of rondelles <laughs> That's grand digirite. i think color grading is spectacular on that 
just beautiful. If we were to hold this at £499.99, pence, I'm happy with that. Look at the quality of this Grand Digerite. This Grand Digerite. These Grand Digerites. Look at the amount that you're getting. How about if I said, and you can still use split pay, both strands. How about if I said £100 each? So two hundred pounds for the br for the briolettes and the rondelles, natural Madagascan Grand Digerite. You can get this home for sixty six pounds and sixty six pence. I mean that's one hundred pounds per strand. Every single one of the Grand Digerite pieces I showed you, you know. They were all over 100, weren't they? Were, they? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, all over 100. Yeah. And by the way, absolutely fantastic deals. Amazing deals. You're getting a huge parcel of this very gemstone. I encourage you to do your research. The what, sorry? The guide price on the briolette drops are £149.99. That's amazing. That's absolutely incredible for the briolettes. We're already... That means the rondelles would be £50. That, well, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Grand did you right. A third of the stock has gone already. I don't think I've ever given you an opportunity quite like your Grand did you right deal of the day today to purchase one of the rarest, most valuable commodities on this vast planet. Nobody is paying £100 per strand. There are 50 opportunities, and we are going to take it to... Yeah, you heard it right, Mark. Go on. No, you, that honestly, can't be right. Grand did you write? For both. For both. 99.99. Oh, my word. This is why it's the deal of the day. Um, in speaking to our gem buyer, I said, can we get more Grand did you write? He says, it's really difficult to get hold of. Um, remember that quote that we showed you, faceted gems, uh, Grand Digerite gemstones are very rare um, because we don't want to facet away uh, you know, the carat weight ultimately. This is one of those gemstones that we absolutely will say, keep the inclusions. It doesn't matter. We don't, we're not looking for absolute eye clean clarity with Grand Digerite. <laughs> it's all about that beautiful color and the rarity of the material itself. That's 50 pounds per strand. That, but, but, but only 50 of you will be uh, successful in this opportunity. We will never have an unlimited supply of Grand Digerite. The reality is, I think we've got a handful of strands available in the entire business. Incredible that we can actually do uh, a sort of 50 opportunities today. Um, truly, when we talk about sort of acquisitions for the future, we were discussing that yesterday as well. Um, Grand Digerite, it is one of if uh, the one of the, the rarest gemstones to ever uh, to ever actually occur there's some wonderful articles online i really do encourage you to to research them as well do price comparisons and do quality comparisons as well um Number three, Forbes. Look at the colour of this one, by the way. So this is Forbes, one of the lists, if you like, and lots of different, like the Guinness Book of Records do. Would we all agree this co the quality of colour is better on your deal of the day than what's on that Forbes photograph? I truly believe, um, you know... You've got all those rare colours, yeah, like Indicolite, Paraba, um, all captured within one gemstone, but it's far rarer than all of those. Far, far rarer in actual fact. Tanya, well done. Margaret, Christine, uh, hello to you. Kent, Karen, Lanarkshire, Jacqueline, Carol, Essex, Denise, Maria, Fiona, Surrey, Laurel, Davinia, Hazel, Milo, hello to you. Ruth, Pauline, Yorkshire, gosh, I can't keep up with you now. There are 11 chances, and there are 42 of you with it in your baskets. I would absolutely just re recreate uh, recreate what, what Alan and Sue have done here. I mean, this is a, that's a museum piece of jewellery. I mean, if we put that, I, I want you to do it. Give it a try. Put it on eBay. What's, what, what, what have you got to lose? <laughs> Even if you put it on eBay uh, and said, OK, I want 4,000. Yeah. It's grand, did you right? Especially if you do a write-up on the gemstone. Take a photograph of the Forbes list. Put it alongside. Do it. What have you got to lose? The combined carrot weight that you're getting in your deal of the day is 74. 70, in fact, that necklace that you've just shown was a, was a similar carrot weight, wasn't it? 
There we go. 77 carats. You're getting 74 with the dealer day. 43,000 pounds for that uh, for, for that grand digerite piece. Um, it is in white gold, granted. Single figure quantities if we've got people multi-buying on this. Grand digerite, they will become an, uh, uh, they will become a, sort of a, a, a time when we're not able to bring it to you and certainly be able to bring it to you at deals like this. Truly, truly exciting. The rarity of the gemstone. It's only been found in two locations in the uh, entire world. Um, there are only six of these available. You can get hold of it on your split pay. £33.33. And 33 pence. Natural grandage, you're right. Well done. Well done, well done. Talking of beautiful, beautiful sort of tropical blues. When you say the word tropical, most of us will immediately think of this next gemstone. But from a deposit that was mined out almost a decade ago. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is coming up in clearance after this. Did you know that we are live every day from 8 a.m. through to 5 p.m.? We can be watched on Sky, Freesat and Virgin. You can also watch us on Freeview SD from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Freeview HD from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Or you can join us online at www.jewelrymaker.com or download our app from the App Store. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Jewellery makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Hi, my name is Denise Allen and on Tuesday the 10th of August I'm going to be showing you how I use the fantastic Pebio pouring paints. Pebio is an amazing company and they make the highest quality pre-mixed pouring paints. You don't have to do all that recipes, it's all done for you and the colours are incredible. So I'm going to show you how I do some of these techniques. I'm a professional artist and I've been working with Pebio for a long time and I'm a huge fan of their products. So please join me on Tuesday the 10th of August at 1pm. See you soon! Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. 
Hi there, jewelry makers. I just wanted to invite you to come and join me every Monday between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. here at Jewelry Maker, where we're going to be bringing you some of the finest gemstones, some of the finest hand selected pieces just for you. But this will only happen every Monday between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. So come and join me only here at Jewelry Maker. What a morning, goodness me. Congratulations everybody that got hold of the deal of the day and the black opal and the Ethiopian opal and what the peridot, oh, no. we it's been epic. I love these themed hours on yeah, clearance, that's cool. really nice. Yeah. There's still so much to bring yeah. as well. Um, I've just been admiring those beautiful drop earrings and necklaces. Yeah, you know, I can't go over this green tanzanite. I think I it's know. absolutely beautiful. Why have I not, we've had it on before I'm assuming. A couple of times. <sighs> Uh, yeah, not oh, often. It's I called it. Fancy Tanzanite. It's just beautiful. Going Absolutely into clearance. Beautiful. I know. That's still to come. Right oh. now, loads of you have been messaging in about uh, the turquoise <laughs> showcase, and it is happening right now. Now, here is a gemstone which um, pretty much every single big design house will work with. Tiffany's & Co. for logical reasons. It's the colour of their branding, of course. Van Cleef, Netta Porter, Carolyn Tyler. This is it, this this is a gemstone which uh, well, firstly forms in lots of places around the world. Well, not lots, a few locations around the world. Um, but I always reference the fact that uh, the history of tu of turquoise changes quite frequently, and that's because you know we were talking about gemstones forming within the Earth's mantle. So this is one of the most shallow forming gemstones. So we're talking about very close to the Earth's crust. Uh, it's often uh, found uh, alongside copper deposits. So copper is present within turquoise, and it's one of the reasons you get that beautiful color. Um, but yeah, so you'll find copper mines, you find turquoise mines, but they are very shallow forming. So the history changes very frequently. Sleeping Beauty does. Uh, has run out. Uh, Cochise has has run out. Um, yeah, uh, so very rare. It forms in the seams, and I'll show you that in a few moments' times. Seams within the actual host rocks, almost like rivers of turquoise, um, just like this. Actually, let's just show you that now. Um, so, regardless of the location, this is how this gemstone actually occurs. It's 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 a beautiful river of turquoise uh, that seems to have rained down the host rock itself. So that is the gemstone. As you can see, look, you have even got shrubbery there. That's so that is how shallow forming this gemstone actually is. You know, we mentioned about tanzanite thousands of yes. meters below the earth's uh the, below the earth's surface in the mantle this is literally across the surface um okay but uh turquoise has been revered for some six thousand years and it is a gemstone which even dating back to sort of ancient egypt uh was it, it was it was adorned um in in fantastic pieces of jewelry quite how it got there because it was it was actually named turquoise uh, translates to turkish stone so how it actually got over to to egypt I don't quite know, but anyway, it has actually been uh, found in lots of sort of ancient Egypt pieces of jewellery uh, and, and artefacts as well. Um, now, we're going to take you in this turquoise showcase to lots of places around the world because you can find amazing Mexican turquoise, Tibetan turquoise, USA turquoise, to name just a few, uh, African turquoise. Uh, they are all coming your way in a clearance deal. Um, and they all have the most amazing, amazing colour. Now, um, fast forward, jewellery makers, I'm going to tell you this now. I don't know if I should, but I'm going to. I'm going to anyway. Um, at the beginning of next year, I'm going to be going over to uh, Arizona. Um, yes, I'm excited, I know. And one of the things that I spoke to Jake about was uh, the possibility of doing like a Native American inspiration, which turquoise, if you are thinking, I know this is very much a USA, uh, USA-based conversation, but 
you think Native American jewellery, then most of us would actually think of this gemstone as well. And in particular, this cut. Um, so if you gain a lot of inspiration from those designs, then is something going to be on the horizon? Um, and I think the Heshi shape will be uh, perfect for you. This is a massive strand of beautiful quality. Whatever location you travel to, it is all about that really beautiful, deep, vibrant, what we call robin egg blue. The more intense the turquoise color actually is, the more desirable. Please be mindful where you source turquoise from. That with anything that's rare, beautiful, and valuable, there are simulants. This is not a simulant. This is a genuine uh, turquoise uh, opportunity, and they are extraordinary. Even if you were to restrand that gorgeous uh, sort of uh, wheels you've got here, also referred to as Heshi beads um, in the actual trade as well. Even if you were just to restrand that and wear it like so, you're going to make yourself a very fine piece of jewellery and and jewellery that is on the red carpet and I'm going to show you a few pictures of um, Hollywood A-listers you know they could have chosen diamonds they could have chosen uh, uh, gosh rubies here's Kate Blanchett wearing and I think you could replicate this so simply with your crochet with that crochet, uh, set, that Katie Parker design, you could so easily replicate that. Um, here's another piece, so that's Kate Blanchett. This is Heidi Klum, which I think looks absolutely gorgeous in whatever she wears, but uh, wearing that beautiful turquoise bib. Um, I don't know the location of it. It's turquoise, ultimately, that um, really sort of, well, it was, it was the whole headline of this article. The next photograph is Beyonce. Um, she is a firm favourite of uh, Lorraine Schwartz jewellery. They're good friends. That may well be in a, a Lorraine Schwartz a pair of earrings and bracelet. Um, but again, what's the focus? What's the focus of those designs? Is it, is it the actual shape? Is it uh, the texture or is it the colour that you get from high quality turquoise? The next uh, um, celebrity is uh, Taylor Swift. Um, she Smoky. Looks, she does. Look at that little soldering eyes that she's got there. <laughs> there, um, and then gorgeous, gorgeous, intense, vibrant turquoise earrings there. Um, this is the absolutely drop dead, beautiful bombshell that is Megan Fox. So not dissimilar, I don't think, from the strand that I'm actually showing you right now. Again, look how gorgeous she looks in that lovely gemstone. So I don't know the location. That's not really what's important right now. It's about the colour and the quality of the turquoise. These are all Hollywood. Listers. Um, this, oh, Ava, 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 I can't think of her surname right now. Um, but again, look at that beautiful bib. That has diamonds surrounding each and every single one of those um, turquoise. Softer colour, I actually think. It's a, it's a softer colour of turquoise matching earrings. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? With that ivory, uh, the ivory dress. Um, here she is, and I know you're a big fan of this lovely Cameron lady. Diaz. Diaz. Yeah. She's retired. She's not acting I anymore. I mean, why yeah. not? She's yeah. got enough money in the bank. She doesn't need to worry <laughs> about it. Cameron Diaz, though, mm. could have chosen any gemstone, couldn't she? But she chose turquoise to wear against that sort of lovely cerise pink dress. I've got one more I can show you. Um, oh, of course, Sarah Jessica Parker, um, who has actually worn uh, uh, pieces of jewellery that some of your jewellery maker crew have actually held as well. Um, yes. Oh. Uh, uh, Cat Florence is, uh, has, ha, has actually made pieces of jewellery. That's you that I'm talking about there, Ross, yeah. Um, that she's actually been photographed wearing. Um, <laughs> 77 carats of beautiful Heshi turquoise from the state, uh, uh, from, from the USA, rather, very Native American inspiration, and it was uh, discovered by a na Native Americans in the USA, still to this day mined by hand. Um, I mean, so like I said, certain mines have actually mined out, but the deposits like Kingman um, are still to this day mined uh, very primitively by hand. Now, we are taking your turquoise showcase two clearance deals it's um a launch we've previously closed this very opportunity at 69 pounds and 99 pence today massive saving for you loads more deals coming your way stay tuned because it is going to be an absolutely amazing day 20 pounds back into your pocket Every single one of those pieces, in fact, £30 back into your pocket. Um, every single one of those pieces I think you could be inspired by and certainly create with. £39.99. Thank you, Pamela. Ava Longoria. I knew <laughs> oh, it was Ava. It, yeah. I mean, she's gorgeous, isn't she? 
She was in Hitch, wasn't she? She was in Hitch alongside uh, Will Smith. Um, look, she was just a gorgeous smile. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful lady. Um, wearing this very gemstone. I bet you her piece of jewellery, her turquoise necklace, cost more than £39.99. I bet it did. <laughs> I bet it did. Um, yeah, from Hitch. She was in Hitch. Lots of, um, plus lots of other films. Uh, stay where you are if you love these uh, amazing deals. Oh, these are whoppers. <gasps> There's nothing irregular about these. I wouldn't use the word irregular because actually I think they're perfectly, perfectly aligned. Oh, I love this strand. Oh, oh they're look. beautiful. Do you want to see where it's closed at previously? The lowest ever price previously. Oh, you've got a mixture of your green, turquoise and blues. $49.99. Um, some lovely, absolutely beautiful robin egg blues. You've got the patterns, the matrix patterns within these as well. If you do go to the Kingman location, and I'm not saying that's where this is from, but it could be, um, on uh, the Kingman location, which is in the state of Arizona as well, on the one side of the mountain, it's literally on the mountain surface, you can see the veins of blues. On the one side, you've got the blue turquoise, and on the other side, you've actually got the green turquoise. Um, all down, that's the state of Arizona, and that's a... Uh, the different uh, turquoise deposits that are uh, available um, in uh, in that location. So there's a few different Southwest turqu turquoise mines um, around there. We're going to take this to a brand new lowest ever price tag. Never been lower than forty nine pounds and ninety nine pence today. <laughs> I mean seriously, look at the amount that you're getting here of genuine turquoise. At £10 off, that would have been an amazing clearance deal. Separate those with some of your sterling silver spaces, or maybe if you were lucky enough to get the black opal earlier on, that would look amazing, wouldn't it? £29.99. How many do we have of these available then? Oh, only 20, so you need to be quick. Not all of these turquoise opportunities are going to be uh, sort of plentiful. Loving the irregular shape, and I'm just quickly casting my eyes across the, um, across the showcase. Yeah, there's nothing like this. There's nothing like this shape. So if you're looking for these beautiful slices, uh, discs, whatever you want to refer to it as, you have to be quite quick on it. Um, big saving. Um, the combination of your beautiful blues and your greens. Okay, stay where you are. Um, Sleeping Beauty are coming your way. Uh, in fact, I love this. This is beautiful. Any one of those pieces, the Kate Blanchett piece, uh, the Megan Fox piece. Here's our Kate Blanchett wearing this, what looks like a crochet design, doesn't it? I mean, you could absolutely sort of be inspired by that and use this strand to create that statement bib. And she was wearing just a really lovely uh, um, floor length black simple dress that, you know, the, the head turner was all about this gorgeous gemstone. 34 carats um, of your smooth cubes <clears throat> in clearance. Lovely uh, robin egg blues, beautiful mixture of your matrix, some of course which are completely pattern free, especially this one that's appearing from behind the graphics. Look at that blue! Um, amazing, isn't it? Turquoise is almost always treated because it is a softer gemstone. It's responsible to do so, to be truthful. Um, otherwise, you'd be so uh, you'd be so worried about wearing it that this gemstone could possibly break or fracture. So it's re responsible to treat your turquoise. Um, you want to be able to enjoy this gemstone for many years to come. Coming your way, clearance deals. Shall we take this under um, what has been an absolutely magical clearance price point? Under £20 for genuine turquoise. It's a beautiful strand. Uh, a gemstone for, gents, for both gents and ladies, Mark, would you agree? Oh, completely, completely. I think all turquoise, whatever the shape. Yeah, I agree. Suitable for, for gents as well. And it's a birthstone, mm. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single jewellery brand, big jewellery brand will have probably at some point um, included turquoise in oh, there, I think so. um, yes, sort of yeah. in, their, in their portfolio of pieces. Um, it tends to be quite simple, I suppose. They can be quite statement, but at the same time quite simple in their construction because the beauty is actually in your turquoise. But if you do look at the likes of uh, uh, Tiffany's, um, look at a Tiffany's and Co turquoise and sterling silver necklace. You're talking hundreds of pounds and it'll be a mm. minuscule carat weight. If you've got you know, three of those, you'd be the most amazing marler, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. 
That would be incredible. That would be beautiful. A mild yeah. turquoise yeah. necklace. Yeah. Beautiful. And that's possible today because it's clearance. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Which normally it's expensive. It's an expensive gemstone. Um, yeah, very similar to the Megan Fox piece that I showed you earlier on. It's this gorgeous cascade um, of turquoise. Uh, a few what, sorry? A few compl a conflicting reports saying uh, the lady you were showing was actually... Uh, oh, yes. Yes, it is. Right. Eva yes. Longoria was in Desperate Housewives. Yes, she was. Yes. I beg your pardon. Yeah. Eva Mendes. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yes, she is. Uh, Eva Mendes. Eva Longoria was Desperate Housewives. Yeah, they literally just said what you said. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but both both would look amazing in this yes. gemstone, wouldn't they? With, a, with their beautiful brunette hair. And I'm sure Eva Longoria has worn this gemstone at some point. I'm fairly sure she would have done. Yeah, thank you for that. I couldn't think of a name for a second second there um okay stay where you are again getting quite limited on that one um let's now bring you sleeping beauty is coming your way lovely tubes ah we don't do enough tubes no these are perfect for your morse code jewelry oh, morse code turquoise jewelry mm, yeah definite egyptian yes, vibe yes, yes. uh ross is saying yeah i can see that as well um in the tut uh, Tutankhamun, yes, if you look at that, it's tubes that you see uh, within, uh, sort of layered at the bottom there, within with turquoise, so alongside your lapis lazuli and carnelian. Um, this was the, that, that wonderful um, robin egg blue. So in the tubular-like shapes. Coming your way in clearance, of course. Yeah, I agree. We need to see more tubes, don't we, in all of your gemstones. Yes, yeah. Should be. A guide price. Never has this been, oh my goodness me, it's that magic price point. Jewelry makers, never has this been under £20. Never should it go under £20. But this is clearance and it's the final day of clearance. £19.99. pence. I mean, one of those, because if I actually double the strand over, you can see there's some really generous drill holes, a lovely aperture through the centre. I could feed leather through there, Mark. Could, yeah, easily. Breeze those onto some leather, create a really beautiful sort of uh, knotted star bracelet, a bit like what we showed you with the with the dinosaur bone. Imagine doing that with genuine turquoise. Um, yeah, one of the, in fact, let me just double check. No, one of the only tube strands that we've actually got available in um, the turquoise showcase. Look, beautiful fusion of turquoise blues and greens. Um, USA as well, so you've seen that map there from the state of Arizona, which is responsible for some of the finest turquoise offerings in the entire world. But as I said, you know, those offerings are always limited. We know it's going to be a very short window of mining um, to actually unearth this gemstone. Um, look at all those little places, all in the same proximity. Check out, because they're getting quite limited now, everybody. Um, so, Sleeping Beauty coming your way. Um, right now, love this shape. This shape's absolutely gorgeous. It's found other places in the world, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Um, but Arizona, there's a, a, it must be a big copper right. uh, presence in, mm. that, in that state. Um, and copper, turquoise kind of go hand in hand. Yes, yeah. Now, this is beautiful. How many do I have then? 80 of these wow. available. That is lovely. I, I, look at the warmth. You can see the copper presence, yes. can't you? So I would use these as the dots. And then your tubes as your dashes. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah, just research uh, a, a message you might have, yeah. a, I don't know, yeah. a nickname um, for somebody or a little saying that you might have in your household that you could actually incorporate to your jewellery. That's a lovely idea. Look at those warm, almost uh, sort of Arizona sun colours within the actual turquoise itself. Described as cubes, but they're a little bit softer than that, I think. 45 carats, again, under £20. Goodness me. Wow. Any other day, and outside of the clearance, if these don't all sell out, they will revert back to their original uh, sort of target price point. It's a, it's a location and a gemstone, certainly, that we absolutely um, will want to reorder. It's not something we want to clear out. It's not the gemstone we want to clear out because it's not a, big, it's not a popular uh, treasure for our viewers. Absolutely not the case, especially in lovely shapes like this. 19 99 beautiful greens, wonderful 
beautiful robin egg blues, these gorgeous soft cubic shapes that again will just breeze onto many of your threading materials and even some of your wires. There was a limited quantity of them available though everybody so do check them out as soon as you possibly can if you're inspired by all of those lovely pieces um, then yeah make the most of it. Now's the best time to get hold of turquoise at the best possible saving. Now I have one more of this kind of variety, this sort of colorway of turquoise. Um, again, you can kind of see the location in, in, in each of these. You can tell the difference between sort of your Arizonian turquoise between maybe your Tibetan turquoise, a slightly different colorway and certainly patterning. Now, what, sorry? Oh, this is, oh, this is the biggest carrot way, did you say? Um, uh, I've got uh, going to a different country altogether, a different continent altogether to actually bring you the next turquoise. So it does form in uh, other places around the world. If we say it's turquoise, it is exactly that. It's turquoise. You know, we certify everything as well. Um, we are completely transparent, beautiful, genuine turquoise here, not a reconstitute. Um, we're not talking about something that's maybe a magnesite replicating that gemstone. It is turquoise, and you're getting 52 carats off at these clearance deals. Um, incredible absolutely beautiful opportunity a gemstone that dates back some 6,000 years colored by the presence of copper as I've said but also chrome and iron the intensity evenness color and also the patterning that you get within your turquoise from whatever location of source really does have a reflect on the uh, reflect on the value of the gemstone opportunity um Ryan what did you do Ryan Ross <laughs> Ryan's, Ryan's like hey I didn't do anything I'm just here directly minding my own business Ross, $14.99 for 52 carats. Oh my goodness me. Have I got the right, am I holding the right one? What number? Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. No, I'm not. You moved on, uh, Ross. My, my bad, no, that's my bad. This is $14.99. For your beautiful barrel. Oh, oh look, look at, at that. that. They're amazing. Uh, my apologies. I didn't I didn't I didn't hear so, saying move up. 14.99. How many of these are available in the vault? 50. Oh, oh well gosh. done, Maeve. Amanda, Jane, Maxine, Stephanie, Jacqueline, Maria, Sharon. Hello to you, Lynn, Ingrid, Tina, Julie, Vivian. Um, check out ASAP. There was only 50. You can bet your bottom dollar there's more than 50 people wanting turquoise right now at your clearance deals. Um, okay, let's move all this next round. I'm going to wow. leave those final few. Check out. Um, Sleeping Beauty is coming your way. This is African turquoise. And Whilst I, the web is a wonderful thing, and it's, it's information at our fingertips, isn't it? It's fantastic. Sometimes, though, it it's, doesn't help us. Um, and this is one of those examples, because there is a website that refers to African turquoise, and it's basically a jasper. Now, I want to just base every single time, this is probably one of the banes of Wayne's life right now, every single time we bring a, a strand from this deposit, somebody messages him saying that, no, 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 that's not turquoise, that's jasper. I assure you, we would say this was Jasper if it was Jasper. Africa does bring you turquoise as well. Just that one website, unfortunately, has caused us a, bit, a few issues. If you want to get your certificate of authenticity, it's 25 pence or it's free online, it will say gemstone turquoise. This is the only African turquoise that we've got available. It's so beautiful, the actual patterning that you get. Um, big seven by five up to eight by five millimeters so this is not a jasper this is a turquoise um you can get your lab report you can get the uh, certificate of authenticity i've physically shown them on air with this very strand the fact that we are bringing it to you in turquoise the only african turquoise strand that we have are, are available to you right now look how beautiful they are Mark. they're lovely aren't they i just love love them it's almost got like the tibetan turquoise patterning to mm. it hasn't it we're going to go straight down to it Ooh. I mean, there's 80 of these available for turquoise. They are beautiful. Country of origin should not necessarily no. uh, drive our, our reasoning for purchasing. It's the beauty of the gemstone, which is most important. That is beautiful quality, genuine turquoise. Wow. 82 carats at 12.99. You said about Marla necklaces. 
I would have never actually no, sort of no. thought, oh, let's do a, let's do a turquoise marlin necklace because I know it would have been expensive. You can now with these deals. You can today. now. Yeah. I agree. Genuine turquoise. There were 80 of these available, everybody. Stephanie, Amanda, Yorkshire, Teresa, Joe, Janet, Penny, Barbara, Daphne. Hello to you, Marilyn. Hello to you, Essex. Hello to you, Jacqueline. Um, check out those baskets, everybody. There were, whilst there was 80, they are flying. They're absolutely flying out the door. Half the stock has gone in a matter of minutes. And it is probably going to be a screen sellout. I mean, if this was if this was three times that price, I'd still say it's an amazing deal. Clearly turquoise. There are, like I said, that website which um, I get it. They're trying to help. It was trying to help people out in the same. There probably are companies out there that will actually sell jasper, um, sort of trying to imitate turquoise as a gemstone. There probably are those out there. We are not one of them, however. This is genuine turquoise. And again, if you want uh, the certificate of authenticity, it is out. It is available to you. Twelve ninety nine for beautiful quality, wonderful patterning. I mean, undeniable matrix as well. Such a uh, this the, when we think about turquoise you think about those matrix sleeping beauty turquoise is coming up it's the biggest carrot weight we're going to do the faceted sleeping beauty first um outside of the nuggets obviously um and this strand has to sell out it's so beautiful are we doing it right now we're doing it right now right there are 70 chances of this next opportunity and so many of you've been messaging it's the piece that the strand that mark's been working with and teamed it alongside the black opal i mean that piece mark is absolutely beautiful now it's a star buy and one of the things that makes sleeping beauty so iconic so recognized so desired in the world is the fact that it is all about that vibrancy of robin egg blue. One of the character traits that Sleeping Beauty has, though, is minimal to no matrix, um, which means it can command very high prices. But the, there is one downside. This mine was closed almost 10 years ago. So how we get hold of Sleeping Beauty turquoise, let me just explain that, is usually through negotiations of other gemstones. So our founder has, has Moroccan amethyst. Our founder has serenite that we'll actually do exchanges. Bringing Sleeping Beauty turquoise to you is exciting. Never in a clearance. So in uh, the autumn of 2012, so almost 10 years ago, this mine location in uh, the state of Arizona closed for business. Now, it didn't close because, um, I don't know, maybe the quality was not uh, sort, sort of maintained um, or the mining costs or any of those reasons. It literally ran out. The popularity of Sleeping Beauty turquoise was instant. Um, and as I said at the beginning of your Sleeping Beauty showcase, uh, unfortunately, it's a very shallow forming gemstone. It's not a case of dig deeper and you'll find more. Um, you dig deeper, you'll find less with, with turquoise. But from very humble beginnings, Sleeping Beauty turquoise uh, was an instant influential hit um, in the turquoise world. Discovered by Native Americans, and I, I, I think of Native American jewellery, I can definitely think about the colours of turquoise offerings. Um, and named after the location that it actually resembles. The mountain range is quite incredible, really. Um, if you've seen Sleeping Beauty, the Disney film, when, uh, when she just lay on her back with her hands placed across her waist, it's the outline, her perfect outline. The mountain terrain seems to sort of replicate that so perfectly. And you can find this image again online. Um, we've superimposed in the past Sleeping Beauty on this um, on this mountain range, but you'll still be able to see, uh, you know, her profile picture. So there it is, you know, just where uh, just where the mouse is. Can you see? There's her head. There's the neck, uh, the bust, and then straight down to the waist. So it's literally there that this gemstone was actually uh, Sleeping Beauty was born. Um, it's very shallow forming, as I said, and if you were to ever, if we were ever lucky enough to go to that mining location whilst it was still in operation, you would see these beautiful rivers 
of pure, vibrant robin egg blue. But the popularity, as I said, was immediate. It was overnight. Every single one of the big designers like Van Cleef, Netta Porter, Tiffany's & Co, etc., wanted Sleeping Beauty turquoise because of that, that purity, evenness of color, the minimal matrix patterning that you got from that location. But sadly, it is no more. The mine has closed. Um, it closed for business, as I said, almost 10 years ago. However, there we are very fortunate shopping with a jewelry maker in the fact that we are privy to other deposits that other dealers want. You know, other big brands want your Moroccan amethyst. Other big brands want your uh, serenite, for example. So sometimes we will exchange gemstones for other uh, other gemstones, and I imagine that that's how this is possible. That's how we're bringing it to you today. You'll see on this, mar uh, this map, there it is, there's a Sleeping Be Beauty turquoise mine. It's, uh, it's, it's in the state of Arizona, it's quite remote. Um, we might be traveling to that location as well. Not expecting to get anything, obviously, from it, but just so we can actually go and see it with our own two eyes. Now, it's closed, there we go, closed. On the map, closed. 10 years ago, almost. Look at this strand. I have 70, did you say, Ross? the biggest carat weight of faceted Sleeping Beauty turquoise that we can possibly offer you. And they are insanely beautiful. By definition, Mark, this is everything that we imagine of Sleeping Beauty yeah, completely, turquoise. Completely, completely and utterly. I used every single stone from the strand on <laughs> my necklace and the drill holes from one end to the other. You, I think you can get 0.6 through easy. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for rosary linking, for your beadwork, for you know, your half mil elastic, just the, just the best. Would, oh, it's just lovely. It is. I, I agree. Mm, and listen, yeah. this is the sentence that we need to have in our mind when we're discussing turquoise quality. Intensity of colour, evenness of colour, the quality of polish will dramatically affect, affect the value of your turquoise. The rare, intense sky blue, which is referred to as robin egg blue, is the most desired. Would we all agree that is that intense sky blue color that Kate Blanchett is wearing? So I'm imagining that hers is Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Heidi Klum, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. It's got to be. Look at the color that you're getting, that intensity that I've only ever really seen at that location. We are talking about a gemstone location that is no more. Other mines around it, but not Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Let's bring this 70 opportunity that so many of you have been asking for, messaging in throughout the course of the, of the morning. Ross has just said, Al, this has been the most requested gemstone throughout the course of the morning. The first one of these snapped up. Well done, Manchester. London, congratulations. Hampshire, congratulations. Glasgow, congratulations. Another London, another Hampshire. Uh, Berkshire, you've done it. Oh, what was that, sorry? Huddersfield, Devon, Manchester. I can't keep up with you. I can't keep up with you. The phone lines have gone absolutely cra uh, crazy. 6,000 years we have revered this gemstone. Um, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, I think most of you would actually agree, is the most iconic. It's the most popular. It's the most influential of all your minds around the world. 70 of you will be successful, and that's assuming you all buy one. Um, some of you, oh no, some of you are multi buying. Well, why wouldn't you? 74.99. In fact, a quarter of you have already chosen to multiply. I don't blame you, so that means that 70 quantity is not hanging around. Just over a third of the stock is gone. That's not your clearance deal, even though it should be. The mine's closed. The mine is closed. It did almost 10 years ago. But yet still, the legend of Sleeping Beauty Turquoise lives on. And this is why it glows. This beautiful, vibrant robin egg blue. Clear and steel on a gemstone source that we cannot source anymore. We've shown you VTs in the past. Our founder at the gates of the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Mine saying, I can't go in. There's nothing there. I can't go in. Are you ready for the biggest carat weight of Sleeping Beauty Turquoise? 50% of the stock is gone. Every single pound, every single penny we're taking out of this amazing, uh, amazing opportunity. How about a brand new, lowest price, 
This has never been anywhere near what you're about to see. We should be elevating the price. If you were anyone else, any other jeweler or any other gem dealer, they would elevate the price tag, knowing that Sleeping Beauty, that carries its weight in gold. We're at £34.99 for this beautiful, electrifying blue. I love the necklace that you've actually created out of this, Mark, and I don't blame you for using every single one of those <laughs> solitaires. Well, I don't get to use turquoise very often. I think... Is it not one a gemstone that gets sent in kits? Oh, I no, suppose, especially not very often. Sleeping Beauty. No, I don't think I've ever had turquoise in a kit. Oh, that necklace is gorgeous. Mm. And what have you done? Rosary linked Just in rosary between. Just rosary linked, yeah, with two little black opals either side. I mean, you'd, I don't know how much you'd pay for that in a boutique shop, a couple of hundred pound? Up, upwards, probably. Mm, yeah. Upwards, with black opal as well. You can yeah. get the black opal and the Sleeping Beauty turquoise oh, yeah. for less than 50 pounds oh, today. No. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's mental. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. mental. Yeah. I don't think I've ever said that on air before. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I've never said that sentence. If any, and if any of my bosses are watching right now, um, don't tell me off. But let's be honest, it is. It's absolutely mental to get Sleeping Beauty turquoise and black opal for less than 50. Oh, There's 10 gosh. of these left. I mean, wowzers beautiful colour it's on the verge of selling out everyone Lorraine Christine Jacqueline hello to you Laurel Karen Lynn Angela Carol and Malcolm Jean Janet Manchester Susan Sharon yeah. absolutely listen black opal grandidurite sleeping beauty fancy colour tanzanite songia sapphire you know that's run out as well don't you they should not be in clearance for that very reason. Oh, well done, everyone. Well done. Sold out. Congratulations. Now, I love this next strand. When it comes to turquoise, you can it looks beautiful with facets. It looks amazing in its organic shapes, etc. Um, I really love the simplicity of this. The fact that it is, it's all about colour. It's not going to produce, you know, uh, surface luster, sort of light reflection on facets because it is that beautiful sort of uh, smooth, what we call a smooth rondelle. Um, this strand is pretty, really pretty. Now, I have a hundred. Wow. Ask me where it's from. Where's it from? Sleeping Beauty. Well, that's lovely as well. I'd wear that on a simple bracelet yeah. any day of the week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. this is 22 oh. carats. I'm going to read this to you again because it's so important with turquoise. Coloured by chrome, iron and copper, the intensity, evenness of colour and the quality of polish dramatically affects the value. The rare, intense blues referred to as robin egg blue, is the most desired. Turquoise is esteemed across many cultures, old and new. It's regarded as a gemstone, a holy stone, and also a bringer of good fortune. It's a birthstone. It's a gem that can fetch extreme prices per carat. So I'm not talking quite comparative to the likes of your grand digirite, but it is expensive. If you were to look at... At uh, Tiffany's, and I remember I always reference there because there's one pendant. I don't know if it's still in their collection. It was a while ago that I saw it. One sterling silver pendant, and it was like a lariat style. So you had two literally uh, two suspensions of chain and little teeny weeny rondelles at the bottom, uh, not faceted like these. Two little smooth rondelles at the bottom. It was three hundred and fifty pounds. Three hundred and fifty pounds that necklace. Take a little look at this. That is Monica Veneda. I don't think that is Sleeping Beauty. I don't know. It hasn't even said turquoise, so... I actually have that ring in Amazonite. Um, I actually have it, yeah, it's like a stacker-style ring, really lovely. £100, but it's teeny, isn't it? Mm. It's a teeny, teeny little ring from the Monica Veneda collection, so you can have a look at that if you want. Um, I don't know, have we got any other pieces that I could quickly show? Let me look at this. A slice of turquoise, doesn't say Sleeping Beauty turquoise, nine carat gold, really lovely, I like that design, £815. It's that vibrancy of colour, £815. Turquoise is considered. Right now for your Sleeping Beauty smooth rondelles, you're getting 22 carats in this opportunity. I agree, something for the gents and the ladies, yeah, and yeah, probably on yeah. the strand you've got enough to do both of mm, those. You have, yeah, absolutely. That's oh. 
I can't believe we're taking it to a clearance deal. It's in the title. There you go. You have that supremacy of provinces from that now deplete mining location in the state of Arizona. Celebrated. It's become quite iconic, really, in the turquoise uh, industry for this beautiful quality of color. Sleeping Beauty is one of the most influential turquoise mines globally. It's known and recognized all around the world. Very little veining. Uh, the demand of this gemstone escalated dramatically. And for this reason, the mine closed in autumn 2012. We're bringing you a quantity of how many? 100, okay. Um, at a clearance deal. At a clearance deal. It's a longer, slightly longer strand. We're going to take it straight down to a brand new low price tag. You've got that beautiful robin egg blue. It's never been anywhere near what you're about to see. Obviously, it's Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. I can't do a Sleeping Beauty Turquoise showcase. We couldn't put together an, like an hour a long showcase of this location only. <laughs> 24 $24.99. Madness, isn't it? So, for example, if 10 years ago I, I bought a massive amount of turquoise and I had it in my, in my, I don't know, in my safe. Yeah. And then Mr. Bennett came to me and said, I want to buy some of your turquoise. You know, I'd be putting the price up by hundreds and well, hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Well, you can, and they do. Pounds, People pick you? their price. So why are we doing things like this? I you just don't get it. I don't know. I've got a friend <laughs> that lives... It does not compute. I've got a friend it? that lives not too far away from the Sleeping Beauty mine. And, right. I, and uh, this was a couple of years ago I had this mm. conversation, but I actually said, look, um, OK, we've got Sleeping Beauty turquoise on our show today. And she was like, Elle, I can't, I can't actually buy... Sleeping Beauty Turquoise living at the living location at the of location. source anywhere near the prices. In fact, it's 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 multiplied multi many mm. many many times. Um, Twenty four ninety nine. No, Ross, color. don't do it. That color is beautiful. That's the lowest ever price. There seems to have been, and this is completely <laughs> unplanned, uh, like a, a a a magic price point, hasn't there? That's. I mean, if you got those black opals earlier on, can you imagine this I nestled can't in quite between? I believe that. You mm. no, the opal. Mm. I know. Mm. That's that's crazy. Well, should we should we do something else crazy? Half the stock is gone. We want to sell the full 100 quantity, though. This is Sleepy Beauty Turquoise. We could pass this on to our sister channel. They could literally turn this into a, into a necklace. And I can tell you, whilst amazing their savings are, they wouldn't bring Sleeping Beauty Turquoise to wear at 24.99. Of course not. Of course not. It's Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Under £20 <laughs> for that absolutely iconic location. 22 carats of vibrant, intense evenness of colour. Quality of polish, absolutely. In this beautiful, linear, smooth rondelle strand, there were 100 of these available wow. um, in the world. The mine is closed. There are 37 of these left. Listen, I'm not saying we're never going to be able to bring you Sleeping Beauty Turquoise again. We probably will, but we'll probably have to pay it at a, at, in a higher price tag. Like Mark, uh, Mark just said, you've ultimately got the monopoly. So if you were in that yeah. situation and, you, and, and Steve said, come on, Mark, sell me your Sleeping Beauty turquoise, which is obviously what he has done um, in the past with the opportunities mm. like this, you haven't maybe got the, you know, the mining rights to things like uh, Moroccan Amethyst. So mm. you could name a price, couldn't could, you? Absolutely, yeah. And there are people out there who must be sitting on so much of this, just waiting for the moment Edom when Oberstein they can just price you out the market. Edar Oberstein yeah. did it with yeah. their, look at that, there we go, a little slice, yeah. 249 pounds. That's lovely, by the way, I like that. I really like that. 249 pounds for a really tiny slice of beautiful uh, sleeping, I don't even know if it is sleeping beauty turquoise, natural fat, doesn't specify. This you're getting the entire strand. There were 100. Oh my goodness. Hello to you, June. Oh my Aww. goodness. Got mine. Well done, June. Wanted these for so long. Thank you, JM. Oh, you're welcome. Um, loads of you have been wanting uh, your turquoise on the back of the clearance. Uh, yippee! Thank you, says Julian warmly. Congratulations to you, Julia. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunningly beautiful. Um, just restrand it. We're down to the final. 11, ah, okay, and Karen's just bought three. Lynn and Hampshire's just multi-bought. Um, there are 55 of you currently with it sat in your basket. Some people on the phone lines as well. I'll keep everything crossed. Well done, Rita, Suzanne, Gloucestershire. Hello to you, Clive. Hello to you, Michelle, over in France. Kathleen, Essex. Uh, Amanda's bought three. Maria's bought three in Surrey as well. Isabel, hello to you. Jacqueline, Janice, Yorkshire, Sharon, Elvira. Um, okay, let's bring you... What, sorry? 
Another under 20 pound deal. I think I'm loving the under 20s, you know. But that shouldn't really happen with turquoise. Uh, oh, it's lovely. This would go beautifully with that strand that you've just got. We're going back to the faceted turquoise. Again, sticking with your robin egg blue. Oh, it glows. No, no, but no, 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 but look, it's Sleeping Beauty turquoise. There are 100. It is, oh, there we are. We've put it out there. Have I got the right one? Have I picked up the wrong one? Oh, I've, oh my goodness me. Actually, I'm so, I, I mean, that's lovely. Don't get me wrong. But wait until you see this. Oh my goodness me. Look at this for colour. Um, so think back to those celebrities. Look at that for colour. Now this can't go into £20. No, that's pounds. no. That's... Um, can we flick through those gorgeous celebrities again? Kate Blanchett, definitely Sleeping Beauty, I think, there. Would we all agree? Um, Heidi Klum, I'm going to say definitely Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Um, Beyonce, definitely Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Taylor Swift, meh, nah, can't really tell. But it's lovely, though. Can't really tell. Oh, don't know. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say Megan Fox, possibly not. I don't know this for sure. I'm just literally going off the image. Uh, yes. I think hers is definitely Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Right, look at that colour. And now look at this. Uh, this should be over £50. Bargain. It should be. Yeah. There are 100 of these. It is an absolute bargain. Look at that quality. Well, the powers that be said to us we want clearance. I don't think even as members of staff, well, we do get perks. We get the occasional discount. I don't think we could actually get hold of this at £19.99. Um, so if there are any of them left, I'm going to be joining you on this opportunity. Look how beautiful that is. The colour, it just glows. It radiates against the skin. It is genuine Sleeping Beauty turquoise in these beautiful, smooth rondelles. It is all about the colour of, uh, uh, you know, of turquoise, ultimately. Um, uh, listen, don't get me wrong, I love Matrix patternings as well, but Sleeping Beauty has become so influential in the world, so legendary in the world of turquoise, because it has that minimal veining, um, also known as Matrix. That in itself dramatically escalated not only the demand, but the price per carat of this gemstone. Um, but the it is the, the country uh, sorry the location of source it's gone we could travel you know hop skip and a jump possibly to one of the other arizonian uh, turquoise mines we could go to kingman mine um we could go to the cochise mine which actually is also run out as well um but sleeping beauty i think most of us when you think turquoise you think of that location under 20 pounds only it's a beautiful colour quality. Hello to you, Deb. I absolutely love turquoise. It's my favourite gemstone. Ah, oh, yeah. And I've seen some of your lovely creations, Deb, with it. Um, really, I'd keep this really simple, wouldn't you? Just on a little stacker-style tennis bracelet. Could you believe that we are, uh, that we'd be able to make that with Sleeping Beauty turquoise and it's cost us as little as £20? Amazing. Shall we do um, another faceted strand? Uh, this is, is this the finale of, uh, of Sleeping Beauty Turquoise? It's going to be on and gone. There are only 25 of these available. Um, so be quick. Be quick on this one. Um, beautiful colour, intensity of these. Loving the shape, loving the facet. 25 carats, a closeout deal for Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. We should, no, no, it's already closed out. Twenty of these left. I, I I have no no justification for that at all. I don't even know we can even buy it for what's on your screens right now. In fact, can't we can't we can't can we? No, we can't we can't buy twenty five carats. That's less than a pound per carat of Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Oh dear, Ross says in my ear. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh my goodness, um, wow, check out your baskets. Have they sold out? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, so name a few gemstones, Mark, that you think look amazing with turquoise. Apart from black opal, obviously. Okay, uh, spinel, all yeah. of the spinels. Um, I think something like smoky quartz. Mm, nice. Another one. Um, you can't have turquoise without pearls. 
Um, Johnson Pearls. Johnson Pearls. Okay. Now. Okay. We have we both have access to the vault, um, and and there are no pills. There are Do no. You know, I wondered where they were. There are no I've pills. I've not seen any on the show for ages. No, there's no pills. Uh, I don't know uh, why. There's no pills currently. Oh. Oh look. This would be beautiful with your Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Look at these. Um, your rice pills, the elegance oh, that you beautiful. get. Amazing iridescence. Look at that. Your silver colour. I ca even though we have, I can't. I've been making a few kits lately. You have not I've for been, me though. I don't think. No, they no they they did they didn't give right. they didn't they didn't let me make yours. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, well, to be fair, you make. Pretty much your own, mm. don't you? Um, anyway, but I've been trying to include kits in in uh, pills and kits. Can't happen. There's not enough of them available in our vault at the moment. Every single time I've tried, they've there's not been the quantity no, available. There isn't. No. So let's ask the question, Ross. How many of these are available? Seventy. Yeah. I mean, in clearance for beautiful. Look at that soft silver colour. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. The most gorgeous, oh, gorgeous combination gemstone. Pearls, I agree, and turquoise are just heavenly yeah, as a yeah. combination. But likewise, alongside, don't forget, we've got your tanzanite coming up. We've got fancy tanzanite coming your way as well. Very, very, very soon, uh, some of the rarest colours of gemstones in the world coming your way in your uh, in clearance events as well. There are 70 of these available. Lovely. I mean, they're almost like, almost La Peregrina-like shape. I'm they not are. saying they are yeah, a perfect yeah. drop, but... Yeah. You have that elegance. You paid um, that shell pearl in that shape. You would actually, yeah. Mm. You would. Fourteen ninety nine only. Maria Elizabetha, Marilee. Hello to you, Alan. Hello to you, Catherine. Hello to you, Devon. Hello to you, Mary. Knotting those. I mean, it doesn't oh, have to yeah, go yeah. with your pearls. It would look lovely, I think, mm. with your black opal. Well, yeah. yeah. If I had them still uh, before me, I'd show you. Yeah, but lovely alongside your black opal. There were 70, but they're flying out the door. Um, I think it can't just be us. It can't just be us that is sort of almost starved of this beautiful gemstone. Now, coming up after the break, jewelry makers, we have tanzanite, but not as you know it. Now, I'm bringing you the beautiful zoocyte blues in shapes that we don't often see in tanzanite. It is, uh, I'll talk about the crystal structure and why it doesn't form in rounds that frequently, but actually what we call fancy tanzanite. Now, they, I've brought this to air once previously, and this is probably going to be its final airing in clearance. This is incredibly collectible. Up next, after the break, fancy tanzanite. Hi, my name is Denise Allen and on Tuesday the 10th of August I'm going to be showing you how I use the fantastic Pebio pouring paints. Pebio is an amazing company and they make the highest quality pre-mixed pouring paints. You don't have to do all that recipes, it's all done for you and the colours are incredible. So I'm going to show you how I do some of these techniques. I'm a professional artist and I've been working with Pebio for a long time. I'm a huge fan of their products. So please join me on Tuesday the 10th of August at 1pm. See you soon. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Makers. Did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? 
Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Oh, welcome back everybody, lovely to be with you this morning. I'm Eleanor and I'm joined by the fantastic Mark. Who, Mark I've been you busy some... away today. You have, haven't you? Yeah. But I tell you what, like in the space of how many hours? One, two, three and a half mm. hours. Look at the jewellery that you've made. Oh, yeah. Really beautiful. I've been, busy. I've been buried away today. Oh, I'm I love loving this. it. I can't get over this. Um, I made a pair of earrings with this. I can't quite believe that's tanzanite. I Cheers. just think it's absolutely extraordinary. Yeah, very, very, it. very rare. Is it? Yes, yeah. um, that's They're coming amazing, up actually. So we refer yeah. to it as fancy tanzanite. So that's coming up in wow. uh, within this hour as well. Nice. Uh, but can I also show you some more beautiful tanzanite strands? I mean, look at the length of that, by the way. More than enough to wrap around my neck. So all I needed to do was uh, restrand it and pop it onto um, a clasp of choice. Now this has got such vanadium uh, richness. Look at the quality of that colour. That's coming your way in your clearance. Um, so just to give you a heads up. I'll use yellow. I think it's, is it, is that yellow sapphire? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's in between these. Yeah, that's what I've made here, look. <gasps> Can you see that gorgeous rosary linked uh, necklace that Mark's actually created using this very strand? So using some of your gorgeous yellow sapphires, mm. Songia sapphire. Yes, yeah. Um, 70 carats of gorgeous, look at that. Mark, that's amazing. I love that combination, amazing. I love that. I love that combination. Um, going under a certain price point, Ross says. Okay. Well, one that we might have been doing a lot today. For what? For what? <laughs> mm. <laughs> and you've got rounds. Now, 90 oh, carats of tanzanite rounds. These are coming up in about five minutes' time. It's a shape that we don't often see in tanzanite, and I'm going to actually talk about that during the opportunity. Oh. So that's coming your way um, within uh, your tanzanite clearance as well. Unbelievable. Um, but actually, we've got lots of tanzanite goodies. Now, we're going to start... Oh, do you know, this is so weird that you said that, because I was, I was looking through the boxes, and my eyes just beamed down towards number seven. Oh, be prepared because I'm about to bring you, this is gem quality, seriously, this is what I expect in, in, in high-end jewellers. You have beautiful clarity Ooh. here in these drops. You can see the clarity from there, yeah, can't you? Yeah, completely, they're amazing. That colour as well. Yeah. Tanzanite is a one locational gemstone. Um, it is also highly, <coughs> do you see where I'm coming from? That is gem quality. Mm, You've got yeah. amazing clarity in this strand. Um, it's highly triacroic. So what that basically means is that from different angles, you'll see flashes of different colors. The pink 
uh, presence in this is astonishing. I could talk about color, I could talk about cut, I could talk about carrot weight. I wanna talk about the clarity. That's amazing clarity. It's probably some of the finest clarity uh, tanzanite that we've actually physically brought to wear outside of maybe some faceted stones. Goodness me, I mean. Uh, that's like lapis. <laughs> yeah, that's graded quality yeah. of color. It's wow. beautiful clarity. What on earth are we doing at 49.99 for that entire strand? I've got to count these, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27 solitaires. That's madness, isn't it? Pop along to our sister channel sometime when they're doing a Tanzanite showcase. See, imagine, and this is not me being derogatory. I love our sister channel. Mm. I buy a lot of my jewellery from there as well. One of those in, in sterling silver would not be... No, no. Would not be anywhere near what you're paying now for the entire strand. Goodness me, and you can get hold of it on your split pay as well. But guess what? Sold out. Amazing. Um, loads of you are requesting about the round. Are we going to do it now? Okay. Okay, lots of you have already messaged in about the round, so let's just do it. There are only 30 of these. Let me just explain why um, we don't often see Tanzanite in a round. I'm not saying never, but we don't often see it. Now, it's all down to the crystal structure of the gemstone because there are seven different crystal structures. Um, diamonds are cubic, for example. Tanzanite is what we call orthrhombic. And what that basically means, have you ever noticed tanzanite in ovals or sort of droplet-like shapes? That's because it loves to have one longer axis, a longer C axis. Um, facetis or lapidaris will actually use that axis to enhance the colour um, or showcase uh, the triachroism. So we don't often see it in a round at all. And the whole nature of the, uh, nature of the crystal structure Itself means that tanzanite is generally more of an elongated-like elongated -like shape. So we pay a premium for rounds in your tanzanite. Um, and here's us, just a little old jewellery maker, bringing it to you in a clearance. It's a star buy. There are how many? 30. It's next. I know it's something that we don't often think about very often when we're talking about the rarity of gemstones is actually why are certain gemstones faceted into certain shapes like chrome dioxide often quite uh, slender shapes because of the extinction that that gemstone often actually uh, uh, um, is subject to. Tanzanite rounds it's down to the actual crystal structure. There are 30 of these opportunities that's it and we're going to introduce the graphics immediately 30 chances in three, two, one. Um, beautiful, soft cornflower blues. Um, now I'm going to show you what our guide price is actually for your tanzanite. And all day long into the moon and back. Let's not forget this is tanzanite, a thousand times rarer than a diamond, one generational gemstone. Okay, I mean, yeah. I, I don't think that's a deal that we would bring to air. However, if you looked elsewhere, absolutely categorically. First dibs, like I said, that's a website that I quite frequently reference. Um, you'd be looking, if you, especially if it was in rounds, Tanzanite and rounds, <gasps> ahead of the Jadeite showcase on tomorrow's show. That would be beautiful mm. as a combination. Yes, that's a price tag which is fully, fully realistic for this gemstone. The, 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 the world um, immediately got behind Tiffany's & Co when they launched this gemstone back in the 1960s. Um, there has never been a gemstone which has achieved quite um, quite such a story as Tanzanite has done in such a short period of time, in just, what, 75 years. This is one of the rarest of all shapes to get in your Tanzanite. Five to six millimetres in their size. We're taking 90 carats today. What? Under 40 pounds. <laughs> Oh. I mean, you try and tell you try and find anywhere that can compete with that. Do you know anywhere that can compete that with that? Forty-four pence per carat. Oh, that's just crazy. That really is crazy, isn't it? Forty-four oh, pence. Gosh. If you had just one in each ear on a head pin, kept the length of the head pin so you had to dangle sterling silver shepherd hooks, you'd pay that for that pair of earrings. For and sure. You'd only use two. Because it's tanzanite. <laughs> It's like, it's like everything, yeah. like, like gold, like silver, like diamonds, like oh. rubies, like sapphires. We know the value of this gemstone. 
we immediately recognise the price per carat that this Canon does fetch. Mm. 39.98, yeah, using two of them on precious metal. Yeah. Um, there are 30, or there were 30. Don't hang around on this opportunity. I, um, let me just check what I'm about to say. In terms of rounds, this is one of the only strands I actually have um, in the entire business, by the way. And they definitely are the, round, uh, the largest of the rounds as well. Shell, Bristol, Hilda, Caroline, hello to you, uh, Catherine, Lynn, Angela, Maxine, Yorkshire. One of the biggest carat weights of tanzanites that we have in our entire vault. Um, stay where you are and, and make sure you check out, though, because if you've got a phone in your hands, there are six chances remaining. 37, 38 of you actually have it in your baskets. Um, and I can see Mary, you're on the phone lines. I've got uh, Essex on the phone lines as well. Um, look at it, I can't see every single telephone caller. Stay where you are, they're flying out and on the verge of selling out. Well done. There's one, there's one left. Okay, moving on to. Ooh! Ooh! What's better than a Tanzanite? <laughs> Loads of tanzanite, 145 carats. And I'm not talking chips and nuggets here. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. There are 10 of these. Would the man who discovered it would have named it? Or would somebody else have named it? No, uh, uh, Tiffany's named it. Oh, Tiffany's named it? Mm-hmm, because, oh, right. um... Right. Oh, I kind of can't remember what it was called. Um, previously called... Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue now. Zop, no. Um, we'll Google it now. We'll find yeah, out. Right, yeah, and they, right. it was Tiffany's that changed the name oh, to right. Tanzanite because right. uh, the, the, first, the first name it was actually referred to, they didn't like it, thought it sounded quite morbid. Let's just put it that way. Oh, right. Um, so it's Tiffany's and co that labelled it, uh, that right. named the actual oh, okay. gemstone. Now, there are ten of these. Oh. Ah! Uh, Zoocyte is the gemstone family. I can't remember, I can't remember. Anyway, it was Tiffany's that actually oh, named right. it that gemstone, uh, that, 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 that name. Immediately, the world fell in love with this uh, rare, one locational gemstone that formed at the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro. The likelihood, I can't believe, I mean, look at that carat weight. It's, it has to be the biggest carat weight of tanzanite that we have. It has to be, surely, Ross. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's gone. Well done, well done, well done. Wow. Um, so coming up, you've got this beautiful rondelle strand. Again, a long strand, more than enough to actually commission a, a full 360 necklace. Remember the price of those amazing uh, um, ones you've just seen that sold out at 49.99. Um, this is still to come. Beautiful, beautiful quality of colour. Okay, let's now bring you. Um, I'm going to go back to the faceted rounds. Oh, again, look at that clarity. And the pinks. Look at that quality of colour. There's a strong triacrosin within these. Oh, Can you right. see the pinks coming through? Oh, that's beautiful. That is very high end, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Can you see the pink? Can you see the secondary hue of pink? That's because tanzanite is, like I said, trichroic. It means it shows three different colours um, in different directions. We're looking at different directions. We have 20 of these available. You said about one on a sterling silver pair of earrings. We've previously closed, we've previously closed this here. Oh, we can't do it. £129.99, oh, which is amazing. Yeah. Again, please don't be disheartened if that's what you paid, because at the end of the day, you've still got a fabulous deal. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27 solitaires you've got there. Um, I mean, if, if that's what we launched at. If you were to put them on some sterling silver shepherd hooks and sell them, let's, let's, let's be conservative and say £50 mm. on Etsy or Facebook yeah, yeah. or any of those places, people would snap them up because of the, they, they, they know the immediate value of Tanzanite. Today, forty nine ninety nine. We did say this was the biggest day of clearance that we've ever actually brought to air. There were 20, did you say, Ross? 
Yeah, Yorkshire's just got two. Leslie, well done to you. As is Lynn in Hampshire, well done. Um, hello, Denise, you've got your sit back and enjoy. There are 20. The quantity is flying. Uh, good luck to you, uh, Oriana. Good luck to you, Carol. Good luck to you, Lancashire. Good luck to you, Car another Carol. Good luck to you, Ingrid. Good luck to you, Staffordshire. Good luck to you, Beverly. Good luck to you, Denise. I've got people dialing in for a second time now. Um, Mary in Cardiff, good luck. Maxine, good luck. Tracy, good luck. There were 20. It's going to be an on screen sell out for sure. Beautiful blues. Amazing clarity. Faceted rounds. Ah. Oh. High end. Okay, stay where you are again on the verge of selling out. Uh, I love this next round. Mark, can we just show your beautiful sapphire necklace and earrings that you've made? With they the, are stunning. Um, it's like a, almost like a channel set, but it's like a river of wire running through it. Those are pretty. Those, yeah. If you want to make that with tanzanite, mm. we have the strand for you. Or you want to make the most perfect ta uh, uh, tennis nice. style bracelet, we have the perfect strand for you. That sparkle is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. From here, wow. 33 carats are oh, of look. uniformity. Look at that lovely colour. Lowest ever price. Previously closed at $69.99. $29.99 today for genuine tanzanite. The likelihood of this gemstone ever being discovered anywhere else quite literally is a million to one. Because of the... Uh, ve oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Wow. The very specific geological occurrence that actually produces this gemstone. Um, okay, let's now bring you... Ooh! Ross, where have you dug these all out from? Again, look at the pinks you're getting through. You can get pink tanzanite, by the way. I've only ever brought it to wear once on our sister channel. Very expensive. Is it? Yeah, very, very expensive. Um, the reason why I say that is, again, I can see the secondary... Oh, uh, they're pretty, aren't they? Ah, you've got little, they're cute, aren't little, they? little triplets <laughs> and little doublet, uh, dub, yeah. uh, double, doublets, <laughs> little twins, a beautiful tanzanite. Do you know what? They actually say this is the gemstone of new beginnings and uh, they also say that you should give tanzanite, this is tanzanite one, um, sort of targeting this as a marketing campaign, but this is a gemstone they gift uh, on uh, people's firstborn. So, Aww. Adam, this would be lovely to give to your wife, wouldn't it? Because you've got little twins in there as well, haven't you? £24.99 only uh, for beautiful spherical tanzanite. You've got wonderful vanadium presence within these, hence you've got that deep uh, saturation coming through. The graduation, I love that, the little sections that you've got there, the twins and the little triplets in these beautiful uh, gem quality examples, all coming your way um, at clearance. It's selling out as well. Yeah, I mean, that was the intention. That's what we wanted to do. Clearance, clear the vault. Um, there are five of these left and 16 of you actually have it in your basket. So I'll leave those final few. Love this next strand. Um, remember, your rondelles are coming up, everybody. Um, your fancy tanzanite is coming up as well. I think this is going to be very popular. You have a graduation in your oval, uh, your oval shapes. Again, it's a size, uh, shape rather that we tend to see um, in your tanzanite quite a lot because it's, it naturally forms in this direction. It loves to have, being all thrombic, it likes to have an all, uh, sort of a longer uh, C axis. Beautiful clarity in these as well. Tanzanite smooth ovals. Big carrot weight, 34 centimetre strand. How many of these are available? 60 of these available in the vault. That's a big quantity mm, when it yeah. comes to tanzanite. Um, Ross has just said, I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to do one price crash. And he's going to take it to the lowest ever price. Now, the last strand was 35 carats. And it was £24.99. This is 62 I could use them as solitaires. I could prong set mm, these. You could. You could take two and put them on a pair of sh uh, sterling silver shepherd hooks and probably command, what do you think? 50, 60 mm, pounds? Yeah, yeah. Maxine, you've just bought three <laughs> of these. You've still paid less than 100 pounds. Less than 100 pounds for how many? 
186 carats of genuine tanzanite. I've had conversations in the past with so many of our lovely viewers about tanzanite as a gemstone. I remember one lady, and, and, and I won't say your name just in case you, you, know, you want to remain private, but she says, I'm up to, I've got over 100 strands of tanzanite. I've um, met a lady on the workshop who's got every strand we've bought of tanzanite. I mean, why wouldn't them. we at the end of yeah, the day? Yeah, That's yes. that scenario that you sort of mm. outlined earlier on about Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. They yes. estimate that tanzanite is about 15 to 20 years um, right. of mining. Um, and that is very much dependent on sort of tanzanite one. It's all, it's all uh, uh, sort of... Uh, governized now so yes. and effectively they've got the monopoly they can command whatever price per carat that they wish you know is it a negative to have a hundred strands of tanzanite when this gemstone actually runs out of course it's not because you are in that position that mark actually mentioned a few moments ago yeah. buy my tanzanite from me you know make me rich um 29.99 carol maria london west yorkshire debbie helena yorkshire devon paula maxine um hello to you joyce ingrid london new customers west midlands barbara um that's a massive wow. carrot weight um okay keep on dialing through again i'm moving quite quickly because i want to bring you as many tanzanite deals as i possibly can oh lovely we had those gorgeous blue opals, didn't we? Those uh, in this shape. The green tanzanite and the yellow tanzanite comes under your fancy tanzanite description. It's coming up in one or two auctions time. The yellow is very limited. Uh, green is a little bit more plentiful, but it's still one of the rarest varieties of, of tanzanite in the world. Um, yeah, that's coming your way. I know Mark's really excited about those. I've, I've never seen it, it before. I've la I launched it, never yellow tanzanite. Seen it. It's and amazing. I think we've only ever had it on our screens a couple of times. Now, these are beautiful. You did say uh, 16, didn't you? There we go. They're Gorgeous. On, aren't they? <laughs> they are, aren't they? Tessellating beautifully together. Lovely drops. I love this shape. Not a single facet. It's all about the curves of the, uh, and, and colour of the gemstone itself. $24.99. Again, I have to ask the question, where else in the world do you know will be able to offer you 30 carats of genuine yeah, tanzanite yeah. at under £25? I watched a show a couple of days ago with Sherilyn. Sherilyn, Sherilyn yeah. She's ever so nice. And she was she was talking about that um, apparently the Tanzanite mines have to apply for a license yeah. to sell out of Africa mm -hmm. um, every ten years, and mm -hmm. next year is the year that all the everyone has to apply for the licenses. And if they're too expensive, they won't it won't be exported out of Africa. No, I mean it's it, it's it's mm. it was a wonderful thing actually. The um, the Tanzanian government, oh my goodness, this next one's amazing. The Tanzanian government intervened because what mm. was happening is there was a lot of artisanal mi uh, miners, etc., and um, they were they were they were struggling really with illegal mining. So you've right. got your main shafts, and uh, and miners were going down sort of previous uh, artisanal shafts and digging across and literally unearthing. So they built a, uh, a wall right. around it. The government banned exportation of rough. In any form, um, goodness me, uh, and yeah, they, they can literally command whatever price they yeah, wish. Yeah. Um, and I fully expect it to go up. I'm not. I can't mm. read into the future. Yeah. I haven't even shown you this strand. I haven't even shown you the price, and it's already sold out. But oh my goodness me, what a purchase you've just made! Look at how beautiful that is. Consistency of colour. Sorry, I was. I was rambling away then, and not even telling you what was going on. Um, okay, moving on to. Oh, okay. This is um, a, a, a little known secret, really, that we refer to. You know, your, any color of uh, diamonds, with the exception of colorless, is regarded as a fancy diamond. Tanzanite, when you talk about pinks, greens, and yellows, they come under uh, that description. So, But they are very, very, very rare. Um, now, the yellow is limited. So if you're wanting the yellow tanzanite, you need to be super quick. One for the collectors, one for the connoisseurs. I can't believe I'm including this in clearance, but it's happening and it's happening next. One of the best kept secrets in the Tanzanite trade is fancy Tanzanite. And I heard, I referenced earlier on the fact that I've brought pink Tanzanite to air, not here at Jewelry Maker, sadly. Hopefully that's something we'll see in the future. 
but once I've done it, and it was a single piece of jewellery. It was a Larique piece of jewellery that was on our, our sister channel. And you're talking thousands of pounds for pink tanzanite. Uh, pink, yellow, green, all come under the fancy description. And like I said, it's one of the best kept secrets in, in the tanzanite world. It is so incredibly rare that many people don't even know it exists. You think tanzanite, you automatically think of blue. But actually, uh, fancy tanzanite comes in wonderful shades. You can get greens, you can even get oranges, you can get yellows and pink, as I just mentioned. And it is a, 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 you know, a variety that gem lovers, collectors and con connoisseurs can only dream of owning. Um, now, we say that a tanzanite is a thousand times rarer than a diamond. But out of all of the tanzanites that are actually unearthed, which there are few, less than one in 1,000 will be a wow. fancy tanzanite. So we, I can't even do the maths in, right, uh, you know, in accordance to, 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 to diamonds. Less than one in 1,000 tanzanite will be, nat will be unearthed with fancy colours. Um, so, yeah, is that right? 10,000 times rarer than... I can't work out that maths. It fries my head. Um, okay, yellow tanzanite exists, though it is extremely rare. And prospectors are seldom unearthing this most desired shade. As with many gemstones of, of unprecedented rarity, there is no prom uh, sort of common price per carat. And I think that's something mm. that we discussed during your sort of grand digerite. Therefore, the cost can be set by the seller's choice. You know, you've got that monopoly, as we said earlier yes, on. Yeah. Obviously, usually this results in, in a huge price investment. However, with us, we are not usual. We are not your, your big colour gemstone uh, jewellery brand in the fact that we would actually elevate the price knowing uh, how rare this is, knowing how desirable it is, knowing that it is less than one in a, in a thousand tans nights ever display your fancy yellow colour. We don't do that. We don't conform to that sort of uh, that rule book in the industry. But what those of you that are successful, which as I said, this is very, very, very rare. We're talking a tanzanite is rare. It's a thousand times rarer than a diamond. This is this is one in a thousand um, um, of your of all your tanzanites. And I want to show you this. Um, so this is one of the few slides, one of the few pieces of information that I could actually uh, bring to air. Uh, and it says, yellow tanzanite exists in zoocyte not typically pure in color, so you're not talking about a, a, a canary yellow, usually exhibiting a secondary green or blue. Um, a gem for the collectors, as many other gems, have more desirable yellow color. Whilst yellow tanzanite does exist, it is extremely rare. We have been dealing in tanzanite for over 20 years and have only ran into this color of tanzanite in less than a dozen times. And that, by the way, is from, look at, look at the website, by the way, Tanzanite, uh, I can't remember the website, what's it, Tanzanite, what, at the top, in the top, jewellery design. So they specialise in this gemstone. Now, what isn't highlight, highlighted, it says, when we do come into contact with this colour, it normally sells quite quickly, and due to the, fa uh, the rarity of yellow Tanzanite, um, a price per carat is set by the seller. Um, yeah, it, it, we are talking rarest of the rare here um this is limited i can't believe we're including no, this in your no. uh, in your clearance event this is the only yellow tanzanite that we can physically offer you um and probably the uh, the only yellow tanzanite strand that we've actually brought to air ever i think this is the mm. one i launched wasn't it yeah it's the one that i launched when was that ross not that long ago um last year 2020 so this has been under lock and key um, October last year. I have how many? Oh, 30. Oh, gosh. On your marks, get set, go. 
You are not looking for a primary, uh, so like a, a, sorry, a canary yellow. You are looking at a yellow with secondary hues. It does say greens or blues. I think you're getting both of that here. Um, I haven't got 30 anymore. Ross says I've got 15. This is the rarest of the rare, one for the collectors and the connoisseurs. And you saw her on the article just there. Um, they've, see, they've been mining this gemstone or, or sort of dealing with this gemstone for some 20 years and they've only come across a dozen. Um, that's the rarity of it. We're going to go down in two separate price auctions purely because we can't do it in one big price crash anywhere else absolutely i mean to be truthful you'd be hard pushed to find yellow tanzanite online um that's literally the extent of my research that's how much i could actually find on yellow tanzanite it's incredibly collectible lowest price obviously single figure quantities I can't believe we're bringing you this level of rarity for, oh my, oh no, oh no, oh, hang on, Ross, did you still put that on my sheet? Did you? Oh, you, you, you didn't fancy, he didn't put this on the sheet, for just, just, just for FYI, FYI, I, I prepped last night, as you know, and I, I get sent star by sheets from our producers as well. That's not on there, maybe because he knew it was going to be that reaction. There are four... Oh, Mark. You you had your heart set on this as well, mm. didn't you? It's gone. It's gone. Oh, my goodness me. Hardly surprising. The first thing I noticed about it is it, it feels so much heavier than the blue mm. tanzanite. Whether, ah, it's a, whether it's a dense or gemstone, but it feels a lot maybe. heavier, a lot heavier. Maybe. It's beautiful. Um, it is really beautiful. Uh, and you've made some really lovely jewellery as well. Look at that lovely cascade pair of earrings that Mark's made. Um, now, we have another tans a fancy tans night opportunity. We have 30 of the last one. In 94 seconds, that sold out. Now... I've got 90 of this next fancy tanzanite. Some people will be tuning in going, what's fancy tanzanite? I've yes, never yes. even heard of it before. <laughs> um, I'm about to bring you the rare green, green tanzanite. Uh, you know, bicolor tanzanite, I know you've heard of. So uh, to actually have that combination of blue and green, this is all about that beautiful green. And this is how rare, exciting, your green tanzanite star buy is and it's coming your way in a clearance in a clearance we again you i know what you have written down here oh my goodness uh, right 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 if you got the yellow tanzanite start dialing if you love tanzanite if you, if you regard yourself as a collector and a connoisseur then you absolutely have to be ready 91 is not going to hang around i can see what it's going to it's it's ridiculous um, this is the level of rarity that you can potentially achieve take a little look at this um, very little information is actually av available for your fancy uh, coloured tanzanite because so little of it is available to the actual gem world. But I'm going to read this out. One of the best kept secrets of the tanzanite trade is the incredibly rare occurrence of fancy coloured tanzanite that are occasionally discovered. The wonders of green, orange, yellows and the very rare pinks are now, uh, uh, sorry, are not, uh, not, I think it's meant to say known to most people. And we hunt these down. One of the best kept secrets in the Tanzanite trade is the incredibly... Oh, it's, it's duplicated. There we go. Just we, It was that important they wanted to say it twice. Um, wanted to say it twice. Um, yeah. Um, so here we go. Some people have heard of green Tanzanite. But the wonders of orange, yellow and the very rare pink are not... No, 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 no. Uh, their rarity and the fact that they are so seldom found have made them uh, the preserve of collectors and Tanzanite enthusiasts who are well informed. So I think there's going to be people today that are firstly finding out that Tanzanite does actually exist in different colours. We've had, you can get golden Tanzanite as well. Um, your blue zoocyte, your blue tanzanite, when it comes out of the ground, will actually more often than not be like a brownish colour. Um, we heat treat tanzanite, uh, your blue tanzanite, to, to achieve that wonderful uh, sort of vanadium rich blue. Now, bicolor tanzanite exists, 
Yellow tanzanite exists, green tanzanite exists, pink tanzanite exists, but you are talking a premium. Because statistically, if a, if a tanzanite, a usual tanzanite, um, is a thousand times rarer than a diamond, and the likelihood of this, you know, that gemstone ever actually being uh, discovered anywhere else is a million to one, and that's because tanzanite was formed 585 million years ago. That's when Mount Kilimanjaro was actually created, so the movement and the migration of tectonic plates. Basically, Mount Kilimanjaro erupted before. Can you imagine seeing mm. that? It's fascinating, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. But that movement, those pressures that sort of went on underneath the ground, ultimately created this gemstone. They actually believe that Tanzanite's creation was was an act of God. Uh, you know, uh, locals actually discussed the fact that they think it was an act of God, um, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, that, that rarity, that beautiful blue that we we immediately think, most of us recognise. It's, it's wonderful to actually understand that there are other examples of that. It's not going to pop up anywhere else. This is not a million to one that likelihood of finding another deposit, a thousand to one times rarer than a diamond, and out of 1,000 of your usual tanzanites, less than one will display this beautiful green. There are 91. Mark, there's been like a, a price tag that we've... Oh, uh, no. <laughs> there's been a price tag that... Yeah, oopsie. We seem to have... Uh, oh, it's not, not with this one. Where's the oh. previous one you just that they had the the previous tanzanite? Uh, the yellow. Where have I put the yellow one? There it is. Wow. They go beautifully they together. They do. I was actually. just thinking that. They, it's got to look a moldavite about it. Hasn't it has it? actually. The green. It's beautiful. We need yeah. to bring the graphics onto your screen. Mm. There are 90, again, slightly deeper colour. I mean, those of you that, that have been with us for... Oh, so there's also mm. some uh, sort of bi-coloured yeah. uh, tanzanites in this as well. Fancy coloured tanzanite, definitely worthwhile getting hold of your certificate of authenticity. 91 of these are available. Those of you that have been with us um, since the beginning of the, uh, the show this morning, um, there seems to have been like a, a sort of a, a price point that you've absolutely loved during the clearance, and we've brought it to you in gemstones that, that uh, or, or origins of gemstones that have all but run out. Um, I can't believe we're doing it with green tanzanite. Uh, listen, I've brought pink tanzanite to wear, not here at Jewelry Maker on our sister channel once. I've brought yellow tanzanite to air twice. I've brought green tanzanite to air, have a guess how many times? Twice in my entire professional career, under 20 pounds. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I love it, I absolutely love it. That's what, love less than it. a pound yeah. per carat. It's absolutely stunning. And to say that you own this amazing treasure is the stuff of collector's dreams. Uh, again, if you, if, if you cast your mind back to what I said on the introduction of your fancy, uh, fancy tans night, it's not about um, like a, a definite sort of chrome or emerald green. You get secondary hues with your, uh, with your fancy tans night. Don't forget, it's trichroic. So you will get sort of secondary hues. Can you see the flashes of gold running through the center of these? Um, yeah, in the, with your yellow tans night that you saw, you or a definite bluish undertone to those as well. What a collector's opportunity. This should have been, what was the target price on green tanzanite? <laughs> £129.99. pence. Is that what I launched it at? Ah! Don't know, I think we went a bit lower. Oh, really? We took it to 49 99 Today in clearance, under £20. Lorna, Amy, hello to you, Marcia, uh, Marcia hello to you, Lancashire, Caroline, Sean, hello to you, Michelle, Alison, Marianne, Celia, uh, Gloucestershire, Alison, Glynis, Frida, hello to you, Glamorgan, June, uh, Amy, you've got yours as well, uh, Tracy, Sally, Barbara, Sarah, North Yorkshire, Beverly, Carola, Wiltshire, Helen, lots of multi-buyers, incredible, beautiful, and you get triacroism, you get that beautiful secondary hues of colour, but with added rarity, 
rarity, even more rarity than you actually find within Tanzanite as a gemstone. Now, I can see there is a bit of a queue on the phone lines. Please bear with our call center. You are being answered. So, Alan, you've just been answered. New customers, you're, um, you're, 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 you'll be answered imminently. Hello, Alison, got mine now. Well done. I mean, absolutely well done. I think if you are fascinated by the, if you love the beauty of gemstones, which is an obvious, I think we all do, don't we? That's an obvious. But if you're fascinated by gemstones formations, get this, this gemstone formed was created 585 million years ago. That's even, even, even older than dinosaur bone. Yes. yes Significantly yes. older than dinosaur bone. 585 million years, and yet, and yet we've only been appreciating its beauty for 75 years. Can you feel the weight? Yeah, it does. I think also yeah. that's quite a big carrot weight. Yeah. Um, those yeah. beautiful Tanzanite rondelles are coming up in one auction's time. Um, this, I've got how many? How many left of this one? Okay, 19. But there's people on the phone lines, yeah. And stay where you are. Um, you will be answered. I think you're next to be answered. Uh, I'll leave that with you. I'll leave it with you. Amazing. Okay. 70 carats going under 20 in Tanzanite. What number? Ooh, these are pretty. Really pretty. Oh, this is lovely. Um, you said about Kiss Cross. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine Kiss Crossing with Tanzanite? It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I've done it with Grand Didi, right? I've not. Um, I've you not, have not, have yeah, you? Yeah, but not, um, not Tanzanite. Oh, Mark, but I would use this because where the where the two crosses cross, yeah. that's the kiss. So you'd use the kiss as your Tanzanite, and then you you continue kiss. with this with the seed beads. Oh, can you? It can, you need to make mm. that piece of jewellery and literally call it a Tanzanite kiss. Tanzanite kiss. Ah, oh, ten carats. Look at the clarity. <sighs> You, I mean, what on earth is that? I know it's clearance, <laughs> but seriously, Tanzanite with beautiful clarity, wonderful brilliance. Um, yeah, somebody make that kiss cross with Tanzanite. Look at that clarity. It's absolutely flawless, isn't it? Um, and a really delicate cornflower blue. Now, generally speaking, when it comes to your, tans your blue Tanzanite, the deeper the colour saturation, the more valuable it is. But you know what? I love the cornflowers. It's like, sa it's like sapphires. You can mm. go for your deep cashmere royal blues or you can go for yeah, your sort of salon right. blues. I really like the sort of cashmere tones. Not cashmere, what am I talking about? That uh, sort of the cornflower blues, especially if you've got brilliant like this under 20 pounds oh if you make that beautiful tanzanite kiss necklace please send a photograph into the wall of fame i mean what a romantic design mm. romantic piece that would actually be kiss cross with a tanzanite kiss um <laughs> amazing 10 carats of micro faceting um that's beautiful absolutely beautiful um we still have one amazing Tanzanite clearance to bring you is that right it's a massive star buy 70 carats and a crazy, a ridiculous, <laughs> an unfathomable star by clearance. Now, at this... Uh, Tanzanite is one of those gemstones that I, I, I must never assume everybody knows. Um, although you could go along most high streets and probably find Tanzanite. And if you did, you would find it a very considered price tag. If I go back to my jeweller days, when I worked in, 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 in a very posh jeweller's, I was completely out of my comfort zone. I didn't like working there, even though I stayed there for quite a long time. Um... I don't, I don't know, maybe it was the expense of the pieces of jewellery mm. um, or maybe it was the fact that everybody that walked through those doors had a lot of money, I don't know. It was just out of my comfort zone. But there was one piece of jewellery, and I've told you this story before, one piece of jewellery that every single day when um, before the doors opened and before the doors closed, I used to place on my hand um, and just long for. And it was a Tanzanite uh, oval cut with just two accenting at diamonds either side. Really simple. It was just absolutely beautiful. And I'm going back some 22 years now. 
That piece of jewellery was around about three and a half thousand pounds. I loved it though, and I still remember it to this day. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that we'd be able to talk about multi buying Tanzanite, buying it at clearance (laughs) deals. You know, this is a gemstone that we're the exception. You know, that what we do is no reflection of the true value or worth. We used to be able to source Tanzanite direct from the mine. Some of my colleagues have travelled to Tanzanite. They can't do that now, of course. It's all uh, sort of uh, uh, um, governed under the under the tav- uh, Tanzanian government, of course, policed heavily, policed quite right. But we couldn't purchase from the artisanal miners that we used to once upon a time. Maybe that is how we are making these opportunities still possible today. Because... Um, we used to buy from sort of your, uh, the, the people's, not the big companies, not the big tans like branded companies. We used to buy from the little uh, sort of trusty miners that used to travel and sort of go down uh, at the beginning of the day, thousands of meters, and then come back at the end of the day with the tans like that they've unearthed. Days have changed. We are about to take one of the biggest carat weights in our entire tans night vault, deep with vanadium rich color, at a clearance deal. We know that this is not... St- we, can't, we can't sustain Tanzanite prices like this. Do you remember the days when Jempori used to do whole Tanzanite weekends? We can't do that anymore. But we will bring mm. you this unbelievable star by. In 30 seconds, the graphics will appear. Look at the quality of the beautiful blues. Um, uh, this is the, whilst you say that there's 150. Did you say there was 150? Ooh, 70 <laughs> carats. Look at that sensational vanadium rich. We brought you a Tanzanite strand earlier on today. 140 carats, beautiful. And what was that, 49.99? That's unbelievable. We're about to bring you a marginally bigger carat weight. Again, beautiful quality. It's vanadium that colours your tanzanite, as I've said. The deeper that uh, sort of, if you can imagine the, like a bottle of squash, if you put more vanadium in there, the deep, uh, you know, the richer the actual colour saturation is. Look at that. That's exactly what we're uh, we're aspiring to. Formed some 585 million years ago when tectonic plate activity created Mount Kilimanjaro. We could bring this to air. Uh, and, and you know what? We could bring it to air significantly more than what and what you've just said there. 29.99, that's an epic deal. We could have brought it way higher than that, to be honest. But there has been a certain price point that you have absolutely loved this morning, jewelry makers. You have loved um, Tanzanite going under 20 pounds. But no, 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 but, but this is a bigger carrot weight, so we can't take 170 carrots under 20 pounds. <laughs> oh, go on then, we will. In one price crash, everybody pays that final low price tag. Oh. <laughs> Ross has just gone, oh, oh, goodness, I've just seen the price per carrot. Um, it is ridiculous, yeah, you're right. It is ridiculous. Believed to have been formed by an act of God when he used lightning strikes to set the surrounding hills alight after the hills' fires had, had burnt out and the earth had cooled, this beautiful gemstone was created. Tanzanite, that zoocyte blue, um, was, uh, was, was revealed. Well, not quite revealed. We have to wait some millions upon millions of years <laughs> to actually appreciate it. Launched by Tiffany's & Co. under £20. We have 150 of these available. 70 carats of wonderful uniformity of that zoocyte blue. Helena, uh, new customers, Linda, Karen, West Midlands, Karen, Penny, Ruth, uh, Catherine, uh, Lancashire, Glamorgan. Hello to you, Karen and Malcolm, Claire, Karen. Carol, Bristol, I can't keep up with you. Uh, London's bought four. Janice, congratulations to you. I mean, simply restranding this. You know, there is a bit of a queue on the phone lines. Please do bear with us as well. Um, because, I mean, it's obviously going to be busy when we bring you a showcase of this gemstone. Tanzanite is known. It's recognized.
recognised. If you looked along, not even talking about high street or high end jewellers, if you look at, let's say, other shopping channels, obviously our sister channel will do this, but look at the, you know, our, sort of our competitors, if you like. I know they have done 360 degree necklaces, beaded, beaded Tanzanite necklaces like this, and they've been three, four hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. You know, they are simply restranded. Now, that's a finished piece of jewellery. Don't get me wrong. That's absolutely, uh, you know, it's not they're not ripping customers off by that it's tanzanite um but you are you are creating ultimately the piece of jewelry but you know it's just a a little bit of know-how a little bit of inspiration and you can re mm. you can absolutely recreate it for those hundreds of pounds well you can recreate it for 20. there were 150 of these unbelievable unbelievable deal Oh, now down to the final 50. Mm. Frida, Glamorgan, Barbara, Graham, uh, Essex, LG, Manchester. We've got people dialing through a second time. Oriana, you will be answered. Sheila, you will be answered. New customers. Ingrid, Glenda, Sheila. I can guarantee you one if you've got a phone in your hand. Is that right? Unless, of course, because somebody comes in and buys like 10s and 20s. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you can use the app or the uh, or, or the website, Sheila, new customer. If you've got a phone in your hand, do stay where you are. Um, just because I move on doesn't mean that you have to. We have uh, hello to you, Karen, saying hi, Ella, Mark. Uh, uh, you are fabulous, bringing such great gems and such great prizes. Thank you. P.S. When is the sapphire clearance starting? Hmm. <laughs> Might be doing that in this hour. It's coming up immediately after the break, actually. I'll leave this with you to catch up with the phone calls. We'll leave the graphics live. Keep on those phone lines and check out your basket. I don't go anywhere. What an amazing Tanzanite clearance deal. So much more high quality, songier sapphire, which is all but deplete as well. Coming up after this. Did you know that we are live every day from 8 a.m. through to 5 p.m.? We can be watched on Sky, Freesat and Virgin. You can also watch us on Freeview SD from 8am to 1pm and Freeview HD from 1pm to 5pm. Or you can join us online at www.jewelrymaker.com or download our app from the App Store. Hi there, jewelry makers. I just wanted to invite you to come and join me every Monday between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. here at Jewelry Maker, where we're gonna be bringing you some of the finest gemstones, some of the finest hand-selected pieces just for you, but this will only happen every Monday between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. So come and join me only here at Jewelry Maker. My name is Denise Allen and on Tuesday the 10th of August I'm going to be showing you how I use the fantastic Pebio pouring paints. Pebio is an amazing company and they make the highest quality pre-mixed pouring paints. You don't have to do all that recipes, it's all done for you and the colours are incredible so I'm going to show you how I do some of these techniques. I'm a professional artist and I've been working with Pebio for a long time and I'm a huge fan of their products. So please join me on Tuesday the 10th of August at 1pm. See you soon! Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask a couple call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, We'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out.
may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. I mean, OMG today. OMG. <laughs> I'm saying things that I don't normally say on, on TV, but like literally OMG. How epic has mm. today's lineup been? It's been amazing, isn't it? Can I just Incredible. also um, say mm. uh, well done to Ross? Because Ross, what a beautiful, beautiful schedule today has been. Yeah, really amazing. Um, now we're about to bring you. Oh, a little bit of Wayne as well. Yeah, no, you own it. Own it. Go on. <laughs> own it. It's all you. Um, we're about to bring you some of the finest sapphires that we could possibly, possibly wish to purchase. Um, but before we get into that, um, and I apologise, Mark, I, I got so carried away with the clearance no, that, no, that, wasn't uh, that wasn't anyone's fault. we forgot to mention. Now, you did a, a very exciting... Uh, Yes, so on Tuesday's show, clearance yeah. show, um, we did, um, it was all about fire polished beads. Mm -hmm. And we did, I did a, a Kumahimo with Peridot fire polished oh. green beads. And I gave it away as a, as a prize, as you do. As you do. And um, the winner of that necklace is. Dun, 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 dun. Sarah Oliver from Nottingham. Oh. So that's either arrived with you, uh, it's definitely left the building, so okay. it's, it's, if it's not with you, it'll be with you imminently, but uh, congratulations amazing. to Sarah, so that's wending um, its way. Can I ask how long did it take for you to make that piece of jewellery that Sarah... Six now hours. Went? Six hours. Amazing. <laughs> um, well, done. well done, well done. Um, oh God, that's very generous of you giving away that's beautiful right. jewellery. Right. Um, yeah, an amazing show that mm, was. Yeah. Now, you've got 35 minutes uh, remaining. Uh, well, actually, I'm here all day. I hope that's all right, little old me, but with, uh, um, with Mark. And we're going to include some of the most amazing, sensational sapphires. Now, can Incredible. I ask, when are we bringing the song gear? Yeah. We'll bring you the song gear at the top of the hour. But we'll put it on pre-order right now. Mm, have I seen the price? Oh. Ah. Um, Songia Sapphire mm. is, is, at, is, is, is gone. It's gone. It's run out. There are over 200. It's going to be your finale auction of the, of the morning. Um, it is gone. Many deposits of gemstones mine out. We spoke about it with Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, of course, the original deposit of uh, um, Grand Digirite mined out. Mm -hmm. Song Gear is gone. Um, and we were talking about that, why it was so celebratory during that opportunity. There are 200 astonishing brilliance from Song Gear. Um, that's going to be up as the finale of the show. But what else? What else can we squeeze um, in this clearance opportunity? Um, now, Ross is, and I was just thinking about what we should start this showcase with, and he's just seen, we did play Australian Sapphire yesterday, and it sold out in a nanosecond, and we both actually said that's some of the most beautiful Sapphire we've ever seen. Australia. Australia, oh, Australian Sapphire. This is oh. natural, not diffused, not heat treated. And they're humongous. Natural Australian sapphire. Hang on, did you say? Oh, oh no, wait, 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 that's, that's coming. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So that makes sense. Sorry, Ross. Oh, my goodness. Um, what we were referencing yesterday with Australian sapphire was the brilliance. Totally and utterly natural. Wait until you see this. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, we both said yesterday, Ross and I, we were oh, like, no, I, I don't no. think I've actually brought uh, Australian Sapphire I've to it before. Australian Sapphire. That oh. is exceptional, isn't it? Isn't it? That's the word. 
That is the word. Wow. That's like a tearly bluey green. One of the rarest colours to achieve in nature, full stop. You know, think how expensive teal oh, gemstones are. Completely beautiful. and utterly natural. I'd get your certificate with this one. Yes. Astonishing clari uh, clarity. Um, yeah, a supremacy of, uh, uh, of, of sapphire here. Um, teal, do you see where I'm coming from? It's like a teal greeny blue. That's not treated that way. That's literally how these sapphires have been unearthed. <laughs> look at, look at, that's almost like a color change under differing lighting yeah. conditions. I'm not saying it is color change sapphire. Um, I don't even know if such a thing exists. But that's the same strand that I actually have on the back. Is there such a thing as color change sapphire? Well, that almost looks like it then because that's on the back amazing. of my hand, you've got these blues. It's the same strand that you're looking at in that light box and it, it transforms oh, yeah. To, uh, yeah. to a wonderful green. Mm. Oh, it's lovely. Um, Ross's words, I've gone low. I've never heard of Australian sapphire ever. I hadn't until yesterday. No. no. Australian diamonds, Australian opals. Yeah. Mookite. I mean, I guess I suppose sapphires there's no reasoning why it wouldn't before we actually created there but yet we've never i don't believe we've no. ever actually brought it to our screens well i haven't anyway 39.99 it's like Tot multivite doesn't it on the screen it does <laughs> and uh, and you know if, if this had yeah. been uh titled as color change sapphire i wouldn't have questioned that no, because that's no. the same strand the same strand that i actually have here on the back of my hand is what you're looking at in that light that's box amazing. as well um, wowzers. Hello to you, Jean, saying just received my beaded paracord DVD and what's that? Fids. Fids. What's one what of fids? It's a needle you attach paracord oh, okay. to. Um, and signed photo of Mark. Thanks so much. <laughs> Big hug to love. Ah. Oh, Bless you. Yeah, I've seen that lovely signed photograph of you. <laughs> Very dapper as always. Um, okay, now do you know what would look amazing um, with the song with this one is at uh, this Songia Sapphire. Now it is celebrated for having some of the most beautiful colour saturations. Look at this astonishing what? brilliance. Yeah, you've just heard where it's going to, Mark. I know. I must stop. I must stop having um, talk back mm -hmm. on um, Killerance days because I give the game away. <laughs> mm, yeah, I know, but I do the same. What? Oh my, oh my goodness me, there's 200 of those. It's never been on your screens and the mine's closed. The mine closed um, quite some time ago. Oh, oh, I beg your pardon. It has been on our screens before, but it is going to a brand new low, apparently. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, don't say it. Stop there, Elle. Stop. You can pre-order your song here, Sapphire, right now. Um, wow. Okay, where do we go from here? Oh, it's... it's um, oh. If you love your sort of rich... Um, regal cashmere blues and i think this is going to be the strand for you now this is natural malawi uh sapphire um deep beautiful regal like oh, colors again look at that oh that's amazing isn't it think about the royal engagement ring think about that beautiful rich color that you see on the hand of uh, the duchess of uh, cambridgeshire it's this isn't it uh, now they estimate that they predict uh, that that royal engagement ring is diffused for the carat weight. I would imagine that's definitely the case. You're getting natural blues here. I'm not saying it's you know it's going to have the same valuation. I think history does have a big impact on the valuation of the royal engagement ring, but it definitely has that sort of regality of uh, of cashmere uh, sapphire blue. This is an amazing clearance deal. Under twenty pounds for natural sapphire. It's not sapphire, which is kind of murky, in, you know, no, heavily no. included, lacking in that sort of most sought after color. With, ta with When it comes to sapphire, still to this day, the most popular uh, color to get, and it comes in multiples, is this beautiful blue. You're getting that for under 20 pounds. Uh, do check out those baskets though. Every single one of the, uh, I think your tanzanite would go beautifully with this. I think your yellow tanzanite would go amazingly with this. I think definitely, I'm thinking your grand digerite would look absolutely unbelievable. How many do you have of these available then? 60, that's not huge amounts, but it's natural. Uh, Oh, third of the stock, already gone. Denise, hello to you. Uh, Web bidders, hello to you. Ruth, Lanarkshire, hello to you. Carol, Alan, Catherine, Debbie, Dart, uh, Dartmoor, Weldon, to you. Multi buyers. 
Hiya June, hello to Glamorgan, Jill, J Matty, hello to you Marion, County Atrium, I can't keep up with you, there were 60, um, we are approaching half the stock being snapped up. Natural sapphire, less than 5% uh, of the world's sapphire, you know, all of those big expensive jewellery houses, you work with sapphire, which is either been heat treated, diffused, fissure filled. You know, I mean, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't bat an eyelid at that, do we? Um, so less than five percent of the world's sapphire will be like this. You know, beautiful in its incredible. natural form, mm -hmm. and yet here we are casually bringing it to you at twenty pounds. Goodness me! Check out those baskets, everybody. Um, okay, let's do that strand that I gravitated towards. <laughs> Uh, again, it's destiny. It That's is, what it, it, is. it tells me. If I gravitate, it's because my producer will tell me a number, and then when I do this, I'm going towards that. And sometimes it's almost like my mind goes, no. Look at, no. Look at, <laughs> look at this one. Headlights. Sorry, just doing the deer. <laughs> the deer in uh, um, Peter Rabbit. Um, I was like that. Sapphire. This strand is beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just think, what am I going to be? What am I going to be like come the end of tomorrow? Mm. <laughs> uh, the double delirious actually kicks in. Oh, this is. Look at that. Oh. Ross, how many do we have? Oh my lord! Look at this. And um, do you see any graphics? Uh, any, any graphics? Sorry, do you see any brackets? <laughs> <laughs> do you see any brackets which would indicate a treatment? No brackets. Rich, deep cashmere blues. These are huge. Ah, uh, let's show you the previous closing price. The launch of this natural Madagascan blue. That's what? unbelievable. Uh, I mean... Those um, two millimetre little, little um, tanzanites that we've just had oh, on the yeah. strand, I'd put one of those in between each one. Oh, yeah, amazing. Be amazing. It'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? Look at the size of those. Can I just work out the average carrot weight just for kicks? Just for kicks. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-seven. So that means about... 2.29 carats per stone on average. They are massive solitaires. That's your launch price. What? See, did it again. Is Can't there? help myself. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to half it. That's, oh, that's less than a pound per natural sapphire. We're oh. going gonna to half that price tag for you. How many did you say? 40 of these available. Look at that beautiful, most desired, iconic blue. I can't believe we're doing this. £24.99. You know, textbook sapphire blue. That's what we imagine when we visualise yeah, this completely. gemstone. Um, not a single facet. Its beauty is all in the colour. Um, of course, the glow that you're seeing within this natural gemstone. There were 40 and they are flying. Gillian Maxine, hello to you, London. Hello to you, Denise. Hello to you, Valerie. Hello to you, Susan Bryan. Carol, Lanarkshire, Suffolk. Hiya, Ayrshire. Hello to you, Sharon. Angela, you're there as well. Uh, you're there as well. Lancashire, Sarah, Theresa. I can't keep up this 40. Look at that. And Mark, I mean... Because it is a plain oval as well, super versatile. Really easy to use as well, top to bottom drilled, just, just simple shepherd hooks you know, and, and head pins. You can rosary link with this, you can knot in between, you can do all sorts of things. You can macrame with it. Wire yeah. macrame would be like amazing. With oh, yeah. These, with you, know, you know when you yeah. had your, uh, your, your jewellery stand, I know mm. we don't give you the time to do that anymore, but mm. if you had two of those on some sterling silver shepherd hook earrings, what would you ask for those earrings? What would I ask or what did I ask? What did you ask? Five pound. <laughs> I mean, stop it. You did not ask five pounds for sapphire earrings. Why? All of my earrings were a fiver, depending on whatever they not were. Not for sapphire like that, though, surely. I would have done, yeah. No, that, don't do that. That's silly. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I Just... was young and very naive back then. <laughs> That's silly. Um, I mean, mm. 25 pounds for a pair would be amazing. Yeah, easy. Um, Absolutely. OK. Yes. And it's next month's birthstone yeah. as well, Sapphire. Sapphire, yes, yes you yes. September babies. That's us, Lucy, you know. That's us. Um, oh. So I used this strand. This is this, So I made the earrings with the, with the red and I made the drop necklace with the blue. 
And then it had all the other stones left. Those earrings are just in between. amazing. Very elegant, aren't they? Oh, they're super elegant. I love that. And how have you done that? Just literally weaving wire in between? No, no, no. It's um, featherweight head pins with gold spacers. Just fed onto a featherweight head yeah. pin? Yeah, yeah. Look at and those. And then wrap these at the top to attach to the shepherd's hook. Let me just move them ever so slightly. There we go. You can see. Mark, there's a piece of jewellery that we showed yesterday. Granted, totally different gemstone. But you know which one I'm on about, Ross? You know the... the, the, the uh, um, Oh, what's her name? A Jennifer Aniston necklace that, that we photographed. Oh, the rude photograph. The one with the boobies, yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. the the, she, I mean, yeah, to be fair. To be fair. Yeah. To be fair. <laughs> if, I, if mine were like that, I'd wear pieces, uh, wear, jewelry, <laughs> wear, wear clothes like this. But yeah, um, yeah, she had just a simple linear design of, of mm. spinel going through the boobies. Yeah. Um, but that is very reminiscent, if you like, of that, right. of that beautiful piece that mm. you've created there. But not Spinel. This is amazing sapphires. Ryan almost spat his tea out then. Um, oh, it's the mention of boobies. Um, and let's stop saying boobies. Amazing Madagascan <laughs> sapphire here in your beautiful three millimeter faceted rounds. Look at that, I the gold this. sapphire. I know. It's beautiful, isn't it? No, Under 20 this. pounds. Under £20. This is a long strand and you've got pretty much every single colour that sapphire actually offers you. Um, pure sapphire is colourless. Um, you can get gorgeous pinks, you can get yellows, you can get orange sapphire, you can get green sapphire. And you've got pretty much all of those yeah, in this one yeah, strand. Yeah. Um, one thing I'm noticing, that's 38 centimetres. Sapphire of this quality should have been, well, would have been on one of our gems. Mm. What's this? What's that? What's that? <laughs> Oh no. Oh, you mean really? it's been it's been this price on our screen before. We've actually taken it 29.99 and it's been as low as 19.99 in the past. I guess because we're in clearance that means that uh, we have to go lower. I love in, those browns and oranges. I me think. too. It's absolutely or, stunning. And it's coming autumnal. to that time of year, isn't it? Conkers. It's definitely on its way autumn. It was quite cold this morning. It was. Yeah. Oh my goodness me. What a clear How many do we have of these? Oh, there's a triple oh. figure quantity. Um, never been lower than £19.99 today. However, ah, oh, good me. <laughs> like this, oh, I don't know. Uh, am, I, uh, am I seeing things right now? I don't know. It could possibly be. I'm not even looking. Be. I'm not even looking now. Um, do, you want me to, do you want me to mouth it to you? What's going on? <laughs> I can imagine. You, should I tell you? £12.99. <gasps> For sapphire, 38 centimetre strand of beautifully faceted, um, amazing rainbow of colours. Um, never been at 90, well, it's closed at 19.99, never been at 12.99. That's absolutely ridiculous. And those, those earrings, don't do what Mark said, don't sell all of your earrings at five pounds, especially if you're working with Madagascan sapphire. Yeah. Those earrings should be 40, 50 pounds, mm. mm. which I can imagine you'd be able to make multiple of with this oh, one. Absolutely, strand. yeah. Um, now, there are queues yeah. on the phone lines. Just to give you a heads up, we are very, very, very busy. Are we surprised? Um, and we've got such an amazing clearance event going on right now, and that's going to continue, by the way, through to the afternoon. Wow. Um, so please bear with our call centre. They will be with you, I assure you. And I have got a big, qu or had a big quantity, but, um, yeah, you will be successful if you've got a phone in your hand. Stay where you are. Um, beautiful. It's about a minute wait, so that's not so bad. You know, if you phone up one of those uh, utility companies, you're on the, you know, best will in the world, you're on, the, on there for, like, 45 minutes. And then when you, they answer the phone, you get cut off. You don't have any of that with us here at Jewelry Maker. Our call centre are amazing. And you can also shop with us via the app or the website as well. Um, not restricted. If you want to multi-buy, you definitely can. I've just noticed that's actually mirror image too. It is. Complete remade necklace ready for you. Colour graded, everything. It's a fantastic piece of jewelry. It's, it's lovely. Beautiful. Yeah, it's the beautiful. Songia Sapphire. Am I saying it? Am I saying it? It's off an Ali. And it's been pretty mega today, isn't it? It's going under 20. Songia Sapphire has run out, it's deplete. Multicoloured Songia Sapphire. Are we showing the yellow strand that I had on my, uh, with, uh, with the tan tonight? Yes. We could do the yellow. Um, oh. That's the Songia Sapphire, you can get that on pre-order. Wow. Are we doing the yellow Sapphire, Mark asks? Um, mm, which one was it, Mark? Was it this one or was it this one? It was the longer. This one. That's the one. So that, that's the one I used with Two. the tan. That's the one I used with the tan tonight. Oh, either side. Me, this colour is amazing. Yeah, it just the, the two of them together just worked beautifully. Um. Okay. Bear with me. 
One of the world's most valuable and wearable, wearable of all gemstones is sapphire. The reason mm. why it's so loved is uh, you can acquire vibrant colors of the rainbow with astonishing brilliance. No other location on the planet that I can think of, in, or in my eyes certainly, has as much color and brilliance as a combination as this location. Do you want to know where that location is? Madagascar? Songia. This, mine this is, is Songia This as well. is Songia Sapphire. There's not Ooh, many. It's beautiful. So beautiful. Now, the Songia region is an important source of fine quality sapphire, or I should say was. Sometimes referred to, this colour that you're seeing on the back of my hand is sometimes referred to as sunset sapphire or imperial sapphire. And we're doing it in clearance. Again, the mine closed well over a decade ago. Brilliant and beautiful, beautiful colour. Oh, sapphire is believed as seen as the guardian of love. That's why, often why it's uh, gifted as an engagement ring. Um, you get pretty much every single colour of the rainbow with sapphire. Songia, it's in, it's in Tanzania, by the way, as you can see on the graphics, but it closed. So it was all but exhausted um, over, over a decade ago. Yellow and orange tones in Songia Sapphire are highly in demand, um, especially those with clarity and brilliance. One of the many stunning traits that Songia Sapphire possesses. How many do I have of these available? Ooh, oh, no. there's still quantity then. What are you going to do with it, Ross? Um... Do it. Sunset. This is that colour. This is imperial sapphire mm. that they often refer to because it has those beautiful uh, sort of sunset, uh, sort of yellows with a flash of orange. Don't forget, sapphire is also uh, a pleochroic gemstone. Oh, again, twenty four ninety nine. This mined out. Uh, this location rather was mined out um, wow. over a decade ago. The fact that you are actually getting this sort of the, 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 the canary yellows Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine that is pence. So beautiful. You use this either side of the tanzanite. That's a gorgeous idea. Mm. So beautiful, really highlighting the opulence of the piece. Um, we have quantity of them, but they are getting snapped up. Well, why wouldn't they? If, again, if you, there are queues on our phone lines at the moment. Look at that. So uh, I'm just going to read this out to you again. Yellow and orange tones and saturations are in high demand, especially those with clarity and brilliance, one of the many stunning traits of Songia Sapphire. Um, uh, where was it? Here we go. Sometimes referred to fine quality uh, sapphire, sometimes referred to in the trade as sunset sapphire or imperial sapphire. Because of this, those beautiful colours. Uh, again, you get flashes of theochrosin within sapphire. As a, 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 you know, that's what the gem stones natural characteristics 24.99 we had uh just shy of 100 of these half the stock has gone already karen claire catherine gloucestershire fiona hello to paula yorkshire virginia another paula da uh, janet in derbyshire keep on dialing through there's lots of you there amazing quality wow. um okay what number now Sparkle. With, yeah, luster, amazing luster. Wow. The cutting is beautiful. Sapphire is right up there on the Mohs scale. It's nine on the Mohs scale, so um, which means you can get really beautiful precision and definition and polish and amazing. So luster, that's what Mark yeah. saw from a distance. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to tell you that this is the most eye clean uh, clarity sapphire that we actually have in the business. It's not. But that doesn't mean it's not beautiful. Actually, Madagascar and Sapphire and other locations, it is more about the opaque quality. Um, but you still have that wonderful pre uh, sort of presence of colour. So if you want clarity, song gear. If you want colour... Wow, look at this. And you want a saving, <laughs> then this. This is amazing. And if you want luster, oh, I agree, Mark. Cubes. Look at that. Little cubes as well. You love the cubes, don't you? It's been one of the most popular shapes, hasn't it? They have. The past couple of I years. I guess because they're so versatile yeah. as well. Please understand that you are working with genuine ruby and sapphire. Yes, it's more opaque. Doesn't mean it's not beautiful, though. We think aquamarine. Aquamarine's mm, lovely with clarity. Yes, it's lovely yes. with opacity. Sapphire is the same. 
this is crazy. Um, it what? has never, ever, 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 ever oh, been anywhere near what's on your screens right now. I know. I mean, certain gemstones, yes, we can do under £10. Not sapphire ruby. Gosh. That's and amazing. natural. I think gents would wear this as well. Yeah. That is cool, actually. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you've got any gents that are September babies, then this would be a really mm. lovely piece for them, I think. Absolutely. Simple, stretchy. Um, maybe you actually use it with things like your macrame mark. Yeah, absolutely. Cues really lend themselves to macrame. I'm doing a masterclass on macrame on Tuesday. Are you? Tuesday morning. Tune in Tuesday morning mm. then with Mark uh, if you want to yeah. learn how to actually. Have we got like all the macrame goodies included in the show as well? So, um, you know, your cords, etc. If you've never done macrame, yeah. Tune in on Tuesday and Mark will show you how. Never been under £10, 9.99 only for natural ruby, natural sapphire. Yeah, yes, there's an area of opacity, but that it almost adds to the colour saturation um, and almost, almost allows us to appreciate the, the faceting and definition of, uh, of the cube-like shape. Loving that. 38 carats you're getting, under £10. Never in a million years been anywhere near uh, what's on your screens. Again, there is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Anne-Marie, Joyce, Anna, new customer, new customer. Stay where you are. There is still opportunities there. Don't abandon those calls. I'm moving on just because I want to squeeze in as much as I possibly can. Oh! What's occurring? <laughs> it did sound a little bit yeah. nicer, didn't it? Is this paparazzi? Sunset song gear. So I've just referred to that. You have, yes. But. <gasps> oh my lord. Some people would say that's paparazzi. Oh my, I want this desperately. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, there's 15. Oh, this gosh. is beautiful. Look at the look at the colour. Look at that. On your screens, it looks very orange, but actually, it's got a real definite paparazzi pink to it as well. That's perfection. Absolute perfection. So what did we just say? The Songia mm. region is an important source of fine quality sapphire, sometimes traded as sunset sapphire or imperial sapphire. That's what you're getting right now. There are 15 opportunities. It's, it is perfection, I agree. There's oh. nine left. Oh. Um, we're going to be bringing you the Songia Sapphire. Oh my goodness me! Thirty nine ninety nine. That should have a that should have a one in front of that it. That was all the least. turquoise we had in the oh, earlier hour. Yes. The two together, just yes. perfect. Or the Grand Did you right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be beautiful. Yeah, it's that combination of colours, yeah. orange and, and turquoise. Yeah, beautiful. Perfect. It's sold oh, out. Has it? <laughs> pop oh, it no. on your wish list if you are one of those that are, uh, that was unsuccessful. Then pop it on your wish list. But if you do love those sort of orange colours, then you'll definitely find them within this next opportunity. The Songia mine in Tanzania closed over a year ago, which was an absolute crying shame because, you know, like we learned about Burmese ruby, we know Burmese ruby is le said uh, there's less than a decade of mining in that location. It'll be it'll be. A, a monumentally sad moment when that happens because unfortunately that's the best in the world. The Songia location has that status. It is recognized as being some of the most beautiful quality that the, the world has ever witnessed in sapphires. We're bringing you from that location, I've got a big quantity, you can see why it was celebrated in this multicolored strand. It's your finale star buy of the morning show. Don't miss out on this opportunity because I cannot just produce Songia Sapphire. It's not available to us um, in the market, but I can right now in clearance. This is an absolute feast for the eyes. Sapphire is so undeniably one of the world's most uh, valuable, wearable, recognisable gemstones. You know, if you think about coloured gemstones, most people will say sapphire first. Would we all agree? Sapphire or ruby, they'd say those first. It comes, uh, the word sapphire comes from uh, the Persian word sapphire, um, and they are believed to be a symbol, a, a guardian of love, and maybe that is why um, it's so, it was actually chosen quite frequently as uh, the gemstone of engagement and marriage. 
As I've said previously, the Songhia region, and there are sapphire deposits that, you know, Burmese sapphire, we've just seen those amazing Australian sapphires, uh, uh, Mozambique sapphires, Madagascan sapphires, you can get them in lots of places around the world. The Songhia deposit in Tanzania was immediately recognized as one of the most popular, our sister, uh, one of the most, uh, sorry, quality, high quality locations. And our sister channel, did a whole collection of Songhia Sapphire, and I don't believe they have any of their pieces left because the mine has closed, and it did so uh, over 10 years ago. But that location, what made it so celebratory was the fact that it had the perfect balance, the perfect balance of colour and clarity. You're getting pretty much every single one of those colours with that clarity in a clearance. strikingly similar to the finest equivalent colored diamonds. Now, it's not often that I would make a comparison between sapphires and diamonds, and yet here we can. The way Songhia behaves in light is said to be breathtaking and as perfect as the summer sun. But it is gone. The deposits that we have, much like your Sleeping Beauty turquoise, will have been purchased from traders that maybe we've been able to negotiate with using our Moroccan amethyst or our serenite deposits in the, in the Gemporia partnership. We can't get hold of this gemstone location. Today, however, we have 200 opportunities, and I'm gonna say it quickly. For a finale of a uh, strand of this morning's show, I promise, I pledge that you are getting that lo depleted location of source not here, although it could be, under £20. <laughs> Just three oh. of those, Mark, in, in a beautiful wire ring. It's a songier sapphire That's ring. That's incredible, isn't it? You could make so much jewellery. All the other songier sapphire, son, uh, the sunset songier sold out. We could have absolutely held this higher. Where the last sellout song here, Sapphire Strand was, we could have held it. And, 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 and this, by the way, is an amazing deal, 39 99 Start dialing through, if you haven't already done so, start adding it to your order on the web and on the phone lines, uh, sorry, on the app. We are taking a depleted location of Sapphire, celebrated for being some of the finest in the world, because of its level of clarity and brilliance, team with the beautiful colours that you see, um, I promise you today that this is going under £20. We have a big quantity of them. Massive heartfelt congratulations. You've got green sapphire. You've got yellow. You've got sunset. You've got... Look, look, look. There's your sunset sapphire right there. There is a minute queue on the phone lines already. And those of you that are multi buying, you don't have to keep it in this sort of spectrum of colours if you don't want to. You can separate them, um, them, them, them out. You can put them into little individual canary yellows, sunset, uh, imperial, uh, songia sapphires. You can cre create the greens or the teal blues. $19.99. <laughs> I can't... Uh, Again, we can travel to certain mine locations. We can travel to the Ceylon mines. We can travel to uh, your Thai sapphire. We can travel to your Australian sapphire. Um, it would be a pointless expedition to go to the Songhia sapphire mine because there is no more of it actually being extracted. Um, over 100 of these have already been snapped up. Well done. Check out your baskets. Please don't wait. And again, those of you that have a phone in your hand, you will be answered. We know it's busy today. Are we surprised, Mark? It's, been, it's just been an absolute feast. It has, it has not just today, but all the week has been amazing, hasn't it? It has. It's been probably yeah. one of the, I think, the, the, mm, you know, the, the yes. most exciting clearances uh, that, we've actually, uh, that we've actually done. Can I just mm. put this one out there, as I did yesterday, I'm going to say it again, um, because we always get this, and I did even know I said it yesterday as well. No, we're not going to have business. Every business does uh, does clearance. We've got a huge, uh, beautiful new set yes, being built as we, we speak. Mm. We've just moved our warehouse um, to a bigger location, so 
we can house more amazing offerings like this. Um, so e everything is good in the jewelry maker hood, as they say. Under twenty pounds for beautiful nuts. They don't say that, do they? No, no, they don't say that at all. So in fact, I should never say that again, should I? Um, but look at that beautiful natural colours. Keep on dialing through. Um, I can just do a very very quick recap on your deal of the day. So this is, I mean, we had fifty. Um, we've got what single figure quantity? Did you say? Yeah, we've got wow. single figure quantity of these left. There will never be another opportunity in my eyes that to, to purchase this level of quality of natural grand digirite um, at such an amazing deal. Ninety nine, ninety nine, and you do get the rondelles and also those briolette drops. Um, it's available on split pay, so you can purchase that. You can get this home for thirty three pounds wow. and thirty three pence. Forbes ranked this the third rarest gemstone on the planet, and it's not unusual to find it priced at twenty thousand um, dollars per carat. Uh, and yet you've got a casual, a really cool. What was the total carat weight on this? Do we have that information? Uh, 74, 74 carats of beautiful natural. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say completely eye clean. It's not a gemstone that has like your Songhee Sapphire clarity. It's expected to have um, some sort of inclusions as well. Um, we don't facet away inclusions with your Grand Digirite, such as the rarity of the actual gemstones. You might as well literally throw money in, in, in a mm. fire if you do that. Um, and uh, yeah, Ross shared with us a sentence. He said, uh, faceted Grand Digirite is almost, is almost never seen. Um, no. For that very reasoning, we don't want to cut it away. It's been absolutely unbelievable. We're running out of time within your morning show. I'm not going anywhere, but can I just say, Mark, thank you Bless so much you. for thank joining you. me. Thank you. It's been mega. It's been nice. Last um, day today, though. Last day of clearance. Well, oh. don't you worry, there's so much more. When are you back with us? <laughs> Tuesday morning with not only Macrame, but brand new, never seen before hematite drums. Ooh. They are amazing. So, I'm so I'll make sure I tune that. in for that then. Lovely, yeah. love a bit of Macrame. Yeah, last, um, so that's yes. going to be epic i'm not going anywhere if that's okay i'm going to stay with you i'm going to be joined by the gorgeous laura and more clearance i don't know if i can stand any more of this but it's going to be amazing we'll be back after this Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Hi there jewellery makers, I just wanted to invite you to come and join me every Monday between 1pm and 4pm here at Jewellery Maker, where we're going to be bringing you some of the finest gemstones, some of the finest hand selected pieces just for you, but this will only happen every Monday between 1pm and 4pm, so come and join me only here at Jewellery Maker. 
If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Hi, my name is Denise Allen and on Tuesday the 10th of August I'm going to be showing you how I use the fantastic Pebio pouring paints. Pebio is an amazing company and they make the highest quality pre-mixed pouring paints. You don't have to do all that recipes, it's all done for you and the colours are incredible. So I'm going to show you how I do some of these techniques. I'm a professional artist and I've been working with Pebio for a long time and I'm a huge fan of their products. So please join me on Tuesday the 10th of August at 1pm. See you soon! Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Maker's exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on watch live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Is that all right? Yeah. Anybody, that, anybody that's saying no, there's no other option. So, uh, yes, <laughs> it's that or nothing. It's that. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness me. This clearance has been insane. Insane. And we have the final afternoon. So they couldn't kick me out. They couldn't get rid of me if they wanted to. I was like, no. Um, so we've had a fantastic shift change. Um, we've got... Oh, what Lovely, lovely occasion to see this gorgeous face. Hiya, Tom. Hey, How are you doing? I'm good, yeah. How oh, are you? I'm all good. He just said, Elle, do you ever go home? I was like, yeah, no, I do. Every time that you've come, in, uh, you've come and joined us here at Jewelry Maker, I seem to have been here. She That's sleeps wrong. under the desk, lucky Tom, me. did you know? <laughs> lucky, no, lucky me. Um, no, it's lovely to have you back. And we have the lovely Ben. Hiya, Ben. Hello, whoop, gorgeous. Whoop. How are you doing? Are you all right? Yeah, he's ready and raring. Uh, luscious Laura is going to be producing me today. She is the lady bringing you all the deals and pulling in the dirty double with me. You right, Law? Law, Luce? <laughs> Sorry, Luce. Beautiful Lucy, we can do this, Luce. Yes. Woo! Now, joy, speaking, speaking of beauty, I'll put my teeth in in a minute, one second. Speaking of beauty, <laughs> speaking of talent, I am joined by the absolutely fantastic, the utterly beautiful... Hannah Rosemont! Oh, 
<laughs> You're all right, my lovely. I'm lo yeah, I'm good. Yeah, not too bad at all. It's going to be amazing today. I know. I think you're like a, a machine at the moment. You're like turbo powered and you bring us all these amazing deals. Do I'm like, how are we going to keep up with that? I mean, yeah, <laughs> to be fair, when it comes to clearance, um, you know, like we were just saying, oh, masterclass, because I need to sort of come down from that high that uh, of all these clearance deals. But um, we're at, instead of masterclasses, we're just going to be spoiling you with those goodies. So yeah, you can make I, yeah I've just been handed a load of lovely things and just told to just keep making, just keep making. Keep making. So that's what I'm going to do, baby. <laughs> Love it. Um, and I tell you what, the first one that you've been handed is that gorgeous Chrysler Oh, strand. Yeah, adorable. Really, really the love brand the colour. I love the shape. I love the fact they're faceted as well. Um, can I just ask a question? Why have we got brand new items in clearance? Shh. Oh, okay. <laughs> we haven't. No, oh, it's all clearance. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. Brand new. Come in clearance. Casually. I mean, amazing. <laughs> We've also got beautiful spinel. We've got some amazing peridot coming up in a showcase. One of my absolute favourites is your praise like green. That's coming up, which would go perfectly with your first afternoon clearance item. Shall I get cracking, Laura? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, beautiful clarity. Um, now, liquid like, actually. Now, we know that quartz, uh, sorry, your amethyst is a member of the quartz family. If you think about your clear quartz, I often say the more liquid like, almost like a little droplet that sat perched on a beautiful leaf in, in the fresh like a dew drop like a little dew drop yeah. that's the clarity that we want in clear quartz um, but that's not the clarity that we often see in uh, in your amethyst look at this one of the rarest varieties rarest color saturation sits firmly between three and four on the gia tone scale is rose de france and whilst it sounds so perfectly poetic it looks it too um, this will go absolutely beautifully with your praise like green uh, amethyst that's coming up as um, also one of your star buys. Lovely combination, isn't it? I think they're gorgeous, those colours together. Now, did you know, Hannah, that this hour was under £10? No. Rose de France. What's that doing in this hour then? Exactly. Hang on, what's this doing in this? Yes, exactly. No. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. Under oh. £10 an hour. Can't be one of those, is it? <laughs> pretty pastel, poetic gemstone. Oh, not just by a little bit either. 95 carats, 7 99 Laura says it should not be 7 99 I mean, you're the one doing it, Laura. Yeah, she goes, I know, but listen, it's like if you tell any of our uh, any of our producers, clearance, they take it to the absolute max, don't they? You know, what's that old saying? Um, give them a metre, they'll take a mile take a or mile, something yeah. like that. Yeah, absolutely. Rose de France, this is at the end of the day, beautiful. Uh, beautiful, smooth rondelles, um, incredible clarity, as we said. It's like a freshly, a purple, beautiful dew drop. We've got eight of them left. Eight. You've got to be quick. Uh, to guarantee your success, Mike, uh, can we pre-order ahead on our uh, on our pri uh, praise light and uh, and our Chrysler Cola? Can we do that? Can we do that for your green amethyst? Possibly, I don't know. Oh. I don't know. You tell me. I was actually asking the question. Not yet. Not yet. You can't pre-order as of yet. Um, they may well sell out, to be truthful. Um, but they are coming up imminently, so you don't have to wait too long. On the verge of selling out. Um, we're absolutely over allocated, so I'll leave that with you. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Um, number what? Six. Yeah, let's stick with the amethyst. This will go pretty with your Rose de, uh, Rose de France. Um, amethyst comes in lots of different colours. You get pinks, you get Rose de France, you get uh, purple amethyst, you get praise light greens as well. That goes lovely. Uh, gorgeous ombre effect. Um, I know one of your favourite colours as well. It is actually. And you know, I had a, a friend of mine message me uh, yesterday and just said she's, ha she's on maternity leave with her second baby. She wants something to do that's going to make her a little bit of money. And what would I recommend? And the first thing I said is you want some rounds and a, and a starter tool kit and some uh, elastic. And then stretches. make stretches. I said, because people, people actually understand more about gemstones and about the sort of like the healing qualities mm -hmm. of things like that and and if you're going to start anywhere that's that's perfect uh, i mean it's I, like and not only that you know for her to sell them on i'm assuming she's looking at things like facebook and places like that uh, those yeah sort of i would think like etsy, etsy, etsy that, that kind of sort of um, people platform, know yeah. amethyst straight they away do. um there's a, an immediate perceived value I, i'll tell you what well if you're starting a hobby if your friend's starting a hobby i hope she's watching today is she watching i don't know actually she, um, I, she, she may be sort of up to her eyeballs in nappies and things at the fair minute enough. but uh, you fair know. enough <laughs> 
But you don't want to. You don't have to invest a huge amount, especially on a huge uh, sort of on a brand new uh, hobby. Effectively, you're getting supreme quality here. A rich, wonderful ombre effect of Zambian amethyst for eight pounds and ninety nine pence. I mean, 170 carats, you can make things like your Marla necklaces. Can you imagine how beautiful this would be in an ombre Marla necklace with a gorgeous purple tassel at the bottom? That, that would be stunning, actually. Oh. I, I think I need to... I've not actually got on the, the bandwagon yet with these Marlas. I need to make myself some. I love Marlas. I, they're so um, easy to wear as well, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I wear them all the time. Just Tiki the loves them too. She oh, loves them because of the colour. Because of the colour. She, and, and, and she like yeah. She holds the, 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 yeah. when she's feeding. She holds them. Oh, you know, so like, like babies quite often thing. actually. Um, yeah, this would be perfect. So Tiggy holds mine under ten pounds. Oh. Goodness me, on the verge of selling out. Everyone checked out. Well done. Um, moving on to what? Sorry. Okay, Laura. If at any point you want me to shut up and move on, just say that. I won't be offended, my darling. Okay. Just so you know, because I tend to go off on a tangent. Um, and, and sort of certainly Liam goes out, out, fuss and pacey. That's his way of saying shut up and move on, basically. <laughs> and, and trying to be polite. I know what he really means. Um, oh, it's one of my favourites. Laura, did you know that? I love green onyx. You did? Ah, it's just the glow. It's the glow of this gemstone. I love onyx. Yes, it's gone through a treatment process. You get this. Do you see where I'm coming from? Um, it is oh. a good colour, isn't it? It's like, if you didn't know, and, and somebody said, what's the gemstone? From a distance, I think people would say e uh, emerald straight yeah. away because mm. it's, like, it's just got that lovely sort of... There's a variation, it's isn't there? Warmth. there? Yes. Have you ever seen the film Great Gatsby? Do you know what? I haven't. And, and I actually said this like literally probably, what, two days ago to my mum. I, I was talking to her about it. the fact that I so haven't good. seen it. And they, they've got like an original... Version. Yeah. Have you not seen so which one would you watch though? Watch the one with Leonardo DiCaprio the, because the, the, the symbol. One. I mean, certainly if you've seen the book, uh, the, the read the book rather. Um, the, the green light at the end of the um, at the end of her uh, uh, the dock, I suppose, or whatever it is, uh, um, platoon. What do you call them? I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> is the green, the actual Green Lantern um, oh, is yeah. a symbolism of her, and that's the, the this is the color. This is the color that I actually see. The pier, yeah. Every single penny. Let's take it under ten pounds for you. Um, yeah, his longing, his love for her. Um, I think is symbolic of that lantern. Um, and if you see that, if you've seen the film, it's green onyx color, isn't it? What? I mean, seriously, three pounds seventy eight. Goodness me. <laughs> I thought it was under 10, not under 4. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? It's onyx. <laughs> How many have we got of these then, Laura? Oh, there's a big quantity. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're going to need them all, though. There's 200 of those. £3.78 for gorgeous glowing green onyx. One of my favourite gemstones. We used to, back in the days when uh, Kim used to produce me. Um, lovely Kim. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, Kim used to do whole hours. Used to do whole hours of green onyx. We can't do that at the moment. We don't have enough of them available. Loads of you have it in your baskets. Under ten pounds, significantly so. In fact, you could get two. I, yeah. Do you know what? I think at that price, you, you can you can get loads of them, and then just go all heavy on the like tassel jewellery. Mm. So so like gemstone tassels on the end of a long gemstone Ooh. necklace and it just they're so easy to work they're so lovely to look at monica veneda works with green oh onyx. my gosh you're talking three figures for their pieces um uh we were saying about sort of marla necklaces maybe if you're not confident on knotting using one of these in between like a, a contrasting maybe a black spinel or an, oh, yeah. or an obsidian purple amethyst like you just had oh, a minute yes. ago i put the two you know the wimbledon colors yes <laughs> i look. love it Loving that. I'll leave that with you because, uh, again, fly. yeah, they look beautiful together, don't they? Okay, let's do some beautiful briolettes. And speaking of Monica Veneda, um, one of my favourite designers, uh, some, a few Christmases ago, my husband bought me um, a Monica Veneda slider bracelet. We didn't do really that design here at Jewelry Maker at the time. Um, and I'd kind of been dropping not so uh, subtle hints. Uh, for this bracelet. <laughs> I don't mind telling you, it was £130. It's got a teeny weeny Amazonite night in the centre and it's got rose gold plated sterling silver. I love it. I absolutely love it. But yeah, it cost him £130 to get that bracelet. Um, it's this gemstone that I chose. Uh, they do that design. It's from the Siren collection. Um, yeah, uh, the multi collection on our sister channel as well works with this kind of shape of your, your Amazonite. Look at that. 
amazing a variety of the feldspar family you get some really beautiful patterns they say that amazonite looks even better under sunset and sunrise because it glows um, and it's completely natural uh, but yeah did you know here's a fun fact um, we do actually physically supply amazonite to um, some of those designer brands we yeah we actually supply them um the gemporia partnership yeah exactly so know that you're getting some really incredible quality under 10 pounds for your briolette drops never ever been that low before laura says it's never been under 10 pounds nor should it it's amazonite amazonite is very expensive it's uh, and certainly i think in terms of popularity it's one of the most on trend Do you know what? I, I say that's the gemstone of uh, kind of like the lockdown gemstone it's like, oh, we're, I like in, it. in the time that we we've all been sort of like going through all the covid stuff it's it's sort of come to a, a front where everyone's just found something to do with this gemstone that they can sort of relate to or lock into and it's almost like it's like a, a happiness I like thing that. I, yeah i mean it's like well maybe it's a hopeful thing you know it's it's I don't know. There's just something about it. It radiates it totally kind is. of joy and colour, and maybe and it's the fact it's that we haven't been on holiday forever. Maybe that's I mean, it. it, it just, it's like it's like like you can't go on holiday. So what are you going to do? You're going to wear holiday. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying summer. I am on holiday. <laughs> I have my Amazonite yeah. here. Never been at under ten pounds. Oh my oh, gosh. Goodness me, well done. Check out those baskets, everybody. Okay, moving on to love that, Hannah. Um, okay. I'm a bit of a hopeless romantic, sadly, but no, you know, so I like it. I like too it. Much too. Just tell me to tone it down. I'm a bit of a softy. I, I took my little one into Build a Bear the other day and physically oh, cried. I love it there. I actually cried. I actually cried in Build a Bear. When you put the hearts in. No, my husband just looked at me and went, Are you crying? I was like, Yes. And he was like, Get a grip. <laughs> you just get a grip of yourself. Uh, I'm like, she's just so happy. Um, and she was. She was really happy. Building her bear. Looking oh. good. I'm, I'm off again. Labradorite beautiful <laughs> rondelles. Under 10 pounds. Uh, look at that. How, how happy that uh, floppy bear is making her. Because she hadn't stuffed her at that point. Um, now, talking of happiness. <laughs> talking of happiness. This is one of our favourite gemstones here at Jewelry Maker, isn't it? Your Labradorite. Oh, it's, it's been like a firm favourite for years, literally yeah. years, hasn't it? Crazy, crazy. Oh, labyrinths, beautiful, soft cashmere greys. Um, loving the sort of linear, look, look how linear each of those rondelles are. Sometimes rondelle strands are, don't, 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 don't almost sit perfectly, if you know what I mean, uh, side by side. If you imagine it channel setting, they are going to nestle perfectly um, up against that wire yeah, itself. Yeah, they really do. And actually, if you've got a shape like that, then um, you can put them next to your rounds and it just gives you a bit of texture to your, your yeah, designs lovely. as well. So again, I'm going to go back to those lovely amethyst yeah. that we had a few moments ago. See, so again, so, look how so lovely It's like the together. Morse code thing, like the dots and the dashes. There's a bit there's a bit of a, a break between them and it You're just the second uh, of our designers to talk about morse code jewelry today oh really um oh that's yeah. weird that's lovely that's beautiful Ooh. these were in number 10 can we do these now because they would go beautifully with your labyrinth <gasps> amazing right start dialing through laura how many have i got 58 no, 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 but wait a minute, hang on, I think I've dropped a boo-boo here because you're also doing an under £10 show. Natural. Uh, are they meant to be in, today, in this hour? Okay. Uh, Multicoloured quartz, so I've got white quartz, rose quartz, lemon quartz, amethyst, praiserlite, all in one amazing strand. Oh, these are beautiful. I love I love the fact that they're all on the same strand. You know, you don't you don't have to uh, sort of decide. You can have several gemstones in one. Eight ninety nine. How on earth you've gone nuts for this one? I don't blame you. I would too. That's beautiful, isn't it? That's so it's, pretty. It's the most gorgeous little pastel palette that you could possibly wish. Imagine that knotted on sort of like a, a oh. lilac coloured cord or something. Oh. Very pretty. It is pretty. It's floaty, chiffon, pastel palettes of gorgeousness. Um, they were only, how did you say, 50? 50. 58 of them, but well over half the stock has gone already. Do stay where you are. Um, I'd be multi-buying as well. That's a gorgeous multicoloured. We bring multicoloured gemstone strands, but multicoloured quartz. Look at that. You've got them all there. Um, okay, it is that time. Gosh, it's racing by, isn't it, already? Um, now, um, 
something that would fit beautifully alongside this strand actually is a variety of your courts family but yet we very rarely actually get to um, offer you uh, praiselite also known as green amethyst now what I uh, my feelings of green uh, of praiselite or green amethyst sorry I always want to say praiselite with this gemstone um, is that it has the most unprecedented clarity and then team that with like a really soft silvery sage green you're just gonna see something truly truly mesmeric it's guaranteed under 10 pounds Praise a light in a star by next. Something's just dawned on me. Because I talk about the clarity and I talk about that soft silvery sage green. And I remember, I'm recalling back to when I had the privilege and pleasure of speaking to Glenn Lehrer, introducing Glenn Lehrer to us, our, our jewellery maker family. And one of the things that he said was one of his favourite gemstones to create with, to carve and facet, is exactly this. Because they are so flawlessly eye clean. Light can ricochet from facet to facet to facet, really showcasing his talent. And actually, um, I think every lapidarist will probably have that same belief. You know, if you want to showcase your talent, you will go for, we could bring, you could do it in a ruby maybe, you could do it in a black spinel, of course, but you want to showcase your ability to play with light. So I think the finest lapidarist would actually favour, like Glen your, uh, your praise light green. Um, it is incre incredibly sought after and, and probably one of the most unique uh, shades of green that you can get in any gemstone. Um, Laura says, I just think it looks like liquid. It does. And do you, Laura, look, look at my hand. If you follow the light travel from rondelle to rondelle, it is like liquid, isn't it? They literally glow as, uh, you know, the brightness ricochets. Bright, soft lime greens. Praise light possesses stunning brilliance. And when faceted or carved, it can play with light quite unlike like any other gemstone out there. It is, believe it or not, this is actually a type 2 gemstone. So clarity is not always the case. And yet every single praise light that I see, green amethyst that I see on our screens, is exceptional. We're bringing this to you at under £10. I could probably count on one hand the amount of times that I've brought green amethyst to air this year. Would you agree with that? Yeah, there's not, it's not often, is it? How often have you tried to make kits with green amethyst and not been able to do it? Well, yeah, like you just, it's just not there. There, no. there isn't any. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So we're talking about experiences going through the vault. We won't be able to place our hands on green amethyst quite plentifully. Laura's saying, I, haven't even, I, I don't often see it in rondelles. It tends to be more in your marquise. You're right. Yes, it does. And your marquise like cuts. You're right. Beautiful transfer of light from rondelle to rondelle, highlighting the beautiful level of clarity, that wonderful soft, cel uh, delicate sage green. Under £10. Again, how many do I have? Oh, this quantity. It's a brand new premiere. Would you contrast it with something striking and rich like maybe a black spinel? Would you use it with something delicate like Japanese blossom, like a, like a rose quartz? Do you know what? I, th I think you can go either way, but I've, I've, is it Chrysocola I've uh, yes. got on my board here? I actually really love the combination of these two together. Is that what yeah. you're working that's with what, right that's now? That's what I'm working with, oh. yeah. The, it's just so pretty. Hello, you've been there for like 25 minutes and I, you've made this that is like, already. This is the third iteration of it. I, I was trying to be too fancy with it and I thought, no, reverse, go back, just, just let the gemstones do the talking because they look better like that, I think. Sometimes you can be too fussy with it, and, yeah, and if you keep you it simple with it, with a bit of a focal point, they they wear well, don't they? That we'll do the Chrysocolla straight after this star by because that people are going to want to make that beautiful. Well, I certainly I, do. I think I think these um, stones together are gorgeous. Okay. Yeah. Let's take it under ten pounds, um, and we're not even talking just by a little bit here. Jewelry makers, beautiful, bright, soft lime greens, brand new premiere. A, a possession of brilliance that I think many other gemstones um, could only aspire to. Seven ninety nine, 
I mean, it's such a gorgeous colour. I always say sage green because have you ever actually looked at a sage leaf and when you brush it, it's almost got a fur, hasn't it? When you brush it in one direction, you've got that lovely silver sheen. When you brush it in the opposite direction, um, it goes almost dark. Um, that's what I see within this, uh, within this beautiful, genuine gemstone. It's a premiere. It's never been on your screens. Um, amethyst, by the, by the way, amongst crystal healers is particularly poignant and powerful. Many believe it has a mir uh, miraculous powers. It's said to bring you good fortune and also luck. Um, again, uh, because it is a green gemstone, it's got that sort of nurturing uh, um, belief attached to it as well. A gemstone of the heart for sure. But unlike any other green out there, I mean, you think about the green amethyst, the chrome diopsa that I brought you today. Uh, we also had, I mean, emeralds, of course, you think about. Um, that None of them actually have a comparison really to what um, this yet mesmeric beauty that you get in praise like green amethyst check out your baskets lorna rosemary christina julia judith ruth hello to sue virginia mary and jerry lois uh, there is a bit of a queue on the phone lines um if i can if you can shop with us by the app or the web then i would definitely recommend you do that because there's no queues there and by the way it's not a check you don't get part uh, charge post and packaging per checkout it's per day so we don't even process your order until it's ready to be shipped so yeah loads of you have got it in baskets i've got so much to bring in uh this hour so i'm going to move on um it's going to be a back-to-back -back. now here is a gemstone that we very 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 seldom see um with that chrysocola i mean the sarah bennett collection which i'm really i spoke to sarah bennett not so long ago and asked her to do um Sarah Bennett inspired show, you know, her, her beautiful collection of jewellery. Uh, yeah, I love her jewellery, actually. Yeah, I've got quite, quite a few pieces Me at too. home. <laughs> um, and she's like, yes, I can do that, maybe in September when the kids go back to school. So hopefully we'll be bringing Sarah on your screen. You heard it here first, there we go. Um, but she favours Chrysocola in her, in her collections because it is literally like planet Earth in a gemstone. Under £10 for Chrysocola, and these are brand new premieres. Laura, how have you got premieres on your... On, <laughs> She doesn't know. She doesn't know. You know, know what they say, I'll ask no questions, she'll tell you no lies. That's true. <laughs> that is very true. Chrysocola <laughs> is a very rare, and it's a, um, excuse my pronunciation of this word now, it's a copper uh, philosilicate mineral. I know, I get all, that's, that's a difficult one to say. Yeah. Um, and it's identified as a mixture of copper hydroxide and also chalcedony. It ranges in colour from light greens to deep blues and is often found alongside malachite and also azurite. Is it any wonder that we adore, we absolutely adore uh, Chrysocola as a gemstone? Because it's very beauty, uh, I think pulls on our heartstrings for the likeness of our, you know, planet Earth itself. The blue is the colour associated to the sky and the heavens. Green is the colour of nature, growth, vitality and harmony. And you get all of that captured in one beautiful natural gemstone. It has been adorned for thousands of years, uh, sort of um, dating right way back to 300 BC when ancient Greek philosopher and botanist noticed its resemblance to, uh, to, to, to Mother Nature. Ancient Egyptians wore this gemstone as well. They believed um, wearing it uh, gave them protection. Uh, Cleopatra was believed to be a, fan, uh, a firm fan of this gemstone because apparently she was quite a hot-headed girl. Um, and they believed that Chrysocola would aid her, uh, sort of retain her composure when she was negotiating. Um, it is incredibly, incredibly popular. And like I said, very relevant on uh, sort of the, the high designer fashion jewellers. Never should this be under £10. You know that. That's why so many of you have already checked out. These are beautiful faceted pairs. Big statement Chrysocolas. $9.99. Laura, can I ask a question? What should this be? What's our target price? £34.99. Even though this has never been on our screens previously before. Um, $9.99 for these beautiful, elegant drops. I mean, I mean... You, you've just restranded that with your Christ, with your Praiserlite uh, amethyst. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, th I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the colour. I love the facets. I love the fact that it's graduated so you can make yeah. earrings with the smaller ones. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. 
Oh my goodness I, me. I think you can make a suite of jewellery with any of our um, strands of gemstones because there's, there's usually a, a particular stone that you'll, you'll be gravitated to towards the, the, the focal point. Hang on a minute, she's saying, can we see it again? Uh, Laura's like, can I see your necklace again, Hannah, because I'm obsessed with well, it. Well, it's, it's not a necklace yet, but it will be. And oh, then those are going to be the earrings that go with it. What have you done those little spaces with? So the, the little um, sort of bugle beads um, and silver spaces are on that strand already uh -huh. of Christ Cola. Oh, yes. So they're, so they're included. And then I've, I've literally, I've, I've, I've just there used all the, all the components that, that were available to me. And all I'm doing is adding some crimps, oh, a bit of chain. What. You're good, so find, aren't you? Finding some stuff. Well, I, I think anyone could do this, honestly. I yeah, think but it's would, just... would we be able to... I wouldn't be able to come up with that. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, $9.99. Um, OK, <laughs> we, uh, loads of you there. We're fast and furious, Laura says. You mean fast and pacey, yeah? Fast and pacey. Right, fast yeah, and pacey. No um, oh, beautiful. I love this. It's your gorgeous druzy. Um... And it's, uh, and it's graduated as well. It's like freshly fallen snow. You've got these gorgeous uh, sort of crystal formations. Never been under £10. Again, nor should it be, really. Uh, look at that. Wonderful terrains. And it's like, can you imagine a sugar cube? But then with beautiful iridescence, um, that's what you're seeing in this gorgeous uh, sort of druzy uh, nugget strand. Do you know what you can't see on the screen, though, is how sparkly that yeah, is. I've I just know. looked across at you and it's like, oh, it's all sparkles. Yeah every single there you go you can see it there there we go amazing terrain beautiful um beautiful druzy inclusions um, we know that druzy forms in, in little geodes so you've actually got the reverse of that and then these wonderful caverns of wonder um, which have then been beautifully mystic coated to bring you that, uh, that, that, that Aladdin's cave um, across them never been under £10 I'm going to leave that with you okay move oh I love this Laura I love me an appetite as well but... oh gorgeous Look at the colour of that. There's a random colour of tassel as well, but yeah, that's not important. What is important is the fact that this neon appetite is unbelievable. The average carat weight of neon appetite is 0.15. Minuscule. And you have 30 carats in this strand. Look at that absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, this with the Chrysler Cola. Or the appetite from from earlier, you know the uh, no the Amazonite from earlier. Oh, yes. That with the little pear drop shapes, they'd look amazing. Like, you know, um, you know Caro's um, jewelry where she has like a, a, yeah. a main drop and then a cluster of, of little beads on the top. Yeah, that yeah. would be beautiful. Amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Six ninety nine for neon appetite. If everybody checks out, there's just two of these left, so don't hesitate on this one. Um, by the way, that's not even. Uh, Factoring the fact that people will be multi-buying on it. Do you know what else I'd like to see this with? Um, ooh, it's, got, it's sold out. Look, alongside oh, some beautiful golden sunshine. This is number four. Um, some oh, wonderful lemon quartz that you're getting here. I love lemon quartz. The appetite gone. It's out of here. It's on its way to you. Congratulations. Never been under £10. Um, so the difference between lemon quartz and a citrine, because technically they are sibling gemstones, aren't they? They're both members of the quartz. Um, your citrine is slightly warmer, more gold, more orange in its colour. And think lemon quartz like a literally, uh, like, like, a, like, like a lemon grove. It's zesty, it's fresh. Um, that's basically the difference. Um, again, you get this beautiful amount sir, of, uh, of brilliance. Should not be... Should not be uh, under £10. Never has been under £10. Oh, goodness me, loving that. Beautiful, irregular-like shapes. People are, people are multi-buying. I don't blame you. Eight ninety nine for those. Um, we've got a warm spell coming in, haven't we? There's a big heat wave on the horizon. Did you it, know that? It's there. I'm, I'm, oh, that's it's good. Be hotter than before. When's that coming? Uh, soon. The what? heat wave. Apparently, it's going to be even hotter. Um, can, that, can, can it be the week after next onwards? Cause, cause, I mean, I prefer that, it not to come at all, to be truthful. Sorry to be <laughs> miserable, but I don't, I don't like it so hot that I can't do anything. Uh, 
But I'm seeing that heat wave in this gorgeous gemstone. Apparently, yes, it's in a, it's in August, so it's this oh, month. Oh, amazing. Um, yeah. Unless I can literally lie in a paddling pool all day, I ain't happy. I ain't happy. $8.99 for this beautiful strand. Look at that. Again, a gemstone feature with lots of the big designers um, with these beautiful contemporary cuts. Uh, sorry? Uh, 15 with the lemon cut. Oh, yes. These are hearts. Now, through drilled. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? They go amazing with your uh, so your regular shapes. Uh, lemon quartz hearts. Uh, look at that. Exceptional clarity. Would you use it with your praise light? Yeah, I would. And that is the, the definition of summer, isn't it? Right there. Beautiful faceted hearts. Um, just popping one onto a head pin, seven ninety nine. How many of these are unbelievable I, deals? I, yeah, I mean, they say that they say the hearts. They're, they're kind of. Um, I don't know. They're, it's more like a fan shape for me. I, th I think uh, you can see all those like beautiful kind of petal shapes. Yeah. You could see. Oh uh, yeah, like um, a sunflower. Yeah, like a, like a, a big bright yellow brooch of some sort would be like absolutely fabulous. And you got. <laughs> That's one of the most positive colours oh, that yeah. you could possibly look at. I mean, that's, you know, they say yellow people are very cheerful. Approachable. Approachable. Up, uh, upbeat. You know, upbeat. You know some, so, uh, some people are, are said to radiate, so, yes. so they bring happiness with them wherever they go. I think, I think that's the sort of thing that this gemstone does. So if you love yellow, that's uh, sort of a, an indication of your personality as well. Um, yeah, you're a fun person. I mean, there's, I mean, what's his name? Hargreaves can't have been wrong. What colour is Mr. Happy? Oh, yeah. Yes. He's yellow, isn't he? Um, it is that beautiful, cheerful colour. It's also the colour of your uh, of creativity as well. Seven ninety nine. I love the idea of a big sunflower like pattern. Uh, stay where you are. Make sure you check out your baskets. Items are all selling out as well. Uh, what number now? Oh, what's in here? Aquamarine. In your six millimetre rounds. Natural azure blue aquamarine as well. Oh my goodness! I mean, we were we're talking about being able to create Marla style necklaces at clearance savings for natural quality. Um, earlier on this morning, we were discussing the fact that uh, you know during sapphires we were saying you can get beautiful eye clean clarity sapphires but they're also absolutely amazing with the level of opacity the same applies with aquamarine i personally prefer your opaque aquamarine because it holds on to those azure blues guess what it's gone sold out in 30 seconds well done to you i was gonna say um, if you've got the neon appetite you could have put the two oh, together lovely. and that, that would have magnified the, the blueness in in general magnify the, the blueness. blueness i'm not sure if blueness is a word but oh, um, know you, you know it's the it's the the, the soothing calming Yin to the yang of the yellow, isn't I love it? That. You know, I love that yin to the yang. Um, this is very cool. Uh, I had one of these. I've bought it for my little, and I'm hoping when she starts, you know, going to things like uh, um, biology and all the ologies, history, all of those things, um, that she can actually show this beautiful piece of genuine amber that has a genuine insect within. Even more than that, I don't know if you can see it on here. It's really tricky for me to show you because it's kind of loose in the container. Um, but there is a magnification. And inside, shall I try and take it out? Shall I open it up? There is an insect as well. So if I hold it like so, it's on the verge of selling out already. If um, it doesn't, I'll have one. <laughs> there he is. Look, there's the insect. Quite easy to sort of cipher. He's right on the edge. Aww. Can you see him there? There he is. Oh, that's really cool. It's a proper Jurassic Park cool stuff, isn't it? Yeah, poor little chap's been stuck there for millions of years. Um, okay, sold out. Uh, Steve, do you call him? You yeah, can't right, call Steve. him Steve. Um, yeah, I love him. My, 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 my uh, husband's friend's dog is called Ian. I, I find it hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Ian, uh, 40 what, sorry? Seven. Four to seven. Ian. We've got friends who's, who's got a, a dog. He's, um, I think he's got a Malamute or something like that. So he looks a bit like a husky, mm. but with darker eyes. He's massive, and his name's Frank. Frank. Yeah. He's Love brilliant. It. Love it. There's a little Jack Russell that, uh, that where I grew up that used to be called Dave. Again, I thought that was brilliant. Uh, yeah, 250 carats of beautiful, striking black agate. Oh, Ben knows uh, Ian the dog as well. You know of Ian. He's got the most amazing ears.
Um, what oh. is this? Ian the dog. With big ears. With big ears. Oh. Uh, 4.99 only for striking. Look at that beautiful luster. Um, beautiful luster. Um, yeah, it's a double strand opportunity, so double trouble opportunity here. Um, and we, we've been talking about Marlers. I think you really need to get into the Marler. Because I think you'd make some amazing colours. Do you know what? I, I, I'm hoping that I might have some time on, on holiday to, uh, to make a few bits and bobs for myself. But that doesn't happen often. And when yeah, I do get a chance, I'm going to make myself a mala. You should. Because <laughs> I think you totally rock it. Especially yeah. with your lovely wardrobe. Well, I, I, I love sort of like maxi dresses and things. And I yeah. think they just look so effortlessly... Chic. Chic. Perfectly yeah. chic. You just pop one over the top of you, whatever you're wearing, and it looks like, you know, you're good to go. And nuggets work amazing in the Marla style. It doesn't have to be your rounds. Two strands for £4.99. Um, amazing luster again. Looked lovely with many of the gemstones that we've brought you already at your clearance. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, items are getting quite limited. Moving on to... Oh, what's in there? Oh, lovely. I like these a lot, Laura. They're beautiful. Uh, can I say, Yes, thought so, because you can just see this glow. You can see this beautiful glow. Oh, in a bicone. These are going to sell out. Tell me how many we've got. 40. Are they going to sell out? And we're taking it to a brand new low. Do you agree, Hannah? They're going to sell out. I Look at that colour. They're absolutely, like, they're zinging, aren't they? They're so colourful, so cheerful. We oh. need more calcedony. Definitely. Calcedony is such a beautiful gemstone. Anything that adds a pop of colour to your life, I think, is a good thing. Yeah, I agree. Eight ninety nine only. Beautiful uh, blue calcedony. It, it, again, it's a glow. It, it, it's not complete clarity. It's a translucency to the gemstone. Very popular on the red carpet as well. Yesterday, I brought you an amazing strand um, of chrysophrase. Um, if you got hold of that, this will look lovely. Look, look, it kind of reflects, doesn't it, actually on the surface. Um, over half the stock has gone already. Loving this strand. It's just, it's cheerful. The fact that you've got that beautiful, wonderful uh, sort of electric blue, um, <coughs> the translucency that you find within blue calcedony as well. Definitely. And again, there's not a lot of it in our vault. No, there isn't. I mean, it also makes some cracking uh, nautical designs with that. If you team it with uh, red and white, yeah, a nice like sort of crisp nautical kind of look. You rock that look too, don't you? Uh, well, it's a it's a look I sometimes try. Yeah, I yeah, quite, I quite yeah. like that the combo. Denim, the denim jeans, red lipstick. I, I do love it. Li I'm a, I, a lipstick's yeah. my thing, isn't it? You yeah. know, I'm definitely a loud lipstick person. Do you know what? I'm the laziest lipstick person ever. I can never be bothered with it. I can never be bothered. Um, okay, moving on to number two. Ah, oh, it's the Monet gemstone. Um, I always refer to Unakite as a Monet gemstone because for me it's like it's like Monet was inspired by Mother Nature's and the brush strokes that she actually uh, influenced to uh, to Unakite. It's also very much like a quintessential English country garden, don't you think? You've got the perfect. You know, I can, I can almost see the lily pads. I, do you know what? I, I mean, that, there's nothing I like more than just, just walking through like countryside and things like that, or particularly by a lake or something like that, yeah. by a river. And then you get all these lovely different grasses, and you, yeah. can, you can sort of see it. It's almost like little woodland pictures, yes. isn't it? But, but British. Yes. But uh, yes. British I think, I think you're right. I think you're right with that. But. Under £10 for Unakai, yes. So particularly this one here, I can almost see it. Yes, it's yeah, deep it's into like a woods. little, you know, it's a little footpath going through long grass into trees, oh. isn't it? Is and that's it? natural. Yeah, totally yeah. can. Beautiful, natural, peachy colours teamed alongside some of the most amazing, gorgeous, lush green colours. Nine ninety nine in your Unakai. Um, I love it. And uh, yeah, if you, if you know your art, which I don't ever pretend to, that I do, I don't. Um, but Monet, um, what's that? Oh, oh, yeah, well, Ben, you are an artist, aren't you? You do some amazing artwork. So, um, you'll fully appreciate what I'm saying. If you think about, what's that, what, what's that painting, which is literally looking across a pond and you've got the willow tree hanging over it and I think it's like a, um, a water mill in the background. Anyway, I can almost see that visually within your own account as a gemstone. But this is natural, beautiful, beautiful Not gemstone. Hayway. Hey? The hayway? I think it is, something like that. That's got, that's got sort of like the, the, the cart in water and yes. it's and it's trying to cross through a ford. That's or, it. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. That's the one you're describing. Don't you see it in your Unicart here? Beautiful and totally and utterly natural. Check out your baskets at under ten pound deals. Um, okay, let's now do. Um, you're desperate to do this one. You've mentioned this number quite a few times. Is it what I think it is, Laura? That's not quartz, is it? I thought that was petalite. 
I've actually asked, I've actually asked uh, uh, Jake to source some petalite for you here at Jewelry Maker because the, it's such a beautiful pure gemstone. Now this is not petalite, but I thought it was because of the quality of clarity. Concave cut. I want some of these. How on earth are they going under ten pounds? Have you ever seen clear quartz with such clarity? Do you know what? I think I think I've seen these in something that Claire McDonald made, and yes. uh, I, I, I've got a feeling it was it was either her or Alison, and it was just like the most amazing kind of, you know, like if you get an infinity mirror and it just mm. keeps on going, sort of, yeah, like yeah. you could just you get drawn into the gemstone. Yeah, right way into the cut. coolie. I I think these are absolutely beautiful. Doesn't matter what oh. you put that in as a focal point, whether it's like a ring or a pendant or, or, just or whatever. Just keep it as it is. Oh, yeah. I mean, just, that just is, sit and stare at them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you know, a concave cut is genius. It cuts, it, 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 it's incorporating, what on earth? Six ninety nine. That shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that price for one of them, let alone all four. Um, <clears throat> the fact, concave cut incorporates straight lines with curves, and it does, it almost creates, I often refer to it as the, uh, um, the Star Wars cut, because, you know, at the beginning of the light yeah, speed, when you're yeah. at light speed, you can see the facets almost gleaming past you. Not one of these should be six ninety nine, but you're actually getting the entire collection. Um, Nineteen and a half. Wow, I agree, Miss Janet. Aren't they beautiful? And when I first picked them up, I thought I didn't think they were quartz. I thought they were a petalite. So pure is that white colour. So perfect is that clarity. So many of you have these in your baskets. Um, Laura, again, how many do I have? Oh, there's quantity. And they haven't been on your screen since the beginning of the year. If you do, okay, listen, I am not a gemstone setter. I am not a, a, a sort of a, a master at your wire work. I can't do all the amazing CB designs that, some, uh, that so many of you can, and certainly I know Hannah can. However, I love to just look at beautiful things, and that's exactly what these are. So whether you choose them for adornment or just as part of your collection, mesmeric courts, ridiculous price. I agree, Liz. It is ridiculous. And do you agree that the, I would have thought they were petalite? Petalite. Or, or topaz. Or topaz, yeah. 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 I mean, they're, they're just gorgeous. But um, I was reading something earlier. I'm, try, I'm trying to understand more about sort of the metaphysical side of things. Mm -hmm. and, and apparently um, clear quartz is supposed to be like the master healer and it magnifies the intention of everything else you put it next to as well. Yeah. So it's I one just, of the most powerful. Uh, yeah. Gem oh. I love it. I love it. I mean, we know that, by the way, as well, because we know that well, quartz, quartz has is a proven physical, to have, you know, physical energy. Because of all your quartz uh, watches and things like that. So it, it's, it, that is actually scientifically proven. So uh, whether, it's, uh, whether it's actually magnifying all energies, I don't know, but I quite like the idea that it does. How, how, hang on, you've got two. How have you got that? Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> I couldn't get my words out then. I was so excited Ooh. there were there more. <laughs> oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, oh, that's a red carpet pair of earrings, isn't oh, it? Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> there are only 20 of these. If you miss out on those, don't worry, get the ovals. But they're looking quite limited. Oh, my goodness me. Use the ovals for a pendant and a, um, a ring, and then they're your earrings. Yes. Glamatastic. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I mean, that is some of the fine. No, no, let me rephrase. That is the finest. And that's not white quartz. Sorry, we need to correct this. That's not white quartz. There's a difference between white quartz and clear, and quartz. clear quartz. White quartz is opaque. Uh, this is nothing. There's nothing opaque. That's, that's diamond like clarity. Flawless quartz, I would go as far as saying. Not one of those should be six ninety nine, dollars um, but they are more limited. Yeah, I mean, we do mounts. These are calibrated sizes. Granted, they're big sizes, um, but we do mounts that you could absolutely prong set into those. There are five of them left. Oh, you need to be quick. Uh, <clears throat> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Check out your baskets, everybody. Oh, Laura. Ready? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's sultry, isn't it? It is. These are gorgeous. Oh, my goodness me. Look at that. We were saying about light speed. Oh, yeah, you can really see it, can't you? Oh, smoky quartz in your concave cut. Beautiful. Guaranteed those sizes if you do your commissions. If you do gemstone setting, if you work with a gallery wire, six ninety nine. I mean, these are going to create some really big head turning uh, pieces, aren't they? 
Six ninety nine. That's um, bonkers price point, isn't it? Especially for smoky quartz. Again, smoky quartz is uh, for me. Think rich color of espresso coffee, teamed with beautiful champagne clarity. I don't know. That's. I mean, it's, it's a play of light, isn't it? Um, but even more than that, you've got the the straight lines and the curves that are just genius faceting in your concave cup. Twenty carats you're getting here. How many do we have? Forty nine. Over half the stock has gone. Um, USA, UK getting involved. A very good afternoon to you all. Sarah, Northamptonshire, West Yorkshire. Hello to you, Helen, Ella, Liz, Anne, uh, Fran. Virginia, hello to you, Karen. Uh, Lydia, you've got yours. Nicola, hello to you. Uh, London, Cheshire, Virginia. Keep on dialing through. Um, what was that? Uh, ooh. So, uh, Laura says, I'm curious. Okay, so we were talking about innocence, purity of a gemstone. Uh, Dan Burite is one of those. Uh, okay, can, can I just do something before I show you? Because I want to show you the, what, the rarity of this gemstone, but also the, how beautiful it is. It's, this is a champagne colour, and it's, don't make comparisons with a champagne diamond, because it's actually got more of a peachy hue uh, to it. Really pretty. And Look at this. Imagine this set in 18 karat gold. Oh. That's just, it looks so expensive, doesn't it? Yeah. I really, yeah, it probably should be. Yeah, this is a gem. This is a Jake gem. Wow. How He finds some amazing things, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's, he's amazing. He's got such an eye for, like, just a, an <coughs> incredible, incredible, you know, it's something that's going to last for a long time. You know, it's, it's timeless, isn't it? This is on the verge of selling out. Look at how beautiful those delicate pinks are. I agree. We've got a lot. I, I, I truly believe. I mean, Jake's a, a very good friend of mine as well. But, I mean, I truly believe I've got a lot to thank Jake for the collection that I have now, purely down to uh, his shows. Nine ninety nine. 99 Do you see the little delicate peachy colour? Can you imagine that in a solitaire ring? I mean, that is engagement worthy, isn't it? Beautiful rarity in your uh, Dan, Dan Burite. I wish we had more of these as well. Yeah, uh, it's, 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 it's eight by six, so you might have a ring mount. Uh, you might be multi buying thinking that you're going to create the most beautiful Dan Burite uh, stud earrings. They'd be amazing pendants also. It is going to be an on-screen sellout. Wish we had more. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Okay, now uh, let's now bring you gorgeous rhyolite, uh, beautiful rhyolite. Again, it goes back to sort of the unicite conversations that we had a few moments ago. These are a brand new premiere. Um, it's like a vision of quintessential uh, sort of English country garden colours. Yeah, I mean, if you do walks along your canal, the, the river, or um, across mountain ranges, lots of my friends, certainly over lockdown, as you mentioned, uh, became, um, they love rambling. They go climbing up mountains and stuff and having picnics on the top of the mountains uh, in, my, in, my local, in my local town. Um, that's almost the beauty that you picture within Rhyolite. And again, it is completely and utterly natural. Um, it would go beautifully alongside your praise like green ameth amethyst that we had a few moments ago. Stunning faceted four millimeter rounds. And they're gorgeous, aren't they? Aren't they're, they? And do you know what? They're, they're, they go with so many things as well. Because you've got so many colors running through there, you could pick out a smoky quartz or yeah. a malachite or, or a, a, maybe a mookite if you've got sort of the mustardy tones. Chrome diopside. Di yep, yeah, diopside. There's so many things that that would go with. Mm. And at that particular size, you could use it like a spacer or yeah. you could use it sort of with seed beads as part of an, in like an integral part of a, a stitched design as well. It's just so versatile, that Four one. millimetre rounds, I do generally think are like, well, they're one of my favourite sizes. Uh, yeah. Because you, you can, and you said about using them like a spacer. I'm thinking, yeah. uh, um, um, uh, Rachel Norris, um, when she creates those really beautiful sort of insects and things like that, yes. she often fills, fills with gemstones or sea beads, yeah. doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, little gaps, and she'll just put a, a, just quite literally a little gem in there. Love it. Look at that. Um, beautiful natural rhyolite, gorgeous combinations of colours. Yeah, you've got caramels, you've got ochres, you've got creams, you've got beautiful greens. Amazing lustrous, a brand new premiere opportunity under ten pounds. I'm holding my breath here. 
Five ninety nine beady <laughs> beads, spacer beads. Um, as an alternative, spacer beads don't have to be your precious metals or even your base metals. They can also be uh, sort of your, your your natural, genuine gemstones, can't they? They can. And also, if you've got something that's a, a, a thinner sort of gauge, so if you if you're making stacker bracelets, mm -hmm. if you've got a four mil, you can wear more of them together, and it gives a really like, impressive impact. Then. But then you can you can mix and match them with different colours, and depending on what your outfit is or how you're feeling. You, you might be drawn to different ones. So I think that's, that's the Match perfect it to your one. wardrobe, can't you? Yeah. I, mean, I picked up an order uh, yesterday. Um, I bought so, a couple of those rubies from Jake's show, uh, the amazing rubies, because it's Willow's birthstone. So I'm going to buy one, and at some point I'll make her a piece of jewellery with it. And four millimetre rounds, uh, Malachite four mil rounds, because I love doing exactly what Hannah just said, stacker style bracelet, very Ashley Clark inspired. Five ninety nine. I'm going to make a multitude of those as well. Um, okay, stay where you are on those phone lines. Let's bring... Oh, Laura, that can't go under £10. Of all the colours that Moonstone is, it's not just your pure linen white. Um, I actually prefer Moonstone in the sort of the the peaches, the apricots, the chocolate colours, because it just highlights um, the adolescence that you get within this, within this gemstone. Gosh, this is gorgeous quality. Totally and utterly natural. Chocolate moonstone. Yeah, just restranding it exactly as it is. Look at that. It's not, it's not, we haven't, oh, sorry. Yeah, we haven't coated it. That's not you know an iridescence it, across the surface. It, it's almost got sort of like a, a, a like a lavender mist across the top across the top yeah. of it. I know I know it's like kind of predominantly sort of like chocolates and, and like caramelly colours and things like that, but it's just the maybe just the way the light's hitting it. It's really interesting and really, really different, which I love. Something that like you don't see all the time, so no. that you can't readily go out and say, Oh sure, I'm gonna buy a chocolate moonstone necklace. Well, most people don't even know chocolate moonstone uh, exists. Well, exactly, exactly. So I love that. The little bit of um uniqueness, a little bit of uh something special. Oh I love that. gorgeous. It's one of, it is my favourite colour um of your moonstone because it seems to sort of did you agree? It highlights that beautiful uh, sort of that iridescence. Eight ninety nine only, brand new low, seventy five carats of beautiful Indian moonstone. Um, I mean, just using one, if you like, in a gorgeous wire wrapped ring, that would be stunning, wouldn't it? Uh, Teamy alongside maybe some Salon Mayukis, I think would be gorgeous to highlight that adolescence some more, or just simply restranding it as I'm holding up to the neckline. Um, you're right, Laura said to me, L, that's going to complement every single skin tone. Yeah, I totally agree. It will. Uh, Eight ninety nine only to get hold of these elegant. Marquis cuts. It shouldn't be under ten pounds. It definitely shouldn't be in a clearance. Um, but there we go. That's what's happening. I hope I've got enough of these to go around because the phone lines and the web have lit up. There is a big quantity, but Laura says yes, they are flying out. Alison, North Yorkshire. Hello to you, Michael, Karen, Maxine, Surrey, Ruth, Marion, Lincolnshire. Um, hello to you, Ella, Martina, Nicola. Hello to you, London, uh, Suffolk, Florence, Christine, Hazel, Catherine, Sally. Um, do check out now coming up in the next hour um, we have the Kumahimo starter kit now who's got kids or grandkids at home right now oh uh. <laughs> Not grandkids, just kids. No, I know not grandkids. Yeah, you can't, like, seriously. I'll wear it well. What are we doing today, Mummy? What are we doing today, Mummy? What are we doing today, Mummy? Listen, you're going to have to entertain <laughs> yourself sometimes. Um, this is amazing for adults and children alike. At Kumahimo Starter Kit is coming up, being launched after this. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com 
or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU. And make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 Six triple four six double five. Jewelry maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi there, jewelry makers. I just wanted to invite you to come and join me every Monday between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. here at Jewelry Maker, where we're going to be bringing you some of the finest gemstones, some of the finest hand-selected pieces just for you. But this will only happen every Monday between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. So come and join me only here at Jewelry Maker. Hi, my name is Denise Allen and on Tuesday the 10th of August I'm going to be showing you how I use the fantastic Pebio pouring paints. Pebio is an amazing company and they make the highest quality pre-mixed pouring paints. You don't have to do all that recipes, it's all done for you and the colours are incredible. So I'm going to show you how I do some of these techniques. I'm a professional artist and I've been working with Pebio for a long time and I'm a huge fan of their products. So please join me on Tuesday the 10th of August at 1pm. See you soon! wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back everybody. How are we all this Saturday morning? It's raining outside, I've just seen. Sorry, I haven't actually seen much of daylight uh, today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> pop my head outside the studio, it's chucking it down with rain. Well, I tell you what, um, let's stay here and bring you more amazing clearance deals. And this next opportunity, our lovely Georgia, um, who I'd love to bring on air, but I think she's particularly camera shy, isn't she? Uh, yes, yeah, we, we keep trying. Yeah. But, uh... um, <laughs> now, Georgia is uh, head of uh, product development. She buys lots of your amazing launches. Um, and um, 
she uh, has given us uh, um, uh, the approval, basically, to take this to a clearance deal. Now, we are not stopping Kumihimo. In fact, I know that there have been new DVDs that have just been filmed of Kumihimo. Um, but yet, we're bringing you the starter kit at a clearance. Um, now, even if you've got your Kumihimo at home, then I'm guessing you're still going to be interested in this opportunity because it's always worthwhile actually having um, a sort of a pair or, or triple or quadruple of them. You might have lots of different braids underway. Kumihimo is huge. It's very popular, um, not just in jewellery, but also actually in uh, in home. You know, it's a form of, it's a it's a Japanese form of knotting. Um, and anybody can do it. As I said earlier on, it's a kind of, this is going to be ideal if you've got children, grandchildren to keep entertained over the summer holidays and you don't want them to just literally be sat in front of the iPad or TV. Um, then get them creating because there's nothing in a Kumihimo kit that's going to cause them any injury effectively. Um, but likewise, it's very therapeutic, Hannah, isn't yeah, it, Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's kind of the... the, the like the rhythm you get into it's like it, there is, there's always a pattern depending on what kind of outcome you want the cord to have um there, there will be a set pattern and then when you get into the sort of the zone you can just like lose yourself in it it's wonderful so i mean long yeah. car journeys you could be sat yeah. doing your kumahimo yeah absolutely yeah flights um literally if you're sat in front of jewelry maker as we speak you can be happily kumihimo away um and you don't need to add anything to this because it is the entire starter kit now this is a special approval opportunity to be included during the, uh, the clearance event from our lovely georgia it all comes by the way in your lovely little kumihimo bag um so it says on there creativity comes within this bag <laughs> it does and it's true it totally does um i mean yes inside the little zippable bag there that you can put all your uh, kumihimo essentials in so you get that that's included in the starter kit you get of course your essential kumihimo disc um which is the same material as your uh, as your uh, macrame board um and I'll very much lean on Hannah's knowledge here to talk you through Kumihimo uh, and what you actually do. Yeah, but it's yeah. a form of knotting and braiding that I know you pivot. You do this, don't you? You pivot it as yeah, you're knotting. Yeah, so, so you, you'd normally, I think, um, I'm thinking it's it's kind of like sets of four chords. So, so two to the top, two, the, two to the bottom, two to the left, two to the right. And then you, um, you alternate. So you, you pass a chord from the top down to the, it's kind of diagonal opposite to mm -hmm. at the bottom. And then you rotate the, the thing round and then what you're doing you're you're it's it's a bit like plaiting but the plait sort of forms within the middle of the disc yeah it comes down through here. the center um, and you can make these amazing cords and braids and then you can use those as sort of like um a, a thing in its own right so you can make friendship bracelets with them Lovely. or you could use it as like a cord to then hang a pendant from it if you push a head pin through <laughs> or put a bail over it hasn't mark just launched a, a, a sort of feeding with kuma a, a few a few days ago he he did uh yes he, he had um I can't remember what the, the title was, but but yeah, but like it might it might even just have been beaded Kumihimo, but I think it was. But he had the most amazing um, designs and patterns, and he used fire polished beads, so it's all sparkly. And then it's just you know you the, you keep making so many different designs. Yeah, you can. And even if you even if you make a mistake, actually, you'll find that that then creates a different pattern. So so sometimes by by having a go and, and getting a bit wrong, you then find you can make a different pattern. I like it. Um, you get everything here. Yeah, and by the way, look on our YouTube channel because there are recordings. Now, this is slight, you get a slightly different bag than what's photographed here. Um, so you actually get that sort of lovely hessian night bag. Um, yeah, have a look on our YouTube channel. There's lots of how-tos on there. You get all your bobbins, which you're going to need for your cord. Uh, you get your jewellery gel as well here. Um, and you get uh, your Kumihimo braiding in these lovely metallic-like colours. So it's one of your starter kits, also included in the actual bag itself. Um, if you've never done Kumihimo, YouTube has got a wonderful wealth of uh, sort of tutorials on there, certainly ours, um, and maybe even have a look on our website. £14.99 only. We have a big quantity of these, and my goodness, you love your Kumihimo. You've gone nuts on the web and on the phone lines. Um, we aren't stopping Kumihimo, just so you, just in case you're worrying and you're concerned, why is Kumihimo actually in clearance? We've just launched DVDs of, of Kumihimo, which you can also get. Speak to our call centre and have a look on our website. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, you might know somebody that's going into hospital or um, you might know somebody that's, uh, I don't know, gone on a flight and um, you can take a book, of course, but take along her, alongside, along with that Yukuma Hemo starter kit. Uh, message here from her. Hello, Jane, saying, I got this kit for my granddaughter. It keeps her content. Brilliant. Brilliant. I need to get one of these for our lovely Willow because she loves, um, she loves creating. She's five years old now, my Willow. And yeah, she's at that age where she wants to start. She, she said to me yesterday when I went home from work, she was going, Mummy, I'm crafting. I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah, she was. She was decorating little wooden boxes and things like that. Um, it doesn't have to cost the earth. And in fact, once you've done your Kumi Hemo braid, all you need now and then is other cords. And it doesn't have to be like that. You can use Eslons. Uh, you, uh, um, you can use anything. You can do it with ribbons. You can do it with um, yeah walls. You can do it like any any kind of fabric or cord or you know um, may, may, maybe you've got leather cord. Yeah, that yeah. I mean that works as well. And you you, you get these just wonderful plaited designs. They're yeah, fantastic. Gorgeous. Thank you, Jane, for texting in. Um, yeah, get involved. It is very popular. In fact, you know, macrame kumihimo, again, it's a, an ancient Japanese form of knotting, basically. It creates really beautiful braids. Um, wow. We have a limited quantity of them. It was a big quantity at that, but um, special approval to bring it to you in the clearance event there. Um, everything that you need to get started kumihimoing. So check those out. Don't leave those in your baskets. Amazing. What was that, though, Laura? Topaz in clearance. <laughs> really? Sounds very wrong, doesn't it? That shouldn't be right. <laughs> uh, okay. Topaz in clearance. Oh my goodness me, colour. You've got absolutely beautiful eye clean topaz here. Topaz is a naturally brilliant forming gemstone. So it loves to, sh it's got amazing hardness. It's eight on the mode scale. Um, which means it can also be faceted sometimes more times than a diamond can. Uh, but you get really beautiful, brilliant display, uh, displays of light internally. Um, white topaz, often used as a substitute to your, your, so your, your SI graded diamonds. Yeah, huge carat weight. Um, a gemstone, uh, which again, historically has been uh, very, very popular and still to this day, incredibly popular. That's natural that what you're looking at right now. Topaz clearance, goodness me. Um, I wasn't expecting to actually see uh, such clarity in this showcase. Highly revered for that reason. Color, clarity, and hardness, as I said. Eight on the most scale. Um, uh, one of the, you can get it in different colors. You can actually get red topaz as well, and there's different treatment processes to actually transform your topaz to blues, which I know we're going to be showing you as well. Favoured by jewellers, designers, collectors the world over for uh, this diamond-like clarity, uh, this light performance, which, I mean, we can bring you similar, uh, like cubic zirconias, but would they show that, 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 well, they wouldn't be that rare, of course, but would they show that brilliance that we're seeing in each of these rondelles? In clearances, uh, clearance opportunity, limited stock for you, everyone, 105 carats. If you do things like your bridal commissions, Topaz is an absolute must for you. What? $9.99? Laura, I mean, I mean, I know that... <laughs> she said, for a second I thought we were still in the under 10. Yeah, I mean, this should be at very least 20. At the very... No, 30, I, really. Well, yeah, that's better. <laughs> I clean topaz. I don't think we've even got some of your imperial topaz colours within this as well. Goodness me, pure topaz is colourless. So this is the purest variety of topaz that you can actually source. It's natural. It hasn't gone through any treatment process at all. Um, and to get the colours, it's usually actually a treated to do to achieve that. It's a very dense gemstone. You'll notice when you get this home, it's quite weighty as well. Um, and I could talk about the chemical bonding, etc., of uh, of the gemstone. I'm not going to do that. Let's look how look how beautiful it is. Single figure price tag for for you right now. Yeah, if you do things like your bridal commissions, then this is perfect for you. Um, okay, sticking with your uh, eye clean topaz. Your hair vines, bridal hair vines, your tiara twists, using them in between maybe uh, some of your other colour gemstones. As I said, it's often favoured for um, as a diamond alternative. You know, our own sister channel uh, makes fine quality jewellery. Sometimes they don't use diamonds. Um, they use topaz. And actually, the smaller the size um, of the topaz, 
the more times it can be faceted in contrast to a diamond. So this can be faceted more than a diamond can, hence more brilliance. $7.99 only for absolutely eye clean clarity of natural, dazzling uh, white topaz. Um, make the most of these clearance deals. Beautiful opportunity here. Um, wow. I mean, I don't think, again, I don't think there's many people that would actually not know Topaz as a gemstone. Uh, it's a birthstone as well. So for those of you that are November babies, you are blessed to have um, the beautiful treasure that is Topaz. It's sold out. Well done. Well done. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Because this next strand, Briolette's. Um, I brought up with the powers that be once upon a time. I was like, you know what? We call we we call our drop our briolettes wrong. They well, they're not top drilled drops. They're briolettes, which is so much more complex than actually a drop. A drop to me would be a flat. Briolette is three hundred and sixty degrees. Um, and the uh, and basically, uh, I won't say who, but the management actually said, okay, Al, if you want to change the name on every single one of our drop uh, briolette drop strands <laughs> in the vault, then you do that. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. Good point. Um, twenty five carats of again absolute eye clean clarity. Briolette drops were often favoured during. No, you can't do that. I mean, don't listen to me, Laura. You're the, you're, the, you're the person in charge. But I'm just saying that like, we shouldn't do that. I am but your puppet, Laura. No, I am. It's true. It's true. But we should not be bringing that level of clarity, that level of rarity at £7.99 in one of the most more complex of cuts. Do we all agree with that? Um, Victorian jewellery uh, were firm favourites of uh, fans of your briolette drop. They used to create fabulous chandelier-style uh, earrings, etc. Oh! It's not often we see white topaz actually on our live shows. Well, not on, on a strand like that. Usually, if you if you see it's some, it's going to be something that's um, you know pre-made. You know, maybe it's a it's a cut stone in in a, yeah. in, a in a pair of earrings or something like that. But yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. Not but a whole parcel. Of I know, it drops at seven ninety nine. Um, I hope there's enough of these to go around. Oh, there's about ten left. Justine, Heather, Mo, Helen, Susan, Andrea, Teresa, Anita, you're going to need to be quick. Christine in Cardiff, you are going to need to be chick, uh, quick. To, you're going to need to be chick uh, or, or quick. <laughs> um, <laughs> goodness me. Um, you're going to need to be quick checking these out. Uh, hello, Paul. Hello to you, Martina. Teresa, well done. Limited quantity of natural Indian uh, eye clean cl uh, clarity of your topaz. Right then. Now, the final of the white topaz. Oh, this is stunning. It's like the beginning of a Bond film. What's that? What was it? Diamonds are forever. Diamonds are forever. That, yeah. 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 You know, when you see that beautiful sort of cascade of gorgeous diamonds. Now. Whilst I'm not bringing you the diamonds, I'm bringing you beautiful. Ah, oh. just see what I'm talking about. That it's is gorgeous, isn't it? That's James Bond in a in a gemstone. Even the reflection underneath it is so amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. Like the sh the shadows sparkle as well. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. You see the fire in the reflection, don't you? Yeah. I mean, I mean, no, seriously. What is that price tag? Of course you're multi-buying. Of course you are. That is absolutely beautiful, crystal clear, exceptional. I mean, we would not go to the uh, to, to the efforts of faceting a two millimeter round if it wasn't supreme quality, because we're not going to see the fire that you're seeing reflecting on this recording here, would you? If there were inclusions, it's gone. Sold out. Well done. Ah. Uh, um, okay, loving this next opportunity. Sky blue topaz. Um, so topaz, as I just said, through a, a process um, that has been developed within uh, uh, the gemstone industry, we know that we can transform, firstly, what would have originated as uh, a supreme eye clean white topaz, like the ones you saw pre previously, um, but actually... Mm -hmm. Through a treatment process, which, which can take many years, um, we can produce the most beautiful blue. Now, the top three favourite blue gemstones in the world, apparently blue topaz sits firmly in that top three. It's your star buy. These are beautiful, uh, brilliant ovals. Up next.
when you think about beautiful blue gemstones, most of us will visualize at some point topaz. You might go, okay, sapphires, amazing tanzanites, um, aquamarines, of course. Well, actually, sky blue topaz is, is what an aquamarine aspires to look like if it can have a glacial clarity with that perfect, delicate azure blue. That is the ultimate. Um, this, these are each and every single one gem quality topaz. So again, to be able to bring you these in oval brilliant cuts with the drill holes, you could almost create this floating uh, tanzanite neckline piece, uh, sorry, tanzanite uh, sky blue neckline piece. And just think about how many pieces of jewellery they could have been commissioned into 9, 14 carat, 18 carat gold. In nature, topaz is found mostly in a sort of a colourless or brownish-like colour, but through developments, as I said, gemologically, beautiful blues can be achieved. Its colour, sky blue, as the name suggests, it's, it's delicate. Um, it's crystal clear clarity. It's reminiscent of the most gorgeous summer's day. But we pay a premium for it, of course. Um, oh, I've just noticed something, Laura. And I, I said this to, to, to Ross yesterday. I've just noticed something. Now, I, I, I was with Jake when he launched a parcel of topaz some months ago, admittedly. And he actually said it was about Australian topaz. And he said, I, we discovered this parcel purely by chance. We, we were, we, we'd gone to Australia sourcing other gemstones. It might well have been opal. It might well have been uh, uh, mukai. I don't know. But and they'd gone for a completely different gemstone. And they, they stumbled across, quite by chance, the most amazing parcel of topaz that they'd ever seen. They bought the entire lot. Guess what? This is from that parcel. Parcel. You can't bring this in clearance. Um, yeah. She says, "I've already." Put, I, I mean, listen, listen. I'm just, I'm just telling the story. We shouldn't be doing this. It's so beautiful. Yeah, this, just this parcel was was uh, purchased completely by chance. Um, <clears throat> Jake's words, he was just saying it was some of the finest quality of topaz that he had ever actually seen. And here we are bringing it to you in clearance. I mean, each and every single one of those, I mean, I know some of them have flipped over if I turn it around the other way. Um, yeah, it could, be, uh, could absolutely be uh, sort of caged in, in platinums, in 18 karat golds, in 14 karat golds, most certainly, or just suspended maybe from some of your pearlescent uh, um, Flex right wire. Um, it's just a little bit of heat treatment. These haven't even undergone a radiation. Do you see that gorgeous tropical summer's day sky blue? That is so perfect. Um, never been, pardon? What'd you say? Never been under 50? They shouldn't be under 50. And they most definitely should not be under 15. Oh my goodness me. That's incredible. <laughs> Under 15 for sky blue topaz. Uh, and, and listen, I don't want to sound like I'm being derogatory to certain gemstones. I will never do that. I love gemstones. But there are certain gems that I can bring you at £15. Sky blue topaz not being one of them. N under 50, I was, I, was, I was comfortable with. 15 is ridiculous. Of yeah, well, that makes sense. The guide <laughs> price is 49 99 Absolutely, that makes sense to me. That I'm, I'm happy with that. And the cheerful way in which you read that, saying, oh, yeah, the guide price is nearly £50. Yes, and it's just like, well, you're it right be. there. That's where we should have been. Um, OK, <laughs> look at that. The supremacy of those beautiful exotic blues. I mean, Hannah, again, super simple jewellery creations when you're working with fine materials like this. Yeah, you, you really don't need to do very much because, I mean, the gemstones speak for themselves. You could make a very, very uh, easy to make, simple suite of jewellery. You wouldn't need to use them all. You could if you wanted to. I mean, you, you, if you want to go the whole hog and use the, the whole strand. I mean, what an amazing kind of like Cinderella will go to the ball kind of oh, uh, piece of jewellery totally. we're talking. Totally. Um, hello to you. Uh, message coming through to the studio as well. Um, 
Oh, my favourite as Grandad's birthstone. Oh, Got it, lovely. thank you. Oh, Miss Janet. Yeah, it is absolutely beautiful. And I just genuinely look at this gemstone. You've got, you've got this sense of tranquility, but teamed with um, exceptional clarity. If you love the ovals, we have to bring you the pears. And I deliberately have not taken that previous strand off the back of my hand because I want to show you the quality across oh you said it's cinderella i mean this this is this is a, a ball quality piece of jewelry it, it, it potentially. Is, yeah this is this is a real something special that you can you know you can really go to town with it if you wanted to if you if you if you've got um white gold findings then oh. I, I i don't think it would look out of place no, with that definitely not if you've got sterling silver fantastic but you know what i don't think if you, even if you, if you were using base metal, I don't think anyone would, would believe it wasn't gold because of the quality of the stones. Yeah, there totally. Them. I totally agree. I mean, each individually should not be what we just took that previous strand to. Um, again, it's from that parcel that we absolutely should, uh, we should, should not be including it in the clearance event. Found purely by chance. Sometimes you can just be in the right place at the right time, and that is basically what made this opportunity possible to you. 18 carats. Brilliance. Clarity. I mean, again, the previous strand should have been forty nine ninety nine. You can get both still with change, still with change. There is not as many of the drops. I mean, a beautiful cascade, a bridal earrings. Um, if you've got maybe you work with a sterling silver meter long length of chain and you wanted to finish that uh, length, just one of your beautiful uh, sky blue topaz at the end of that would look stunning. That, that would be fantastic. And if you've got sort of like a, a piece of pearl jewellery or something, you could oh. add just a, a hint of the the the, uh, the blue in there. And it is, it's, again, that's very bridal, isn't it? Is that something blue, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Is that something blue with the brilliance that you know is going to sort of capture the light and complement the wedding gown itself? Fourteen ninety nine. I think we all know that this this is not where sky blue topaz should be. Um, and please don't be uh, disappointed when after the clearance event, obviously the likes of sky blue topaz goes back up to sort of the original uh, target price, forty nine ninety nine. That's still an unbelievable deal. Um, if everybody checks out, do you want to know how many we've got left? Um, Six left. We're actually over allocated, actually, on the phone lines and on the web. Nigel, good luck. Rita, good luck. Linda, good luck. P, good luck. Northamptonshire. Uh, telephone bill on the phone. Sylvia, you're there as well. Stay where you are. Um, what, sorry? Yeah, this is beautiful. And I'm going to just put one against my finger if I can. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Just one. in what we describe as an emerald cup. I need that as a ring. Yes. <laughs> I do. I, I, I like just a, a, a simple stone that's, that's just beautiful, um, not too fussy. Yeah, absolute timeless Timeless elegance. classics, yeah. Um, now, these are limited. That's just one of the strand that you're getting, and I will count them for you. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that stunning? Fourteen ninety nine. That's bonkers, isn't it? Yeah, it it really is. There's there's what? Hang on, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen solitaires just there, and a perfect emerald cut. If you were just selling them as individual topaz rings, again we wouldn't look at what. Well, even if we did, said fifteen pounds per ring. I mean that's that that is. A license to print money, isn't it, with your skills? Um, the, the, again, massively over allocated on this one. Not often that we can bring you these kind of cuts, because again, if you imagine as a, if say you were a gem, a gem trader, uh, and we came to you, jewelry maker, we're like, okay, so we want some of your sky blue topaz, we want them faceted into beautiful uh, emerald cuts, um, but we want to drill you to drill through it. They're going to say no, and the reason why they're going to say no is because they sell on carat weight, so um, it kind of goes against their, uh, you know, the, 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 their beings, if you like, of gemstones. Um, but you're actually getting each of those solitaires with the drill hole that you can use or not. It's up to you. $14.99 on the verge of selling out. Okay. Um, oh, this is beautiful. Oh. oh, my goodness me. If this were aquamarine, it would be like Santa Maria. 
Uh, we say this is a naturally brilliant forming gemstone. This is why. Oh. My goodness wow. me. Like, seriously, look at that. I think, I think that's like the perfect uh, accompaniment to the previous two strands, isn't it? If you're going to make something, you could have like your, your sort of your tassels or your chandelier <gasps> drops and then use these like with, with the other gemstones on the end and use the rondelles to, to sort Ooh. of bounce the light around. It would just be gorgeous. Really sparkly. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I mean, I could just sit and stare at that recording, Ben. That is so beautiful. Look. Glacial clarity. Per the perfection of sky blue topaz. Of course you are multi-buying on it. I would simply restrand it. Put it on a slider bracelet or something oh. like that and just have a, a section of them. Our launch price was amazing. Because that's perfection right there in sky blue topaz. Would we all agree? Definitely. We launched it at £49.99. pence. We're going to take it to a brand new low, as we seem to have done quite a lot today. It's clearance, yeah, I suppose. If we're going to do it any day, then today's the day. It's the, it's the final day of clearance. And I did say at the beginning this morning at 8 o'clock that this, we've potentially saved the best to last... $24.99. You're joking. I'm not. Really? <laughs> not even remotely. <laughs> $24.99. Hannah, you, you'll back me up on this one. I know I've said it repeatedly today, but we only have to go back two or three years ago. A strand like this would have had a, a one in front of that it, figure. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. It would have been £124, wouldn't it? I, and, and it would be quite difficult as well for us to, to bring that. In any quantity. Oh, there'd have been about 40, 50. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah. if we were lucky. And it would be a, a, a high-end showcase. Look how amazing this is. Like, you're, you're so yeah. lucky to be able to get it. And then we do things like that to the price. Yeah, I mean, this is the difference. <laughs> the fact that now, of course, part of the Gempori partnership, we can get hold of bigger quantities, amazing clarity. Um, yeah, not small quantities where we have to pay a higher premium for them. We Look at that. That is just unbelievable it's so pretty isn't it absolutely stunning it's from the australian deposit as well how many of these do we have then if everybody checks out there's four left we had 40 ah oh, perfection right there you know what i could talk to you about the rarity the history of the gemstone i could talk about the formation the process of achieving these beautiful azure blues or we can just sit here and admire the beauty I agree, Laura. Laura's just said this is one of the nicest strands I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I agree. It's stunning. It is absolutely stunning. And every single person could wear that, couldn't they? Yeah, definitely. definitely. It's going to complement all skin tones. I mean, we are talking something that you wear on your wedding day, you wear to special events. But like you said, it's topaz. It's eight on the most scale. If I popped it into a slider bracelet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And you could use... It's just so... It's so lovely. I mean, if, if you know somebody, perhaps your daughter's getting married, perhaps your niece is getting married, and you want, you want to give them a little something... Oh. I mean, what an amazing gift to receive on your wedding day. Oh. Massively over-allocated. That's beautiful. Um, OK, let's now bring you... What number was that, sorry? Oh, what did you say? Oh... Oh, my goodness me, I've just seen 19 and 20. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, wowzers. Um, okay, so I, I was in a meeting with Matt Bennett a couple of days ago, um, and he was talking about Gem Collector and what he's looking to buy over at Tucson. I mean, it's this kind of calibre. Uh, you, can't, you can't get big quantities of these. They are museum-quality pieces. Um, <clears throat> anyway, hang on. Let me just take that off. It comes with a certificate, this. This is the light uh, that, you know, what you purchase the gemstone and like our, our Larique is to our sister channel, you then design the piece around the beauty of the gemstone. You are guaranteed a, mi oh, a minimum of 15 carats. Look at that. Does it get any better? I'm going to show you what we've previously launched this at. Comes with its certificate of authenticity. This one, I was saying minimum of 15, but this one actually has got 18 carats. Uh, so that's as a bare minimum. Look at that wonderful quality. So they are all one of a kind, but uh, again, minimum 15 carats, guaranteed this amazing quality. That's a museum piece. Uh, yeah, I, I'm absolutely in love with that. 
I can't. It's just, a bit of you. I, I, it, 100%. It's just... Do you, uh, do you know how I know that you're in love with it? Because you can't talk. I can't talk. I know. <laughs> you literally can't I've, talk. I've actually uh, I've got a, a stone that I purchased from the Sister Channel, and it's a, it's the same colour, but it's it's just a, um, a rectangular stone. And I think this, this particular shape is just so beautiful so feminine so like if you're wearing it as a ring it elongates the finger if you're wearing it as a pendant because it's got that natural sort of pair kind of like the the, the gravitas of it's incredible and I that's mean, just <coughs> silly price if you are a november <coughs> baby which uh tiggy uh my youngest it's her birthstone so i, I when i saw uh, some of our swiss blue topaz the other day i was like i need to buy one of these um so, so you know to have as as her birthstone yeah. as well and i'm thinking something like this and an amazing almost like heart of the ocean inspired pendant something that you can wear beautiful a beautifully close to the heart as well it is massive absolutely massive look at that quality 89.99 no no no. when you said let's show the previous price of what we've sold at it was more than what's on your screen surely so I bought a Swiss blue topaz a couple of days ago. Like I said, I, I shared that with you. I said I'm going to get one because it's uh, it's Tiggy's birthstone and I haven't yet got a topaz piece of jewellery for uh, for her. And I paid staff cost more than what's on your screen right now. Okay. Beautiful clarity. Tropical blues. There are 25 opportunities. Look at that. That's perfection, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. How on earth are we at £59.99? Pence? Hannah, you know you were saying you've fallen in love with this. Now is the time to get hold of this. I, I, do you know what? If it doesn't go, I am yeah. having that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm thinking a really beautiful, like, uh, I don't know on a 20-inch chain, I'm, I'm imagine it. Oh. It's just stunning, and it, and it's exactly the right colour to go with the, the cocktail ring that I that I've got. So it would be it would be a pendant for me. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, do you know what I hope? I'm looking at this now, thinking, hoping that you know, after the pandemic has all sorted itself out, etc., that we can start doing your uh, your gemporia balls oh, and, and, yeah. and host tables again. Jewelry makers, you need to be wearing this if you do come along to that event. Uh, Laura's like, oh, they're fab, they're fab, but they're really beautiful. They're like massive, no expense spared, uh, spared uh, sort of big gala dinner, amazing. Um, and one of us will come along and host the table. I hope, and finger, fingers crossed that it happens again. If you get hold of this, you need to wear it to that event. $59.99. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, okay. Mm, sorry. Tw oh, really? Oh, my goodness. Now, I have a Swiss blue topaz ring. I've just... Uh, here's me saying that uh, I don't have topaz. I do. I have a topaz that I bought from my sister channel many moons ago. Um, but it's just an excuse, isn't it, to get another one because Tiggy's been born. Um, anyway, but whenever I wear my Swiss blue topaz, without fail, it always gets noticed and commented on because yeah. um, it is one of those gemstones that's not shy and retiring. This is not soft. It's not delicate. It's not subtle. It's a wow. Um, and I'm going to hold this in some tweezers so you can imagine it, maybe in your mounts, maybe in your sterling silver wire, your gallery wire, etc. You are guaranteed a minimum of five carats. Wow. Yeah. A friend of mine's actually got a Swiss Blue Topaz engagement ring. Do you know what? That's a, that's a fantastic, a fantastic stone for an engagement ring. I think. Yeah, it is because it's, it's, it's hard on the most scale, durable on the most scale, and talk about a showstopper. 50, uh, sorry, five carats you are guaranteed with your certificate of authenticity. We say five. This one that I'm actually holding, and these are, you know, picked from our vault completely randomly. This is a nine and a half carat solitaire. It is massive. Yeah, it's huge. It's way bigger than mine. Um, okay, in your concave cut, again, look how, uh, you know, every single one of those facets draws our eye deep down into the coulee of the gemstone. Absolutely flawless clarity. Let's bring it to you in a clearance deal. Get hold of the gemstone. That's where the bulk of the uh, sort of uh, the value is in, in in a big cocktail ring or pendant. It's in the gemstone. It's not in the precious metal. What? Twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> How many of these are available, Laura? Oh, there's twenty eight. Oh, they're not hanging around though. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? It's a whopper. It's an absolute whopper and an absolute head turner as well. Insane colour, insane it's clarity, amazing. insane faceting, certified as well. 
<clears throat> if you are a November baby, you absolutely need this because I can't believe, again, if there was a one in front of that number on your screens, I'd still be saying that's a fabulous deal. Virginia, Helena, Amy, Yorkshire, Debbie, hello to you, Mary, new customers, Maeve, Lorna. Um, we've got people multi-buying. I mean, why wouldn't you at $29.99? They're absolute whoppers. Single figure quantity of these available. Why wouldn't I would as well to be at that price point? You might get a variation of your sizes. You are guaranteed that, uh, that, that beautiful cut and shape, of course. You could make that sweet, couldn't you? Look at that. It's sensational. This is what your... You know, you think of Paraba. That's what Paraba wants to look like. It's, it, it's what it's trying to be, isn't it? Yeah, trying. <laughs> I like Paraba Tormley, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't do this. It doesn't, it doesn't give you ricochets of light internally. I've got seven left. Um, over allocated well done well done well done okay um let's oh i haven't i haven't brought this opportunity to air before it's absolutely beautiful um now if you again have shopped on our, shopped on our sister channel previously you'd have heard of galilea morganite um in fact the gemporia are the proud owners of the largest faceted morganite gemstone it's in our it sits in our museum um yeah it's incredible by the way i don't even know if my tweezers are going to be able to pick this up but i'll give it a give it a whirl now galilea it's a peachy color galilea morganite i guess you shouldn't be surprised i can't pick this up with my grab with my tweezers let's not try because otherwise i'm gonna fly it across the studio um this is fully certified 19.7 carats you'll see a really beautiful peach color uh, brazilian topaz it's so very reminiscent of Morganite, which, by the way, if this was Morganite, you'd be talking about four figures upwards, for sure. Can you see that really wow. beautiful peach colour? Oh, a massive collector's opportunity. There are only two available. Um, it's a really delicate, uh, soft, subtle peach colour, very reminiscent of uh, beautiful Galilea Morganite. Never been that low. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's so stunning, so feminine, so pretty. Well done, collectors, well done. And you could have got that home on split pay as well. Amazing, congratulations. Okay, moving on to... Ooh, pink topaz. Beautiful pink topaz. Hot pink topaz. It's natural. Um, hang on a second. Hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second. Because something I was just reading to you a few moments ago, if I can find it now, and amongst all of my copious notes, uh, nine hours worth of prep. Uh, let's see if I can actually find it. No. Um, anyway, um, most topaz will actually come from the ground either colourless or a brownish colour. Some of the rarest colours of topaz are red and pink. Um, that's what you're about to see, natural pink topaz. You get 0.15 carats, fully certified. Look at that. Natural, not enhanced. You don't have to pay extra. Pink Imperial, as the name suggests, is the most valuable of all your topaz out there. Um, so, yeah, if you want the rarest, then here it is straight away. Um, okay, so little stud earrings, they'd be beautiful. They'd be amazing, wouldn't they? Little, uh, little uh, melee uh, studs. Six ninety nine. 99 and I do remember us buying those. It was you, me, Hannah Roxbury and Paula Bennett all bought those diamond earrings. Do you remember? Well, a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Yeah. When we were back in the old studios. God. I mean, we Such paid, what was it, about £30, I think, for those, those black, black diamond earrings. Black <laughs> diamond's not as rare as uh, imperial pink. I, I, do you know what? I think those are absolutely fantastic, aren't they? And I, I can't quite get my head around that price. Six ninety nine. Like, just doesn't seem right. Is not for I, imperial no. pink. The the rarest colour to get in in topaz. Not even treated that way. Six ninety nine. Um, of course, we're over allocated. Yeah, use them with. Uh, use them with things like your uh, um, your milliputs. You could embed them into your milliput, couldn't you? You could incorporate oh, them into gosh, all of your yeah. prong mounts. Um, 15 points, which is basically two and a half millimetre rounds. Natural, there we go. It's in the graphics. Uh, check out those baskets. Amazing. I didn't even know we had pink, uh, imperial pink topaz. Um, 
in our vault. That must have been a back on the back of a, a, a Jake show. Must have been. Um, okay, so moving on to now. Ooh, sticking with the pink topaz. Uh, one solitaire. The average engagement ring last time I checked, um, in terms of size, was three millimeters. Now, if you want something that's way rarer than a three millimeter diamond, check this out. It's a three millimeter imperial pink topaz round. It's pretty. Very nice. Very uh, nice indeed. I know that something that our jewelry makers can do is dremel into their pearls. Oh my goodness, that would be fabulous. Can you imagine that embedded into like a an Tahitian pearl. pearl or a Baroque pearl? That would be amazing. So, oh. so high end. Oh my gosh. Oh, please do that. If you have that ability, please embed a natural pink topaz at £5.99. Please understand that's no reflection of the true value or worth. That needs to be embedded into a Tahitian pearl or a, or a South Sea pearl. Yeah. I mean, yeah, get that then valued and appraised for sure. Um, I've certainly... Uh, uh, one of the Tahitian pearl necklaces that uh, that featured in that jewellers that I was referencing not so long ago. It was a full 360 strand. It never sold in the five years that I worked there. And I'm not surprised. It was a five-figure piece of jewellery. But it had black Tahitian pearls and it had SI, uh, VSI diamonds embedded into each and every single one of them. It was stunning. But yeah, you're talking tens of thousands of pounds for that piece. Um, I'm not saying that's what this would be valued at, but can you imagine how beautiful that would actually be embedded into a Charlie Baron Ch Tahitian pearls the pink fantastic uh, so so just i don't know just wow off the richter scale isn't it yeah, that kind of that's jewelry. wow and this is why we are not hobbyists that you know you you make high-end jewelry here fine jewelry as jake would say and you can do it 5.99 goodness me that's amazing um we're on the verge of selling out congratulations everybody check out your baskets <laughs> moving on to sorry oh what's in number 26 oh <gasps> Okay, how many of these are available? Oh, can I buy it? There's only one. Oh, it's a princess cut. Come on. It's not an octagon cut. This is a princess cut. I don't know. I haven't counted the facets, but if you love your princess cut. Oh, there's only one, and this is the one that you're getting. I am so jealous of the person that gets this. When did Jake do this show? Makes sense, November last year, November's birthstone. Oh, you haven't even seen it, it's sold out. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Holy moly, that is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, well done. Oh, someone got a cracking deal there, I didn't know. they? <laughs> the last of your, I'm sorry? Um, now this, yeah, beautiful five millimetre round, delicate pink, totally natural in its colour. Um, oh my goodness me! I mean, you could use this as you know the, the you know the focus of a um, maybe I don't know an anniversary ring or an anniversary pendant or uh, five millimetre round. If I just literally hold it in front of my engagement ring, you can in it. It's, Look at that! Yeah. Beautiful. Six mil uh, six points, twenty four ninety nine. Genuine natural imperial pink topaz. It's a blush pink. I'm not talking about you know cerise or uh, candy floss pink. It's a blush. It's a very delicate like shade. Completely and utterly natural. Um, pardon? It's sold out. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Um, okay, moving on to, ooh, Madam Bayer now. Um, that, basically, we have a slide. I don't know if you've got access to this. Um, pattern is only two, okay. Madam Bayer makes up less than 2% of the world's blue topaz. It is the rarest. It comes from one location in uh, Brazil. Um, yeah, and it's the finest quality, basically. Uh, they will never uh, allow any inclusions, any imperfections. 2% um, of the world's blue topaz uh, comes under the Marambaya description. It's absolutely gorgeous. You've got uh, lovely step octagon cuts. You have to have exceptional clarity with, uh, with, gems, with cuts like octagon and emerald cut because there's less facets, there's less place for, places for floors to hide. Sold out, well done. Marambaya topaz, you've got fully certified. Um, amazing. 
Now, ooh. Yeah, should we do, uh, I don't know, you choose. I don't, I'm not, I'm... Well, Hannah's made the most beautiful bracelet, so let's, let's do the London Blue. It should be a star buy, but we only have 10 minutes on this hour. Marquis cut. Sorry, Ben. Ben's like, I want to see the Imperial. Um, yeah. London Blue Topaz. The deeper the colour, the longer that treatment process actually is. So um, it has been estimated, look at that, um, that a London Blue Topaz can take up to a decade to transform with the treatment uh, advances uh, to transform into this really beautiful, uh, beautiful colour. It is the gemstone that you will find in places like Bond Street, in Paris, in Milan, in, on Rodeo Drive. This is supremacy, uh, and we pay a premium for your London Blue. Now, developments um, of treatment processes, uh, you know, are happening on a, 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 all the time. Um, but have you ever noticed that London Blue Topaz is available in the market and then it disappears? Um, that's because it takes so long to actually treat. So you take beautiful eye clean, uh, colorless topaz. It goes through a process of irradiation, which is completely safe, by the way. They talk about atoms and bombarding those atoms at high temperatures and pressures. That's way too scientific for my little brain. Uh, but look what it achieves after decades, potentially. Uh, gorgeous Marquis cut. Hannah's, that, that bracelet is gorgeous. It's going to lay literally, perfectly. Yeah, just literally re restranding that and, and then adding a little bit of chain. So it sits like, you know, pretty much the way it, it, it looks on the strand but it is very expensive looking very pretty it could it could equally be little sort of blue flowers as well I little say petals like little forget me nots they look i mean you know they're just so pretty and just also faceted so it all sparkles as well oh that is unbelievable those deep beautiful teal blues uh, very expensive London Blue Topaz is, I mean, it's understandable to see why, really. But, um, yeah, again, I asked our, our, our founder and said, you know, why is it that London Blue Topaz is there and then it's gone? And that's the reasoning. It's basically down to the length of the, uh, the treatment process itself. You've got an entire parcel of one of the most wasteful and expensive cuts that's in your marquees. Geniusly uh, sort of... Uh, um, drilled through the top so if you don't want to use that you could very easily cover it within uh, so the prongs of your mounts i shouldn't imagine i've got many of these available is that right uh, really how have you got a hundred for london blue topaz oh. <laughs> i don't have to again cast our mind back or maybe you've watched or maybe you've seen london blue topaz and finished pieces of jewelry elsewhere Make sure it is true London blue and it has that teal. Look at that. Now, imagine one of those marquees cut, put in precious metal, sterling silver, let's say. Do you think one of those would be at, let's say, 30 pounds? Not on the high street it wouldn't be. Maybe on our sister channel you might get one for 30 pounds. How about the entire parcel of beautiful elegance? exceptional London blue saturation. Let's take it under. Oh, be quick, 25 pounds, goodness me. Um, that's amazing, isn't it? London blue topaz, the, the most, as, as the deeper the saturation goes of your blue topaz, generally speaking, the more expensive it is. So yes, London blue is more expensive than, uh, than, Sky, uh, than Swiss. Uh, Swiss blue is generally speaking more expensive than sky blue. I mean, that is all relative, I guess you could have, if you have to sort of add in uh, sort of inclusions in the gemstone, then maybe not so much. You've got flawless clarity on every single one of the uh, topaz opportunities I've brought you. And yet, uh, that beautiful, deep, almost teal blue that is so uh, sort of iconic and unique to this wonderful gemstone. These may well have been in the process of 10 years um, to actually bring you this beautiful color. Immediately, uh, immediately, it's recognized, it's celebrated. I read an article not so long ago that was saying that um, of all your blue gemstones out there, which there are many, aquamarine, turqu uh, turquoise, 
uh, tanzanite, sapphire, lapis lazuli. Um, I could go on and on and on. This, this actually sits firmly in the top three most popular gemstones. And I totally understand. I totally get it. You've got brilliance. You've got color. Um, you've got a dense gemstone that you, you can create such precision with. Under £25, there was a triple figure quantity. Make sure you do check out those baskets. Loving that bracelet that uh, Hannah has created. Again, if you know somebody that's, uh, that's maybe a November baby or um, maybe this is a gemstone which is particularly close to you sentimentally. Um, if uh, Ben just said his November's a November baby. Perfect, Ben, you need to make this piece of jewellery. You need to. Or creates a really beautiful sort of chandelier <laughs> style earrings. Um, wowzers. Stay where you are. Okay, I can squeeze one more in. More London blue. So I love, you know we do those sterling silver lengths of chain, Hannah? Yeah. Just cutting them off into different lengths. I'm not, you know, I don't think about it, but different lengths. With the infinity chain in particular, you can just open and close your, your shepherd hook, can't you? Loop yep. it on. Yeah. Loop it on. And then pop those on the end of the chains. A I, proper I waterfall cascade, I isn't it? I am one yeah. of the most basic jewellery makers out there. But when you're working with such fine quality, oh, look at that. We don't have to complicate things, do no, we? No, I, honestly, I think, I think quite often the, the, the simpler the design, the more sort of uh, high-end and, and chic it looks, you know? I agree. There are 31 of these London Blue Topaz. We launched it at an amazing £50. That's incredible. Oh, should we take £5 off that price tag? £10. Ah. £15. Wow. £20 off that price point. <laughs> I mean, that means you can basically get both of these strands for not far off what one of them should have been in this clearance event. Again, waterfall style earrings. Imagine teaming up your drops with your marquise if you got hold of the previous strand. Beautiful, vibrant uh, teal blues. Um, yeah, exactly what London blue should be. And I have noticed that actually on, you know, online in particular, uh, certain traders will say, oh, this is London blue topaz, knowing full well that London blue topaz commands a higher price tag than other shades of blue. Um, but then you look at it and go, is it really London blue? I don't think that's London blue. Has it really got that teal colour uh, coming through? Twenty nine ninety nine. Susan, Laurel, hello to you, France, Debbie, Maxine, hello to you, Maeve, Christine, Mary, Sheila, Susan. Check out your baskets, everybody, for this beautiful, beautiful level of clarity. Um, yeah, I mean, light, they talk about sort of light travelling through your topaz, the fact that it can sort of ricochet beautiful amounts of brilliance. So I don't want to get too technical with it, but there is actually um, uh, light will enter into your topaz and it travels at a higher velocity, apparently. I don't know. And again, that's way beyond, uh, way beyond my, uh, my brain's capability. Okay, I can squeeze in... One more, what'd you say? Okay. Ooh, topaz rounds. Natural topaz rounds. There is one thing that I want to change about what you're about to see. If I could take out that blue cord, I would. Because it didn't need a blue cord. It needs a, 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 literally an elastic, a clear elastic or a, or a white beading thread because that's all I noticed right now. But look at the color, take out that blue cord, replace it with, replace it with a clear elastic, stretchy bracelet, it's topaz. Always been on your screens, and I know I've brought this strand to where I remember it quite clearly. Yeah, I launched it, yeah, I knew I had. It was sterling silver, on a, I think we turned it into a stre simple stretchy bracelet. Five millimeter topaz rounds. Exactly. When do we ever see that? For the first time ever, we are going to surpass the launch deal and take it under twenty pounds. Nineteen ninety nine for natural, beautiful blue topaz. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, if I could take out that blue cord, I would do that. In fact, if I had time this morning, I'd have turned it into a stretchy bracelet. 
Um, with some of your spacer beads, maybe, or a contrasting gemstone. Yeah, definitely. And have you got any of the uh, the um, what they call stardust? Oh, uh, nice. You know the ones that have got that sort of like. A kind of dimpled surface yeah. and it's all like loads of sparkles like it's parve set yeah almost. they look fantastic with that kind of gemstone that would be beautiful um amazing under 20 pounds for the very first time alan Maeve, susan hello to you london hello to you uh, greater london hello to you uh, sandra in west midlands hello to you west midlands p uh stephanie susan you're there as well um, coming up after the break, we've got the most amazing Peridot clearance as well. Uh, vibrant chartreuse green, so um, truly something not to be missed. These clearances, it's the final day of clearance, so you have the last two hours to make the most of these clearance savings. Peridot coming your way, beautiful spinel coming your way, plus so much more. Hannah and I will turn after this. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi there, Jewelry Makers. I just wanted to invite you to come and join me every Monday between 1pm and 4pm here at Jewelry Maker, where we're going to be bringing you some of the finest gemstones, some of the finest hand-selected pieces just for you, but this will only happen every Monday between 1pm and 4pm. So come and join me only here at Jewelry Maker. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch split pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer.
Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. I've literally just been sat there that whole time just tropping fruit. <laughs> you guys, you've got to have some energy though. I mean, you're like, like Wonder Woman this weekend, aren't oh, you? Oh, just... it's good though. It's yeah. fun. Um, and I've loved today because it has been, it's, 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 we can go, uh, the gem fairs are starting and opening again, aren't they? We've got probably Hong Kong horizon i know there's sort of the, the swiss fair the tucson fair where we go and see luxury gemstones but i actually think we've kind of brought that to you today haven't we very fine quality um and this next showcase is absolutely inclusive of that um i showed you i showed you a little powerpoint earlier on i don't know if you can get that laura um so it's on the j drive under uh, uh, under peridot so anyway um, what is Peridot? It's one of the coolest gemstones that's actually out there. Um, we spoke about dinosaur bone today. Again, fascinating story behind it. But what you see visually is this beautiful, vibrant, bright, summery gemstone. But if I actually told you that technically speaking, uh, Peridot is the oldest gemstone, not of this planet, because that would be Zircon, but of the solar system. Ooh. That's cool. That is cool, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> because um, 4.5 billion years ago, um, palisite meteorites, which were remnants of our solar system, were found with peridot in. So peridot is actually, I can't get my head around it, before our planet, the very solar system itself, this gemstone actually existed. But then let's just talk about, you know, uh, you know, about, let's bring it back down to earth, quite literally. You know, your turquoise that you had earlier on, I said it's very shallow forming. You can often see it in amongst the shrubbery as well. Um, you might have gemstones like malachite a little bit deeper there um, and rhodochrosite found within sort of caves if you like but very close to the actual surface itself you travel down a little bit further beyond the earth's uh sort of the uh, still within the earth's crust as well you still find your rubies your sapphires but beyond the earth's crust so think back to our sort of geography lessons when you have the core of the earth you have the mantle just here and then you have the earth's crust the really hot bit in the middle where all you, you have all those amazing uh sort of the, your, your, your uh lava and heat and pressures and intensity that's where peridot actually forms alongside diamonds they're like best of friend gemstones they almost hold one another's hands forcing themselves up through uh, kimberlite pipes and that's how we get this incredible gemstone it's 55 miles below the earth's crust the earth's surface that these gemstones actually 55 miles 55 miles wow each of these beautiful little natural peridots have traveled amazing isn't it truly truly amazing and then that is natural color you look at that wonderful almost neon green and we'd assume maybe like your Swiss blue topaz that it'd be gone through a radiation or, or treatment in some way shape or form Absolutely not. That's natural. It's a, a, a particular balance. And when it comes to Peridot, which is this month's birthstone, don't forget to use your code August 10 with each of these on your checkout to get a further 10% discount. Now, 
Um, yeah, you uh, uh, you want to have the perfect balance between green and yellow um, to get that perfect gem quality colour. Now we're going to bring you a showcase of natural gem quality peridots in multitudes of different cuts. If you want a gemstone that will look insane under every single lighting condition, be that under candlelight, be that moonlight, be that under incandescent lighting, then peridot is absolutely one for you because it cannot be tamed. N oh, this is cashmere. No, no, no. Did you just say, Laura, let's start big? Yes. <sighs> cashmere sapphire is like Columbia to an emerald. Mogok, Mogok ruby. Okay, but don't be silly. Don't be silly now with cashmere sapphire. It's from Pakistan. It's the best in the world. Yeah, you can see why, can't you? That's natural colour. <laughs> Genuinely, I think Laura thinks I'm telling her off. I'm not telling her off at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, Laura, I'm, I'm, I'm only ever joking. You do what you want to do, my lovely. You do what you want to do. You're the producer. You're in charge of me, listen. 32 carats of beautiful, natural Pakistan cashmere <laughs> sapphire. You know, as the name suggests with sapphire, it's that supremacy. The same applies with, uh, with peridots. This isn't treated. That's all Mother Nature's doing. But yes, uh, cashmere, Pakistan is that pinnacle um, of quality, like Mogok is to a ruby. Um, 32 carats of beautiful, beautiful, lush, vibrant greens. Now, the last lowest price was amazing. Not for cashmere, not for cashmere peridot, really. Right, Wayne, I know you're in the building right now. Why on earth do you take cashmere peridot to twenty nine ninety nine? He's there, isn't he? Is he still in the in the in the building? Wayne, I know you're watching. What on earth? Cashmere Peridot, and you took it to twenty nine ninety nine, but now you've given Laura a um, complete justification to take it in a clearance. There are thirty nine of these available. Uh, I, I, there's no absolute reason for that. Do you ever mind you saying that I brought Mogok Ruby earlier today at under twenty pounds? So why not? Did bring you? Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, me. I know. Next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did. And we bought Colombian Emerald under £20. And we bought uh, Burmese Sapphire under £20. We might as well add Cashmere Peridot to that equation as well. There were 31 of these available, did you say, Laura? Um, oh, collectors and connoisseurs will already recognise the name. So Cashmere Peridot is that level of supremacy. It has, it's, it's regarded as the best in the world. That's natural. There's no enhancement to this. It's about having the perfect balance of how I always describe like a chartreuse green. You want it to have the, the perfect amount of green, the perfect amount of yellows um i mean more often than not don't forget to use your august, august 10 so aug 10 on your checkout if you're with me on the web because you get an additional 10 percent off that as well um because it's this month's birthstone so you know i said earlier on in the show that a friend of mine it was his wife's 50th um uh, birthday a couple of days ago and he came to me and said i want to get it give her uh, i want to get her a peridot i want to make a piece of jewelry um so jake and i helped him purchase a, 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 a peridot and um, that he then had made into platinum with vs diamonds it's just unbelievable this piece of jewelry have a guess that you know the country of origin it's cashmere wow it's insane i've never seen i have never seen uh, uh you know that's, uh, that's the way to do presents isn't it yeah i mean this piece is wow 1999 only unbelievable you meant it when you said go big didn't you um i'm loving this strand i want this strand You've also got, this is also cashmere. These are the only two cashmere uh, peridots that we actually have in the entire vault. Look at this quality. I love that irregularity and that dominance of green. Oh. Oh, I hope you are watching right now, Mike. Sorry, Mike was the person that commissioned that, that ring. He was, I think, he'll be thinking to me, Elle, I've just given her the most amazing cashmere peridot um, birthday present. But if you are watching this, big, beautiful, don't you think, it's a matching necklace or bracelet. That's natural, 
cashmere, get your certificate of authenticity. Do you see the dominance of green? Lesser quality uh, peridot will be yellow or maybe a little bit too murky. It's about that wonderful balance. We are taking this lower than its previous price. This is the, the final uh, cashmere peridot strand that we have. I mean, that simplicity, uh, re-strand that. Yeah, I mean, that, that's one that I think would be really lovely if you made it into um, a bracelet or a necklace. But um, personally, I, I like the idea of if, you, if you've got um, one of the ones that's sort of like drop-shaped as a pendant, and you can have uh, two as your earrings, and then mm. you can use that as your bracelet. So then you've got a suite of, of like, just all cashmere peridot. And it's just, you know, how, how luxurious is that? Cashmere Peridot at £15, seriously. Seriously, seriously. How many do we have of these, Laura? I am at 50. I'm asking for my own personal benefit. I'm not going to lie. I want to buy these as well. No, I, I want to join you. That's why I'm thinking, like, look, if there's, if, is there going to be enough or is it going to be an on-screen sellout? I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, and you get a big parcel of that definite, vibrant, natural greens. Um, cashmere, I keep saying it, I know, I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but it is regarded for this reason, look how beautiful it is, as the best in the world. Um, hence why we only actually have... Um, a couple of uh, location uh, opportunities, sorry, from this location. Fourteen ninety nine. France, Maeve, Hello to you, Marilyn, Surrey, Gloucestershire, uh, at London. I've got Christine, Anne Marie, Susan, Susan in Carmarthenshire, Susan in Essex, uh, Lincolnshire, Dorset. You're there as well. Um, we're going to do what, Surrey? Oh, this strand. I've said that cashmere, regarded as the best, but I have to tell you this entire lineup is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Peridot is one of my firm favourites. I know that uh, Sam, um, Sam Wilson, one of our amazing talents behind the scenes, actually came to me not so long ago and said, Al, give me your top 10 favourite gemstones. Peridot was one of those, and we put it as a little online deal. This is the kind of strand that I would have picked. It's a star buy. Don't forget to use your Org 10 uh, at checkout to get an additional 10% off. This is utterly sensational. Sometimes star buyers don't need any introduction. And I'm going to say something quite unconventional if the powers that be are the watching, bear with me on this one. I don't need to tell me off. <gasps> You've worked with it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care the province of this. I don't care whether it's Chinese. I don't care whether it's Kashmir. I don't care whether it's USA. I don't care. Look at the quality. And that's ultimately what we should be driven by. The beauty of the, uh, the beauty of the gemstone, not where it comes from. Feast your eyes. Yeah. You know, at the beginning of this showcase, I actually said that Peridot is a gemstone that under every single lighting condition, it looks insane. Sure does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, imagine that. I, I love this colour. I think, I think it's just so, like, you know, it's so distinctive, isn't it? Mm. Like, it, it couldn't be anything else. It, it's, it's Peridot from, like, a, a hundred steps away. Yeah. And, yeah and, and just looks more and more beautiful the closer you get. Oh. It's fantastic. Look at how beautiful. Look at the reflection on the surface. You've got that glowing green. It's the perfect gemstone for this month's birthstone as well. Look at that. It's... We say at one of the most visually striking gemstone, a mix of bright summery greens and gorgeous glowing golden tones. Completely un uh, unnatural. Uh, peridot is what we call idiochromatic, which means it gets its color from the chemical composition of the gemstone. The fascination of peridot stretches back some 4,000 years. You know, we, we always say that uh, sort of Cleopatra was head over heels in love with emerald. The reality is it was probably peridot that she was absolutely uh, uh, hypnotized by. As I said earlier on, one of two gemstones that actually forms within the Earth's mantle as opposed to the Earth's uh, crust and technically the oldest gemstone in the world. 
yes, country of origin is something that might have an influence on, on sort of prices. Um, it does. Like, certainly if you look at the ruby market, definitely Mogok ruby is more expensive than maybe your Thai ruby. But what we should be focusing on right now is how beauty the quality of the gemstone is. This is USA. So um, I'm going to be lucky enough to go to uh, this location where hopefully we'll be able to unearth further examples of this level of quality. Or it might well have been from the state of Hawaii. I don't know. I'm not going there. But look at that. Completely and utterly natural. Vibrant color. Be driven by the beauty of the gemstone. And my goodness, it doesn't get any better than this. There are how many of these? Really? There's 110. Laura, tell me what you're going to do with this. No, just, just, just. Okay, now, seriously. Can we just look at this lovely necklace that um, Hannah has been creating? You've teamed that with your Mystic Coated Spinner. Ah, oh, Hannah. Yeah, so, so there's... Um... I, I, I love green and purple, so I think it's one of those things that, that just naturally sort of wants to go together anyway. But I'd, so I've got some some rondelles in there, some nuggets in there, some some uh, coated spinels and some seed beads. And again, it's a very very simple threaded technique with beady beads. But I think the gemstones really do tell the whole story. Oh my you know, goodness! It doesn't need to be fussy to be effective. That spinel's coming up in the last hour, by the way. But you know that is what I imagine. In the pages of a glossy magazine with a POA underneath it. Yeah, it could be. And you could, you could imagine that the model reclined with, with some kind of like gold leopard Scanty statue clad, and, a, bit, and, a, yeah. and a, bit, a big fern over her head or yeah. something. You can see yeah. it, can't you, on you a can. glossy mag? You totally you can. can. We're not about to put those kind of price tags on this. It's in clearance. And okay, if this does not sell out, then I will be having a strongly worded conversation with myself because I have not portrayed the quality of the peridot and I have not portrayed the quality of the deal. Unbelievable. $9.99. Look, that is insane. It's the pinnacle of what we aspire to in your peridot. They are massive. You're right, Laura. And we're at a single figure price tag. After today's clearance event, if these haven't sold out, which... Hey, like I said, they should. Then they will go back to the original target price, which is what I'm going to say probably what three, four times. What's on your screens? Twenty nine ninety nine. That's still an amazing deal. I wouldn't mind actually purchasing this strand at twenty nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Two thirds of the stock has disappeared. Marily, this may well be from your home state, by the way, and I'll be coming over to see you sometime. Well, not you personally. I won't knock on your door. That would be a bit, you know, <laughs> not completely unannounced anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes, this may well have been, come, this may well have come from Arizona. It may well have also been Hawaiian. It, it's USA for sure. Um, Encarna, hello to you. Susan, Doreen, Elizabeth, June, Pat, sorry. Um, I love putting peridot with garnets. Looks so rich together. Yes. Oh yeah, like the red rose Ooh. kind of uh, thing, isn't it? You know, very yes. romantic combination. And it is a head turner. It's like the Swiss blue. You it, you you can't help but notice this gemstone. They, yeah, they, they they literally sort of sing to you, don't they? And, yeah. I, and I think it's it's very easy to make this look very. Um, high end and very sort of dramatic so mm. if, you, if you put like a, a black spinel with it or you put like gold seed beads oh. with it or you put something that just sort of gives it a little bit of breathing space so you can really appreciate each and every stone then it's fantastic i'm buying in my head stop permitting i'm buying two or three of these strands because i'm thinking with your slot really oh laura says i don't think you're going to get one um oh, oh okay i'm definitely not there's 10 left there were over 100 of them available but, but what i would have done I'll add it to my wish list. Um, what I would have done is take a couple on slider bracelets. One would be given to Joe for her birthday to yeah. go alongside that ring. Nice. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, the rest would be maybe in really simple uh, restrands. It is, by definition, the exact colour um, that we're looking for um, in your peridot. Okay, let's now bring you. Ooh, again. This is a long strand. Um, smaller rondelles than what you've just seen, um, but you might be looking to create that graduation possibly. Um, so this then could tape it maybe around the back. Yeah. Know. Summery, beautiful, vibrant greens. I know it's not like that right now when you look out the window, but it is imminent apparently. The heat wave is, is looming. I, I, everyone here is excited about heat wave. I'm dreading it. I, don't, I hate it being so hot that you can't do anything. 
Oh, oh, I see. You're going to be an air-conditioned hotel. I see. Um, okay, so Hunan and Chiang Mai are two of the, uh, the locations that we source at Peridot from, um, which are find, uh, found not too far away from one of the, some of the largest diamond mines in the world. As we said, they, 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 they hold one another's hands to reach the Earth's surface. That's pretty, isn't it? Again, look at the quality of those vibrant greens. Uh, do you know what? I mean, that, that to me, I think that's, that's um, it's, a, it's slightly softer in, yes. in colour. So I, I think that, that's going to be a fabulous one to put. Like, well, things like your, your nail polish being bright pink, I think you can afford to go for other shouty colours yeah. as well. And Ooh, imagine yeah. a big floral bouquet of like gerberas or something and there's pinks and orange and yellow and then the backdrop is the green. Love I think it. you could do that with this strand all day long. Yeah, it would look I amazing. Agree. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? It's cheerful. It is. It is. It's, it's just, um, I don't know, I, th I think with the, the, the previous period, it's got a, a, real, um, a real sort of sharpness of colour. This, because this is slightly softer. I think yeah, it's there's quite, not quite the clarity that you saw in the previous feminine, strand. It's quite, you know, I think it's an easy colour to wear. Yeah. And I totally get you on that. I'm with you yeah. 100%. It's, just, it's, not, it's not a pale green by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, no. I think, but because the, so the, the, the clarity of the gemstone is slightly different, um, they are slightly smaller as well, a little bit more delicate in the size. But yeah, re I agree with you. They're going to look beautiful. It might even be nice like, to team them together. And then, you know, because then you, you, you've got sort of like the ombre thing going on without really trying. You know, it just sort of naturally is happening. I love That's that. So pretty, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. There we go. You can see what Hannah and I are referencing. Yeah, that's that precision, that sharpness of clarity. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it's like the soft focus version. Yeah. It would look lovely with the, like, your peach moonstones and things like that as well. Like the, oh. the sort of like the, um, what's the other one I'm th thinking of? Is it is it uh, Kunzite? Yeah. So the soft pastel so, so, so like the pastel-y sort of silky kind of um, gemstones yeah, I get that. Would, Rose look, would look lovely with this. Yeah, yeah. Rose really nice. Rose quartz, you, you, so your morganite yeah, would look morganite pretty as well. would be lovely with it. Seven ninety nine only. Oh, it's busy this afternoon. You're loving the uh, the Peridot deals. Don't forget to use your August 10, well, it's AUG 10, to get an additional 10% off um, this amazing birthstone. And likewise with your Spinel, because Spinel is also August birthstone. Um, so you can use that too. Um, I, I don't know if it works on the phone lines. I'm not really sure, but do it definitely online. Uh, T's, and P, uh, T's and C's apply. I don't know. Have a little look for, a little look for that. The Spinel will also apply to that discount code as well. Um, we've got five left and ten of you with it in your baskets. Okay, I'm going to leave those final few there. Um, moving on to... Oh, hello. Yeah, they're pretty, aren't they? Black spinel. I love Peridot with black spinel. I do. I, I can't help it. I, I probably say it every single time I'm on, but if, if you get... Um, a peridot and a black spinel together i can't help but think of that art deco kind of period like the the green black and gold together are just they just they just shout luxury yeah they really do and, and decadence and flamboyance well, it was an, i love it was it. an era of positivity wasn't it yes. you know uh, it was uh, sort of you just stepped out of uh, uh learning to enjoy life again the world war yeah. absolutely yeah. it was um, yeah, learning how to celebrate. We become all together more flamboyant in our fashion and certainly in our jewellery wear. Yeah, I agree. This is USA again. Beautiful USA and your faster drops. I'm visualising maybe some gorgeous Peridot drop earrings. Oh, um, and I'd go all out. How about if you just half this strand and put half in one ear and half in the other? Why not? I mean, we're at clearance. You don't have do to be it. scrupulous on the carrot weights, yeah. do you? Ten carrots year of beautiful USA Peridot. That's that's crazy saying it like that, isn't it? I know. <laughs> and it is a mainstream gemstone. We can walk along the high street and look at, uh, sort of press our noses against those expensive jewellers and go, oh yeah, that's nice. That will be like three figures uh, or upwards. Or I can make that piece for less than £10 with a little bit of know-how and creativity. Um, £7.99. 20 carats, you're getting a USA Peridot here. Um, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. So, yeah, you can create 10 carat, 10 carat, fabulous statement earrings for less than a tenner. Goodness me. Do check That's out your insane. baskets. <laughs> it is insane. You're so it. right. <laughs> Um, you're so right. Beautiful gemstone. Um, yeah, as I said, it's found in a few locations around the world, but it's only one of two that actually uh, is... 
that un or, or rather formed out, if you like, in the Earth's mantle. I find that uber cool. So we've spoken about some pretty exciting gemstones today, haven't we? Um, in the state of Arizona, which uh, I don't know if this is from or not, but Arizona produces lots of gorgeous gemstones. I know it's USA, so I'm going to make that assumption. Um, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Can you imagine this teamed alongside Sleeping Beauty Turquoise? Seven ninety nine only. How many did we have, Laura? Oh, there's quantity in your faceted drops. And what's our original price on this? Our normal price? That's still too low. Fourteen ninety nine. The faceted drops. <laughs> Fourteen ninety nine. Natural peridot. Amazing. Check out those baskets. Caroline, Suzanne, Kent, Maeve, well done. Okay, I'm about to bring you, I'm going to leave those final few there because it is time for your next star buy. Ooh, uh, I do keep an eye on our Facebook page and I love seeing um, all of your wonderful creations on our Share Your Makes page. Um, and one thing I've noticed a lot of, not just on there, but also on the Hall of Fame, is some tree of lives and it is it's it, it, it's an image which we use a lot not just in jewelry but also uh, in interior design because it's very much a sign of positivity um we can wear it uh, uh but i'm seeing a lot of those be those as uh, sort of dream catchers pendants whichever it might be sculptures this next star by can you imagine creating a tree of life with natural vibrant top quality peridot this next star by is giving you the ability to do just that Um, our lovely Nadia created that amazing... Um, the wisteria tree. Oh. oh, amazing. It's not here, is it? No, I think she's got it. I don't know it. if it is. Yeah. Oh, um, incredible, though. She's such a clever lady, though. She's very talented. Yeah. 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 Very, like, the, you know, micro macrame, but even down to sort of your wire work creations as well. Um, and this is the perfect colour for your tree of life, so your wisteria trees for sure. If you wanted to create something like a bonsai, I think would be amazing, or um, Japanese blossom, all of those things you can absolutely capture within this gemstone. Now, I, there are certain gems which are, I always find fascinating that their their beauty is completely and utterly natural. So. Um, think malachite, those concentric patterns and bands, rhodochrosite, completely different to what you're about to see, but all totally and utterly natural. Peridot, you almost look at it and, and think it, that has to be uh, sort of irradiated or coated or heat treated, but actually, of course, we know it is, it is, it's the polar opposite. It's a gemstone that we call idiochromatic. It gets its colour from, um, from the actual chemical composition within. Now, you said about the 1920s era. Yeah. A symbol, uh, you know, an era of positivity when we really saw some lovely long, long line necklaces, almost navel skimming necklaces. Very elegant, apparently, ladies. They draw our eye in at the waistline as well. So, very popular in jewellery wear. This is going to be perfect for that, for, for that, for that long line necklace. It, yeah. Definitely. Marla's huge at the moment. Absolutely huge. There's so much inspiration that I could throw at you right now on the, you know, ahead of this deal of the day, uh, sorry, this star by, that it would fit. Knotting, wire work, tree of lives. Susie's gonna be doing nugget marla necklaces. Yeah, on Tuesday. Well then, Peridot's the most perfect green. Uh, green. Wisteria. Beautiful, vibrant greens. A full 120 centimetres of natural USA peridot. You could quite literally, I've done this before, it's a cheat way of wearing gemstones uber quickly. Um, just twist it over, give it a twist round, loop your chain through. Hey presto, you've just made yourself some necklace. Yeah, use an 18 inch chain that you've actually got in your jewellery stash already. Loop it through either end. There we go, you've just made yourself a necklace. I, yeah, I, I think these lovely um, twisted necklaces with nuggets are fantastic because, again, there's, there's so much volume to them, so much texture to them, and, and it's just, 
the simplest of, of concepts, mm -hmm. really. It's just it's tw twisted nuggets of gemstones together, but they look brilliant because they twinkle as you move. Oh, they do. It, it, it's how Mother Nature actually intended them to be. Mark went over to our sister channel with strands very much like this. Yes. And he took quantities of hundreds. Yeah. And guess what, jewellery makers? <laughs> They flew out they uh, on our sister flew. channel because we knew we, we well we knew this. It was basically going to be uh, basically going to be. I mean, look at that absolutely beautiful, elegant necklace, like a lariat style in natural peridot, USA peridot as well. They sold out by the hundreds on our sister channels because it's easy wear over the head. We would absolutely recommend you restrand it because it is technically beaded onto a, uh, a temporary strand. However, if you want to wear it and uh, sort of good to go immediately, then you can do that too it's gonna fly i don't know what laura's intending listen my brain can only hold so much information so whilst i did prep for this afternoon laura i can't remember what you said you were taking this, taking this to what are you taking this to <gasps> that's that's crazy pricing and this is new it's never even been on screens so you've gone you've bypassed the target and you've gone straight down to the clearance even on a brand new launch <laughs> Wayne's gone home, has he? Four ninety nine. Oh, I want to see this with your Morganites, your Kunzites. I want to see it with your Rose Quartz. I want to see it with your Vibrant Reds. I want to see it with... Um, yeah, I don't blame you for multi-buying. I would too. This is genuine Peridot. You could plait it. You could chip a hemo. Alison did some uh, nugget embroidery the other day. Oh, oh did listen, she? Alison, oh, I didn't see uh, that. there's a story to that, you know, um, Hannah. Okay. So I couldn't get hold of Alison. I know uh, she was she was busy elsewhere, so I had to kind of think up kits. And I was like, it was during the nugget the nugget uh, event. Yes. And I was yeah. like, okay, do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw nugget embroidery at her. And she looked at me as if to say, I'd never done that before, Al. Thanks very much. Anyway, it looked really good. Fantastic. It looked really, really good. Actually New using concept. your beading in embroidery. <laughs> she didn't thank me for it at the time. But in the end, it did have turned out well. Four ninety nine For how many carrots? 200 carrots that you're getting here. Vibrant, beautiful, glorious greens. There's not a single medium, I don't think, or a single uh, style, era of jewellery that won't work with your nuggets, especially in your peridot. I mean, boho designs. Oh, do you know, I, I think I, there's certain combinations of colours that I love. And if you've got like, like this kind of backdrop of the green, I, I like the sort of tropical colours. I yeah, like the turquoises, coral. corally colours, pinks. Um, yellows, oranges, things like that. They, turquoise? They all pop, yeah, turquoise, absolutely. Neon Appetite, actually, is quite yes. interesting with it because it's almost like they fight for attention, but if you, put a, like if you put a metallic seed bead between them, they're fine. They're comfortable. Isn't it's that the, it's, funny? It's the old blue and green. It yeah, should never yeah, yeah. be seen except with something in between. So put something in between it that's metallic and it works and they look amazing. I love it. That's you you've just that's neon appetite and peridot are like my two little girls at the moment. Like do it, literally do it. fighting for my attention yeah. all the time. Um yeah, beautiful. On the verge of selling out. We've got six of them left. We had over a hundred. Amazing. Uh so we've bypassed the launch price, taking it straight down to your uh your clearance. Now, if you want some more nuggets, or if you told you missed out on that one, we have got one other strand. Now um, slightly smaller carrot weight. So actually, if you're thinking about your Tree of Life sculptures or uh, pendants or sort of adding texture, then I think having the difference um, within uh, the sizes um, is, is going to work for sure. Again, you've got that quality of colour. 110 carats in this strand. It's 80 centimetres, so slightly shorter than the one you saw previously. Again, look at that. It's, it's neon green. I, do you know, I, I like the fact that if they're slightly smaller than the others, then you can put them together and then you've yeah. got that lovely like, the variation of size. So you can graduate, you can, you can make um, sort of like very subtly graduated textured pieces. And I think yeah. they're quite interesting to look at as, as well as to make. But... 2 19 Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've got to stop shouting that's, like that's this. That's a cup that. of coffee price, that is. Yeah. But, but this will last forever. So we, we spoke about Tree of Lives and creating maybe a bonsai, I think would be really cool, yeah, wouldn't it? So a bonsai, you've got the, the larger leaves on the top and then you've got the smaller ones underneath. So that's what I would do. And it's going to create that natu natural yeah, it's, texture. Yeah, it's more, it's more natural, isn't it? Ooh. And, they, and they, they do look fantastic. But 
you can do you can do so many things if you've got like memory wire and you, you just 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 thread your nuggets onto memory wire and you end up with this really big chunky cuff effect made Lovely. from tiny components which i think is amazing yeah threading onto memory wire yeah. super easy as well 2.99 for usa peridot here as well um yeah lots of the items have been selling out throughout the course of the clearance events and you have just over an hour of clearance it's been probably one of the biggest clearance events i think we've actually done here at jury maker it's been massive massive i mean the rarity of gemstones at the most bonkers bonkers deals um okay stay where you are um now again clearance you imagine maybe if you go to your supermarkets or your, your department stores or a clothing brand or something you see a sale or a clearance it tends to be the items that haven't sold you know the ones that maybe and we have that here from time to time we call it sticky stock now how many times have i actually told you sticky stock um, have you not have you heard that term? Okay, maybe it's me. <laughs> maybe it's me that just called that. Um, but how many times have you heard me today? Brand new premieres. I know. I'm loving it. It feels like we're we're sort of breaking all the rules, and it's kind of like, well, the management aren't here at the moment, so um, <clears throat> we'll keep going. <laughs> and I uh, hope nobody notices. This is another brand new premiere. <laughs> I, I don't. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love the fact that we've got these wonderful new things, and yet it's supposed to be a clearance show. I mean, I suppose, yeah. it means we're doing amazing prices. Yeah, for brand new premieres. Yeah. Um, I mean, you are an, a master seed beader. I'm looking well, at these. I'll give it my best. <laughs> I reckon these would be amazing seed beading. They, they would, actually. And if, you're, if you want to incorporate um, gemstones into seed beading, you absolutely can. The only, only consideration is to make sure the needle will fit through with the th when it's threaded. So if you're using a finer size like that, then you, then you need a smaller gauge needle. So maybe like a 12, 13 okay. kind of size needle because it's, it's, it's narrower. Ooh. But it means that you can incorporate them in, into more intricate designs and it means you can pass thread through a number of times and it means you can, you can like, team them up, make amazing sort of netted designs, but with genuine gemstones. Oh, amazing. Yeah, look at that. How Gorgeous. about alongside uh, your other August birthstone? That is Spinel. This is coming up in the last hour. Um, yeah, beautiful. Oh, nice little lovely, uh, you know, vibrant decorative space of beads in a two millimeter size. This has never been on your screens before. And yet it is included in the clearance event. And then, okay, Laura just said casually, I'm still gonna take it lower <laughs> than what I was told to. Um, Oof, okay. Little rebel. <laughs> Starting the last hour, really? Why? What, what, what? Oh. oh. Hmm. 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 <laughs> There's a not-so-subtle hint being dropped right there. I think so. I think that's Laura, uh, yeah, giving you a... The last hour is going last to be Last hour is going to be mayhem. Mental. I hope our call <laughs> yeah. centre are ready for this. $4.99. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, of course, they probably are saying, will you just calm down, you lot, over there in Jewelry Maker? Um, no, we shall not. It's clearance, and we want to make the most of these amazing deals. Multi-buy until your hearts are content. Use these as little spaces. Um, use uh, them in amongst your wire weaving. Use them in your kumahima. We had a kumahima starter disc earlier on, didn't we? We did, yeah. I mean, I, I think these look fantastic. If you're doing beaded kumahima, you could include them. Nice. Like, absolutely. Um, but also, if you're, if you're doing seed beading, you're making like a sort of a spiral rope design Ooh, and you nice. use that as the central um, kind of spiral core, <coughs> they, just look, they just look amazing. Yeah, you know, lovely. Because then it's like, a, like it could all, all be seed beads and apart from that one centre piece. And then that's the bit that creates the spiral as you go. Absolute it's perfection lovely. there, aren't they? Um, brand new premiere at four ninety nine. OK. Um, OK, moving on to, sorry. Uh, oh, I'll contrast them with these. So if you've got the two mil, I think you need this next strand because um, from the smooth rounds to the micro faceted rounds as well. So um, uh, Peridot is a gemstone which loves to show off brilliance. Also, if you've got that gorgeous topaz, any of the topaz, can you imagine this lovely vibrant green actually teamed alongside that too? 
take beautiful quality gemstones, uh, almost shrink them down to a microscopic size. But when they have such an, a, an amazing uh, natural saturation, that doesn't mean that you, you know, that you know, we shrink them to um, and lose the ability to appreciate the color saturation. Not at all. You still have that really vibrant, quite a fresh green um, in these little miniature sizes. They go beautifully with the two mil rounds that you saw a few moments ago. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Look at the faceting, it's yeah. gorgeous. How do you even do that? I've had a go at faceting gemstones. It's really hard. <laughs> Catapult it across the room uh, and lose no, your fingers no, but if you're I did not have careful. them laughing. They were in hysterics <laughs> laughing at me. Well, you've been there as well. Uh, well those are the got, cutting houses. Because your fingernails as well. I'd be, so, I'd be so nervous of going anywhere near them. Oh, no, you get a dobber. You get a dobber and they're like, OK, so that's what they call it, the little dobber machine. How do you do that with the two millimetre gemstones? Literally, uh, the guys in our cutting houses were in hysterics when I was trying to cut at gemstone. Um, <laughs> Yeah, let's just say I lost most of it. Four ninety nine only for that level of precision. Fantastic. I mean, they are micro perfection, aren't they? Again, contrasting in between something like maybe black spinel or using it alongside your sort of your soft peach pa uh, pastel gemstones as well. Um, sapphires. I, I think it is one of those gems, as you said, you can completely contrast it if you want to. Yeah, I mean, definitely. It's like we had somebody suggested garnet earlier, which mm. I, th I think is lovely as well. But um, I say my, my natural sort of um, default is, is to, if you imagine the colour wheel and then um, the colours that sit next to each other um, in the grading, they're called, it's called analogous colours. Mm -hmm. which means they're, they're, they're naturally next to each other on the colour wheel and therefore you can't go wrong with them. So if you've got sort of your, your greens, you can you can go into sort of like your, your yellowy sort of um, yeah. tones if you want to. You can go kind of autumnal or you can go the other way into your blues and... and both of them will work. Yeah, really lovely. beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Again, stay where you are on the phone lines for that. Let's now bring you 21. Oh, it's... Oh. Look at the length of this strand. There's loads. That's pretty, isn't it? Little hearts. Aww, oh, they're pretty, that. aren't they? Cute. Just one at the top of a pearl. Or maybe... Little, little drop earring. Yeah. Yeah. Little heart. There's the romance there um, in the actual cut of the gemstone itself. USA Peridot, central drilled, so through the cleft of the heart, meaning all you need is a little head pin. Um, oh, look at that colour. Absolute definition. If you got that previous star by of your um, Peridot and the faceted rondelles, um, again, I can't remember the, the location. That's not really what's important. It's the beauty of the Peridot. Look how gorgeously they go. <clears throat> they were USA too. So do you see what I mean? That consistency of quality, that vibrancy and intensity of peridot green. If you've got hold of that, then I think you need these to go alongside. Um, okay, uh, outside of your clearance event, um, in an hour and a quarter's time, this clear clearance is actually over. It's, it's done, it's dusted. Um, I, please do not expect Peridot of the, this quality, this calibre, this carat weight, even with us here at Jewelry Maker, to be at single figure prices. For one of the most challenging cuts, naturally when we're talking about hearts, um, the fact that it is, you've got those really dramatic angles at the bottom of the heart and they naturally curve round. Um, not every single heart, and I noticed this with my, uh, with my ruby that I bought the other day uh, from, uh, from this channel, um, it doesn't go all the way down to, down to create that actual cleft because because obviously the risk is that the gemstone could completely split. So they often just keep it in a very gentle heart-like shape. Um, so perfect, um, very complex to actually achieve, especially a single figure price tag and an entire strand of USA vibrancy, beautiful, beautiful quality. Um, this wonderful gemstone, our fascination stretches over some 4,000 years in mind in locations um, all around the world. but. Yeah, I mean, Kashmir, uh, Chinese, uh, American, Pakistan, you can get supreme quality from every single one of those. Um, if it has that perfect balance of green and yellow, as Hannah just said on the colour wheel, it's that perfect balance between the two. Um, okay, what, what, what? Um, 
Right, do you know, this is, this is so weird that, oh gosh, it seems like ages ago. Just before I came on air this morning, um, Luce, you still there? Yeah. So what did I ask you for before we came on air this morning? Can you remember? She can't remember. Yeah, I was like, Luce, I'm embarrassed. I haven't cleaned my jewellery in absolutely ages. And, you know, naturally, as, uh, as uh, yeah, I can do. I'll bring it in if you want. Um, naturally, as you know, you have, you know, you might wash your hands, especially if you're using the antibacterial wipes. Um, dust, it gathers in your jewellery. And that's not to say, you know, we're not particularly dirty people. It's, you know, we wash our hands, etc. Soap will gather underneath your jewellery, be those diamonds or whatever gemstone. When you are, when you're creating jewellery, when you're wearing your jewellery, it's really important to look after them as such. And always our recommendation would be this collection because they are absolutely amazing. It is safe. It is uh, to use on pretty much every single gemstone and the inf information is provided there as well. So yes, Connoisseurs is our brand of suggestion and it's coming your way in a clearance in a star buy. These are amazing. And I asked Lucy, literally this morning before I came on air, I said, have you got any connoisseurs behind there? And she went, yeah. And literally, just quick clean. I didn't use any ultrasonic machines or anything like that. I used these. So this is the connoisseurs brand. Um, and this is something which is very much portable as well. So uh, these are your jewellery wipes. Uh, and as you can see on the front there, so uh, quick beauty treatment for your gold and silver jewellery. So I love that. Just realise how filthy these Pass are. It here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this then. Um, I'm going to clean up everybody's lovely jewellery during this amazing star buy. They are super, super, super handy. Now, this is a fixed auction. Clearly, we're not going to actually be stopping there. So, direction. Um, so, directions, rather. Uh, how you clean your jewellery is extra simple. Before I get to that, uh, safely cleans and polishes gold, silver, gemstones, costume jewellery, and also watches. Oh, do you know what? When I worked in the jewellers, have you ever... Have, no, don't give me your watch. It's, it'll send my stomach to go and follow. The amount of times that I used to see <laughs> watches filthy, that they gather sweat. They literally gather, especially those stretchy ones, um, notorious for getting really grubby. So, yeah, if you've got one of those stretchy, use these because they'll get all the sort of sweat uh, from underneath. Uh, leaves an anti-tarnish shield on silver uh, jewellery to maintain a light new lustre. It's dry and it's disposable. So, um, yeah, Lou said to me, Elle, do I need to wet these? No. Nope. Um, you literally, if I open it up, there's 25 wipes inside and you can cut them down if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to use them all, be uh, sort of savvy about those. Um, don't be embarrassed, honestly, I had to clean mine this morning, they were so grubby, uh, my rings, and they, and they naturally do that, so firstly, can I just show you something, look. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, but listen, uh, not thirty-two ninety-nine, and you get, and they are reusable. Don't just throw them away. Don't just throw them away after one use because um, you could. There's, you know, there's lots of pigment actually on there. So, Laura, this is your really pretty, gorgeous sterling silver star ring, uh, seven ninety-nine, and they. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and that is giving, putting a protective shield on this as well, Laura. So um, you shouldn't need to actually buff. It'll be like new. That's what connoisseurs say. Brand new and like new. Look at that. A little bit of fluff there. Wow. It totally does, doesn't it? I might need to wash my hands afterwards. Right, let's just quickly do Hannah's. So this is gold, I assume. With that beautiful diamond in the centre there? Uh, uh, platinum, that one. Platinum, okay. <laughs> Works with platinum as well. This is your engagement ring, so I'm going to be yep. particularly careful. Don't throw it across the room, Al. Don't throw it across the room, Al. <laughs> Don't throw it across the room there. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Um, yeah. Uh, so literally buffing it up, as you can see, yeah, just gets all the all the grub that uh, that, that, that naturally occurs. Listen, it's not, it's, not, it's not an indication on us. We naturally gather dust. We do, don't we? Um, and you can use it on the gemstones. So as it said, it goes across the surface of the gemstones, even down to your costume jewellery. Um, so, oh, this is pretty. 
Your diamond is absolutely beautiful and sparkling like new. Here we go. So uh, do excuse uh, my fingers now because obviously they're black. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Covered in, covered in here's, stuff. Here's Hannah's. Crikey. Ah, doesn't that look beautiful? <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. $7.99 for 25 wipes. And I reckon out of these, out of this one wipe, I could probably do, I don't know, uh, multiple, couldn't I? I could sit here quite happily, just polishing everybody's jewellery here in the studio. Beautifully. And it's portable. You know, uh, if you put things like anti-back on, uh, on your hands, it naturally puts a coating on your gemstones um, and certainly your jewellery as well. Hand sanitizer, absolutely. Um, it's caused absolute havoc with the skin on my hands, hand sanitizers, but I understand the need for it, of course. You can rub it across your gemstones, as it said just there. It is perfectly safe, even down to, and I remember being joined by uh, the lady from Connoisseurs, and she said, yeah, perfectly safe, even the likes of your um, of your pearls as well. There we go, another beautiful one there. Might need to actually wash my hands after this. Uh, $7.99 only. Look. Beautiful. Look how sparkly they are. They all wow. look brand new, don't they? <laughs> Amazing. Worthwhile. I'll be getting some of these as well um, to add to uh, just popping my handbag. You know. oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's amazing how, um, you know, we all carry things like sanitizers and hand cream. So why don't we carry stuff to tidy the jewellery up with uh, as well? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I forget the name of the ladies, uh, the, la uh, the name of the lady that joined me from Connoisseurs. And she said, you know what? Um, we clean the car. We clean the house. And yet we don't seem to clean our own jewellery, do we? Yeah, and that's right, so true. We are. So, it's so true. I'm guilty of it as well. Um, but yeah, look, 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 look. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, look how brand new each of those <laughs> yeah each of those are oh, your beautiful jewelry looks right now it is completely Amazing. completely revived <laughs> um that's okay that's okay have we got there we are you can you, you can look past you can bypass the grubby fingers now can't you um let's can i can i just quickly pass these over because i don't want the responsibility of your lovely jewelry ladies <laughs> um so i'm going to pass can the I, over can those i have the over. thing to keep cleaning the rest of my jewelry with oh, <laughs> pass that over there we are laura I'll leave that by here okay um okay what can we squeeze in between now and the top of the hour um got a couple of seed beads opportunities shoe fly um loving this color Oh, it reminds me of beautiful cocktails. Juicy, juicy colours. It's your opaque dyed orange. Oh, so we've been talking about colour contrasts. Ooh. This is a bit of you, isn't it? Turquoise. Yes. <laughs> um, Hannah, you've been asked a question. I don't want to answer that because... <laughs> We don't see the opaque colour very often in your Mayuki. We don't see the orange very often. Uh, it looks amazing. I agree with your turquoise. Yeah, definitely. Four ninety nine. I that's, know. That's, it's a bargain, isn't it? <laughs> it is a bargain. And, and if you are making price comparisons of our Mayuki, please make sure you make the price comparison of the weight as well. Um, because our tubes um, are much larger than uh, sort of many other suppliers here. Beautiful, rich, zesty orange. That would look lovely with the Peridot showcase, don't you think? And certainly with the, the turquoise showcase that I had this uh, earlier on this afternoon as well. Four ninety nine. I don't think I've seen the opaque uh, opaque orange. No, it's lovely, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And here it is, in clearance. Uh, I love the the, the, sort of the battle between. Um, Hannah and, and Laura right now. Shouldn't be in clearance. Um, okay, moving on to what? Yeah, actually, put the two together. So this is your smoky black mat. We don't always... In fact, Mayuki do not guarantee that they are always going to recommission that exact same colourway. Look how beautiful these are together. Ooh. That's lovely, isn't it? Do you know what? It makes me think of sort of Halloween-y designs and yeah, things like that. If you're getting really... before you know it. I you know. know. It's like this year is flying now, it's isn't mental, it? It's mental, isn't it? It's like, yeah, stepped out of lockdown. 
Right, there we go, there's Christmas. Yeah. It is, isn't it? <laughs> 4 99 for your Picasso, so you get really lovely detail and textures across your uh, Picasso, my Yuki. Um, yeah, loving that. Use them as spaces. I'm not a seed beater, but I use your my Yuki as little spaces in between your gemstones. Um, okay, coming up after the break. Now, online, if you sort of look ahead at sort of what showcases we're going to be bringing you, you'll have seen our EPG says... Under ten pounds, but that is wrong. I'm so sorry. It's not under ten pounds. I'm so 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 sorry. It's under five. Join us. Join us after the break for an entire hour. The final hour of clearance under five pounds. Hi there, jewellery makers. I just wanted to invite you to come and join me every Monday between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. here at Jewellery Maker, where we're going to be bringing you some of the finest gemstones, some of the finest hand-selected pieces just for you. But this will only happen every Monday between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. So come and join me only here at Jewellery Maker. Jewelrymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelrymaker. Hi, my name is Denise Allen and on Tuesday the 10th of August I'm going to be showing you how I use the fantastic Pebio pouring paints. Pebio is an amazing company and they make the highest quality pre-mixed pouring paints. You don't have to do all that recipes, it's all done for you. And the colors are incredible. So I'm gonna show you how I do some of these techniques. I'm a professional artist and I've been working with Pebio for a long time. And I'm a huge fan of their products. So please join me on Tuesday the 10th of August at 1 p.m. See you soon. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewelry making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewelrymaker.com. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Jewelry makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day. Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. 
As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Sorry, it started to kick in now, the double uh, deliriousness. Um, I've just had a conversation, I was just telling the guys, probably too much information to be honest, that you'll know, as parents, you can't ask them, do you know what I'm looking forward to? Because I'm going to be home alone tonight. Um, the kids are away with Tom, so I'm just going back to my doggies. I was like, oh, I can have a bath and not get pestered. Um, actually chill. Uh, yeah, and basically, <laughs> uh, yeah, Willow likes to come in and just basically, yeah. Um, join uh, in. Join in. Yeah, let's just, let's just leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, right then. Viewers' choice for your final whoop, hour, whoop. and it's under five pounds. I wanted to be very interactive. Do text in, especially if you've been with us from, from the beginning of the day. Thank you so much. Um, it's been amazing. Um, now, everything locked and loaded during your viewers' choice. You can shop ahead. It's like a wonderful menu of under five pounds goodies. Um, there are two items that will be going lower, and they are your star buy. Um, that's beautiful quality, so delight, and amazing uh, mystic coated spinel. So you can see currently they're at what, 9.95, and the soda light is what, sorry? 9.99, and the soda light is showing at, can't see that from here. 9.99 on the website but it's going lower than that um so anything that you want me to bring to air then text in you can do that live make sure you start your text with jm studios come and say hello and um, we're going to try and race through all of these under five pound deals but remember that you are on a curfew um so you have to make your confirmations within this hour otherwise they will disappear from your basket so you don't want that um lots of you already shopping ahead amazing amazing so um number five uh, oh, what's in number five? Nothing. Oh, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Uh, Labyrinth, fast and pacey, L. Yeah. Uh, beautiful Labyrinth, gorgeous cabochon that you've got here in a pear cut. Uh, 13 by 18 millimeters. Perfect for those of you that do things like your CB bezeling, your wire work, your bead embroidery. 
um, your prong setting, your gem setting, five carats of gorgeous cashmere grey um, in a natural uh, labyrinth cabochon there. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, we sell ring mounts that you could absolutely house in that. Three pounds? Three pounds only. Um, goodness me. Yeah, you've just had some gorgeous orange Manuki beads there. Can you imagine those haloing that in a, in, in a gorgeous CB bezel design? Like a bezel set, yeah, it'd be fantastic, actually. That would be lovely. It would really pop. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Get those text messages in. 16, please, from Barbara. Good afternoon to you, Barbara. No problem, I'll bring that to air. Three pounds, make sure you make your checkouts on your uh, on number five. What did you say? 16. Si oh, I love this strand. Lots of you have already actually made this uh, made this confirmation. So this is African wood agate. You can see where it gets its name from. It's from the beauty of the of the actual strand. Marla necklaces. Oh, you can make a Marla necklace for what's that? Uh, for twelve pounds. Twelve pounds. You can make hold of. They are beautiful, aren't they? Very similar to that of your imperial jasper. It's quite uh, a sort of a creamy agate uh, sort of colour saturation, as you can see. Lots of different colourways. Three ninety nine for your ten millimetre rounds. Uh, again, lots of confirmations. They are lovely, aren't they? They are quite stunning. I think gents' jewellery as well. I think yeah. But also, I mean, if if you're not into like some people don't like or like bright shouty colours and they want something a bit no. more sort of subtle, a bit more sophisticated. This is all all your sort of like natural earthy, earthy tones, tones. And, and your grey scales and things like that and you know i think it's it's quite a sophisticated strand it's a bit mukite esque it's a little bit but but kind of creamier yeah it's, it's like a pared down version yeah, yeah yeah no i agree um so i, I on facebook something is springing to mind it's actually uh I don't even follow this page, so I don't know why it pops up, and I don't even drink rum, but there's a drink which I'm seeing for, uh, on, on, on adverts on Facebook, and it's rum mixed with um, literally a cream over ice. It looks absolutely beautiful, and just the swirls that that makes. I'm not a rum drinker at all, but I just love the patterning that it actually makes as, you, as that cocktail is created. You can make a piece of jewellery that has that beautiful patterning, natural patterning within your agate. Under five pounds, I'm gonna leave those for you to check out so I can race through as many items as possible during your viewer's choice. Hello to you, sorry, saying can I see number 41, please? You can. Let's do that now. Uh, 41, 41, 41, 41. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, obsidian. Oh, it's not. Yes, it's natural blue tiger's eye. Chatoyancy. Ooh. Oh. Inky, really beautiful inky, natural uh, tiger's eye. So, yeah, I saw the phenomena effect and made that assumption because of that gorgeous, it looks almost black on your screens. It's not. It's a very deep midnight, um, midnight black. If you got the black opal earlier on today, this would go absolutely beautifully with classic six millimeter rounds, completely natural in its color. I didn't know tiger's eye existed in, in, in sort of natural blues. Well, no, but I, I think, they, is it sometimes um, called hawk's eye or hawk eye or something like that? Or is that slightly different? Hawk's eye, yeah. Hawk's eye, yeah. So I, I don't know. I mean, this, this is darker almost, isn't it? Yeah. It's like really it's, sort of luxurious. It's going to be a sellout. Loads of you there. Um, the history of tiger's eye as well. Incredibly popular throughout many cultures. Hi, Susan in Carmarthenshire. Can I see number 15, please? No problem. We'll do that for you as well in a few moments time. You've got tomorrow, by the way, on the back of this strand, you have got an amazing showcase of Burmese jadeite. So um, jadeite and tiger's eye, two massively symbolic gemstones in Chinese culture. Um, tiger's eye is believed to bring a strength and courage and uh, uh, like I said, solitary animals, aren't they? It's almost replicated in the beliefs of the gemstone. 4 99 only. It's gone, it's sold out, well done. Um, 15 then for you, that's over here. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, faceted coins. I adore the shape. Faceted coins of gorgeous appetite. We can't take appetite under five pounds. I, I'm just, just going with the flow now. It just seems just so crazy. <laughs> Should we just roll with it? Just roll. I adore your faceted four millimetre rounds. Ashley Clark do a stacker style bracelet. You referenced earlier on, actually, Hannah, didn't mm. you? Um, and it's basically a length of chain alongside some beautiful gemstones, usually uh, checkerboard faceted like these. They're about 140 pounds. Yeah, yeah. And they're lovely. And very popular. Very, very, mm. very popular. I know that you could create that, that, that piece of jewelry twice over, probably, um, for less than five pounds right now. Gorgeous appetite. 
But if you've got the dinosaur bone, I would absolutely include appetite because you've got that natural connection between the, uh, the gemstone. Many people believe that appetite, because it is so rich in phosphorus, um, was, was actually well, grew from the presence of uh, dinosaur bones. Four ninety nine only for that gorgeous sky blue. Uh, hello to you, Lynn. 25, please. No problem, Lynn. I'll do that for you right now. Oh, it's a lovely strand. <gasps> Lynn, good choice. Uh, how light? Black obsidian, moss agate, and your jasper. It's a multi gemstone strand. Again, talking marlas, this would be beautiful. You haven't got to buy, how many is there? One, two, three, four separate strands. You get that variety in this one, $3.99 deal, goodness me. $3.99. They look like they're in pairs as well, so you've got lots of pairs of earrings there or pairs of cufflinks, haven't you? Yeah, beautiful. Natural howlite, natural obsidian, natural jaspers, 3 99 They're beautiful. And you are eight millimetre rounds. Um, the variety and the variation, again, uh, you know, anywhere else? Oh, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. You might be able to get multi-gemstone strands elsewhere, but... Um, uh, I mean, you would have to buy four separate strands if we hadn't have put this together for you. Three ninety nine and Philly boots if you want to multi buy, you can absolutely do that. Um, but a lot of the items are already getting quite limited. Um, some of them are actually selling out before we've brought them to where Laura's just told me. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised if they're guaranteed under five pounds. <laughs> Um, hello to you, Lynn, saying 36 and 37, please. I can do that as well. I'll do 36 first. Ah! Uh, um, if you got the Chrysler Cola earlier on, this would go perfectly. I'm not saying it is that gemstone, but it's very reminiscent of. Oh, this is gorgeous. You said about cufflinks, they'd be lovely cufflinks. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking that, actually. Autumn Jasper, and you have that beautiful turquoise blue running through the gemstone. Oh, they're amazing. They're really cool, actually. If you've got like a, a, a turquoise or, or anything that's got that sort of the, the brighter blue in there, then this gives you a nice sort of like contrast, doesn't it? Neon Appetite. Oh, yes. Really highlight well, those that, beautiful that, um, blues. The chocolate moonstone colour as well. You know, that sort of like... Oh, yeah, that would be lovely. So you can pick out the sort of the... The, the, yeah, softer, the silky colours. yeah. Oh, 170 carats of beautiful patterning, wonderful. I don't want to say matrix because it's different to that, but if you celebrate your gemstones for the journeys, the stories that they all tell, then this is absolutely for you. If everybody checks out, do you want to know how many's left? Two. Lynn, you also wanted number 37. Oh, it's lovely too. If it is, if it is... And Barbara, you've also asked for number 37. Oh, it's liquid Ooh. gold. That can't be under five pounds. Citri I've seen citrine in a square, but not under a fiver. A fiver? <laughs> Five pounds? For liquid gold, citrine, usually the most expensive of the quartz family. Okay. They're pretty, aren't they? Look at that. The more golden, the warmer the citrine is, the oh, more... Lovely. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. amazing, isn't it? Really pretty. Almost Rio Grande-esque colour saturation yes. that you're getting here. $4.99. Let's not try and make any sense of these under £5 deals. Yes, this is genuine citrine. Brazilian citrine, so it may well be from the Rio Grande lo location. In beautiful, quite contemporary uh, squares... We're looking at the shallowest part of the gemstone. You've still got that gorgeous richness of colour. Um, it is like an offering from the sun, isn't it? It is. I mean, it's, it's you know, um, he, heishi beads, heshi beads. Yeah. You, you could make that kind of um, design with them. And if you use the peridot, you know, the two or three oh, mil nice, busted yeah. rounds that we had earlier. Was it was it, was it peridot yeah. hour or the pre-night? No, it was peridot, I think, and they'd look fantastic with it. Yeah, peridot and, and, and the glow and warmth of, of citrine yeah. alongside it. Four ninety nine. goodness me. How many did we have of these available then, Laura? There's five left from what was 30. Um, okay, yeah. I don't blame you for pre-ordering. Uh, hello to you, Mikey, please. Can you show number six, please? That's I certainly Mikey can. B, look. Hi, Mikey. Mikey. <laughs> Hiya. Uh, yeah. yeah.
Yes, we certainly can. This is gorgeous. Um, we were talking about a strand very similar to this, Mikey, in the fact that it's so versatile, isn't it? Um, use it for your spaces, use it for your stretchy bracelets, use it as your uh, um, within your wire weaving as well. Uh, I think, I think this that's is Rhyolite. This. Is that this? Oh, have you made that? I don't know if it's the same strand or not. So ah, you have the faceted, but yeah. you could do exactly the same. Yeah, just a little simple stretchy with it, and and so you can get you know, like your elastic through it, and you can put your seed beads with it, and it's just you know. Look at that! Easy to wear. Very Ashley Clark. Very very Ashley Clark is the contrast between what are those Mayuki dotted in between? I think. Yeah, yeah. So galvanized gold uh, eight o. I've put between those. Love it. Three pounds and forty nine pence for natural rhyolite here, and uh, that's amazing, isn't it? Under five pounds. Uh, your beady beads maybe you don't knot your gemstones you're not confident in doing that then use your four mil um amazing keep those messages coming through everybody um getting quite limited did you say laura yeah getting quite limited lots of you are asking for the spinella we're going to do it right now okay um and lots of you are actually uh uh checking out ahead of this star buy so it's getting quite limited now talk about high glamour like let's forget about what's behind me for just one second because the likes of Lorraine Schwartz, the likes of Jennifer Aniston that I showed you earlier on um, in that beautiful, very uh, quite, quite seductive necklace that she wore. It's just a length of chain and just a few of your faceted spinels that for sort of fall down between the bust. Super, super elegant. This is without doubt a red carpet gemstone. You know, Michelle Obama has been pictured wearing this gemstone. We're bringing it to you with even more incredible magic in your mystic coating in a star buy. Okay. Karina Emricht, Markin Katz, Lorraine Schwartz, Soru, uh, celebrities like uh, Jennifer Aniston, Michelle Obama, Sandra Bullock, Elizabeth Olsen, Maisie Williams was pictured wearing a Gemporia piece. On the red carpet, this is a high glamour red carpet gemstone for sure. And it is also this month's birthstone. So if you are getting involved, goodness me, you can get an additional 10% off with, the, uh, with AUG 10, AUG 10, um, with your confirmations here. Um, Spinel is a naturally forming gemstone. It is often mined alongside, uh, or sorry, discovered alongside your sapphires and your ruby. Um, and it is a gem which has got amazing durability. It's eight on the most. Um, so it's often favoured by the big designers out there. Um, because Spinel has got such a hardness, and we're not talking about sort of refraction, and we're not talking about necessarily internal brilliance or fire, all of those things, because the black variety of Spinel, which you get in lots of different colours, it's all about the exterior. So precision and cutting is imperative. Um, how often have you heard, not just myself, but so many of your jewellery maker presenters saying paparazzi flash. It's about precision and polish, which is so crucial to produce fine quality. Um, with, uh, uh, I'm not sure if that's relevant, but never mind, never mind. I've, shown that I've shown that PowerPoint to you lots of times before. It's okay, don't worry. Um, so, Spinel, as I said, please research. Google, if you want, on your tablet, whilst you're, um, after you've made your confirmations, celebrities wearing Spinel, and countless will actually pop up. And it's understandable to see why. When you look at this beautiful strand, Disregard that for behind uh, behind us right now. This absolutely should not be an under five under five pound opportunity. It's a natural, genuine gemstone. It's also a birthstone. Um, but this time we're bringing it to you with even more glamour in your mystic coating. Uh, faceted, four millimetre rounds. Think about that beautiful uh, uh, necklace that has been worn by the likes of Jennifer Aniston. And they're not huge spinels. They're just a few faceted rounds, I, I believe, um, that are brought down, if you like, in a, sort of almost like a lariat-style necklace. Simply stunning. You've used this in amongst the peridot, which is yeah, just a gorgeous just, combination. Yeah, just some simple little beady beads. So you, so you only need 12 of them to make a beady bead, and then I've, I've popped one either side as well, so I call it 14 per 
look at satellite that satellite section well, it's almost berry like, like. They, yeah and i i think they look amazing because you because you've not just got the, the sort of like one color it's like as they move because you've got the mystic coating you've got pinks and purples yeah. and greens and golds they're, they're absolutely stunning it almost reflects the colors of its surrounding doesn't it does it? yeah now I know I've said disregard what's behind me. That doesn't mean we're not going to do it, but I'm just I'm just hopefully uh, indicating the fact that this is not a gemstone which should be under five pounds. No gemstone should be under five pounds is the reality. Magical colours, four ninety nine. They are flying out the door. Yeah, I mean Maisie Williams, who by the way is a star of Game of Thrones. I don't know if you've watched Game of Thrones. Um, she plays, gosh, I can't remember, um, uh, sorry, who is it? Aya, ah, yeah, that's it. So, uh, she's like one of the uh, super, super cool characters, um, that actually, uh, at the end of it, um, she's very much the hero, um, of the entire show. Anyway, we sent her some Gemporia jewellery and she was pictured wearing it on the red carpet. That is the quality of Spinel that you source from us here. It has been on the, the hands of celebrities. This is a gemstone the likes of Angelina Jolie chose to include in her beautiful collections. You know, she could have gone for Black Diamond, she could have gone for uh, Onyx, she went for Spinel because of its striking ability to, to play with light on the, uh, on the surface. Org 10, yeah, absolutely. Use your August 10 code to get uh, to get 10% discount. That means that's taking this to £4.50 for a strand of Mystic Coated, genuine Spinel. Um, use it on your checkout. If you are shopping on the phone lines, I don't know, uh, speak to our call centre about it. Mary, Caroline, Andrea, Heather, Pat, Sue, Shaulene, Joan, Kim, Buckinghamshire, Stephanie, Hello to Cornwall, Mary, Zoe, Joe, Marion, Tracy, Worcestershire, Kelly, Gail, I can't keep up with you. I hope we had a big quantity of these then, Laura. Oh, 105, that's not as many as I'd hoped. Do you want to know how many is left if everybody makes their confirmations? Ten. Don't let that put you off, though. It's first come, first serve. You know, if nobody checks it out on the web, then it's yours. It is absolutely yours. Um, well done, everybody. Uh, okay, number 24 for you, SJ. Um, right here, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24. That's over here. Oh, this with your... This with your spinel. Oh. Uh, what you We've got? had some gorgeous summery gemstones today, haven't oh, we? Oh, my goodness. That's lush. It is lush. Love it. It's the perfect aquamarine blue. Good choice. Really. How on earth is this three ninety nine? How on earth is March's birthstone? <laughs> I I'd be multi buying like mad for that. I think. It's absolutely stunning. You're not alone in that, by the way. Lots of people have multi bought. We spoke about the Sarah Bennett collection. Yes. And how much we love her pieces. Mm -hmm. I've got a couple of her pieces as well. I had a telephone conversation with her a couple of uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, "Hi, Sarah. I know you've never done actually uh, a jewelry maker show, but how would you feel about doing a Sarah Bennett collection inspired show with me?" She was like, "Yeah, absolutely." She was all for it, really excited Amazing. about it. So, um, apparently, it's going to be sort of September time. This is the reason I'm saying that. This is the type of this is the quality of aquamarine that you would absolutely see in her pieces. It's that beautiful azure blue. She often embraces your sort of organic shape as well teams a long time alongside baroque pearls or amethyst i've got a necklace from sarah bennett collection i treated myself to last summer that was baroque pearls amethyst um and that's it just literally uh, literally 360 imagine doing that with your aquamarine eight of these are left 20 of you have it in your baskets and you still uh, by the way you have 35 minutes to make your confirmations two left now or until stocks last which is absolutely applicable as well gorgeous lots of you are requesting this next item 21 please uh, and that's from marchia in london no problem to you i'll do that now um that's on the verge of selling out 21 21 there's 50 items that we can oh it is lovely gorgeous gorgeous uh tourmaline Oh, in a saucer cut. Um, the saucers. There's not a single gemstone that doesn't look amazing in a saucer. Uh, yeah, there's something about the shape, isn't there? It, yeah. it just seems to make everything, I, I don't know, just, it just works. 
I think it's because, for me, I look at this, oh, look, you've got blues there. It's the amount of light that bounces through them, maybe? Or? Yeah, maybe. It's like a, it's almost like a, um, a Marquise cut, isn't it? Yes. From a side profile. Makes them look more expensive than we're selling them for. <laughs> yeah, I mean, four ninety nine. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you've got rubelite hot pinks, chrome. You've got swimming pool blues in here as well. Four ninety nine for for Brazilian tourmaline in a saucer cut. I love it. We we had the, we've brought this strand um, in black spinel. We've brought it in your aquamarines. We've brought it in rubies. We've brought it in peridot, and they all pretty much sell out. Um, if my mind, if my memory serves me correctly, they were always about fifteen pounds each of those strands. I mean, that makes sense, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, Look wow. at that. That's so pretty. In your clearance, and this is the final half hour of clearance, everybody. So after this event, if any of them are still remaining, uh, natural Brazilian tourmaline. This will revert back to its original sort of target price. Um, that's amazing too. Hello, Lynn. Please go see at 46 and 53 from Lynn in County Durham. Um, 46, have we done that? No. Okay, we'll do that next for you then, Lynn. Let's do that now. Um, keep those mes messages coming through. 46, 46, 46, 46. Oh, it's Swarovski. Mm. Oh, now you know we're not getting Swarovski anymore. That's not a decision we made. Um, unfortunately, Swarovski have decided that they're not doing their, uh, what they call elements anymore, um, which is a real shame because, I mean, it, it, people recognise Swarovski as I a know, brand, don't I know. they? It is a real shame. Oh, my goodness me. If you have your milliput, these would be perfect. Um, I don't know if I can pick one of them up for you. You get a pack of these in total. Ten by five. They're described as your Navette Marquise. Oh, yes. I don't, I don't know whose it is, but it, it was... Um, Linda. Was it I Linda's? I saw Linda making was it Linda's? that. So that's what we mean by the milliput when we're talking about it. So it's like a, it's an epoxy clay, um, yeah. And if you imagine taking those colours out, they're cubic zirconias, and yeah. putting your Swarovski in, um, they do, they sell yeah. that piece of jewellery or, or similar, basically. It's not Milliput, it's actually Ceralun in their pieces, or they did. Yeah, yeah. Um, And we used to be able to stock it. We can't stock it anymore, like I said, they're stopping their elements collection. But yeah, team that with your Milliput, it's exactly the same concept. It's, fan it's a fantastic. Uh, it's, it's a nice... Um, Quick way of, of making something really striking, isn't it? Yeah. And I think I think they're lovely. Three I'm... pounds for all of these. I know, I know. It's crazy, isn't it? Amazing. Uh, Lynn, you also wanted to see number 53. Um, oh, you love your Swarovski. I don't blame you, I would too. Um, it is beautiful. Okay, 53, did you say? 53, 53. Oh, oh these are beautiful. Oh my goodness me. Oh, I've never even seen them before. They're fantastic. Look how beautiful, like little tiles of, yeah, beautiful little little tiles of um, mm. what they call the Aurora Borealis. Like a That's mosaic the... tile. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Very sweet. Um, they're your flat backs as well. So you could absolutely just glue those if you wanted to. If you haven't got a hot gun um, or um, if you don't use... Uh, <laughs> milliput um you could just glue them couldn't you onto things like your fabrics yeah you could yeah absolutely you could and i think i think you could also um you know if, if you were doing wire work i think you could probably uh, do like a little prong setting thing for nice. them and make, make a little ring or little channel set um bracelet tennis bracelet or something that's beautiful mm. i've never even seen these before Never seen them before. In your four millimetre size, you are getting a pack of 24 of them. We will not be restocking these. Again, unfortunately, um, they've never been on our show. Our show. Why? Okay. And we're not even... <laughs> we can't reorder them because Swarovski have st uh, basically said, that's it. So this may well be the one and only time um, <laughs> that, uh, uh, you know, that, that, that they actually appear on our live shows. What a shame. How many did we have then? 44 is what we had. You could glue them. You could upcycle things like your jeans, your shoes. Yeah, yeah around, like round mirrors and things and yes. picture frames. Lovely. Oh, yeah, picture frames. That would yeah, be amazing, be nice. wouldn't it? Yeah. Just glue them on with a little bit of your, um, you know, your, your, your specialist glue. And when I say specialist, your craft glue, which we also stock. Um, now, we had 45. They're getting quite limited. Half hour, just under half hour to make your confirmations, everybody, or until stocks last. 
Um, a different Lynn has asked for 11, please. No problem. Let's do that right now. Oh, again, gorgeous colour here. Um, glowing yellows, beautiful micro uh, faceted rounds um, with the peridot that we had earlier on. I think that'd be amazing. Also with your spinel, uh, mystic coated spinel, beautiful citrine. And we've spoken about it previously. How on earth are we doing microfaceted gemstones at £3.99? You think the smaller the size is, the more challenging it is to cut. It is, yeah. <laughs> so, no I logic, no rhyme, no reason. Just we, because. Just because Just because we can. So many of you have this in your baskets. And I have how many left? Oh, we've got a good quantity. Um, if you are a seed beader then you, there's nothing stopping you working with your gemstones. It's just like Hannah said earlier on, make sure that the drill hole is uh, sort of large enough for you to pass your needle yeah, through. Yeah, and if, if, you, if you struggle with that, just go for a, a finer needle because you can get them. I mean, I think we've got the... I think the tulip needles go to a 13. Yeah, they go quite small, don't or they? Or do they go to a 15? I can't remember. I know, I know we've had 10s through to 13s, yeah. certainly, and, and you might need a 13 for that. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Use them in your kiss cross. Use them in your seed beads. Use them in your little stack of bracelets or as your little spacers. Three ninety nine. Um, thirty nine, please. That's from Lynn. Hello to you, Lynn. Yes, no problem. Let's do that right now. Uh, thirty nine. I love it. I love the fact that Lynn is telling me this one. Do this one. This one. This one. You're probably saying it a whole lot more polite than that. Oh, Lynn. Oh, yeah. Right, I, we need to put a little vote out, please. Can we not call gemstones teeth? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? That's how the manufacturing um, I, companies, the stone cutting companies call it. I know, but can we have a word? <laughs> teeth. <laughs> These are natural aquamarines. Every single time I see it, I'm like, meh. I want to put my hand in front of it and just go, just ignore that description <laughs> right there. This is natural aquamarine, two ninety nine. <laughs> there is everything wrong with that description, but long everything... teeth as well. <clears throat> Pardon? Long, long teeth. <laughs> Dracula was here. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> They're I like, mean, that's, something, like that you, that's something that you look at when yeah. you're looking at a lovely horse, don't you? Yeah. Good teeth. Got good teeth. Good teeth. <laughs> Not an amazing strand of aquamarine. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at that horse. Excellent teeth. Amazing. Not aquamarine <laughs> as a gemstone. Two ninety nine. I'm so glad that you looked past that description. Um, amazing. Check out. They're on the verge of selling out. 20 in baskets for the final... How many? For the final... Right. Um, hello to you. Can I? Uh, can you compare number forty-seven and fifty, please, from Dorset? Um, yes. Forty-seven, 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 and fifty. Oh, they're quite different. They're two different sizes. Firstly. Now, which one was which? This is forty-seven. And then that's fifty. Plus, so they're, they're delicacy. Those well. are delicacy, yeah. and these. The white, oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? Um, actually, I've spoken about your pearl uh, Ceylon sea beads. Six O's, six O's are like gold dust because they're the bigger size. I've referenced your Ceylon seed beads quite a lot because I actually think, you know, certainly with the, um, the turquoise showcase that we had earlier on, they'd be really lovely to contrast that. Maybe you haven't got pearls in your stash. Use the Mayuki as, an, uh, as, uh, as something, as a substitute, if you like. Still beautiful, aren't they? I love Mayukis. I, I do as well, I can yeah. see Big the fan. utter look <laughs> of disgust <laughs> on our hands <laughs> face. They should not be two ninety nine. Absolutely not. No, she's not me. I don't. Th I don't think Hannah can do. I'm only jealous because I, I think... can't buy them myself while yeah. I'm here. And to be fair, you can't do that. Look, oh, I, I don't think you pull off the angry. Oh, uh, the angry. Oh, no, oh. I've never seen Hannah angry in my life. It takes a lot to get there. Uh, yeah, it's quite scary when I do. Oh, really. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> I, I, I have literally run down the corridor to stop us selling something before, though. <laughs> stop! Stop! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's only if it's planned for a big, like, a launch yeah, of something yeah, yeah. with, like, like, booklets or DVDs, and it's, like, it's just slipped through the net. And it's like, <laughs> stop! <laughs> I still don't think she'd be angry, though. Um, no. You, I can't got... be angry at Laura. No, She's too nobody cute. can. Uh, she is cute, I agree. She's Beautiful really delicates. Nice. <laughs> um, so these have got the, like, tube section. Um, no, they, they sit perfectly, don't they? Um, you don't have any spaces or curves within your delicates. They, uh, they... Yeah, they, so so they they sit very flush together, and they and when they're stitched together, it's almost like fabric they, yeah. because the whole thing is is so um, regulated and uniform in in size that it, it's like a, a big sheet of, of peyote would sort of flow like a piece of fabric would. Yeah, which um, is really unusual, I think. It's for not, a bead. They're normally yeah. more expensive, aren't they? Yeah, they, I mean, they're, they're quite often they're more expensive. Um, they mm. they are they're, they're more. Um, well, all of the, all the, the seed beads that we have are sort of precision made because we, we tend to go for the, the best of the best. Um, but yeah, these are these are really good if you're making sort of 3D shapes as well. If you're doing like, um, I've seen uh, Monica's done some amazing things with like little trinket boxes. All the stars and the bags. And if, and yeah, like and, or yeah. if you're doing any, anything um, like Alison does with the loom weaving, and yeah. you get these fantastic patterns, and you know they're just amazing. There is a bit of a queue on the phone lines. We are noticing um, our call centre will get you as soon as we possibly can. Um, if you can, if you can, are they getting answered? Um, call centre! Um, if you can shop with us via the app or on the website, there's never any queues there. Um, they're probably still very busy from the previous auction. What, the teeth? Oh, the, oh, the six hours, that's it, that's it, not the teeth. Um, $2.99 uh, for beautiful uh, opaque cream. Uh, me again, 51 please. <laughs> no problem, there's I'll two, do there's that There's two lins and they're, they're, we're having a rival a lin, uh, a lin off. A lin off. A lin off. Love it. Actually, do you know what, Lynn? These will go really beautifully with all of the tubes that you've actually just asked. These are amber colour um, and I think you've, I think you've just actually designed the most gorgeous kit. Oh, yeah. very pretty. Not even a kit, a kit. Um, a kit. <laughs> <laughs> um, amazing. Yeah, really beautiful together. Um, this is called Amber. You get that gorgeous flash, almost opalescence, I suppose. They're pretty, aren't they? They you are get that pretty. sort of gold sort of sheen over them. Two ninety nine only for those. Two ninety nine, and it's not a guarantee that Mayuki will recommission each and every single one of these colours. We don't know that for sure. Um, well, when they when they make the CBs, quite often they have to do sort of a batch of them at, at, at one go. So, so you can't guarantee that the colour will be the same unless it's from the same batch. Right. So, so this this is why it's not always easy to get. And they discontinue them. colours. They do discontinue colours, and you know, some sometimes you know you can you can get something that you. Um, I mean, quite, they're quite often they're close, but but the, there there can be variation. Yeah, because like, I mean, sometimes it could be years before that batch has, has been reproduced again. And you've got to remember that we are no, you know, even though it's you know a big company, Mayuki supply to the world quite literally. They do. So that we are on a waiting list, as with every other yes. company out yes. there. <laughs> and don't doesn't Hannah know about it? Ten left for the final twenty five of those. Keep those requests coming through. Hello to you, Marie. Uh, could I see 22 and 28? You definitely can. Let's do 22 first for you. Oh, it's lovely. And I must admit, this caught my attention as well. You know, we had those orange sea beads earlier on. Can you imagine just the pop of orange against obsidian? In fact, I think I mentioned that, didn't I? I think you did, yeah. I think I did. Yeah. Silver obsidian. Speaking of Maisie Williams, Game of Thrones uh, amazing actor. Um, yeah, this is what they reference in uh, that gemstones as uh sorry in that movie rather or series i should say as dragon's glass and way back this morning we were talking about the, the fact that whenever the silver screen features a gemstone the price per carat goes through the roof we were discussing with uncut gems i've never felt so uncomfortable watching a film as i have watching uncut gems it makes me anxious that adam <laughs> sandler film it is isn't it it's stressful um but the price of black opal went through the roof uh, jurassic park same applied with your amber amalite with uh, uh, kate winslet as well um and of course silver obsidian with game of thrones four Ninety-nine, and I mean, Anna. When when I started here at Jewelry Maker, and you took me under your wing and you taught me everything that I needed to know about making beautiful kits, 
Obsidian was one of those gemstones that if we put in a kit, it would bump the price up significantly. It, it was, yeah, we, we, we went through um, a stage where, where we would try and, and do what we call the boutique kits, and, yeah. we, and we would select the gemstones that were either rarer or, or um, highest quality that we could get hold of, things like that. So this, this is one of those gemstones, really. And the fact that we can now do it at just phenomenal, oh, phenomenal pricing is just crazy, Huge. really. It's like a galaxy, isn't it? Trapped yeah. within a gemstone under five pounds. Um, wow, I might have to get some. Oh, I can't, I'm not going to be able to get them because they're going to disappear by the time I get out of the studio. Um, I'd be grabbing some of those. Uh, sorry, what, number 28? Uh, was the next request the problem? Mm, ooh, black spinel cabochons. Have you ever seen black spinel cabochons? No. <laughs> no <Normally. laughs> Wow. Oh my goodness me. Ah, oh, there's a Cartier ring, and granted, it's in black jade. That, I can imagine, is thousands of pounds. This is natural black spinel, beautiful surface luster. They look amazing with gallery wire around them, wouldn't they? Oh. Absolutely stunning. When did we start doing spinel in cabochons? I don't know. Genuine question. March? Who launched these? Because it wasn't me. Carol? I would remember. I would definitely remember. And how many of them are left? 30. Yeah, of course they were going to be popular. So, oh, Hannah, I mean, 7 to 11 millimetre, beautiful, perfect cabochons. Look at that luster, it's like liquid. They are fantastic, aren't they? I could imagine some real sort of uh, 60s style, like Mary Quant Ma stuff I like that. Yeah, Mary Quant. yeah. Dior. Yeah, or Chanel. Dior. Very nice, yeah. Beautiful. Cartier, as I said, they've actually made a, um, try and Google it if you wish. Um, it's a black jade uh, uh, ring. It's all about, it's literally the cabochon itself. Now, I'm not saying it's that gemstone. It's another gemstone. You can still use your Org 10 code on this, by the way. Um, <laughs> that's amazing. So you can take another 50 pence, um, or 49 pence, off that price tag. Um, I haven't even seen black spinel cabochons before. Never even seen them. Have a little look at that Cartier black jade uh, ring. It's really beautiful and it's set in 18 karat gold. Really simple and the focus is very much about the, that liquid-like lux uh, luxury. Hello to you. Did you say Veronica? Hello to you, Veronica. Can I see 45, please? Yes, you can. I'll bring that to you right now. Um, oh, loads of items are selling out now. Um, I'm not surprised. Going back to your lovely Swarovski. I say we're running out of time to grab the, the, the deals, aren't we? Because it stops when we finish. It does. Yeah. So what is it? Just over 15 minutes to make your confirmation. So um, this is your Baroque mirror. So you've got, if you love rose gold in particular, you'll like this. I'm not saying it is rose gold. It's a Swarovski component, but you actually have, as you can see, that Baroque detailing all the way around. In, uh, isn't it lovely? These are gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. Um, you get one piece measuring 18 by 14 millimetres. Look how beautiful they are. And they, you can almost glue them, really, to a, a foundation. Yeah, a... yeah, I mean, I, I'd bezel set them with, with um, seed beads. I just wondered if there was a drill hole through at all, through the side, is there? No. Nope. I don't think it's so. It's just, just a solid piece. It's a solid cabochon almost. So that yeah, so so you could either you glue it in place, you could prong set it, you could bezel set nice. it. There's there's a number of things you could do, but they they again they look really vintage. Yeah, they and do. And if if you're doing something with uh, your black spinel beads, then you can uh, incorporate this, and it would look lovely. Three pounds. Gosh. <laughs> well, again, multi buy while you can. Uh, number 19, please, from Lisa in London. No problem. I'll do that for you right now. Um, and then we're going to be bringing you a star by. Heads up, 15 minutes to make your confirmations, everybody. Um, oh, I can't guarantee that they haven't already sold out. So uh, number 15 for Lisa. Sorry? 19. Sorry, Lisa. Sorry. <gasps> oh, yes. What did we say about the saucer cut? There's not a single gemstone that doesn't look amazing in it. Lapis lazuli being absolutely one of those. Oh, I love this one. Oh, I launched this with Laura. Do you want to know how many sold? 100. We have the final remaining quantity, 4.99. I mean, by definition, everything that we imagine lapis lazuli to be is this beautiful, 
um, Arabian blue. You get wonderful flashes of golden pyrite inclusions within. That's what I'm talking about when I describe the saucer cut. Yeah, that's that's your proper Cleopatra kind of gemstone, yeah. isn't it? You know, the yeah. Egyptian pharaohs and prince and you know it's, it's just amazing that's not natural surely that's not natural the quality is that good i almost made that assumption it is natural that's amazing i would have assumed that that was dyed we do we can dye lapis lazuli and there's nothing wrong with that but that hasn't undergone that treatment process. There's two things that don't quite match here. A, that, that quality of colour, I would make that assumption, and B, the fact that it's under five pounds. How many have I got of these, Laura? 50 of them are in the vault. James, Karen, Dorothy, Glamorgan, Maxine, Andrea, Lisa, well done. Uh, Trisha, hello to you, Simone. Uh, hi, Ale uh, sorry, Tracy again. Uh, Tracy in Lincolnshire, then we've also got Yorkshire there, Barbara there, Tynan Way, Mary, I can't keep up with you. Um, and I could literally feed that onto a 0.5 elastic because whilst they might be, uh, what, three by one and a half millimetres in their size, um, I know that when we've had this in black spinel, Claire McDonald's fed them onto our 0.5 elasticity. And it's, and it's been fine, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And, the, and again, I'd put a gold seed bead with it just oh, to, nice. to spread them out and just so luxurious looking. Uh, may I see number 14, lovely? Uh, yeah, no Aww. problem. Isn't that nice? Thank you. Um, yes, I will bring that to you right now. What's that? Loads of these items are already selling out on the website, so that is stop permitting. Do we have any of 14? Yes, we do. We'll do it right now. But 45, did you say 14 or 15? Sorry. It's, like, it's getting a bit long in the day now, isn't it? Um, um, I can't believe this is absolute works of art. I definitely think about so your gemstone cutting is one thing, gemstone carving is a, a whole other. Um, so it's it's also drilled. How on earth? Half drilled. So if I just show you the side profile, can you see just at the top there in the cleft of the leaf? Can you see that little drill hole? There we go. But I'm going to turn it towards you. Look at that detail. The curves, so you could literally just pop a little head pin with a bit of your E6000 glue. Yeah, I was thinking you could, you could make a lovely sort of like boho kind of looking thing. Like if you had like a, I don't know, maybe, maybe something with um, some, some like Picasso Jasper or, or something like that, more more earthy. And then have like a few of these on head pins just so, oh. so it's like dang, dangling from it kind of thing. So, yeah. so, so like... Um, Asymmetric, probably. I I'd love go. that. Like, almost like a lariat. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. would be gorgeous. So it's a bit, a bit like a vine, almost. One ninety nine. This is a brand new premiere. Can I just re, uh, you know, sort of revisit the fact that whilst jewelry maker do clearance, and uh, that doesn't mean that these are these are these are gemstones cut strands that haven't necessarily sold. We've brought you uh, sort of strands that have been uh, flown out the door, like the lapis lazuli you just saw. This has never even been on our screens. And yet it's at the clearance price point. Um, I hope there's enough of them to go around. I love that idea. I think that would be really beautiful. Just, yeah, just, just a bit different, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Hmm. They're flying out the door. We did have big quantity, however. Five carats in a... 80 have gone. And how many do we have? 122. Oh, but there's a lot of you with it in your baskets. A lot of you wanting quantities like sixes, threes, fours. Check out... Check out, check out. Um, amazing. Okay, request for number 17. Uh, oh, this is lovely. Oh. Brazilian amethyst. But you know what? This is one of the most beautiful hues of amethyst. I'm not going to tell you that this is the deeper saturation. I'm not going to tell you that this is, this is Rose de France. But what I am going to tell you is it's a really gorgeous, almost lavender. Four millimeter. Look, do you see where I'm coming from? That's almost like a kunzite shade. That's, yeah, it's really pretty, isn't it? I, I think that because you know you had the um, I can't think what gemstone was earlier, and it was like a blush pink. Mm, what did I have? I was trying to think. Was it a topaz or was it? Oh, I can't remember. Like an imperial topaz or something like that. Oh, it was. It was. was a that, to, it was, was topaz. That, yeah, yeah. Was that the pinky one? And yeah. I was thinking you you could combine those somehow, make something oh. really sort of like soft and. Feminine, very pretty. That is pretty. It, it, mm. We spoke about wisteria earlier yes, on as yeah. well. This is the colour of wisteria. I imagine you've got wisteria. Uh, yeah. I, I knew I, you I, would it's, have wisteria. It's, uh, like, it's my triffid. It's trying to... <laughs> 
It rings the doorbell. <laughs> the, oh, yeah, but wow, what a way to, well, you know, what a, uh, what, a, what a plant to actually have. Yeah. They are super pretty. It is almost wisteria-like colours. Three ninety nine for natural Brazilian, one of the most unique colours um, of this beautiful gemstone. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not even going to try and say this isn't. This is not like the deep, uh, sort of opulent like purple. It's not rose de France. It's not even pink. It's actually one of that sort of bluish uh, violet like colours that I don't think I've actually brought to air before. It's a pretty strand. It is pretty. Um, very, okay. very soft colours. Moving on to squeezing. Oh, oh, no way, Laura. No way. Now I'm putting my foot down now. Really? Start checking out your baskets. You've got less than 10 minutes. How many of these are available? If we're going to do it, let's get the housekeeping out of the way. 65 of these are available. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, seriously. This is naughty. I'm almost sulking. Heliodor, Aquamarine, Morganite, the purest form of the Beryl family is Goshenite. What on earth? What on earth are you thinking right now taking this to find friends? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I love that. She, she squeaked. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> How? I mean, it's amazing. I love it. I'm only cheesing, by the way. I'm absolutely delighted that you can get it. It's, it, it listen, it's the final 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes of your clearance event. Um, your viewers' choice as well. So if you haven't yet checked out, they will disappear. Stop permitting, of course. Um, come, you know, when the big hand points vertically, you've got three minutes to actually do, uh, make those confirmations. Um, Goodness me, that's amazing, isn't it? Even if I said this was double that price tag, that would be incredible. It, it's absolutely bonkers. Bonkers. Uh, it's one of those things, even if you don't want to do anything with it yourself, you could buy this and sell it on. Yeah, and, at a premium. You know, at, 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 le at least three or four times that. I agree. Now, do you know what? Do you know what? Uh, Laura's like, oh, we need to squeeze another star buy. Check out your baskets on this. We're going to go straight into this amazing star buy. Um, so, okay, com com confession time. Confession. And I've, I've actually sort of held my hands up. I'm always honest with you. Um, and said, listen, once upon a time, so light was one of those gemstones I'd go, yeah. It's nice, yeah. It was, it was kind of over. I was, I overlooked it. Let's just put it that way. Ooh. Until yes. I'm going to redeem myself right okay. now. <laughs> Until I saw the quality that we're bringing to our viewers right now. It is that beautiful deep lapis blue, and it used to be quite soft. It used to have more of a dominance of white than it did actually the uh, so the royal blues. Now the quality of your sodalite really is quite something, and I do not overlook it anymore. Natural sodalite. I always think quite a nostalgic gemstone always reminds me of the uh, the willow crockery. Willow yeah. yeah, that you know yeah. used to go down to your grandma's house, you make your Sunday roast and it would always be on that. Four ninety nine. I don't think we could actually buy this. I don't think we could actually broadcast it at what we're about to do. I mean four ninety nine. It's phenomenal. For, so, for phenomenal. so delight. It's not yeah, well clearance isn't often it's not really about profit, it's a, there's a purpose. There is um, a purpose um, behind uh, your clearance, and that is because we have a big, exciting, oh, lots of big, exciting deliveries imminent, imminently on the horizon. I asked Wayne that yesterday, and he's like, yeah, it's going to be amazing. We're running out of time. Do make sure you check out your baskets from this hour because they will disappear. It's viewer's choice. So check out your baskets to guarantee your success. I've absolutely loved it. Hannah, thank you so much for joining That's me today. That's all right. You're yeah. amazing. Amazing. When oh. are you back with us? I, I'm on holiday soon, so I'm, I'm back on the oh, 5th. Are you going anywhere nice? Uh, West Wittering. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Um, are you going to be away for long? Uh, yeah. A uh, <laughs> couple of weeks. Couple a couple of weeks. Of weeks. Oh, I just be making Marla necklaces and all sorts. <laughs> um, guess what? I'm back with you bright and early in the morning as well. How long have I got, Ben? Oh, okay. Um, I'm back with you bright and early in the morning. We've got an amazing <laughs> Burmese showcase. Um, we've got, uh, oh gosh, I can't even remember. My brain stopped working now. More incredible, amazing gemstone deals. I'm going to be joined by the wonderful Linda as well. So it's going to be epic. Enjoy your day. Make sure you check out your baskets, everybody. Dirty Double tomorrow. You're going to join me. I'll see you then.
The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Hi there jewelry makers, I just wanted to invite you to come and join me every Monday between 1pm and 4pm here at Jewelry Maker, where we're going to be bringing you some of the finest gemstones, some of the finest hand selected pieces just for you, but this will only happen every Monday between 1pm and 4pm, so come and join me only here at Jewelry Maker. continues and I tell you what if you are a lover like our William Shakespeare of this beautiful gemstone so fondly referred to as the queen of gems then this showcase is absolutely for you now ultimately uh, opal actually forms from silica that has become tra trapped between cracks and crevices uh, within the actual host rock that uh, uh, sort of uh, develops over millions upon millions of years. And when your silica spheres are perfectly aligned, um, and I think I showed you that image yesterday, that's when you see this beautiful, beautiful optical effect. It is a complete spectrum of colors. Some colors 